お前は死んでるバウンタイムなんでいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいい Right? Yeah. We're gonna do Warrior. A.、Uh, name. We're gonna do. Glorious. Tarnished. We are the Glorious Tarnished. Don't question the Tarnished's glory. Alright.、Uh, body type A is fine. Age, we are going to be mature. Or aged. Will be mature.、Uh, warrior keepsake. <laughs>、uh, the golden scene, I feel like, is the best one. Just gives you actual bonuses to your health, which is great. So, I'm gonna do that.、Um, I'm fine with the base body template. The detailed appearance. Let's do a little fun action real quick. Yes! <laughs> you know what? We're gonna make him very pale. <laughs> Why is this so funny to me? Oh my gosh. So if I make him like this, he'll be fully ducked. Mmm. Yes. Eat me. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> quack. Yes. Eat me, quack. He's this man would be terrifying. Can you imagine this guy coming after you? He'd just be like, Mmm. Yes. <laughs> Alright, I gotta show you his face one more time because it really makes me. Oh, yes! It is me, Glorious Tarnished. Oh, but wait.、Uh, let me show you from this angle. Mmm, yes. <laughs> Save to favorites. Yes. Okay, finished. Yeah. I'm gonna play with this dude. Yeah, I love it. The Fallen Leaves. Tell a story. The great Elden Ring was shattered. It was shattered. In our home, across the fog, the lands between.、Mm. The Eternal is nowhere to be found. This cutscene is very dense in lore, by the way. Hard to follow when you first play. Light of the Black Knives, Godwin the Golden was first to perish. The Black Knives assassins are terrifying. Soon, Marika's offspring, demigods all. Who's that? Claimed the shards. Of the Elden Ring. Oh, we're going to see so many of these friends. The mad taint of their newfound strength. Mad taint, bruh. Triggered the shattering.、Mm. The snake. Wonder what that is. A war from which no lord arose. She's awesome. What a fun fight. A war leading to abandonment by the greater will. Oh, rise now, ye tarnished. This is like one of a million ye dead voice acting awesomeness. The call of long lost grace. Speaks to us all. <laughs> oh, 
for a loan. Chieftain of the Badlands. Ooh. The ever brilliant Golimas. One of the endings we could get if we choose to. Fear. The deathbed companion. Creepy lady is always trying to sleep with us. The loathsome dung eater. Mm. And Sir Gideon Othmir. My favorite line. The all-knowing. Put 110% to the all-knowing. <laughs> uh, what an epic intro. Yeah. Yeah. And one other whom grace would again bless. Who's that? A tarnished of no renown. I would argue we have some renown. <laughs> In the face. Cross the fog to the lands between. It's Duckman. Mm. To stand before the Elden Ring. Yes. And become the Elden Lord. Oh man, I'm so excited to play this game. Oh, we in it. Miggies. I forget some of the, the, uh, ooh, Tarnished Wizen Finger. I forget some of the controls, but I'm sure we'll figure them out. The Leap. I played this game a lot when it first came out, and I haven't played it in a while, so we'll see. But, essentially, hello friend, um, this, most of the uh, FromSoft games have a theme to them, which is that you're supposed to die in the beginning. Um, that yes, there's ways around it, but most of the time you're supposed to die. Um, and this is uh, one of those games, so, you know, I'm just going to speed through it so we can get through the actual game there's not much point of it. If you beat this guy, which I have done in the past, um, all you do is you go through there and you just fall off a cliff. So, you know, we'll just let him have some fun with us, but we will smack him once or twice. Whee! Look at that. Yep, there he goes. See? Easy. We're done. We finish. We've fallen! <laughs> We're coming back, mayhaps. <laughs> Cutscenes in real time. Hilarious. All your clothes, like, flap into place. Flap! That is the fun part about this game, is that all the cutscenes are rendered in the game engine itself, like, in the game. So... It's just your character model, which is fun. <gasps> Yay! Their horse! Sneef! Sneef! <gasps> Give him that shake, why? Give him that shake! Don't worry, Torrent. Oh. Fortune is on his side. It's our maiden, but not really. We found him here, after all. I'll give the stamps. Stamps, stamps, stamps! Horse. Horse. One of his kind is sure to seek the, the Elden, Elden Ring. Ring. Mayhaps it is me. Mayhaps it is. Even if it does violate the Golden Order. <clears throat> Still waking up. Was it real? Was it a dream? Hmm. Must arise. What is going on in the caves? Hmm. Caves. Caves of Wonder. Flask of Crimson Tears. And Cerulean Tears. So that's our healing and our mana regen. Heck yeah, dude. Hey, let's go hang out with this guy. Uh, yeah, the Cave of Knowledge. Dude, we can do basic stuff. We don't need to do that. 
We don't need to do it. But let's stay with this guy for a second. We bow. Yes. Alright, friend. Do you have anything to say? <laughs> Brave Tart, take the plan of learning and remembrance. Recall the arts of war and your warrior's blood. I won't. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Oh, these trees. Usually, at the bottom of these trees, there's golden seeds. But if you remember, I got one when I started the game. So, those let you upgrade your flasks so you can get more healage. And we're not going to run a mage build this early in the game. We might try to transition to it a little later. But right now, we don't even have to worry about it. So, we can upgrade our flasks and we can allocate our flasks right now. So let's do that real quick. Uh, flasks. Add charge to flask. Yeah. And then... Allocate flask charges. Yep, I got gotcha. you. Okie dokie. And... I wish I could. Don't have any sacred tears. Alright. So... Let's get in there, baby. So these things... You can technically get one of the things that allow you to get in here. A stone sword key. I don't have one. Um, and you can get down into the wild darkness down there. But we don't need anything right now from there. So we're just going to keep on a cruising. <laughs> multiplayer. So if you want to do that, you can. Uh, for this playthrough, I'm not going to do much multiplayer, if any. Because I don't really need any. Um, I'm not going to do any of the subquests for any of the multiplayer stuff. But this is one of my favorite moments in this game. Is that you come up here... And you see the door, and it's like, oh. And you go outside, and it's kind of like that same moment that you get in Breath of the Wild. Where you first open up, like, that well, a little, like, crypt that you're in. And then you're just in the game. Like, everything you see here is just the map. And it's awesome, man. It's like, oh, you can go everywhere. And you can jump. First, Dark Souls game first true Dark Souls game where you have a, like an actual jump button. Um, grace exists to guide the Tarnish and lead them along the proper path. Even now, some sites of Grace retain that power. Their golden rays will guide you along their way. But look, I'm supposed to go to the church. Good to know. So, oh, let's talk, yes. talk to this guy. Tarnished, come to the lands between for the Elden Ring. Mm. Unfortunately for you, however... You are maidenless. Hey, without plenty of maidens. Guidance, without the strength of runes and without an invitation. We got no maidens. We got no invitations, dude. Hold, <laughs> you are fated. Oh, rude. Well, let's keep Luckily talking to you. you. However, there is one shining ray of hope for even the maidenless. Mm. Me. <laughs> Vare. What a play. For Take even the maidenless. You have no maidens? Are you familiar it is me. With grace, that you may also behold its golden dance. Yeah. Is the guidance of grace. Mm. Mm. Indeed, it will lead you even okay. if it leads you. Even if it leads me to my grave. Grace's I'm sure I will die in this game. Grace's guidance will reveal the path to Castle Stormvale, the home of the decrepit demigod, Godric Stormvale. the Grafted. Ooh. All right, cool. It's time for castles if you seek the El All right. So, you get the first real test of Elden Ring, which is Oops. That guy right there. Look at him. See him? Many, many tarnished have gone and met him in the field of battle, and many tarnished have been vanquished by him in the field of battle. He is totally not supposed to be played first thing in the game. He is just a gatekeeper to check you and to make sure that you know that you suck and everything you do in this game is futile and you're never going to be good or have any maidens. <laughs> uh, but you can come back and kill him later and it's really fun to do it. Uh, but for right now, we're not even going to mess with him. We're going to go to the church, though. Where's he at? He's down there. Cool. So yeah, those guys, there's a couple of them. Ooh, materials. Yeah. So technically in this game you can craft a lot. I don't do much crafting, but I do like to get the craftable materials because it's kind of clutch. Get the craftables. I like the craft. Golden rune. Woo! 
Um, also, I plan on playing this game a little differently than I've played previous games, where I'm going to try to cut together a bit of stuff into these episodes so that I don't end up spending 10 or like 100 hours of playtime or actual gameplay in this game. Um, because, yeah, this game is really chonky. It takes a lot. Smithy table. Um, strengthen your armaments. Yay. A blacksmith who can make my stuff even stronger. Smithy stone. Uh, I don't think I can strengthen anything, right? Uh, I have them, but insufficient runes. I guess I have the runes that I could spend if I wanted to, but man. And I can also that you're not off. Then why not perch? I am Carly. Oh, Carly, friend. Um, let's see. So here you can get some random stuff. The crafting kits that lets you actually craft, and then these cookbooks and the crafting books are what you can get to um get some stuff or like get the ability to craft different things. And then the wondrous physic. Um, is those these things are like little clues that you can get. Let's see. The land has been tainted by madness. It's only tarnished like yourself. Let's say you're a very well. Cool. Recommendation. You know, if you should buy yourself a, a crafting kit, Look at that. essential really. The kit costs a bundle, and I admit, <laughs> but the important thing is that. You... All right, cool. Goodbye. Um, he now. will tell you some stuff later. But for right now, let us follow the grace. And there's some boys. It's our first boys to fight. Oh, fighting the boys. Me and the boys having a fight. Look at him. Yes. He's coming. Whee! <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha, friend. All right. Cool. We're going to sneak on through to the other side. Um, and there's a, this game has got so much stuff in it, and this map is enormous. So I'm gonna try to go as straightforward of a path as I can, without just like completely jumping through everything. Um, and I'll probably do some farming off camera because I feel like there's a couple things in the game that it's really helpful to have, um, but they're not really like crucial to watch. So I'll probably put together some like smash cuts of stuff in between episodes. That'll make it easier so that we can actually get through this game in a reasonable amount of time. So I'm trying to keep series to like 10 episodes ish and keeping this series to a 10 episode limit is going to be a beast because you can easily invest 100 hours in the game just to be real. That boy is a sneaky boy. He's a big sneaky boy. We're going to sloop around. Meow. Hello, friend. It's a sneak. Into those ends. Hello, friend. Oh, hello, other friend. Yeah, I need to go there and I need to talk to uh, the maiden. But for right now, I'm just going to do some slishing and slashing. <laughs> ah, if you did not know, this game does have the same mechanics as previous Dark Souls games. Whee! And uh, I think the biggest change in this game is that. Uh, they do the delayed mechanic. So, like, a lot of the attacks are super delayed. They come way later than you expect them to show up, and it's just a fun time. Because later in the game, those delays are just really big pains in the butt. Come on, friend. How about thee? <laughs> gotcha. What, what you got in your chest? What were you getting? Let's see. I always forget what's in some of these chests. Uh, greatsword. Fun. If I was doing a greatsword build, wouldn't be a bad pickup. Bonjour. Bonjour, mon ami. Oh. Oh, yeah, it's my friend. Oh, I apologize for your friend. And yeah, since we're so quick, we can get in there before they can attack us, usually, which is really nice. So, yeah. Highly recommend. If you've never done a dex build and you've done, like, the classic, like, guts build, which everyone does, if you're not familiar, uh, Guts, the Guts Sword is uh, like everyone's favorite weapon in the game because it's super cool, to be fair. But um, I just, I don't know. I never really got behind all the strength builds all that much. It is fun to bog. 
I cannot deny the fun of bong. Don't bring out your horn. Don't do it. Who's gonna do it here? I swear. I swear he was about to toot his horn. Toot toot toot. <laughs> Bro! <laughs> I was not expecting him to do that. I didn't see him come up on me. Oh, this game is great. Come at me, foul beast. Come at me. Hmm. I'm just gonna be looping around you. <laughs> yeah, so... Uh, if you've never played this game, those guys are a problem. Deal. Oh, he's called his friends. Ooh. 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 Come on. Dance the dance with me, friend. I'm gonna loop. How rude. Rude. Come to me, friend. Also, Dark Souls. Uh, the classic technique of run into the attack. Don't run away from the attack. That is crucial. Because running away from the attack is a surefire way to get murdered. So, easy pickings from the big boy. And he doesn't drop anything. But you're sitting there and you're like, come on, man. <laughs> he was the only hard one here. Oh, so I picked up a map. I should have said it. I was getting attacked. And I got a little scared. <laughs> but that, those things right there are map things. And you can get... I'll show you. Well, actually, probably shouldn't show you. But you can get maps. So now I've got Limgrave. Look at that. And there's information over there. Come, friend. Bring yourself. Come. Um, we do the circles. Oh, the circles. <laughs> I'm telling you, every game has a way to cheese, and this game has a way to cheese. Uh, golden or the shiny skulls have. Oh, there's a perfect dog. Perfect dog. Gotcha. And I saw. I done seen you, other perfect dog. Come on. Oh. Oh. Hey, hey, rude. Rude, rude. Get him. Get him. Now where's that pirate dog? Where did he go? Where did he go? Oh look at him! Hey, I'm just gonna go hang over here. Don't mind me, I'm just a dog. <laughs> oh, no danger! One of these chests. Okay. Uh, whetstone knife. You can use ashes of war to grant your armaments new skills. Excessive grace. Your armament can only have one skill. Any skill it, pre it previously had will be removed. An armaments type determines what skill it can have. Some special armaments have unique skills and cannot be granted a new one. We got the stamp. Um, yeah, 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 cool. War stomp. Cool. And a whetstone knife. I'm so pumped for the DLC because it is so rare that I get to play a DLC and it's going to be the first DLC I play with you guys. And I haven't played before for Dark Souls stuff, which is going to be awesome. And I really don't feel like Elden Ring is like that Dark Soulsy. It's a little Dark Soulsy, but it doesn't feel like the same as the rest of the games. It's just so big and so much of Dark Souls is like the level layout. And this one doesn't have the same layout. It's got similar stuff, but not the same. Oh, we're just going to sit at the Sight of Grace. Yes. Hello. <laughs> I forget that I'm a duck man. Mm. It is me, duck man. <laughs> Greetings. Hello. Traveler from beyond the fog. It is I, the fog traveler. I am Melina. <clears throat> Not to be confused with Melania. Very crucial difference between the two. A maiden. <laughs> But not really. Technically. Technically not a maiden. I offer you an accord. A an accordion? <laughs> Weird Al Yankovic pops up and starts playing. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've heard of the Finger Maidens. The Two Fingers. Offering guidance and aid to the Tarnished. Mm hmm but you, I am afraid, are maidens. Don't listen to her ghosts. I've got lots of maidens. 
I can play the role of Maiden. <laughs> Turning runes into strength. Yeah, so she's basically our doll from Bloodborne or like, Ring. you know, uh, any of the other main ladies Maiden from the Dark Souls franchise. To the foot of the Erd Tree. Yeah, girl, you can come with me. Then it's settled. <clears throat> Summon me by grace to turn runes into strength. I will do that. Ah, I bequeath to you this the ring. Spectral steed whistle. Use it. It will summon a spectral torrent. Has treat him with respect. Oh, a torrent. Uh, first of all, I can't level Shall up, I can I? Let my hand share them with me. Oh, I totally can. Your thoughts. Great. I'm going to level up my dexterity because that is going to make my stuff do more. Great. And then, um, you know what I'm going to do? Horseback riding. Um, okay. Great. Yep, 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 yep. I want to go back to yes. the church because I think now that it's nighttime, I can go there and talk to my lady. Who's my totally my girlfriend? This way, tarnished. <clears throat> May I have a word? <gasps> my girlfriend's here. Hello. Look, it's my girlfriend. A pleasure to meet thee, tarnished. Oh, pleasure is all mine. I am the witch Rena. Oh, is it Rena? I tell mm. the tarnished hurtling about atop a spectral steed. That's me. And upon looking into the matter, the talk I surmise is of thee. Darn tootin', baby girl. Possessed to the power, no. Yeah. To call forth a spectral steed named Torrent. Mm hmm. That's right. Many handed lady. As I had hoped. <laughs> I was entrusted this for thee. Give it to me. By Torrent's former master. Look at all her hands. The spirit calling bell, the lone wolf's ashes. The bell of calling forth, summon them with it. The spirits will obey thine command. Now Great. it is thine. Um, cool. Various spirits. I can call him Fair. So, now, if I go into my equipment, I have, uh, oops, where's my... I forget how to do that. Well, I'll have to put that on. Forgive my intrusion, Tarnish. You good, baby girl? I doubt we shall again meet. But all the same, learn well the lands between. I will learn. How long now. will it be, I wonder, hmm? before the tarnished tire of obeisance to the two fingers? She's so cool. Rena. That's what she's calling herself. Rena. <laughs> Not Rena. But whatever. We'll believe her for now. Let's put a pin right here. Perfect. There we go. Okay, cool. Let's go. Getting to foul tarnished. Getting to foul tarnished about you. Also, Torrent has the best double jump. Fight me. <laughs> it's the best. Oh, that's right. Uh, side of grace. Let's get off of him. Touch the grace. Look at them all coming. Look at him go. Bye. <laughs> uh, so if you don't know uh touching a side of grace resets all the enemies so everyone that you've killed comes back to life and all of the enemies that were uh you know that were coming after you uh, they don't care about you anymore which is sweet also there's a lot of like discussion oh hello friend of like the lore behind these giant swords hey could you stop Oh, baby. We're not going to die to you, vampire bats. Although I will say with my tiny sword, you are more difficult to beat than with the larger swords. Uh, vanquishing an enemy group will replenish your flasks. Isn't that nice? It's so nice. Oh, there goes a friend. Examine. Godric the Golden, humiliated, having tasted defeat by the blades of Mikela, now on his knees, begging for mercy. Pretty sweet. So, also, you see that bright blue thing? That's the pin that I set. How nice is that? That it's, like, not some clunky UI thing, although you have it on the map, on the top, like you do in Skyrim and stuff like that. 
but it's literally just a beacon that you can walk towards. Frick oh. Who's there? Where are you? I always forget where this guy is. Oh, he's over here. He's in the bush. Right? You? Yeah, you there. Stop pretending he's, you can't see he's me. He's this bush man. What'd you go and do that for? I just rolled into you. Oh yes, some Claude turned me into a tree. What a Claude! You were just breaking the spell, weren't you? He's a monkey man. Thank you. The name's Bok. Bok the monkey I man. I was pushed out of the cave. Then I ended up as a tree. Tree monkey man. Lucky you came along. Yeah. Well, no problem, oh, bud. When they threw me out of the cave, so this is all I have to express. Oh, I didn't need hope. anything. Oh, thanks for the mushroom. Well, if you like could sneak back into the cave and then I'd be of some real use. Yeah, buddy. You can go in the cave. Right. Uh, I'm I'm frightened. My knees. So the cave on the shore. Over here. Right? It's over here. Horse. Assemble, horse. Whoops. <laughs> Jump off the horse. Um, yeah, I think the cave is over here somewhere by the shore, but we're gonna go... Yeah, sorry, this game is a lot of moving, so I'm gonna be cutting a lot of stuff out that's just like... Ow! Ow! Thanks! How did I get murdered so fast? Run! Woo! Thanks for the free souls, friend. Ooh, a key just chilling? And a stab in the back. Hey, get your handy jammy stabs out of here. No, thank you. Thank you, baby. Sight of grace. Sight of grace. The Hweeping Peninsula. Yes. Don't mind if I weep upon the peninsula. Yeah, touch the grace. Hello. Can I talk to you, fair maiden? Hello? Is somebody there? It's me. Might I bend your ear for a moment, please? Yes. My name is Arena. I've escaped from Castle Morn to the south. That's where we're heading. The servants there have rebelled. I... I can't be sure what it is. My eyesight's been weak since birth, you see. But I swear I heard frightful howling from all over. My good father secreted me out <clears> the castle, but decided himself to stay. Oh, she says secreted. Secreted. He says it's his duty. As commander. Hmm. Alright, well, cool. <clears throat> the servants are full of wrath. They've since come for every one of the companions. I fear it's no different. Please, would you mind taking a letter in my soul wishes yeah. to escape? Please. I'll take a letter. Thank you. Then please. Thank you. Deliver it to my father. Let's see what it says. I'm curious. I never read the letters. I'm just a curious little kitten, dude. What does her letter say? Um, okay. Oops. Uh, Commander of Castle Morn. That's all the information I get? Fine. Commander of Castle Morn. Well. I know who's there. And it's gonna be fun times. It's gonna be just a great time. I forgot to get to go to Jellyfish Girl. She's my friend. Jellyfish Girl. Hello. Large boy. I'll be leaving you. Hello, puppy dogs. The pupy dog. So these are the, um, this is actually a really cool piece of, of storytelling. That is, um, the servants. The servants are like, got all yuckied. Come here. I'm coming to get you. Don't run from me. These guys are the equivalent of, um, well, they're the, uh, the, the guys that have all, like, the rare stuff. Mighty shot. Mighty Eagle. <laughs> um, yeah, they give you the... A lot of times they'll give you either uh, random things for upgrades or they'll give you Ashes of War. All good stuff. Um, the Ashes of War are very helpful. Oh, is that another Knight's Cavalry? I never go exploring at nighttime. That's what I'm discovering. Never. I always walk around in the day. Because I'm a big wuss. Here we go. Touch it. 
don't. <laughs> he was coming over. Like, horse, go look at the tarnish. Uh, and then there's another dude. So technically, and this is a hilariously horrible part of this game, is that if you don't want to go around to all of these guys to get their stuff, you can just kill them. <laughs> and you can get their stuff at, like, the main hub, which we'll get to eventually. Um, but it's hilarious. You're sitting there and you're like, that's a terrible thing to encourage. The murdering of our friends. Do I have anything to sell? No, not really. Be well. Hi, horse. Horse donkey man. Horse donk. Ooh, map. Mappage. So yeah, that's the castle we need to get into. Because that's the castle that the girl said her dad was at. He secreted her. She was secreted. The weep Ooh, oh! <laughs> Forgot about that. The Weeping Peninsula. Hi, sheep. Run, sheep. Fly, you fools. <laughs> Fly, you fools. There's the goops. Is that one of the mariners? Is there a mariner in there? If so, I'd like to, to mariner him. Also, Torrent doesn't get poisoned. He's awesome. Poison boom. That's hilarious. It's like, in all the other Dark Souls games, you were wondering, you're like, how am I supposed to get across this giant lake of nastiness? And in this game, they're like, mm, just ride your horse. <laughs> horse will suffice. Yeah, see that guy? He's doing stuff. He's doing stuff. We don't like him. You can actually go and kill this guy pretty easily. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to... Leap. about it. He's mad. Oh, he's a grump. Dodge. Oh, he actually hit us with a little stompy feet. He's got stompy feet. Now, I'm pretty sure he's got a weak spot on his noggin. Oh, I was wrong. <laughs> As it turns out, I was wrong. <laughs> but we still got him. Thousand souls, easy peasy. He's more cool looking than he is difficult. But he's cool looking. And then we can go to um, check out the big swords. So basically, the gut swords, um, they kind of look like that one. Also, uh, guts is from Berserk. So I probably should have mentioned that earlier. Um, but if you've never watched or read it, pretty good read slash watch. The Siege of Cashel Morn. Cashel <laughs> Cashel Morn. A lone hero fights for his vengeance, only to fall at the hand of Lord Godfrey. Lord Godfrey. I kind of forget exactly what's going on in all these castles, so you have to forgive me. But I just know that I wanted to go here, because it's fun. We're going to go down. In. Oh, up. <laughs> I mean, I know exactly what's going on in these castles. <laughs> Clearly forget some things of the game. All right, cool. We here. Oh, these boys. Oh, look at these boys. I forget. There's so many dogs. In like other games, the dogs are like the banes of your existence. In this game, they're really not as slippery as they were before. Oh, I say as I'm about to get murdered. Don't do it, dog. Heal. Pick a dog. Don't do it, Pippido! Oh. We dodged the death from the P.O.P. dogs. Smithy Stone 2! Also in this game, sometimes you're never really sure what's dead and what's alive. And you look at it and you're like, hmm. Are you alive or are you dead? I don't really want to start a bunch of shit in here because those guys will all turn towards me and just be like, hmm, death approaches. And once they make that decision, not really that easy to deal with all of them, but that's you. Oh, oh, puppy dog, puppy dog, don't do it, don't do it, puppy dog. Gotcha. All right, look at him worshiping stuff. Who's fighting? <laughs> Someone's fighting. Are you up there? Are you fighting up there, trying to get to me? The dog. Where were you, buddy? Man, took a lot of damage. 
<gasps> pumpkin head. Do I think I can perfect pumpkin head? We'll see. I don't have any healing. So we'll see. Can I sneaks up on the pumpkins? Can I sneaks up on pumpkins? He's got the delays. That I was talking about. Oh, that one wasn't delayed. Woo! Oh, bonus friend. <laughs> oh, he got me. Oh, but he died. <laughs> that guy killed Pumpkinhead? There's my soul. Whoops. Meant to retrieve my soul. He likes to slam his pumpkin head. Ooh, that's the delay. Come on. I'm telling you, that delay, the delay on the bosses gets wild throughout the game. Oh, there's a friend. Oh, he killed him. Thanks, buddy. Woo! He attacked over the top of me. That was hilarious. All right, well, we killed him. So that's great. Sanctuary stone. Oh, yeah, look at this boy. Look at him coming over here. Oh, he's so grumpy. Yeah. I'm telling you, these swords are so weak, especially once you get the uh, bleeding proc on them. Because then they're just awesome. Can I get one of you? Do I have any items to throw? Can I throw a rock? Yes. Oh, I missed him. Oh, your friend's seen me. The flappers are really not great. Don't love the flappers. Can you come hither? Oh, he notices me too? Okay, don't love that. We're gonna dive. We're gonna dip. Ooh. Ouch. Don't do it. Don't do it. And sight of grace. Touch the grace. <laughs> Rest at the grace. <laughs> oh my gosh, we made it. Cool. Oh, made it. Stressful. Um. Okay, great. Praise the grace. So yeah, that's where I need to go. Right there. That's exactly where I'm headed. That is the boss I've got to beat. He's just the man for the job. Item ahead. Okay. Oh, right there. I could get that. I probably should get that. Why don't I get that? And not die. Ooh, delicious. Stone sword keys. I need those. All right, let's get the talisman. And yep. There it is. Yes. Twin blade talisman. Let's go down. Meow. And uh, meow. And roll. Oops. Okay. Then we go down spears. Seriously, if you haven't played this game before, it is easy to get lost. It's really easy to not know where you're going. And, uh, yeah. That's just the way of, uh, you know, Elden Ring. Go ahead. Get, get to your stuff. Uh, yeah. Got some stuff back. They, um... They give you... I love that they give you the stuff automatically now. Makes life so much easier. Because in Bloodborne, wherever they fell, that's where you had to get them. So that wasn't fun. And the dip. Perfect. Oh, hello. Rat, boys. Oh, no. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Heal. Come at if you wish. There's so many rats. Dodge. Rats. <laughs> Rat dodge. They were they had such ninja syndrome right there. They're just like, let's wait. We don't want to get in anyone's way. <laughs> you know that that what is it where they uh I forget what theory that is, where it's like ninja theory where it's just they all wait their turn patiently in the background they're like oh yeah i can't wait for him to fight my friend and i won't do anything in the meantime 
Ugh, thanks, rats. Appreciate that. I probably should rest because I need everything I have for this guy. And I should level up. Do I have enough for levels? Do I have enough for levels? Ooh, I do. Okay, I have enough for two levels. Um, I'll do Vigor. And I'll do Dex. Yes. Okay. 20 Dex is pretty respectable. It's a respectable amount of Dex to go against First Boy. Our first actual boss. I don't actually have to go up here. I can just go straight over there. So why don't I do that? Why don't I? Hello. Hello, Jelly Boys. Alright, we're going. Our first boss. <clears throat> it would be nice to get him first try, but I don't expect myself to. I haven't fought him in a long time. So, let's see. The misbegotten Leonin. Ooh, there he goes. There he goes. I don't know what I forgot to do. Whoops. Whoops. I'm being a fool. There's my death. I deserved it. I forgot to turn on my my wolves. What I should have done first and foremost. I got completely trashed. <laughs> Reverse. The nightmare fog. Bring the dogs. Come to me, dogs. stuck in there. Not me. Woo. Whoa. No. Okay, okay. We're good. Oh, I used too many. That's going to come back and haunt me. Jump to me, baby. Nice job, dog. Holy, you gotta be kidding me. Nope. We got him! Yes! <laughs> Dogs! The grafted blade the great oh, grafted blade great sword is an awesome weapon, by the way. Um I'm not going strength though, this game. But if you're going strength, I'll show it to you because it's awesome. Look at this thing. I don't care. Get it. It's so cool. And if you didn't believe that George R. R. Martin planned this game, well, guess again. Because <laughs> he definitely did. That's like the most Game of Thronesy thing I've ever seen. Oh, cool. We needed that guy done. Fair. He's barren. Nope. Nope. Don't jump at me. Don't jump at me, bear. Is he jumping? Is he gonna jump again? Ooh, ooh. Nope. Here we go. Oh, I did it again. I, I lay over healed. Oh. Can I get his head? Yes! Bear head. Room bear. Oh. He's only one head away from death. And there he goes. My little bear friend. Oh, it's going to talisman. It's completely worthless. Yay! Mausoleum prowls, revealing the soulless demigod. O America, Queen Eternal, here he is your unwanted child. Oh, bad. Church of Pilgrimage. <gasps> yes, I knew there was a reason I came here. Sacred Tear! Woo! That is totally worthwhile. Let me show you. 
Uh, where is the sacred here? I'm guessing, is it in key items? There it is. Improves sacred flasks potency. So, if I was to touch this site of grace now, you get, so there is like actual benefits to, you know, exploring in this game, which is nice. Flasks. Increase amount of healing. Yes. So now we heal more. Sweet. Which is awesome. The churches are generally worthwhile going. Pro tip. Go to the churches. Be wary of boss. Yeah, I know it's a boss. Time for holy. I don't have holy damage. Become. Woo! Hey, don't. Oh man, he, does, he takes a ton of dang it. Oh, oh, there we go. I'll just heal up because we're going to be able to kick his butt. Oh my lord. Oh. Yeah, what a boss. The cemetery shade. We've got uh, Lhutl, the headless. Thank you, Lhutl. Oh, Lhutl. Woo! Uh, also. Root resin. This is where you get root resin if you need it for crafting. All right, limb grave. So, for this part, all you want to do, get on your horse uh, and just run. Because just to be honest, this area is problematic. Yep. Yep. You could try to fight your way through that, but it's just kind of like not worth your time at all, and it's just a hard stop for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> That's a moose. Now where is the site of grace? Storm Hill. Oh, is this jellyfish girl? I think. Who's hurrooing at me? Oh, look at these thunder wolves. Assemble thunder wolves. Thunder wolf. Oh. I understand that the camera work is probably making you bar. Because I, too, am barfing. Gotcha. Was it necessary for me to do that? No. Hey. Hey. Stop. I'm getting down. Got you, wolf. All right, cool. We got him. We got him. We got him. I'm pretty sure that those wolves are there. So you have to get off and, and talk to this young lady right here. Who, to be fair, is a, is a very kind person. All she does is give you a jellyfish. Let's go talk to her. Yes, lost praise. I'll talk to you. Hold on, baby. Hold on, baby. Let me get your... Oh. <laughs> Hold on, baby. Let me fumble around these logs for a hot minute and see what's going on. Ooh, Stone Sword Key. That is such a clutch pickup. What's going on? Everyone's been grafted. <laughs> Gross. Everyone who came with me. They crossed the sea for me. They fought for me. Only to have their arms taken, their legs taken, even their heads taken, taken and stuck to the spider. That's Did you know, if you're grafted by the spider, you become a chrysalid? It's quite a lark when you think about it. Oh, isn't it? Yes. Sitting sideways. I would like to sit sideways. Don't mind being a little bashful gal. You're all on your own, are you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to Stormville Castle. The one in the white mask, I suppose. Well, that makes us. T I don't have your career. It's scary, you know, having your. I want to be like everyone else, but I'm, I'm nothing but a. Cr okay, well, give me. Oh, I know. Can you take this little one along with you? Yeah, I'll take your jellyfish. You deserve someone, and the spirits will be glad of your. So the the jellyfish summon. People sleep on it. Pretty solid summon. Honestly, uh, it has a ton of health. Uh, it doesn't do a ton, but it does do poison damage, which is pretty great, all things considered. Um, so if you're looking to do some poison damage, have something that's going to survive an actual boss encounter, because the wolves, like, they're gone in, like, 30 seconds, you know? So if you're having a hard time with the wolves actually being around, don't get out your horse. Whee! Whoa! The booty stomp! Don't do it, friend. Once again, 
the circle. And we butt stab. Butt stab. Thank you. Um, yeah. Sorry, what was I talking about? Uh, yeah, if you're struggling with boss encounters, having like a summon that actually lives for more than like five seconds, the jellyfish is not bad. Um, and the poison, kind of clutch, just to be real. I think it is, at least. Oh, I know you're trying to lure me into some danger. Yeah, you hear that? <laughs> That's danger. Come on, run. Get him. Ashes of War Wild Strikes. Woo! We dodge. We dip. We dive. We dodge. It's so funny, I always do this with, um with my horse, and yet I'm just choosing to just flop my way through. That's alright. My two, if you so wish. Wow, I caught that in the face. Jeez! Heal. Look at him. Look at this guy. Uh, but the funny thing is, you get in here, and there is a uh, side of grace right here. So, you know, just turn it on. Touch the grace. And you're good to go. He's coming if you want to. And no thanks. You can go back and fight them all if you want to, but not really much of a need to do it. Uh, there's not really anything to be gained from fighting every single mob in this game, especially since everything is uh, not linear. It's just kind of is what it is. Do I have anything in or I don't really want to sort the chest. I want to go. Should I do that? <laughs> uh, I kind of want to try out the headless, but I don't really trust them. So, you know, I think we're pretty good here. We'll use the wolves for the boy. If you know who I'm coming after, you'll know exactly what's about to happen. And it's going to be one die. Because this, this right here, is our first real challenge of this game. And a challenge it will be. It's also the first time we've called Foul. Foul tarnished. In search of the Elden Ring. Mm. Emboldened by the flame of ambition. Mm. He's an awesome character, by the way. Leave. Ooh. Have at the vile beast. Someone must extinguish thy flame. <laughs> Let it be Margaret the Fell. Yeah, and you think that the cutscene is like, oh, he's so far away? No, he's not. The delays. Come in, Mago. Oh, his range is quite girthy. He's got that girthy boy range. And the, the wolves are actually kind of clutch for Margaret because they can distract for a hot minute. Come to me, Margaret, the girthy boy. Oh, see the wolves distract. Not enough distraction. No. Also, if you go to the side, you will fall off the edge. Which is very rude. He will never. Don't get my dogs. Woo! He got my dog. Oh, he be slicing. Oh, I took some damage from Margaret. Oh, here comes the flames. Ready? Awesome move. Oh, he plowed. Oh, oh. Oh, yeah. Come on. Hit him with the boss. Hit him with the boss sauce. Shabow! You have to retarget him. I know it sounds silly. It is the way of the Elden Lord. Retarget is required. Roll into him. That's right, baby. Target. We gonna first try it, baby. I shouldn't be talking trash. He got his grumps out. Alright, alright. We just need to be patient. Yeah, target the dough. Oh, I don't need to be getting cocky. Just 
once he gets going, once he gets going, he'd be getting going. Oh, I couldn't even see him. No. 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 Oh, man, I should have had him. That was rude. That was very rude, Margaret. Yeah, I got cocky. I shouldn't have done that. I should have just hung around, but we got real close. Woo. All right, boys. Second time's the charm with Margaret. Margaret. Oh, he's coming. Oh, he's coming for that booty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, come at me. I don't like him over there. Because if there's the dogs can't really Okay, there we go. No. Oh he be tapping. Oh he tapping. Let's heal. Let's not be fools. Yep, love it, love it. Don't love it. Less loving it. Margaret. Oh he getting hammery. Here he comes. Ready? Yeah, baby. And then get him with the sauce. A little bit of sauce for the market. Oh, no thanks. No thanks. Let's heal up. Let's just be nice and safe. Dogs distract Margaret. He'll never see the dogs coming. He's seen the dogs coming. Okay. Oh yeah, he's coming. Let's heal. Yeah, Bubba. Yeah, Bubba. Come on over. Dogs distract. Oh. Please kill the dog. Man, how did he get me? Dog. Dog. Go, dog. Nope. Nope. And here comes. Oh, he got my dog. You didn't die, me, mean dog. Oh. Thank you for your service, dog. <laughs> talisman pouch. I got a pouch for talisman. And I smoldering with All right, buddy. Whatever you say, Margaret. <laughs> well, he whooped our butt once. We'll take that. But you know, we're not mad about it. Oh, is our friend coming? Hey, girl, what's up, baby? Forgive me. I've been testing you. What kind of death? To see whether or not Grace truly does guide you. He does. And whether you are fit to face the challenge that entails. I couldn't tell you if I'm it fit. I am a duck man. It were unfounded. <laughs> Torrent had your measure from the very start. He is a good boy. Whereas I merely pretended. There is but one other thing I can do to offer you guidance. Yes. I can take you to the round table hall. Dude, I want to go there. Gathering place of tarnished That's where I can put bleed on my swords. Guided by grace. Yeah. Very well. Let my hand rest upon you. For but a moment. Let it rest upon me. My duck lip boy. Yes. Uh, the round table hold is the equivalent of like uh Firelink Shrine in Dark Souls 3. Um, or the Nightmare in Nightmare Dream in Bloodborne. Uh, where you talk to Gurman. Um, yeah. Uh, we're tarnished gather, guided by grace. Combat is prohibited on the premises due to a pact of non-aggression. Rule is in effect when the round table icon is displayed. The round table hold is located outside of this world, and fast travel by grace is only is the only means of reaching it. There you go. So you can only get here by fast travel. Uh, and look at this boy. Gideon. Oh, this is a rare occasion. I can't remember the last time a new tarnished made their way to the round table. Very well. And it is safe here. Tell me more, I'll Gideon. You are a mere visitor, house mm -hmm. guest. Yet to remember your place, newcomer. He's rude. Um, but you know that's the way he is. Ah, hello. I'm well. Just call me Dialos. The Dialos. Old house holds little import in these. By the way, she's my servant. But fickle, take your eyes off her for but a moment. <laughs> if you find her, 
Uh, let's just clear out some conversations here. There's no one in here yet. Okay, that's good to know. But basically... Is Edgelord here? No. Oh, there's our blacksmith. Uh, remember uh, the deathbed lady? There she is. She's a deathbed lady. What a friend. And this guy is who we really need to talk to. Your new face. Loud your arms. So here is where we can do all the stuff. We can do Ashes of War on our weapons. We can do Ashes of War duplication. We can strengthen our armaments. We can do all that stuff right here, which is perfect. Um, yeah, and we'll be able to put fire and stuff or burn a, or what's it called, bleed on our swords. Today, I am going to do a couple of sub quests, but really I'm gonna to try to advance the main quest. And the first thing that I wanna do is I want to go and talk to this guy because he lets you know well, you're back, about something uh, specifically. The howl of a wolf. Mm -hmm. I suppose he must still. I know. Next time you hear the wolf's <laughs> howl, make, oh, don't fret. I just have an inkling. That... Yeah, so we need the finger snap. Goodbye for now. And the finger snap is going to be what gets us to a very friendly boy. Um, which he's right over here. Uh, there he is. That's where we're going. Let's go here. And go there. And, uh, yeah. There's a couple things to do, uh, right away. Um, I guess we can meet Kenneth, too, because he's right here. And then, um, there's a big friend that we've got to meet, too, who's one of my favorite characters in the whole game. Um, but first things first, we've got to meet, uh, probably... Well, I mean, I would say one of the coolest character models in the game. And you can get his armor later on if you follow the quest line, which we will be following. Um, but Blythe is just awesome. He's such a cool character. I love him. Don't do it. Let me snatch your runes. Don't chase me, friend. Wee 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 woo. Alright, so he's right up there, by the way. Oh, don't- are they still following me? No. He's right there. See him? So... Let's jump off... of Torrent. And... over here. And then we'll meet our friend. Let's get our snaps out. Snaps. Whoops. Switch with- where's finger snap? Finger snap. There it is. Um, ready? There he is. It's Blythe. Can we talk to the bay? Who goes there? Carly sent you, did he? Never the bloody busybody. Hmm. The name's Blythe. Blythe. I'm looking for a man who goes by Darrow. Apparently, an Irish name, Blythe, because it looks like Blade, but it's Blythe. Also, I've heard. Come tell me if you find him before I do. So he wants us to go and fight a dude at an Evergale, or an Everjail, um, and he is going to be one of the summons there. And that Everjail, if you're curious, is this right there. It's really close. It's so easy to do. Uh, so let's head over there and do it real quick. Um, yeah, he doesn't like the dude there. <laughs> and he's been chasing him down. Uh, but basically he wants you to summon him so that you can go in there and just, uh, you know, and tap him up for Blythe, but Blythe is coming with you. Um, yeah, it'll be fun to do. Come on, baby. We're gonna dip through. Whee! Also, I'm gonna try to do less cuts because I was told by a couple people that they just want to see the gameplay. So, less cuts, which is fine with me. It makes it easier in my life, honestly. I was just trying to give a really quick experience of the game. And I really want to get through this game because, man, I can't wait for the DLC. I'm so excited to DLC it up. Whee! There we go. That's the Everjail right there. So we're going to jump on in here. And this time, when we get in, you're going to notice there's going to be a summon right in there. Pretty sure it's right when we get in. Let's double check, because 
Yeah, there's that. There it is. So this is Blythe. Yeah. It also makes this fight way easier because this guy is really sneaky. Come on. Come on, Blythe. Look at all the blood stains. <laughs> Darrow. Rotting in a cell is no true justice. Alright, ready? No. Blade. This is where it ends for you. Woo! Oh yeah, we doing some stuff. Oh, we got him. Dip, dip. Look how easy this is with Blythe. Ooh! Got him. I got hit a little bit at the end, but... Ooh, the Bloodhound Fang. Bloodhound Fang is really, really good, by the way. Um, it's just a little bit bigger of a weapon, and I don't like to use it, because... I like to be a big faced boy. I like to be faced. And uh, the Bloodhound uh, Tooth is just not great. But um, the Bloodhound Step is awesome. A lot of people run that. It's fine. Um, I don't know, as far as, you know, abilities to use. It lets you be real slippery. It lets you run really fast. So it's nice, but it's not a must-have for me. Especially with the build I'm going to be doing. But I don't know. A lot of people like the Bloodhound Step. And look, Blight is here now. Oh, let's go talk to you, Blight. Tell me a little bit about what you need then, bud. Ah, right. There you are. Not to work for it, but it's done. Don't say I'm not a man of my word. Somber smithing stones, too. Really not great. Oh, yes. If you venture north to Rea Lucaria and come across a venerable <laughs> blacksmith, tell him I sent you. I will. To sure to treat you. I owe you one, I reckon. And we are going to go to Rea Lucaria? Or... <laughs> Sorry. We are going there. Um, so that'll be fun. Uh, so also the churches here are kind of clutch, and I want to go there because down in there is a really sweet katana. Uh, it's the Moon Veil Katana, and I do like that one quite a bit. Um, but next, we want to go here because we want to go talk to Alexander because I love him, and he's adorable. And if you don't like Alexander, uh, you hate on the just and the kind. Because <laughs> Alexander's awesome. Also... I kind of want to go and kill pumpkin heads because pumpkin heads are just fun to kill. I love them. They're also not that hard. And they generally give you a couple souls. Oh! <laughs> I say as I get bopped right away. Well, he's in the bops. Okay, well, that was easy. Sanctuary stones from you. Alright. Well. <laughs> I talked up pumpkin head and, uh,. He really wasn't hard at all. Let's go up here. Because he's right up there. Yeah, you hear him? <laughs> also, I did a couple things off camera, but not much. I just did a little bit of exploring. Look at There he is. Hello, sir. Oh, my stars. I'm so happy to see you. And I, you, friend. I am Alexander, also known as the Iron Fist. And as you can see, I'm stuck here. Please. <laughs> yeah, I'll help My you out, buddy. Thanks. Just give me a good smack from the rear, and I'll pop <laughs> clean up. Don't dally. Give it your <laughs> It doesn't have to be something big. It just has to be a couple whacks. Pretty sure it's just a damage threshold. There he goes. Triumphant delight. Look how cute he is. Oh, Alexander. <sighs> Isn't he so cute? <laughs> oh. Well, I thank you. And oh, I'll give it to me. My appreciation. It's gonna be a little, yeah, exalted flesh. All right, all right. Again, pleasure is mine. I journey to the east. Where and beyond these lands lie the sit upon this mm. which is Redmain Castle. The Festival, Festival of Redon. I'd heard whispers of such festivities before. Doesn't the notion set you <laughs> It does. I am quite excited then, Alexander. Quite excited. Hello, look, it's a dog. <laughs> I don't know why, but the Elden Ring community likes to call the turtles dogs. So they're dogs. We live with the dogs. Ooh. A snatch? We gonna run through. 
We're gonna run, baby. Hello, castle. Oh, there is one thing that I did get. Um, I got half of the uh, Daedalus medal because I was just walking around over there. Ooh, friend. Have I gotten this one already? I have gotten this one because um, I was just walking around and I forgot that the Daedalus medal was in this one spot, but you need it to get to a certain part of Nokrom, and um, which is a city underground. Uh, so yeah, I figured, hey, might as well. Don't you run from me. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Come here. Come on, buddy. The Tibia Mariner. Uh, you need to fight the Tibia Mariners to get the the love and ad adoration of one of the uh, PCs of the game. Don't do it. <laughs> I forgot that they can hurt each other. Nope. Don't do it. Don't do it. Tibia. Oh, he's splashing. Oh, he be splashing. <laughs> oh. Yeah, get your friends. Watch out, he's riding the wave. Hey, don't. Don't do it. There's my bike. Come here, bye. Um, also, another note that I got was that people didn't want me to do summons as much. So I'm going to do less summons unless I need them. Oh, there's a friend back there. I think I can get him. Ooh, come here. Gotcha. And then those guys fade away. But he gives you a death root, which you can feed to Garank. Ooh, ashes too. And Garank, uh, you know, it's kind of a weird subquest because Garank's not super cool most of the time. Uh, and eventually he kind of tries to kill you. But you know, you live and you learn with Garank. Also, I know that at times when I'm fighting bosses, I get a little quiet, but you'll have to forgive me because, man, sometimes it takes focus. And I'm trying to be quick about it while also allowing for enough challenge in there because I don't want to just cheese it. Because really, there is a summon in the game that is by far the best, right? We all know it. It's the Mimic um, or the Tear. <clears throat> and instead of using F, P to bring the summon in, you just use a little bit of health, but it's basically a mimic of yourself. Um, and to beat it quickly... Oh, do I have one of the keys? Oh, no, I do not want to attack a turtle. Um, to beat it, all you have to do to cheese it is you go in there with no weapons and no armor equipped, and it has the same thing, and you basically can never take damage from it, and then you can put your stuff back on, and you're good to go. But it also... Oh, turtles! Hi, turtles! Are they going to say dogs? Dog. <laughs> Dog. Time for death. Dog. These guys are just friends. Um, yeah, the Mimic tier, it's great. I don't know if I'm going to get it this playthrough just because it feels so cheesy, but it is just good to have. I got a turtle talisman. Yay, the turtles. <clears throat> but yeah, I don't know. I feel like as far as um, gameplay goes with the summons, I'm not opposed to them. I feel like the game put them there for a reason, you know? It's, it's not necessarily an easy game to play. So if you need some summons, summon away. Um, and I like to play with summons because I feel like it uh, distracts the boss enough for you to heal because some bosses are really frantic. <clears throat> but if you're not dealing with that issue, then I don't know. Who cares about the summons? <laughs> Is that another church? Have I been to this church? The, uh, the, the place I'm going is down there. Hello, friend. Past that guy. But I'm going to go to this church. I can't remember if this is Blood Church? Because we're going into Kaled area. Ooh, yeah. So there's a boss in here, or there's a big enemy. Um, Kaled is uh, one of the more disliked areas. <laughs> okay. I'm going to turn this on. And let's dance. There he is. I'm fast. Ooh, but he whacks. I healed. Oh, 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 oh. We dodge and we heal. That's the bar. That's the nice part about um, dealing with like light weapons is that you can move out of your animation so quickly, which in this game is kind of clutch. Come on. Ooh, he's trying. 
I feel like um this game or these these games have always had this kind of like butcher blade in them and they love the butcher blade and it's always got that animation Ooh, we coming down to it tell me a baby oh she be jumping gotcha sorry Anastasia yeah but Caleb as I was saying is like the most unloved area in this game uh, because it's got the T-Rex dogs to be fair T-Rex dogs are a pain in the butt uh, and it's a pretty solid like difficulty spike compared to the rest of the game early game um, but you know difficulty spikes are what this game is all about <laughs> really though I'm gonna get some more endurance so that I may continue to swap my sword more efficiently yes so I've decided that I want to try a build that I've never really done before that I want to give a shot to. Well, to so, to let's build it together, shall we? Uh, Ash of War Duplication, I want to Ash of War Bloody Slash Duplicate. Yes, perfect. Uh, so then I want to put both of them with the blood. Yeah, on that one. And then I want this one on there as well with the blood. Heck yeah! Uh, so then, do I, I need to just build a, burn a little bit of resources. Let's do two of those. Um, now, we've got blood scimitars. Yes. Already, which are better. awesome. Um, so let's strengthen our swords. Can I not? Oh, I need more. Alright, whatever. I'll do it. I'll do it. I just need to go get some of that stuff. Some of that sweet, sweet stuff. Um, but I can do that at the tunnel, right? If I go down here, I can do that. So let's do it there. See if I can go grab some upgrade stuff. Because if I can upgrade those, whoo, baby, those are going to be so sweet. Um, I've never run Blood Scimitars early game, but I get the feeling like it's going to be awesome. Because I usually try to just, I don't know, I've done a lot of strength builds. I like decks in Dark Souls 3. I like to run the Lothric Knight Swords. Um, so don't judge me for that because it's one of my favorite builds of any game. And I know that everyone likes to do the big weapons in that one, but come on. The Loth Lothric Knight Swords are so sweet. Um, yeah. So let's go ahead and. I already put that on there. Where is it? There it is. Let's go in there. See if we can grab what we need to grab. Because there's a lot of cool stuff down there, actually. Can I sneak down, or do I need to die? All right, I can get in there. Perfect. Sweet. There's a giant dragon there, which uh, he's hilarious. And uh, yeah, he just really, he's really just a good time, that dragon. And jump. Ooh, ooh, I didn't die. Love that. Hi, friends. Hello. But basically, now my swords all do bleed proc, which is awesome. And although most of the stuff in these areas don't bleed, uh, ooh, is there a little hidden spots? Yes, there is. I'm going to do that. Um, leap! Sweet! There's always little hidden spots in the mines that if you go to, and it's worth doing because a lot of times, there's little items in here, and let's see what's down here. Yeah. Golden Rune 4. Already worthwhile. Um, but yeah, all my stuff does bleed now. So now my my job is to attack frantically and often. So my little dodge in, dodge out technique, it's not going to work as well anymore. But that's fine. Let's do this. Perfect. And then let's start upgrading our stuff real quick. Gotcha. Ooh. Sweet. Hi, dog. Booty. <laughs> Ooh, I've got no healing. That's not great. That's not great at all. But we can sneak over here. I've got no FP. We're just living the dream, baby. What's in here? 
Is he... Oh, it's just one of these guys. All right. I say that, and I know that he'll probably kick my butt, because I've got no healing. Ooh, he got the slam. Let's give him some blood. Oh, man, that does so much. Oh, he done got me. To be fair, I had no healing. I was just flying by the seat of my pants. Basically, once I go in there now, I should have no problem. Beating. Ooh, steak. I love a good steak of America. So this is our first time experiencing these. The steaks, they um allow you to just respawn right next to the boss, which is awesome. Ah. Let's steak of America it up and go and kick this by right in the tuckus. But now that we've got our blood stuff. Ooh, whoops. They go the wrong way. Oh, oh, it's down there, right? The steak is here? So interesting. Oh. Okay, well, let's just run through because I don't need to deal with any of y'all. Whee! Yep, that I kind of need to wait for this, which is a little bit suboptimal. If I'm being entirely honest. Ouch. Okay. Whee! Follow me if you will, friend. <laughs> I was hoping he was going to come down. All right, perfect. He did. <laughs> <laughs> he followed me. Oh, did you drop something nice? Hey, Smith and Stone. Not complaining about that one bit. All right, we runs in. Wee -dee 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 -dee. Hey, what's up, friend? Have some blood. Oh, I missed him with my blood. Don't do it. Oh, don't do it. Let me get my runes. Let's heal. Must prepare to do battle with the boy. Oh, he attacked. Take it. Really should have healed, but I'm alive still. Against all odds. Nope. Nope. Whoops. Slamming. Oh, he's slamming. Oh, he's hitting me with the slam witch. Woo! Oh, he keep on slamming. Let's heal up one more time and hit him with some blood, and we good. Oh, I missed him. There we go. Bye, friend. A roar medallion. What does it do, and how terrible is it? Let's see. Roar. Enhanced roar and breath attacks. I don't do any of that. <laughs> Let's go deal with a dragon. This boy has been just sitting here all game. And if you want to, you can just go straight over here and fight him. But he's a little difficult. Ag heal. So, give him a smacking around. Come on, baby. I don't really like him very much, and he's a pain in the butt. Dodge. Woo! Oh, come on. Aggies. Have some bleed. Ooh, that's rude, Aggies. Yeah, there he goes. There he goes. Okay, we're gonna try to run at him from diagonals. We don't get fired. Oh, he killed a friend. Appreciate that, bud. Okay, keep running. Ready? Here he comes. And dodge. He does a couple flaps, and then you just dodge out of the way of the flaps. Ooh, the bleed. Dang, that bleed is huge. No thanks. <laughs> 
you got me? No, thank you. Don't walk, don't slap away, buddy. Woo. Oh, we go this way. You gotta go to the left of them. Perfecto. Let's get a little healing. Because why not? You gonna drop your flags? Nope. Oh, I missed. Don't do it. Oh, he done hit me. Pardon me, Ag Heal. Are you gonna do your flaps again? Oh, no, you're just getting some distance. I don't really like that you do that. Running, running, running. Ooh, rock. That rock almost had me. <laughs> oh, come on. We're close to Aggie. Woo! In the face. No, thank you. And let's just do that for fun. Oh, we missed him. Got him. Sweet. Great enemy fell. How many souls do you give me? 5k! And I get a dragon heart. Uh, that is really worth it. Also, once you beat him, see that little arc over there? You get to go over there and have a little friendly chit chat with a friend. Pretty sure that there's. Is there anything in here worth doing? I forget this little ruin. I need to stop being so distracted. Let's stop being distracted. Yeah, there's something down there. Well, we can be distracted for a sec. Come on. Dogs, dogs, I just beat a dragon. Don't make the dogs kill me. Although that really sounds par for the course of this game. Reds. Are the dogs still behind me? <laughs> Don't do it, rat. Rats. Don't. Oh, there was a bonus rat. We dodge. I'm telling you, even the most simple enemies in these games are huge problems. <laughs> healed as much as I healed against the dragon. <laughs> Arc oh, rune arc down here? Dang! Those things empower the uh, greater runes that you get from defeating the main bosses of the game. And they are clutch. Oh, it's a teleporter. Let's see where it takes me. See, this is why you don't go distracting yourself. You get sent into the netherworld. <laughs> oh, to the crystal tunnel? That's not that's not bad. Except for the fact that there's a lot of enemies in here who are very strong. Clutch staff. Oh, that's right. I forgot about those guys. I'm pretty sure that the stuff in here... Oh yeah, it's way too high level for me. Oh no, but I had so many souls! That was a mistake. That was a mistake. Well, whatever. Oh! Whoa! Oh, there's so many of them. Ooh, we're dodging and we're diving! I'll grab him. Ooh! Ooh, okay, heals. And we out. Oh, my lord. Oh, my lord. Alright. Ooh, side of grace. Side of Grace. Clutch Side of Grace. I don't even know where it put me. Where am I? Oh, I'm just right there. That's really not that far away from all the stuff I've been doing. Eh. Fine. Thank you. I definitely don't want to be here. Ooh. That's fun. That's very fun. Alright, I need to stop being distracted. As I said before, 
I'm a very distractible man. Is there? Yes. Let's grab that side of Grayson. Deep. And uh, deep. Ooh, a dog. I got the dog. All right, let's go, baby. Yeah, so this is where we beat Margit, if you recall. So we're going to go in here and there's a dude. There is a boy. There's a boy in here that we don't like. We're going to deal with them. <laughs> I think that you have two choices. You can either go in through here and run by everyone or you can go around. Either way is fine. Come over here, would oh, you? I'm coming over. I... It's tightly guarded. Oh, <laughs> the guards don't you breach the... Uh, sure. Yeah, I pray. So this boy, he might seem like, oh, he's just a dude. No, he is a jerk. And if you don't kill him, he's going to take all your stuff. Not even joking. He'll take all your runes. Uh, he, like, robs you as you go through. He's a jerk. But he's got the bell, flash shard, and a silver pickle towel. But if you don't kill him, though, uh, when you beat Godric, he's there and he's kicking him, which is funny. Um, so that's you know just a hoot. But um, yeah, he's he's a jerk and steals your stuff. So I don't really don't want to deal with him. So I'll take his tip and I'll be out of here. Um, but. I was I gonna? Oh, the birds. The birds are wild. Just be prepared. When they come down, they're gonna be burdened. They burden up a storm. There he is. Oh. Nope. <laughs> that was hilarious. I told you, the camera really isn't your friend because when I was focusing on him I was running towards him and nope wasn't gonna help me out <sighs> thanks thanks for the cliff roll there bud I'll take that but yeah Godric the Grafted he's a really fun fight so I'm excited to do that one um yeah let me get my runes back oh these guys the horn tutors ready for the horns because he Yep. He welcomes all his friends. Oh. Not easy to fight these guys on here, mind you. Don't recommend it. But you gotta do what you gotta do, baby. An exile hood. Delightful. Um, also in this game, armor is like a little bit more of a thing than it was in previous FromSoft games. Really not much. You can wear the same armor most of the game. It's not going to do a whole lot. Hello. The bleeds. I love the bleeds. Ooh. I love to roll. Uh, also, just so you know, they love to blow stuff up on you. Watch. Yep. When you see those bar barrels, just don't. Just don't. Not worth it. And you? Gotcha. But if you roll through them, apparently the oil that's in them is no longer flammable. <laughs> it's all good once you roll through them. Oh yeah, this is a hilarious one. The first time I did this, uh, I was terrified. Because you go in here, and you're like, hmm, interesting. I wonder what's in here. And then you hear a knife, and there he is. There's the bite. He's a problem, by the way. Butt stab. Butt stab. Let's heal, and then let's deal with the rest of them. 
Oh, I was gonna butt stab. Let me butt stab. Nope. Rude. Yeah, see, he's a problem. I'm telling you. Because he's pretty merciless once he gets going. Oh, come on, bud. Nope. Nope. Hey. 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 <laughs> <laughs> he got me. I was talking so much trash on him, too. <sighs> what a rude boy. Well, we'll go through there. There he is. Nope. 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 Heels. Oh, yeah. Butt stab. You know what we're gonna do? Nope. Woo! I forget about the bleed slash. That thing is so weak. Alright, we got him. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Ooh, the curved sword talisman. I think that's pretty good for my build, isn't it? Am I tripping out? Uh, no. It's not. Well, that's fine. <laughs> Back in the um, beginning of the Dark Souls 3 days, um, the Karthus Curve Swords were like the thing to be playing. And uh, you could put a little bit of rouge on them and ooh, that bleed build was nice. Um, but yeah, I don't really run a lot of bleed builds in Dark Souls 3. Um, or 2. <laughs> or any of the Dark Souls games, really. Just this guy. Um, but it is fun. I will say, it is fun. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> it is fun to do these shows. Someone fell. <laughs> it's so funny to see these those moments when the, the NPCs just decide that they're done with this, this life, man. They're on to the next thing. Just getting some free runes for no good reason. Alright, up the ladder. We go ups the ladder. Ups the ladder. Oh, look at him! That is classic FromSoft. If you don't like jump scares, these games are not for you. Is there a bonus? No, I was like, is that another friend? Hmm. Hmm, friend? Up the stairs. I know for a fact there's going to be more jump scares to be had. Ooh. So these guys are difficult. But I don't really need to deal with them right now. Because I don't need any business with them. Is there... This is a short one, right? But I don't have access to it. That's right. Ooh, there's the grace. That's exactly what I need, though. Grace. <laughs> Made it. All right, let's rest here. Do I have enough for a level? 4,300? That's a good chunk. Ooh, I don't. But I think I can burn one of these guys and I'll have enough. Let's see. No. <laughs> I don't. But I think if I use all these guys, then I should have enough. It's nice to also like clear those out of your inventory every once in a while because I feel like they stack up forever. And I never remember. And that's on me. Ooh, endurance. I'm gonna do a little bit of that. A little vigs. I'd like to get vigor and endurance up to 20. And then from there, I can start going crazy. Ooh, the bloodhawks. These boys are very rude. Yep, they do that to you. Nope. Oh. Rude. Take it, Bloodhawk. Yeah, but the two of them is a lot to deal with. One is a lot. Oh! <laughs> well, I didn't have to worry about it. They took care of the problem themselves. <laughs> that never happens. The first time I dealt with them, I was like, okay, so this is just the problem of the game right here, right? The Hawks. Because oh, they are rude. Those things are... 
fast and they blow stuff up at you all the time. Let's go down. Let us explore. Ooh, nuggets. Ooh, some golden runes. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm gonna try jumping, but I'm gonna just. Oh! Okay, cool. I took no damage. <gasps> Ooh. There is a friend in here. Hey, bud. Ah, the pleasure's mine. Rogier! Rogier is the name. A sorcerer. I'm looking for a little something when I'm not hot footing it from the mm. troops. But enough about me. What this place is bristling with tarnished hunters, you know? They sacrifice our kind. Not exactly Gross. the place I'd stroll into without a. I'm here I to kill Godric. Here to challenge Godric and let you can see it then. I take well. <laughs> I'm tarnished, but unlike you, I've seen neither hide nor hair of this guidance for the long still. Mm, bummer. I won't forget how it felt when I first. I'm privy to a few. Would you care to learn what? As a fellow tarnished. I don't really think I need any of his stuff. No. I don't. Those are awesome, though. Um, what were you looking at? Will you tell me about it? No. He's looking for something. Uh, but basically, we're getting closer to Godric, which I'm excited about. Is there a Sight of Grace in here? I can't remember if there's a Sight of Grace down here. Whoops. And we And we But there is a big boy down here. I know that. And he's not fun to deal with. He's basically the uh, the knight I dealt with in the area up above. And then he's got a friend, too. Which is super not nice. Super not nice. Nope. Nope. We're gonna heal. Let's do the dance, baby. Nope. Oh, I thought I had him with the butt stab. Come on. Let me get to your butt. Let me get to it. Ooh. <laughs> There's the butt. That's what I'm looking for. And then have some of this. And have some more of that. That is really good. Sweet. We made it. <sighs> I, I actually like this build. I have not run a build like that ever. That's really fun. Uh, I didn't need to go up here. So I won't. Ooh. But I'm really excited to be Godric. I want to be Godric. Okay, thank you. I just want to go down. I don't want to see you fall to your death. Oh, he's fallen. <laughs> that guy fell off. Legit. You fell off, man. <laughs> Ooh. Secret door, mayhaps. Not too much. A uh, much too much. All right, cool. A little golden rune action. And sneaks over here. Ooh. Ooh. So there's another grafted scion down there. The first thing we fought in the game. Right there. You can fight him. You don't need to. But you can fight him. Hello, friend. I'm gonna go collect your stuff without you paying attention to me. Snatch it. A mimic's veil. Hmm. Alright, cool. Hey, buddy. How y'all doing? Sorry, I've fallen. <laughs> hey. Who's throwing stuff at me? Don't throw stuff. Gotcha. Sorry, I was just looking at exalted flesh the whole time. So he is a little difficult to beat, that grafted scion, but he's over there, so I'm not going to mess with his skis right now because I need to get to Side of Grace. And I just really want to beat Godric. I'm trying to get straight to that boy because I'm feeling pretty prepared for him. What is, what is in here? I, I'm so distractible in this game. Oh, hey! <laughs> oh, hey there, friend! 
<sighs> Alright, let's go. So, up here, this area, full of enemies, right? So, you dip, because if you get through over here, there's a little safety safe. Little safe nook in here. Oh, there's a lot more things than I want. Oh, dog. Whoops. Whoops. Thank you, bud. I went to the wrong save spot, by the way. As you can tell, probably. <laughs> the save spot is up here. It's up here. There we go. That's exactly what I was looking for. Oh, puppy dog. I oh, think puppy dog. You're not welcome, pup. Ooh. We're getting deeper in the castle. Yeah. You know what I for totally have forgot to do? Wondrous physic needs to go on there. Yeah, baby. Wait a second. You need to go there. Yeah, there we go. Now, if I want to, I just pop that there. Um, it's not that helpful for me right now, but it would be good for just random boss stuff, I guess. Pull the lever. I believe this is just a shortcut. But, not gonna wait for it. We're going places. Oh, it's not a shortcut. <laughs> I gotta sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I hear the dinglings. I hear them. Mm. Oh, the little pots. Oh, look at them all. Little pots. I don't want to fight you, Pots, because I love Alexander. I just love him. <laughs> Look at him all. Just potting around. Ugh. Just delightful. Alexander is, like, the best. So, um, in Dark Souls 3, uh, there's a character named Solaire, who everyone knows as, like, the sun bro, and he's the best. Ooh, I should get that. Um, but there is no Solaire in this game. So I feel like they felt the need to like compensate for like the fun dude. Um, because they don't have Solaire and they also don't have Onion Knight. So I feel like they just were like, you know, give him a pot that talks and is really friendly. <laughs> and it kind of works, if I'm being entirely honest, because I love him. Ooh. Yeah, he's adorable. He is adorable. So yeah, basically, if I didn't go around there, I could have shortcut it over around here and I would have to gone through that guy. You know? But there is a couple of little secrets along the way. Ooh. Are we ready? Are we ready to fight him? I'm gonna give it a try. Let's give it a shot, huh? This is such an awesome fight, by the way. The cutscenes, that's phase two is like one of my favorite phases of a boss. Because they talk about grafting a lot. Mighty and this dragon. is the dude that grafts. Because he's Not got a, a bunch of arms. Born heir. Lend me thy strength, O oh kindred. Deliver me unto greater heights. Look at all those gross fingers. It's horrific. Well. Oh, but his axe is awesome. Yeah, look at all his hands. It's so gross. Playing as a lord. <laughs> I command thee. I shall not need. I am the lord of all that is golden. Uh, he's gross. He's real gross, and he's difficult. So if you're not prepared, 
He's gonna slap you. But we're prepared. Oh, I forgot about the second. He always does the second. Ooh. Ooh, the tornado. The delayed. I'm still alive. Ooh. Oh, the music is so awesome. Ooh, he got me. I deserved it. <laughs> He's thinking about it. All right, I need to be less timid with him and just go in with it. Wondrous. Is it? Let's dance, baby. Let's dance, Godric. Delay. Oh, he's doing it. This is early. Oh, I, I didn't do the thing I wanted to do. Ooh. Come on. Oh, there's big weed rock. Nice. Oh. Oh. Yeah, if you lie on the ground for a second, it doesn't allow him to hit you again, which is very nice. I know you're going to jump. There we go. I didn't mean to do that. Whoops. There you go, buddy. Ooh, cut the boot off the last second. Love that. Oh, this cutscene is awesome. <laughs> it's so nasty, the arm. So remember how we said they were as grafted? So he can just attach stuff to him. And becomes alive. Truest of dragons. Please don't lend him your strength, Dragon. I would really appreciate it if you didn't. It's so cool to see just like corruption that these like deities went through where this dude is just like willing to do whatever or put anything on his body. Noise. <laughs> dude, the voice actors in this game give a hundred and ten percent. So if you can, you can sneak in and do a ton of damage to him on that first one because he just sits there. Woo! I need to stop being so risky. Heal. Woo! He's going buck wild. There's a big bleed proc. Can I get him? Okay, don't be risky. Ooh, heal. Okay, he's running. Gotcha. Ooh, Godric. Second time's the charm, then by. We take it to you, Godric the Grafted. <laughs> See you later, buddy. Great runes. The great runes you received by defeating shat or shard bears have lost their beneficial power. However, their power can be restored at divine towers throughout the lands between. See the description of each great rune to discover which divine tower you should visit. Godric's is really not bad, by the way. Just gives you pluses to your stats. And remembrance of the grafted and 20,000 delicious ones. Ooh, 20,000 is so nice. Uh, and when you, if you beat Godric and you didn't kill that dude at the front, he's right there, which is really nice. Um, like literally right over there and he's kicking him and it's hilarious. Um, but yeah, I am going to leave this episode here because now we're into the meat and potatoes of the game. We've gotten through this whole area. As you can see, I did a little exploring. You know, I went to Kaelid. I did some stuff. I did some stuff off, off camera. Don't worry. Um, but now once we get these swords leveled up 
We're gonna be doing some serious stuff. Today, we are going to get up to a little bit of mischief in Leernia. And we've gotta get there from Godric the Grafted. Yeah, last time we kicked his butt, that boy didn't know what was coming at him. And, uh, yeah. Uh, although I should say, he killed us one time, but we forget the past. <laughs> uh, and hopefully we don't get killed anymore. But, you can see that little gold thing in the bottom left-hand corner. That means I can't attack in here. Uh, and the only other place in the game that you really get to see that is in the uh, the round table hold. So, yeah, we're in a little safe spot here for now. But as you get into Leonia of the Lakes, there is much mischief afoot. Um, and this girl in here, where is she? Is she still in here or is she coming later? Uh, basically, you have to find eyes for someone in here at some point. Which is just fun. Just fun to do, finding eyes for people. So, uh, which are the grapes, if you're confused. Gotta give her the grapes. Gotta give her the grapes, baby. There's your Shabiri grapes, exactly. Hmm, where are you, maiden? Please take my grapes. What a threatening <laughs> statement to make. Maiden, take my grapes. <laughs> Things not to say to people. All right. Oh, the journey is so cool. This is where the game like really opens up and you get to be just out in the open, which is cool. Um, ooh, hello, friend. Let us discuss with you, grape lady. Hello, my name is Hayata. Mm. If I might be so bold, would you donate any Shabriri grapes? In your I do have some me? grapes. My eyesight has been weak since birth, you see. Like when I eat one of those grapes, it will lead me mm. to my true duty. Girl, have a grape. Many thanks to you. Now I can feel the distant light once you are most kind. And may the blessing of the fingers be upon. Thanks, yo. You got anything else you to tell me? May the blessing of no, you ain't got nothing to tell me. That's fine. So we can get more grapes for her. And eventually things happen. This That's like the motto of Elden Ring. Is if you do some things, some things happen. The quests in this game are esoteric. Uh, but if you follow them, cool things do happen on some of them. Okay, let's head into this church. Because there is a boy in here who has some information and he would like to for us to teach him things. If we want to teach him things. Some runes. Yeah, I have ten runes, buddy. You are a true my name is Topes. Yeah, he really doesn't have anything great. He's got a bunch of Whatever sorceries. Apology. I'm afraid my need. All oh, right. I can tell you what I know about this place. You've seen that structure to the north. That's the Academy of Rea Lucaria. We're going there. Where we st Only its doors have been closed after they declared they wouldn't interfere. The Academy cast repelling seals on the east gate. Leave as you might have guessed. The making entry to the Academy impossible. And so I'm stuck here. When they cast the seals, I'd just popped out. <laughs> So basically, this dude used to be there at Ray Lacaria, not anymore. Ooh, Sacred Tear. Let's go level up our healthy healths. Um, yeah, that dude is, he's kind of just a little sorry sack. Uh, but he's a hilarious NPC because he just sells you terrible sorceries and he doesn't know how to do any of them. <laughs> you know, man, we've all been there. Being the dude just selling, ter or selling terrible sorceries and helping people out. Let's upgrade our flasks. Yeah. And then let's do it. But we're heading down into the little. <laughs> we're heading down into the Learning of the Leaks. Learns of the Leaks. Uh, and this place is awesome. Ooh, I love the, the beautiful visuals of this area. So basically, we're going to be going down into the actual lake area, which is right over there. Uh, you can see that's one of the towers that you have to go to to activate the runes. And there is Rhea Lucaria. Oh, it's so pretty. Uh, let's get off here and let's do some, let's do some, some shaklacking. Shaklacking! Don't do it. Come on, baby. Get blooded. And get blooded. Don't throw bombs at me. Oh, he's stuck. I'm gonna get ya! Don't move, friend! Oh, he did get me! I ran into his sword! It was the only way I could take damage from him. I could just run in and let him hit me. 
Ooh. Also, uh, if you haven't paid attention at this point, every single thing in this game is basically breakable, which means that behind some of them is stuff. And there's also friends behind it. <laughs> Take that, friend. Ugh. You gotta love it when they just show up on you. They just show up and attack. Ooh, Glintstone Cookbook. I don't need it. Cool. Uh, campment cleared. Let's do that. And then let's go grab ourselves a little bit of a save spot. Because there's one right here. Whee! Hello. Touch the grace. Grace has been touched. All right. I don't have enough levels or enough souls to level up. Let's check out this dude. You wouldn't be surprised you found me. No matter, no matter. Why don't you help? Don't ask me. <laughs> All right, fine. What you got? Lantern. I think stone twos are nice. You have three of them, but I don't have enough. I do have enough for two. I need them to level up my stuff. I'll buy two for now. I don't have enough runes, runes for the rest. But I need smithing stone twos like a wild man. And I know that there's smithing stone twos in this area if I go to uh, the gazebos. Gazebos? Is that the word for them? The little, um, like churchy buildings? Yes. Hello. Oh my lord. Oh my gracious, they were coming after me. I just wanted to get the map. Oh, okay, perfect. I pulled them off the map. They were so leapy. Uh, did I not get the map? Let me get the map. Map. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it, friends. And we're through. Look at these guys. <laughs> <laughs> the, the witches, man. Ooh, Everjail. I don't know who's in this Everjail. But for right now, I'll just discover it. Malefactors Evergail. But seriously... Everjail is how people pronounce it. It looks like Evergale, right? It looks like it. Uh, so, you know, I don't know. I've never been a stickler for pronunciation in games, especially when the words are kind of nonsensical. Although maybe it means something in a different language. And I don't speak that language. Who knows? Who can knows? Um, da -da 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 <laughs> Tree. Tree. All right, beautiful. So, by the way, see that up there? That's a very important place for one portion of this game's ending, which I'm probably gonna go for that ending because it's my favorite ending. Um, but uh, it's you have to get up there. And in order to get up there, you gotta do a series of things. So we'll be doing that. But for right now, we've gotta go step by step. We've gotta go over to Raylicaria and we've gotta get the key to get in there as well. Craft, 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 craft. Dodge all the craft to get these missing stones. Can I sneak past the craft? Craft dodge. Ooh, craft dodge. Okay, so that's the way I need to go. But as I, if I remember correctly, this way is a bit of a nightmare to get up there. Wee wee. <laughs> I remembered correctly. It was a nightmare. Heels. And run. Hello, friend. Get your claymore explosive bombs out of here. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, shoot. Get on the horse. Get on the horse and ride. Ooh, smithing stone threes. Leap over. <laughs> Torrent is so great, dude. Oh, Torrent. I will never get tired of your awesome double jump. We made it through! And we touched the grate. Weep! Perfect. So, you see this door? <gasps> we need something to get through that door. It's the meeting place map. Examine seal. Yeah, I need a glintstone key. <gasps> but where is that? And where could you possibly find it? Well, ooh, I've got two golden seeds. <laughs> I'm distracted. Uh, if you go over to your key items section or meeting places, sorry, 
Look at this. Oh, well, there's Ray Lucaria, and there's a big old town, and it's over there. So, if we were to look at our map... Oh, whoops. I don't have the map for this area. Whatever. Oh, I should go there. I'm going to get the map. Um, but it's basically right over... Yeah. So, let's go get the map, simplify our lives, and live the dream. Shall we? I believe we shall. I got a lot of games that I want to play, because I love the FromSoft series. It's so fun. Um, or not series, the FromSoft games. I think that they're really fun. <laughs> We're near north! Yay! We found it! Okay, so let's look at our map. Hi. Hi, girl. I'll be there in a bit. Uh, so... It's right over here. Right over here. There's gonna be a dragon guarding it. And we're gonna go get it. But first, I'm gonna stand on this so I don't have to open my map again. Just slowly go away then, friend. That's a really nice quality of life thing they did, by the way. They made it so that when you get to an area, they don't make you sit around on it. Um, and they take it away from the map right away. I feel like when I was- I played, um, Breath of the Wild a lot. Uh, I'm sure that a lot of people did. But, man! Sitting there and having to set up all the markers and turning them off, it was a pain in the butt. And it's like, I didn't even think that their marker system was bad. It was really nice to have to not have to open up the map to set up a marker. But, it just was a pain in the butt to have to take them off and put them back on and do all that stuff. Especially since that game is humongous. And, um, and to be fair, the Switch software is not very strong. Anyone who plays games on Switch knows that this is not very strong, the Switch. You could use a little bit of love. The Switch. Ooh! Look at these little poison flowers. I'm gonna run by them so they poison everyone. Hee <laughs> hee! Don't do it! Don't do it! Whoops! That's not what I meant to do. Smithing stones? Yeah, I told you. Oh, there's a lot of goop. Even the flowers are magical around Rhea Lucaria. But... You can sneak past them. Those guys, I mean, they're not problems to kill, but they're just not really worth that many uh, souls. So, what's the point of it? What's the paint? Do 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 do. We go through the tiny gaps, and if you look over there, there's a bunch of stuff that wants to be opened up, right? So those things, they'll give you more FP if you knock them down. You don't need FP. We're gonna sneak around him. He's never gonna know we're there. To be fair, you really don't need to sneak around him. You can literally just run in and run out on the horse, even if you want to. Um, oh, looks like I'm gonna do that. Don't do it. He's mad. Glintstone key. There it is. Let's dip. I have, so he, you can defeat him, but there's really no purpose to him. Like. A lot of the dragons in this game, they just come back later. So you're like, meh. <laughs> I don't care if I fight the dragon or not. And he's... Wow! Dodge it. Ooh, I didn't even see the side of grace over here. That <laughs> well, he made sure I knew about him. That was funny. Oh, he really smacked me around. Ooh, I don't have any healing? I've really been messing around. Don't. Don't come over here. Don't. <laughs> Leave me alone, friend! Uh, flasks. Yeah. Two gold seeds. More flasks. Alright. So, now, we can go back to the castle gate. Sorry. Rayo Lucaria gate. And we can open it. Alright. We've made it. Examine the seal. We walk through the seal. <laughs> Loading screen. I'm playing this game on the PC, um, and I know that on the PS5 that there's some optimized loading screens, but you know, I just like playing on the, P the PC. It's like, I don't know, it's fun for me, so. Sorry about the loading screens. I will fast forward through them starting now. Oh, we're here at Lyrony of the Lakes. Oh, man, I, you know what's funny? Playing this game like the 20th time, it's so nice to see all the things that are like, cool. Those are the three sisters over there. That's really neat. Touch the grace. So you can go all those directions, but it really wants you to go in here. Because this is the actual castle. Ooh, 
Ooh, she's here. Let's check her out. Roderica! Isn't this place a round table hold? Covert quarters of the two feet. I never knew the guidance bestowed upon us tarnished. Although, it's all a bit. I'm still looking for my own purpose. Well, girl? It's all a bit. I'm still looking. I got a good purpose for you. So, this, that girl, is the one that um levels up your ashes. Or not your ashes, your little creatures. And also, the fingers are here! Gross! <laughs> They're so gross, the two fingers. <sighs> Could get so so but you can get go here to turn in your bossels. So if I wanted the axe of Godric or his crazy little flamey hands, then I can go there. Um, but those are the two fingers, which are uh, basically the fallout of like the greater gods, which is gross that they're just lurking around. But let's do her little stuff first. Rodrika. She levels up your spirits, your summons, if you want to have summons. Let's talk to him. Well, I took you from Yeah, 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 yeah. I know you wanted to. First of all, let's level up. Oh, I don't have enough souls. Whatever. Let's talk to her about Rodrika. She's crestfallen and can She has a gift. I saw another one like her long ago. Their eyes share the same hue. Hmm. Well, let's go talk to her. Wee! Hey, girl. You good at tuning spirits? <laughs> what a weird question. Uh, You're telling me I possess some kind of gift. The best I gift. Believe you. If I do have this talent, and goodness knows, I suppose I should try to hone it. I'll ask Master Hugh to teach. Certainly yeah. He does appear intimidating. I know he's trapped here at the round. I can tell. He's, he's a, a very gentle soul. soul. And a All right, let's go talk to Master Hugh. The big barnacle by. Back already. My yeah, dude, I'm totally back already. Rod Rikis. Dude, she. Would you watch over her? If you're mine, who'd stay with an ugly brute? Who only knows how absurd. That's what she wants, dude. To believe it. I don't doubt you, but I know when something's too good. Okay, well, you know. Guess what? He said that he'd watch over to you. But also, let me go ahead and burn. I could just go ahead and burn that, but no. I don't want to do that. Let's use this. And then I think I need to do one more. Let's just do one more. Why not? It ensures that we've got enough. Let's level up our sword. So, whoa. Ooh, I could do another. Let's do another. Yeah, perfect. Now we got both of them up to plus six. Plus six? Pretty awesome. Or sorry, they're plus fives. They're going to be plus six next. Uh, and then I need to go on to smithing stone plus or threes, which I don't really have any of, but I will have to farm those. Let's see. I should try to yeah. All right. Well, perfect. All right. So I don't need to go back anymore, right? Next time I load in the round table hold, she'll be there. She'll be here, and she'll tune your spirits. Back or no matter. It's kind of hilarious that literally you can miss all of the upgrades for your spirits. If you don't talk to that girl. You would never get upgrades to your spirits. Which, to be fair, I'm not going to be using summons much this uh, playthrough. But if I need them. She's my girl. She's my baby girl. All right, cool. Well, good to know. We're moving on. All right. I took a second to farm. I'll show you. Uh, my weapons are up to plus eight each. So that's nice. I needed to take a little bit of time to do that because uh, farming Smithing Tone Stones 2 and 3 is kind of a pain in the butt. Uh, but there's a bunch in Lyernia Lake, so I just kind of grabbed those. Um, and I'll show you. I went here and did most of those here. Um, there's a large portion of those that you can grab in there. Pretty easy to go through. The Crystal Woman is at the end of it. It just didn't really seem like it was necessary to show you guys a little bit of farming, so I didn't farm. But, time to go into Relicaria, or whatever it's called. <laughs> uh, I love this place. Hello, friends. Oh, I snuck underneath. It is so easy to get killed by these guys. So don't let them do their thing at you. Honestly, this build is really fun. You're so fast. You're so fast. And if you ever get in trouble with anything, you can just ooh, you can just do a little bloodening. 
Oh, I see you, friend. Let's go kill this guy first. Gotcha. No thanks. No thanks. Blood. That's great, dude. The great build out. It's funny that I've never done this before because it feels like a pretty easy early game build. Probably shift over mid game. Uh, but for right now, it's kind of fun. And I'm not complaining about it. <laughs> Something incredible? Oh, not incredible at all. <laughs> the notes in this game, man. You're like, what's incredible about that, dude? What exactly is incredible about some some silly golden rune twos? Ugh. Hello, paintings. Ah, oh, Ezekiel, it is good to see you, friend. Let me rest with you. <laughs> he seems like an Ezekiel, right? Uh, level up? No, I don't have enough for that. I think I'm pretty good. Yeah. Let's go in here. So basically, this whole area is the old. Uh, it's Hogwarts. It's Elden Ring Hogwarts. So we are going to go in, and kill all the Slytherins, and the Hufflepuffs. You know, we don't. We don't judge based on houses over here. We're all about it. What are you, Slytherin? Oh! I saw Barfy McGillicuddy over there. How dare you, Barfy! <laughs> I don't know why, but it made me think of the Barbie song. Hey, Barfy! <laughs> Said when I wake up in my Barfy world. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that movie would be different. Don't do it. Look how many of them there are. Don't do it. Don't. Don't grab me. They're so spicy, these guys. Oh, they're coming in to party. Oh, he's partying. It's Barfy Boy. Don't do it. They're so grumpy. Ooh, can I give him a big smack, please? Ooh, the big smackles! You love to see the smackles. Alright. And a little shaggy daggy daggies. Sweet. These little areas, it's kind of worth fighting your way through just because it makes it easier. I know you're going to tell me to try to jump, and I don't really want. Ooh, there's a little nook. A nook! A helpful note. The rarest of the rare. Oh, look at you hiding behind the wall. Like a little guy. Ooh, it's so sneaky down here. It's so sneaky. Decoy ahead. Ooh, the jump looks so tantalizing. <laughs> Made it! I'm so curious what's over here. Uh-oh, bloodstain. Oh, it's these boys. I always wondered how to get up to these guys. I was like, you have to be able to get up there. Oh, I fell before I could get the item. Don't do it. Don't shoot. Don't shoot your goof. Oh, it's a dog. <laughs> you know, I said, it's worth it to take your time walking through there. And then I just burst on through. But I think I really just have to go right there. It's over easy peasy. Get the souls. What are you feasting on, dog? A foot. A foul foot. I see you. All right, we're done. We're done shangling through here. These boys are annoying. I'm not about it. Oh, dog. Nope, 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 nope. Let me through. Heal. Blood. <laughs> I'm like, dude, I'm not getting killed by the dogs at the door. Dogs at the door! There's so many now! Okay, we're getting dogs. Gotcha, dogs. Get you, dogs! Ugh, those dogs are sketchy, baby! Oh, look at him! <laughs> he was hanging out waiting for us! He's like, oh, come over here! I've gotten you a treat! Nope. Nope. Hey, could you stop, dog? Alright, I'm done with I don't want to go out there. You can have whatever's there. Ugh. Dogs. Ooh, this part. There is a boss-ish over here. We'll see what he does to me. Because if he grabs me, he'll kill me. I'm pretty squishy still. I have not power leveled, and I should do that. This boy. Woo! Ooh! 
No thanks. No thanks. Ooh. Oh, come on. And little swaggies. Ooh. No, thank you. Can I get him in the butt? Oh, he blocked my butt stab. Nope. Hey. Don't do it, friend. Oh, he was trying to. Whee! You know, I think we're going to lose to him. Oh, no. I'll leave. <laughs> it's not worth losing my seven and a half thousand souls to fight that dude who I don't need to get the stupid spell from. Oh. Maybe I can get him to fall off. Maybe I can get him to fall off. Come on. <laughs> Come on, buddy. <laughs> can I get him to fall off? That'd be funny. I leave. Hello, friend. I see you're digging for gems. Have you found any? <laughs> oh, this guy's like, don't take my gems. Mm, we've been finding them for years. <laughs> oh no, my gems. Crystal darts, fun. There's a lot of items in this game that sound awesome that you're just never gonna use. Just to be real. And it's fun to try them out. Like, give them a shot, touch them, touch the things. Race! Woo! I need to battle something fierce! Do I have a level of meat? I might have a level of meat. That would be exciting! Because I'm pretty sure I'm pretty close to a boss room. And that... Ooh, I do have a level in me. Endurance? Endurance. Let us get some endurance. Oh, très bien, the endurance. I don't know where my go-to voice is French. It just is. Is there a trap in here? Secret. <laughs> oh! <laughs> you look like a fake wall. Yeah, you are. Uh, if you don't know, in these games, there's something called illusory walls. And we just found one. Um, basically, in Dark Souls, they just have hidden game or hidden walls that um, usually they don't have much good behind them. Smithing Stone 4, you know, one of them. Not great, but it's just kind of fun to have little secrets around. And hit him with the sauce. One, two, three. Sauce. Hello, friend. Have some extra sauce. Mmm, delicious. Oh, vengeance. It was mine. There's so many of them, though. And once one of them turns, they're like, oh, I see we found a friend. Oh, there was another one in here. Oh, I tried to do the dodge, and I didn't. Yeah, no, no. Oh, <laughs> I didn't realize I woke up the pot. Ugh, whoops. All right. Hello, friend. Gotcha. Neat. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Do 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 Hello! Oh! I've been wounded! Ouch! Don't hit me! Don't hit me! I'm a friendly man! I'm not really that friendly! Oh! Nope! We dodge. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Oh, hey, don't. Oh, there's so many things over there. Don't do it. <gasps> Safe behind the wall. <laughs> They'll never find me here. <laughs> In the wall. <laughs> Made it. All right, cool. Oh, hello, boss room. So this boss is really, really fast. Uh, and if, with strength builds, this thing's a pain in the butt. And with my build, it probably will be a pain in the butt too, because I'm not very good with magic resist, but I'm fast. Oh my lord. I ain't that fast, baby. 
Come at me, fool. Oh, running. Oh, he done it. Jumping. Oh, he's got the flaming sword. But I've got the blue. Oh, my lord. Do you see how much bleed damage I just did to him? That was bananas. Get your sword out of here. Oh, he got me with the sword again. Oh, Fatufa, he got me with the sword. Oh. Okay. We know what we need to do. We can bleed him. He's very weak to bleed. Bleed. Alright. Is that a secret? To uh, secrets? Secrets? <gasps> What's behind the secrets? Oh, a chest. Is there a friend? Here. <laughs> What's in this chest? Comet. <laughs> no wonder I forget this space. Ooh, but a stone sword key. That is very nice. And there's a ladder. What's up the ladder? I forget so much of so many like little details about this game. To be fair, it's an enormous game. Enormous. So forgetting some things, pretty normal. What are you? Item ahead. Oh, over here? My lord, look at how many things you gotta do. No. I don't want to do that. It, do I go down here? Oh. Oh. Hot man. Are you a friend? Can you be my friend? What is this? A Graven School Talisman. Don't. I don't want to kill the pots. They're my friends. Let me be friends with the pots. I don't want to fight the pots. 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 Don't. Pots. Oh, it was just right here. Pots. Don't. Don't. Pots. Alright, Wolf. Let me get my sh shizzle bizzles over here. Don't attack me yet. Oh. 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 Alright, heals. No! No, Wolf. Let me get to the middle of the room. Don't be a jerk. Have some blood. Oh, he's got his sword out. Have some more blood. Oh, he's got his sword out. He's got a little wolfy sword. Oh, he's a grumpy wolf. Okay, come on. Jump at me with your sorceries. Oh, don't jump at me like that with your sorceries. No! Okay, we good. And blood sword. Oh, blood sword. Oh, I got the wolf. Wolf. And he gives me a memory stone and a bunch of ooh, a bunch of runes. Thank you, wolf. Bye, wolf. <laughs> do I have any good um? Do I have any good uh thingies? Let's see. Uh, we'll say, uh, you know, woo, yeah. We did it! That's so fun! Ah, sweet, sweet wolf. Let there be grace indeed, my friend. This room is awesome, by the way. Such a fun... I love Dark Souls boss rooms. They're so fun. Level up. Uh, let's do one more endurance. Let's do a dex. And we're happy! At least I'm happy. <laughs> I don't know about you guys. I'm happy to beat the wolf. He's a trickster. It's funny how much damage you can do to him, because, dude, he's a rude dude. He's a rude dude, Wolf. Hi, Crabs. Crabs. What are you doing here, Crab? What do you give me? Crab eggs? That does make sense. All right. Well, I know I need to go over there, but I like to explore. I'm an exploring man. Let's explore for a second. Let's gather some things. Ooh, over here. Oh, some friends have arrived. Hello, friends. I like how after the wolf, they're like, give him the slowest enemies in the game. They need a break. <laughs> He's so fast, the wolf. <laughs> give him the shambling skeleton. They'll know exactly what to do with the skeleton. And hello. Oh, no, I don't want to kill the pots. Don't make me kill the pots. I don't. I, I re refuse to hit a pot that doesn't ask me to hit it. Okay? That's my life. I don't like hitting them. They make me it makes me sad to hit them. They're just little guys. This is a no pot hit run. <laughs> Welcome to my no pot no pot hit run. I'm totally gonna hit no pots. What are you guarding, friends? Hmm. 
Hmm. Oh, golden runes. And some fruit. He just had some fruit. It's like, don't touch my strawberries, okay? I've been guarding them for like 87,000 years. That's why I look like this. Haven't had any fruit in many, many centuries. Oh, whoops. Didn't even realize that was one of those boys. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. And clear. Love it. What's in here? <gasps> Nothing. Oh. <laughs> yes. A glintstone wet blade. Excellent. Don't sort key. Alright. Oh, she's like. <laughs> What you doing over there, friend? <laughs> you going somewhere? <laughs> Can't get that from here. <laughs> oh, man. Ooh. Nope. Nope. I don't want anything to do with your shabble. I just want your golden seeds. I just want your golden seed, baby. <laughs> that sounded so gross. Craft. Mega craft. I don't want anything to do with y'all. Oh, there she is. Look at her. And the crab is right there. I'm stuck between a crab and a maiden. Oh, my lord. She be attacking. Crab? Oh, crab is still coming. And so is maiden. No, thank you, crab maiden. <laughs> I don't want anything to do with either of you boys. Or girls. Or whatever you are. Is he still chasing? They're both still chasing me. Oh, my gosh. What is killing everyone? It was her. Oh no, she got me. She done got me. Ugh. Well, that's gonna be a hard one to get. <laughs> Ignore me. Ignore me, please. <laughs> I'm none of your interests. I don't think she's ignoring me. She's not. Spoiler, she's not ignoring me. <laughs> it's my worst nightmare. <laughs> a maiden isn't ignoring me. Oh, can I get past? Oh, I sneaks. I done sneak, baby. All right, we're out of here. I don't want any crabs. I don't want maiden. <laughs> what an absurd sentence. I don't want any crabs. I don't want any maidens. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I completely missed it. Oh, uh, whatever. Whee. And we're going to the bridge, baby. This is one of the most comical locations in Elden Ring because there's that big ball and everyone gets hit by it. I say as I almost got hit by it. Come on. Go that way. I didn't get hit by it. Oh, celebrations. Oh, celebrations indeed. Oh, no. It's that dude. Oh, Lord have mercy. I wonder where that takes me, but I also don't want to take it right now because I feel like I've got to go kill this guy, who's Perry Man, and I attack frantically, and frantic attacking is not good for Perry Man. Moongrum, have some blood. Have some. Oh, I missed him. Have some blood. Oh, yeah, look at that. He does that. No, don't do it, Moongrum. Don't. Ooh, have some blood. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna bleed him. Because if I don't, he's gonna just parry me, and it's a huge problem when he parries. Oh, I bled him. Oh, no thanks. I'm gonna get you. Oh, he's out of heals. Perfect! Wow, he's so easy with that. This guy is a nightmare. Don't let this delightful, simple, one time through fool you. If you play this game, the first time you play him, he's going to parry you a million times. And it's going to be terrible, and you're going to feel really sad. Uh, and you know what? We just crushed him, so that's awesome. That feels great. Oh, that's really cathartic for me, honestly, because he is usually my problem. No, what? What's... Oh, you, you sneaky guy. I don't really like what you were doing there, so I'm glad to dispatch you. What do these guys even have? Golden rune and fruits? Why do they have so many fruits? <laughs> Why do you have so many fruits? <laughs> Seriously, what are these homies doing with all this fruit? You really gotta be wondering. It's a lot of berries to have for just a couple dudes, you know? Alright. Well, we beat Moongrim, which really gets me fired up, man. He's like such a roadblock usually for players. 
Yeah, Rune Moongrum. Get rolled on. Get rolled on, Moongrum. I really shouldn't talk trash. When you talk trash, the game humbles you immediately. Boss. Um, legit. When you talk trash in this game, and you're like, yeah, I got it, no problem. The game is immediately going to put you in your place. Uh, and I really don't want to be put in my place because I'm enjoying the place I have found. <laughs> place I've found being not dead. I haven't died. All right, cool. We're going through the door. Is this who I think it is? Because if it is, I'm excited. Moon woman. Moon woman. Yes, it is. My lady, the moon lady. Oh. No. I love this fight. Phase two is beautiful. Beautiful. Mm. <laughs> Who's there? <laughs> I forgot that I was Quack Man. I'm Duck Dude. Mm, yes, I see that you're study. Look how creepy they all are. Oh, would you like to read a book? <laughs> we have candles. <laughs> so many candles. <laughs> uh, and there she is. A little Calva. She's got her little egg. I'll soon birth thee anew, a sweeting, fresh and pure. Oh, yes. Snuggle in, girl. Okay. I gotta kill all your friends. <laughs> uh. well, which one? It's this one. It's the one that's got the, sh the golden shabbles on it. Don't do it. Don't do it. It's whatever. The one that hucks books at you is the one that you've got to get to. The book hucker. Don't do it. Stop singing at me, baby girl. Um, she's close. <laughs> she's close. Where's my book girl? Is this book? Oh, <laughs> you just fell from the ceiling. Where's book woman? Where's book woman? Bookie woman. Oh, there she is. Look at her. She's tucked away in the nook, throwing books like I don't even know what books she's got. Don't throw books at me. There she is. Oh, we plowing. Let's get a bleed if we can. Oh, okay. Nope, I didn't want to I didn't want to be there for that. Don't don't throw books. It's rude. It's Shakespeare. <laughs> Have some Shakespeare. <laughs> and some delicious uh, literature. No, no. Where else are you? Where is it? So this phase is like the nothing phase, by the way. Uh, it's cool, it's very pretty, but it's really Oh my gosh, I didn't even know those things exploded. Where's Book Girl? Bookie? Oh my lord! She hucking stuff. I didn't even know she hucked. Usually I fly through this face so quickly. Where is Book Woman? Show me your books. Oh my gosh. She be hucking stuff. That's not great. I only got one health. And the second phase, I'm gonna be honest, a little bit harder than the first phase. But where's the book, book hucker? You're not Book Hucker. Where you at, Booker? Booker T. Washington. <laughs> Don't do it. Where is she? I mean, I'll just... I'll take some out to simplify my life here, but... Where's Book Thrower? <laughs> Am I just gonna walk around here until I find someone throwing books? Because they're not in the middle. Don't, don't throw things at me. Don't. Okay, where is book lady? Book woman. Show your books. <laughs> Show me your books. <laughs> well, oh, is she tucked back here? Oh my gosh, she's tucked back here. Well, that's not going to bode well for phase two, just to be honest. 
But it'll be a little faster. All right, Renala. Oh, great, we beat her. And we have no healing because I couldn't find the book woman. <laughs> but now we got a shortcut here if we lose. Maybe we'll be super epic and we'll just beat her in one try without any healing. Uh, that's probably not going to happen because she took. Did you have a good nap? <laughs> Was it a delicious nap? Oh, my beloved. You gotta get over there. Have no fear. I will hold thee. Patience. Ye will be countless born. Forever and ever. The cool cutscene. So a lot of people thought that Renala was Ronnie when they first played through. Foul trespasser. They scissors. Ronnie's just over Send here word far protecting her sister and sending her into the dark world. At least I'm pretty sure that's what's happening. If you haven't watched a body video before, you should. Of of the full moon. Look how awesome she is. Yeah, Vati Vidya has a lot of lore on this, and he is quite helpful and to watch. The majesty of the night she conjureth. Oh, she conjureth forth. Now she made. <laughs> and I have no healing. <laughs> she's made, and I don't have anything to heal with. Oh, she's doing her lasers. She comes right in with the lasers. Don't do it. She's sending the moon out. Send the moon forth. Oh, look at all their stuff. Don't go. Oh. Oh, she got me. I can do a lot of damage to her when I get to her, but basically, she just attack and attack and attack. All right, Renala. I see that you're floating above all your students there. Oh, and you're calling them over. Don't throw books. Don't throw books at me. Oh, she threw so many books. Oh, you're making it real nice for me that you're just lining up your book girls. Where's the next one? Could it be right next to me? No. Where are they? Where's bonus book girl? Bonus. Where'd she go? No one's throwing books at me. Will someone throw... Oh! <laughs> I was about to say, will someone throw books at me? And here she was, ready to throw books. Oh, I need to get another one. Another book thrower. May your books always be thrown, friend. Take you with some blood. And then a little shaklacky, cracky, crackies. And then maybe a little more shaklackers. One more, and then we out. Oh, wow, book thrower right here. Isn't that just a delight? And right there? Could it be? A book thrower in a row? Double books? Oh, triple books? Dude, Renala RNG is gifting it. Uh, are you gonna fall or do I? Oh, I need to kill you. Bonus pussy. Alright, come on down, Renals. Come on down, Renala Town. <laughs> and that's. Oh, she fell right next to us. We'll give her one sauce. Alright, do I have enough time to drink a wondrous physic right when I come in? I need to remember to use that. Why don't I do that? You're gonna do that? Oh. Ooh, oh, she lasered us so hard. Nope. Oh, she's getting us with the sauce. Let's heal. The moon. Oh, she lasers. Heals and immediately dodge.
take that. And maybe one more. And oh, she's hit me with the summons. Oh, it's this guy. He's a nightmare. Heals. Oh, he's so fast. Nope, nope. Focus on her. Oh, look at all that magic. It's too much magic. Okay, heals. And then we run in. Oh, yeah. Oh, she be wildin'. Oh, she be wildin'. Style. Limousine riding. It's a dragon. Oh, no. <laughs> Man, she makes it so difficult to just close on her. Ugh. All right. He's going to do his flaps. And lunge. All right, perfect. He's really not that bad. All right, she's got her magic. Oh, and she's got that. Don't love that at all. And blood. Okay. Oh, it's the wolves. Have some blood. No, 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 dogs. Don't do it, dog. Oh, my lord, it was so close. Okay, perfect. Where did she go? Where did she go? There she is. Okay. Okay, we're not panicked. Oh, my lord. I'm almost out of heals. No. No. I am so prepared to get just murdered by her right now. Oh, my gosh. Heals. Oh, the moon. This is insane. Okay. Okay, Renala. Okay. Dodge. Oh my gosh, she's one hit away. But so am I. Hit her. Oh, we got her. Oh, we got her. With one. With one hit left in us. Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> Remembrance of the full moon and great rune of the unbarn. Oh, we got another one. Oh, man, that was so intense. <laughs> I thought I was going to get killed by the wolf when she had one hit left. Man, Renala. Oh, that was not kind of her. Uh, by the way, and here she is again. So you think, oh, I finally got her, but she's fine. Come out from whence ye hide. There are books and light aplenty. Did they not? Come out, say I, <laughs> or will ye be gravestones to be better born anew? All right, let's talk to you. <sighs> Is it thy wish to, to become a sweet? Rebirth. Larval tier, we don't have that. So you can get cosmetics, meaning that you can change yourself. Uh, uh yeah. We are totally fine being Duckman. Alright, cool. So... That's locked. But we got this. Ooh, and we have 50... A thousand souls. I mean, uh, I was thinking embers and echoes and everything. Uh, but yeah, we got them. Let's go ahead and level up. Uh, let's do a little bit of vigor, a little endurance, and a little dexterity. I mean, a lot of dexterity. Woo! And I have some terrible, terrible news. I've been a Sony user forever, and I've never experienced any issues, but over the week, my hard drive exploded on my PlayStation. Just <laughs> exploded. And lost all of my progress in every game I'm playing right now. <laughs> I decided to take that as a challenge and an opportunity to train up on my build a little bit. So I defeated all the bosses I've beaten so far. I've beaten Morga. I beat Godric. I've beaten the Moon Queen. And a slew of somewhat less important bosses, but you know, hey, who cares? But, time to get back into it, as we journey forth in Elden Ring. Ooh! Like I said, we're right here. Right at the Academy. And I've been a busy man. 
I've been a very busy man. I got all this done in the last, like, two days. So a pardon for the delay in uploading. But the first thing I want to do is I want to go to the Divine Tower. Because we need to upgrade our greater rune that we've got. All right. We've made it to the top of the tower in Lingrave. So, if you've never upgraded your runes, which, good lord, do it if you're playing Elden Ring. Um, but it's kind of an out-of-the-way thing, so I get if you're not, like, a big player, why you never know. But once you get the runes from the bosses, you have to go to their respective powers, and you gotta restore the power. So, yeah, we got Godric's Great Rune, and we can put it on whenever we want to, which is awesome. So, I'll show you where his Great Rune is. Do -do -do -do. There's his great rune. So, we've got Godric's great rune, raise all attributes. Look at that. We got it. So, we can use that or equip it whenever we need to. So, great news. We've got ourselves a great rune. Hooray! All right. So, we're here. We've also got a friend. Uh, if you've never gotten to this point, this guy is the uh, basically the next step in the Blythe quest line. Um, if you talk to him about Blythe, he gives you some stuff. You can also strengthen your weapons here. Right now I'm at plus 11 and plus 13. Uh, I still need a couple more smithing stone fours, and then I need all the fives. So, I want to go in here for fun, because this is awesome. I know we've got a couple of big bosses that we need to get to, for sure. But first, we do some exploring, because I like this area, and it's fun to do. Ooh, no thank you. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Get up, damn baby! Woo! I love Corinth, by the way. He's so good. He's the best horse. The best horse. Ooh, look how cool it looks over there. Ooh, by the way, I got to the three sisters. I know I need to do some stuff there. I will do the three sisters. They're right there. Um, but yeah, Ray Lucaria, look how awesome it is. Sweet! So carry a manor. We can get some upgrade stuff here. And we can also fight some hands. <laughs> We're going to throw hands, baby. Look at them. Look how gross they are. They're gross hands. And they have big hands. But we're strong enough that we can easily deal with the hands. Oh, I shouldn't have spoken so soon, hands. Oh, hands. Oh. <laughs> Man. <laughs> I deserved it. I ran in there so cocky. <laughs> I never know. I've never seen them come at me so aggressively before. Oh, that got me so good. I shouldn't. I shouldn't have been so cocky with the hands. Oh my! Straight backhanded me. Mm. Whoops. <laughs> All right. Message received. Hands aren't messing around. <laughs> there they are. So I wonder if I can just lure him out with a kukri. Let's give him a little kukri. Let's give him a little kukri toss. Oh! Can I get you, friend? To come forth? Oh, he's sticking his middle finger out at me. And he's shooting his goop. Keep your goop to yourself, sir. I don't want any of your goop. Whee! Whoa! Oh, he's, he's getting his skitters. I got blood. I got blood. Can't reach me. Oh, that's so nice that he got stuck. The hands are so gross, dude. Woo! I love the blood. I've gotten a lot better at using the blood. A lot better at it. Ooh! I say as I miss. Oh, he running. Oh, he running, baby! Yeah, these weapons are pretty good now, which is nice. Wouldn't it be great if they just gave you giant rings? Like, you get a ring that you can wear as a hat. <laughs> They're giant hands, man. Come on, give us some silly stuff, Elden Ring. We want silly. Okay, there's my runes. Jeez, those hands. They need to be so grumpy with me. Ooh, some garbage smithing stones. I need fours and fives. That's where I'm at my smithing stone journey, not twos anymore. That's fine. Golden Rune four. Ooh, who's, who's coming? Oh, get out of here. Have some blood. Oh my goodness, that backhand is robust. <laughs> Take my strong hand, baby. Oh, come on. 
Ooh, he gets so stuck easily. Oh, he's alive still. I thought he was going to get him. Ooh. He heals. Right in front of the hands. And then we blast him. We get the hands. <laughs> Alright, cool. Can I go through that door? Or is it locked from the other side? I feel like most of the doors in this game are locked from the other side. That's just the way they want to be. That's just the way they be, baby. Now I'm going to be so panicked about all of the jump scares. This game has like a million little jump scares in it. Where you walk around a corner and there's a million enemies. Like a lot of times, I don't know if we'll see. Yeah, look, there's one right there. That's a trap. You see him? Hidden right there. That's his little fingertips. He's waiting for us to go in there. We ain't going to do that. I ain't getting in your fingertips. Boy. How could I not target him? But this one. Come on down, spider hand. Come to Papa Spider Hand. How did I miss you with my slashes? With my slashes. <laughs> oh, slashes. Alright, bud. Next guy. Ooh, and look at his friends back there. Did you see them? Did you see his large friend? Come on. Oh, he's set he's shooting shooting his goo at me. Ooh. No! He's whacking! Ooh, I missed with my blood. Oh, don't be pushing me around. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I've died. No, nope, little hand, I'm not interested in your business. Big hand, I'm not interested in your business either. I'm interested in no hand's business. <laughs> Give me no business, hands. <laughs> oh, jeez, he's right behind me. I know he is. Oh, he's coming. You know what? I'm going to grab these real quick. These are mine. These are my souls. Don't take them. Have some blood. And heal. Oh, he backhanded me. Oh, he done backhanded me. <laughs> Got him. Tiny hand. You're not welcome. Ooh, what a saga. We made it through. What's over there? Friend? Oh, that just seems like a bunch of death. What's going on, dead man? Ooh, dead man. Are you going to lure me into getting murdered by something? Lady Ronnie, we have long awaited you. Pray for your house's swift revival. May the full moon shine upon Carrier. Oh, may it indeed. Uh, Ronnie is going to be our girlfriend, even though she's a terrible, terrible person. So, whatever. <laughs> That's the way Elden Ring is. There's a lot of terrible people. <gasps> Smithy Stone 4! I need those! I'm so close to leveling up my stuff to plus 12. Ooh. And then I don't need any more Smithy Stone 4s because I think I'm going to try to go through this whole dang game with these stupid blades. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. I'm getting used to them. Ooh, the ghost zone. Ghost zone. And I swear there's so many messages that are like finger buttholes to be fair to the dark soul staple <laughs> gotcha ghost gotcha look trap trap so it's nice that they at least show you the trap on the board. that is nice they show you the little sword and they're like oh yeah you're gonna get exploded friend i promise you you're gonna get exploded <gasps> he came up behind us the leap attack <laughs> Ooh, he hurt me. I don't like it. Leap. He tried to block us. Psh, psh, psh. Sorry if that was really loud with my psh. Quiet. Psh. <laughs> oh, he's so far away. Oh, he's throwing his crossbows. And we leap. Oh. We dodge. I like this leap attack. I've never done it before, but it's so fun. Oh, look how many of them there are. No thanks, brother. I don't want any of your business. Especially since they give me like a hundred souls. You're like, psh. That's not worth it, dude. I mean, sorry. Runes. <laughs> I assume I'll be calling them blood echoes, I swear. <laughs> FromSoft games do this to me, alright? They're all souls, dang it. That's the way they are. Bye! I know I can go down that little sneaker terry over there. I might do it if I seem to be finding it fit. Alright. And we're in here. 
Yeah. Lost Grace. You know, let's rest. Why not? We only got 5k, so we can't exactly level up. Um, but you know, we got Sturf. <gasps> Golden Seed? Oh, I know that giant wolf is, is not a friend. Oh, look at other wolf. Wolf? Would you like to meet my jump attack? <laughs> oh, he did want to meet my jump attack. Ooh, the bleed. 370 souls, man. This is this is not a bargain. You gotta give me more souls than this. I'm just gonna sneak. I don't want any of your business. Really. There's no point in killing those things if they're just gonna give me 370 souls. We're at level 66, I think. 370 souls ain't doing nothing for us. Sorry, 370 <laughs> runes ain't doing nothing for us. I swear. From soft. <gasps> Hello. Oh, I almost rode him. I know you're gonna jump, and once you once the puppy dogs get jumping, they are a very mobile bunch. Oh, look at him. Oh, look at him. Got you, puppy dog. Got you, puppy. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Is there a delicious treat over there? No, there's not. There's just messages. <laughs> Fine, I'll take the I'll take the stuff. Ugh. I love this game so much. And to be fair, I am going to have a really, really hard time doing a streamlined playthrough through of this because like it's just fun. Everything about this game is just fun. It's so fun to do. Uh, I don't know what it says about me that I love punishing games, but these games are so fun. And this is like the least um, handholdy game in the FromSoft experience because usually they give you like a path. Ish. You know, they're like, here's a path ish that you need to follow. Um, and in this game, they're just like, hey man, do whatever you want to do. I don't know why I went Dale Gribble on it. Hey man, do whatever Dale Gribble on do, damn, damn. <laughs> Whatever you want to do, you should have ever <laughs> Mumbles. Oh, thanks, buddy. Um, so that guy. That guy's fine. That guy's annoying. We don't really want to deal with his skis because his skis is gross. He's got gross skis. Oh, hey, friend. I didn't realize you were coming over. Thanks for your skis. Oh, he woke up. Goodbye, friend. Ooh, a little shooty McGavin. Hello, Rin. Don't mind if I shaklow. Ooh, another shooting McGavin. Whoops. Missed a lot of them, but we still got them. That's the nice part about having very upgraded weaponry. Pretty sure I need to go through that door back there. Ooh, I know what that is. I'm pretty sure that there's a boss encounter in there. Horse boss, right? Horse boss man. Horse boss. All right, who's going to try to kill me? Who's trying to kill me? No one? Ah. Ah. <laughs> what am I doing with my life over here? Oh, it's a jumpy downy to get down to Potland. Uh, I don't really want to go to Potland. I want to get my stuff pushed in by a boss. That sounds fun. Oh, that just sounds so fun. Let's go fight Horseman. Horseman, come at me, horse. There he is. I told you. Ah, horseman. Oh, he's he's blasting me. It'd be nice if I could summon my horse, dude. You know? Nope. No thanks. Oh, he's got all his magic. Get your magic out of here. How bloody are you? How blood capable? Ooh, you take some blood damage. Come on, buddy. Hit me with your sword. Hit me with your swords if you can hit me. Man, he just really likes casting. It would be great if bosses had the f the fup meters that we had, you know, or fups. But they don't care about fups. Big blood. Nope. Oh, give me a swords. Swords. Nope. Blood. Oh, I missed him. Oh, do heal. Why not? Leave. <laughs> I missed him! So much I missed! <laughs> Who did I turn into there? So much I missed! <laughs> I missed the horse so much! <laughs> Ooh, need to watch out. Don't do it. 
Just a little quick heal. Ooh, I've got itchy nose. Itchy nose. Itchy nose. Oh. Oh, he's got more swords now. Oh, and he's got the bow of justice. No, thanks. Oh, he, he gave me the little look back smack attack. Come on. Come on. Oops, I mistimed that really badly. Okay, I need to get a little closer to him because he's just going to pepper me. Whoa, Pepperage. Pepperage Farm remembers. Pepperage Farm. Stop remembering. How did you hit me? How did he hit me? Oh, he's he, this is getting a little heated. Ooh, but maybe I can make it a little less heated if I do that a little better. Oh, Lord have mercy. All right, come on, buddy. Ooh, dodge. Again. Ooh, yes! First try, Royal Knight Loretta. I'll take your great bow and your slash. Ooh, that felt good. He was gonna... He's tough, man. 17... See, seriously, like, 17k? You're sitting there and you're like, meh. Meh. <laughs> meh. <laughs> it's not really worth it. So this thing right here is like the symbol of the mana users. It's like the star collector majiblet. Um, and usually there's little star fragments underneath it. But over here... We're getting nothing. <laughs> Regret. <laughs> I get you, man. I'm regretting coming up here, too. That's fine. Oh, I still got a bad case of the itchy nose. What's going on with that, brother? All right, so we came from there, right? Yes. So now, back door. <laughs> Before I smash a chair. Um, ooh, yes. Yes. So they were at the true the true three sisters, which is where we need to go to get to the ending that we want to get to because we want to get to Ronnie's ending because it just makes me happy. Running Ronnie's ending makes me happy. I love Ronnie. She's sweet and she's a horrible person, <laughs> like legit. Uh, but you know, in Elden Ring, you gotta pick and choose your battles, and sometimes it's a little bit nicer to pick your battles when you got a golf wind. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna go off wind is not so bad. Even if she's got four arms and she's kinda murdered some people. But you know, meh. You win some, you lose some. <laughs> Ooh, hello, ball of friends. What you got in ya? Chilling mist. Mmm. Can't wait to not use it. I'm kinda of stuck with this Ash of War right now because I feel like I've gotten pretty used to it playstyle wise. Uh, oh, hi, buddy. This dragon, it's not worth fighting. He comes back again later, and you're kind of sitting there, and you're like, well, whatever. Like, I could fight you, but you leave before I can kill you. It's kind of worthless. I doubt. I pity doubt. Ronnie's rise. Yes, indeed. Ugh. And the dragon is still after us. Adula, I don't really need any of your business. I didn't rest at that side of grace, either. Whoops. But here we go. Extra side of grace. <sighs> I'll rest here just to get my hups and my pups. <laughs> my HP and my FP. <laughs> great runes. Let's put this on. I totally forgot to do that. Great rune. Godric's great rune. In order to actually get it, we need to um, use a rune arc. But we're not going to put it on quite yet. Really, I try to put them on if I'm like having a if I'm having a hard time, <laughs> because they go away once you die. And if you're not really doing anything, you're just kind of walking around and doing some stuff like which is what I'm doing right now. It's not really worth the risk of losing a rune arc because they kind of are rare and they get a little sponsor. You got to find the right people to buy them from. Um, I have a bunch of them, I'm pretty sure right now, but either way. Oh, <gasps> Ronnie. Again, we cross paths. I believe I said my name was Rena. When last we met, it pleaseth me to see Torrent hale and hearty, but tarnished. What business hast thou here? Oh, I Rami. have no memory of inking thee an invitation. <laughs> She's like, Fool, I, I didn't invite you. Particular, intriguing. Mm. Wilt thou enter into my sight? I am the witch, yes. Rani. I stole death long ago. And search now for the dark that I might one day upend the whole of it. Mm -hmm. And rid the world of all that's came. Well, has that roused thy interest? Uh, yeah, I dude. See. A 
choice well made. Thou art a rare sort. Not many would have accepted yeah, the offer. She's not the nicest. But I require as much of those under my command. I anticipate good work from thee. Okay, well, great. Good. What you need, baby? Then there is in my service a half woven warrior by the name of Blythe. Blythe! I would have thee join him in searching for the hidden treasure of Nokron, the eternal city. Mm -hmm. I have called for Blythe to greet thee below. Ah, and there wilt thou find E.G., e my war counselor, and Salavis, preceptor Elevis. in the sorceress arts. Salavis is lame. Heed not their peculiarities. <laughs> Feel secure in gaining from them. What advantage thou canst. I am sure the others will be doing just the same. Oh, I'm sure they will. Speak with the three who await thou needs. It hath been a passing long time since a newcomer entered. All right, cool. So we got Ronnie. Ronnie's a baby. Well, I shouldn't say we've got Ronnie. Ronnie's got us now. Because we are serving Ronnie. Because I feel like that's a fun end to the game. It changes up a lot of the stuff. I won't spoil it for you guys, but this is the quest that is going to lead us to the end of the game. Don't worry, we're not that close. <laughs> we still got a lot of stuff to do. Hey, bud. Hey. So remember that giant blacksmith I showed you at the beginning of the episode? Oh, so you were the one. Lady Rani has explained everything. Again, I am Yiji. Yiji. The Karian royal family's dedicated blacksmith and Lady Rani's war council. I am told that you are searching for Nokron. Yeah. Blai. I will give you whatever guidance I can. Well, give me some guidance, baby. My apologies for the misleading words. <laughs> I never imagined that an audience, let alone service, I, for one, should have seen it. Do forgive me. Let of us course I forgive you. Can of ourselves together. Together, buddy. Let us together. All right, so we do, he doesn't tell us anything. Surprise. I never really listened to him, but, you know, I like to hear his story. Bly. He's my boy. Mm. How awesome Long time, he is. friend. Blythe. If you forgot. Never forget. Glad to have you in the service of Mistress Rani. Well, getting right to business. Heck yeah. I'm still in Limgrave. The eternal city of Nokron lies somewhere at the bottom of this land. Mm -hmm. I'm planning to go below through the well in the mistwood. See if I can't find the road to Nokron. Okay, so I know where he is I'm in Nokron. See if I can't. Or not in Nokron, but I know where he is in that area. Um, so we'll go there and we'll start the Nokron quest. This dude. I see. You must be Rani's new Oh, family. I see. Yes, yes, I've heard all about you. <laughs> I am Salavis. Yes. Preceptor in the sorceress. I don't All know right. what it is the mistress sees in a provincial, but since we have the misfortune <laughs> of serving the same lady, I ask that you kindly try not to drag us all down with you. What a jerk. Can you imagine? I wish I could kill him. Right now. It'd I save me some time. In another tower close oh, by. do you? Come and pay me a visit. He does Should live in one of the towers. Wish to be of actual service to Mistress Rani. If it were up to me, I wouldn't waste my time on the likes of you. <laughs> Can you but imagine a jerk talking to, to you like that? Against the wishes of my lady. I'm sitting here. I'm like, hey, I may be foul, tarnished, baby, but you can't talk to talk to me like that. Talk to me like that. I'll kick you. Kick you with my sword. I'm gonna kick you. <laughs> I'm gonna kick you with my swords. <laughs> That's how people threaten each other, right? <laughs> For people who don't know me, I'm quite possibly the least threatening dude. Uh, so yeah, you know, it, it tracks that I have absolutely no idea how to threaten people. <laughs> oh man, I like that though. I'm gonna kick you with my sword. <laughs> don't make me kick you with my sword. Alright, so there's nothing down there. It's blocked off. Whatever. I'm gonna go run by... Man, there's so many invisible walls. Can I please in... What's my invisible wall? What is this? Why am I invisible walled? Let me out! Let me out! What? What's going on? How come I'm invisible walled? I'd like to talk to you. Come and pay me, should you. If it were up, but who? Yeah, I'd love to do that. Let me invisible wall out. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna watch this. 
Oh, I'm not allowed to? I'm stuck? Oh, no. What am I stuck with? Do I need to go talk to Ronnie again? Why am I invisible walled? Live? See if I can't. Don't keep me waiting. Nah, dude, I ain't trying to keep you waiting. Believe me, baby. I ain't trying to keep you waiting. I'm trying to get the heck out of here. All right. Cool. Can I rest here? <laughs> Will that let me go? <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, now it's open. All right, cool. Weird. But it's like, no, you got to rest. Take a nap. <laughs> Take a dang nap. Think about what you're doing. Okay, so they're all gone. That's what it's doing. It's loading them into the rest of the world. Alright. Hi, dogs. Don't... Don't bark at me. I'm gonna go talk to... Megagus Megagus over here because he's rude. And I just want to continue his quest line just because it's kind of fun. To continue all of Ronnie's helper's quests. Uh, get a complete story with the Ronnie stuff, you know? Nice to get a complete story. And she's one of the ones where you can get, like, a full story of it. Um... I like that. I like doing that, you know? The life I like to live. If you can't tell, I really like to complete games. It's a problem I have, and I don't know why, but it's so fun to complete games. <gasps> I'm gonna show you a secret. Real quick. Oh, maybe I won't show you a secret real quick. <laughs> Alright, line it up. Um, for the longest time, people were curious about where to find Blythe's armor. No. Oh, it's right there. Uh, but, you know, if I don't fall off, I'll I'll show you. <laughs> I'll show you where you can find Blight's armor. And look at the jerk. He's right in there. I wish I could attack you forever. Oh, my lord. I am just flopping around. Tor Torrent? Torrent, my boy? Alright. Let's just jump off here. And let's grab this. So we don't dwarf it up. Yeah, his mask. So, if you wanted to... Not that you'd want to with this beautiful duck face of ours, but you can put on Blind's mask. Look at that. You can be Daug. <laughs> What's the what? What how is it compared to it? Wow, it's better in every way. You know what? We might be Blythe for a second because it's kind of funny. Hey, Blythe, I've got your head. <laughs> I've got your head, Blythe. <laughs> I do enjoy being Duckman though. Uh, Duckman. Hey, Celibus. Well, well, did you not mm -hmm. realize I was merely being what a jerk. Uh, perhaps I'll give you. I'd like you to find a woman <laughs> called Nefeli to administer a poem. Even you can do that. Good. Now I shall handle. Find Nefeli. I expect. So, if we do that, there's some consequences. So we're probably not going to do that because I think he's kind of a jerk and I don't really like anything that he does. But we'll see what mood we're in. Because <laughs> uh, I just think that he's a jerk. Um, but basically with all this Ronnie stuff, now we know where we need to go, what we need to do. Memory stone, I don't need them. I just get them. <laughs> really, though. So if you remember... Man, I wish I could get a good view of this. I guess I could go down here. Um, so the Yerni of the Lakes, right? Right over here. Um, and if you looked up into the star or into the sky, you saw the four belfries and then you saw this whole area way tucked away. Um, and it's just it's awesome that so much of this game is literally just tucked right in front of your face for the whole time because you spend a ton of time in the Yerni of the Lakes right when you like first start this game like you just it's where you kind of like grind and spend a lot of your time and also like it's this huge portion of the map like Kaled, this uh, everyone's hated place is right there and it takes up a, a pretty good chunk but Lyurnia is massive massive uh but you know what we got to do uh we have to go Kaled now because we need to go to is it the fort Faroth? which fort is it yeah, we don't need to go sell. I think it is Fort Fair. We need to go there. We need to kill a giant dragon. All right. There he is. <laughs> so this dragon, huge, right? Dragon, humongous dragon. Uh, he can't move. <laughs> He's so big, and so heavy and girthy and old, that he just can't move. So you sit here, 
and you slap at him. And if you've got something with a bleed on it, you'll we can watch his health. And eventually, it's just gonna do some takeies. So, look at that. 13,000 damage with the bleed. He's mad, and he calls his dragon, but if you sit on his back foot, no dragons come to his aid. So we sit here, and we whack, and we just wait for that bleed to proc. And when it procs, then we do nicely, thank god. Um, but yeah, really, if you don't have bleed, this guy is essentially impossible, although you can do it with ice too, but he, he is just too grande. You would be sitting here forever if you didn't have bleed. So, you know, we built, they're great. When the game first came out, my gosh, bleed with bananas. Um, and everyone was running, and probably is still running, to be fair, the Rivers of Blood Katana, which you get in way late game in the snowfield. Which, like, I'm sitting there and I'm like, yo, if your weapon comes, like, at the end of the game, it's great, but, like, really, you're just doing New Game Plus, or you're just skipping everything and going straight there, which you can. Like, if I decided that I wanted to get the Deckless Medals and go straight... Oh, no, I don't even need the Deckless to go up there, because all I need to go is to Elder... Elder... What's it called? The Plateau, and then the Snowfields beyond that. Um, but, really... I just feel like that's a cheesy way to play the game. To be like, I know I want to do this build, and I want to get to that point, so let me go ahead and do that because I'm impatient. <laughs> so, here we are playing a I've got my two starting swords weapons, and that's the build we're going with. Because that's the life we like to live. It's also, I don't know, it's kind of challenging, but kind of not too. Alright, so we're going to do this. Right before he, he goes down, we're going to pop this... Pickled, gold pickled foul foot. Just as a word to the wise. Um, because once he goes down, we're gonna get a ton of runes, a turn of runes, and it's definitely worth it. So let's go ahead and pop that because he's gonna die in a second. And basically, once he goes down, he gives us all the runes we possibly want. And we're very happy. We're so happy. Come on, let that bleed proc. There we go. And he's dead. He's dead. <laughs> That's his death moan. Let's see how many we get. Dragon heart and... Sweet! Yeah, look at all those... <laughs> those delicious runes. They're not souls. <laughs> They're runes. <laughs> I've been waiting for a long time to do that. I thought about power leveling and just getting it, and I was like, nah, I want to do it in an episode, because it's a funny thing to do, and he is uh, an easy way to grab, like, a bunch of levels, even if you're high level. I'm going to go Dex, and a little bit of Arcane. Ooh, you know what? I've got an extra... I think I've got a little Shikaki Mageggies in there to do that final level. Yeah, use two. And that should be enough to get me, right? I think that's exactly enough. I love that. It's so nice in this game to run around with no runes because if you die, it's like, man, who cares? All right, we'll go up to there. Uh, I'm leveling arcane because a lot of bleed procs off of arcane, um, which is silly, but it's the truth. So I'm mostly dex with this build, but we got a little arcane in there. And this is Fort Farah. Huge problem when you first come in here. Huge problem. So obnoxious. These guys are, especially if you're a melee build, like a me, they're just annoying. But our jump attack is quite helpful. Jump. Also, that girl, you see her? No thanks. She just gives you the baby. Gotcha, baby. Yeah, she, these ones are the tough ones. And she hucks with barf at us, and she's just mean. Oh, whoops. Ooh, gotcha. Let's put a little bit more feelies. Feely juice. Let's give her some more bleed. And then a little more. And then a jump attack. <laughs> Ooh. She is usually really hard. Gold her nine. Dang, bro. I know you were packing like that. Um, yeah, she's kind of a pain in the butt. And there's another one right there. That's the funny thing. A lot of times people come to this part really early in the game. And it's just like, it's insanity. If you come here early, just prepare for death. Or just run through. Just don't even mess with anything. Just run through. Which is totally viable, you know? If you just need to get the metal, and you're just like, dude, I don't want to deal with Screechy McGavin over here, 
Like, just get it. Who cares? You don't need to play this game to please anyone. Play it the way that works for you, dude. I say as I... Oh, I'm poisoned. I have been hit with the poison. Ooh, the poison's not great. I might sneak past since I'm poisoned. See how hard that was? <laughs> if you want to sneak past, sneak past, dude. Takes two seconds. And then once you get past them, they don't follow you. Those girls, they don't climb ladders. They're wangs. They're not conducive to ladders. Can I eat something to reduce my poison? Yeah. Maybe, oh, I can't do it on the ladder, apparently. I'm not allowed to. I was like, ooh, that's a neat little trick. Let me do it before anyone comes and attacks me. Because let's be real, someone gonna come and attack me. Nom, 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 nom. Thank you. Thank you. But, check this out. Bam. Deck this medallion right. So, that's all you need to do. Get the Dechalish medal. Alright. Rats. Rats. Oh, there's so many of these friends over here. Oh, did you see that rat? He was such a jerk. <laughs> Sweet. Ooh. That's a sneaky bear. That is a sneaky bear. Keep going jump. Leap. Sneaky rat. Giant sneaky rat. Add some blood. Add some more blood. Oh, that's she beef. Oh, that blood build. No thanks. No thank you, rat. Gotcha. Okay. Now, the only reason to go through here is because. You can get a little item down here. Hooray, items! Um, and yeah, this one. Radigan's Sore Seal. So, if you go into your Aquamal and you're looking for seals, greatly raises attributes, but also increases damage taken. If you're a risky boy, it's not a bad thing to have. I'm not feeling that risky. <laughs> because I feel like uh, when I'm talking a lot, which I do in this playthrough, uh, I, I find myself getting hit a lot. <laughs> so I'm not going to do that. Pardon? Excuse me. <laughs> Pardon? <laughs> ah, I see the outside. And that's it. That's all you got to do for the great, uh, the great, uh, what's it called? The Dectalus Medallion. They are a nice lost grace. All right, we've got to go through here to get up there, basically. Um, we need to get up there so we can use the lift, and then we can fight some people. There's a couple of people that we have to get up there in order to fight. So, we're heading up. Sorry, Barfy boys. Pardon us. Pardon, Barfs. <laughs> Is there anything up there that I want? I doubt it, but I'm such a curious little kid. I'm going over. Oh, there's a big boy. I don't want any of your skis. All right, cool. There's nothing down here. Hee <laughs> Barfers! <laughs> Got it! <laughs> Pardon me, Barfers. Shack! Oh, Shack. Give me your Shacky goodness. Mythic Stone 5. Ooh, I need those so bad! I love that, dude. I need Smithing Stone 4s. I need Smithing Stone 5s. Perfect. But so this is where we need to go. Because... Ladders. <laughs> because ladders. <laughs> but really, it's going to help us get all the way to the top. And there's some enemies along the way that aren't super bad, but some that are pretty obnoxious, just to be real. So we're going to try to get our way through here without too much collateral damage. Because if we end up taking a couple wrong turns, there's some problems. Thanks. 
Land Octopus Ovary. Is there any item that sounds less appealing to gather than a Land Octopus Ovary? Yummy! <laughs> Going full Ace Winter on that one. Yummy! Alright, cool. Oh, hello, friends! Ooh, yes. Smithing Stone 4. Man, I'm getting close to what I need. Sorry, pardon. So, these guys, uh, I think I mentioned it earlier, but you need to hit them with the blood because they are big old grumps and you either need to hit them with bludgeoning or blood or you need to backstab them and they take no damage otherwise. So, you know, do what you will with that. You can use a bludgeoning weapon, which is helpful and it like can stagger them pretty quick and it can break through a lot of the shield stuff that they have. Are you a friend? Friend? What are you doing over here? What are you doing? Oh, you little friend. I know there's more of you. Look at him. You know what? I'm gonna do something just to be annoying. <laughs> These are what they use on you. Oh man, Kukri! They do so much dengage, the Kukri! Um, easy. So those guys are always... Jeez! The poison? Pourquoi the poison? <laughs> More Smithing Stone 4s! I think that's all I need to upgrade my stuff to 12. Yay. <laughs> Yay. Oh, look at him. He was hiding. He was hiding in the corner. Uh, by the way, every single FromSoft game is notorious for hiding enemies. They're always around the corner. I can't tell you how many times I've finished playing these games and I've like gone upstairs to sleep. And on my way up there, ooh, item on the, on the dude's butt. I'm going to come back down and grab that. Um, on my way to sleep, I'm like peeking around corners and I'm like, hmm? <laughs> Who approaches from the east? <laughs> oh, do I really want to go down there again? Oh, I do want that item and watch it be terrible. All right, we're going to do this sneaky. If you look at it from the side, you can get a good idea of where it's coming from. Okay, here it comes. Ready? Ready? Leap! Hee <laughs> hee! We did it. Smithing Stone 5. You know what? That was totally a worthwhile endeavor. Just to be real. I would do that again. 10 out of 10 would jump off the walls again. <laughs> this poison lasts forever, dude. Luckily, it's a weak poison. But still. Whoops, sorry. <laughs> I, uh, I bonked my microphone. I gave it a, a heckin' bonker. <laughs> you know what I can do right now is I can turn this off because it's going to drive me insane. Ugh. I don't know where that one is. I have tried to find where that one is and man, look, look at my map. You show me where it is. You show me. Where the heck is that blue marker? I have no idea where that blue marker is. It's somewhere. It's somewhere. Couldn't tell you where. No clue. I got distracted. Who goes there, smithing friends? Oh, look at you. See, he's gathering the purple stuff. I don't need purple stuff. <laughs> What's that purple stuff? <laughs> Sunny D commercial from the 90s. Have some of that. Can I sneak around you? Oh, you're going to make it difficult on me. Go snuck around. And you're gathering purple stuff too? Oh, oh, you're still alive? <laughs> that homie was not prepared to die. Good thing stone fours, yeah. The purple stuff, meh. I don't need glintstone. I know that's what it's called, but calling it the purple stuff is so much funnier. Are you gathering? You're not even gathering. You just have stuff that's pre-gathered, bud. They don't mess with you if you don't mess with them. Hilarious. Ooh. Oh, yeah. I was going to say, that's a lot of messages for there to be nothing. Okay, let's heal. Don't do it. They're weak, but man, when they get you stunlocked, they can really stunlock you. <laughs> Were you prepared for my jump attack? <laughs> Ooh, somber smithing stone four and smithing stone four. What's uh, look at this homie? He's like, hmm, who dares approach? Have some blood. Oh no! Look at him. Did he kill me? Oh no, alive. I need to heal. Whoa, that was a close one. See how gromps those guys are? Oh, you're alive. Gotcha. With the blurred. With the blurred. <laughs> uh. Leap. 
The leap attack is so effective on him. Leap attack, man. I'm learning this episode that the leap attack is the hidden wonder of the world over here. Leap attack. Oh, I love it. This weapon is turning out to be kind of fun. Okay. All those guys are gone. I can grab this. Oh my lord, I just got unpoisoned. And it's all for lightning grease? I mean, to be fair, it's not the worst thing in the world. I'm not complaining about lightning grease, but man, I'm poisoned for every every five seconds I'm poisoned. Woo! Somber smithing stone fours. Once again, somber smithing stones are for the weapons that you get with boss souls. Yay! I made it! Oh, I love the sights in this game. They're so great. I'm just resting so I can get rid of the poison. Because poison sucks! Sweet. Yeah, check this out. Yeah, baby. That's where we're going, right there. Bing, bang, boom. That's where we're going. Um, because that is where we use the lift. The grand lift. Whee! And that opens up a lot of the game for us. Because then we can start fighting some other bombs. We're getting closer to the actual, like, part of this game, which is crazy to think. We're only, what, four episodes in? This is our fourth episode? Ours? <laughs> As a community? <laughs> Hello, friend. Oh, there's a bat. That guy fell. <laughs> that guy fell. Hello, bat. Have some blood. Yes. Oh, I love it. Bleed on this thing, it's awesome. Seriously, if you haven't tried this, fun build. It's mobile, it's quick, it does a pretty good chunk of damage, too. Like, really, that's a lot of damage to be doing at this stage in the game. Have it. And with that bloody slash, you have the range to, like, actively reach a lot of the flappers, which is always the problem with melee games. The flappers are always the problem. Great. Um, yeah, they seriously, they are like the bane of your existence if you build melee. Ooh, what's down you? Ladder. <laughs> ha! This game. Oh, it leads to treasurous wonders and wondrous treasures. Uh, I swear this game. That's all it is? It's just this? Okay, can I just bump past you? Pardon me. I want none of your business. Anything delicious down here? Uh, somber smithing stone fours. Not worth my time unless I decide to really change up my build. Never gonna use somber smithing stone. Also, come at me if I'm running too slow on some of these precipices. That is the way that you die in this game. <laughs> that is the surefirest of deaths. I can't tell you that I feel like that is ooh, oh, pardon me. That is the the biggest killer in this game. It's just falling. You fall from a big old height, and it's a problem. We gotta go all the way up there, dude. Look how tall we gotta get, right? We gotta get so tall. So tall. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm pretty sure singing, singing gals in here. You hear them? They're so creepy, the singer. Thank you for your golden rune and your smithing stone force. Look at her. Doesn't she just look ominous? And look, there's friends up there. There's one here. They're t they always try to sneak. But you know what we do? We throw the cuckoos. Come on, baby. And slice. Oh, look, and the friends approach. Approach, friend. Come to me. Ooh, you gotta love the leaps. Can I get you too? Man, I'm digging these cuckoos. Never use them. They're sweet. Come on. He's done the tumble. And then his friend approaches? No? Oh, but Mama does. Come on. Oh, there, there he is. Let's do a little heal before I get poison. Don't give me the poison. Leap attack. Ooh, I hit her with the sauce. Oh, I missed her with the sauce. <laughs> Bad news, the sauce is missed. <laughs> I've got terror on the news. I've missed the sauce. Oh, she's poisoned me again. Well, then I can just leap in and do my whoop. Oh, she be slapping. Leap attack. Dude, leap attack. So mobile. So leapy. The best. I love that. Seriously. Oh, I can't wait to leap myself to freedom over here. 
<laughs> leap myself to lordship. Leaping lord. <laughs> oh, I have to decide whether or not I'm going to do some of the obstacle bosses in this game too, because some of them are huge pains in the butt. Some of them are really fun. I also just like challenges. But I feel like I probably will end up doing most of them, if not all of them, because I love a good challenge. Batman! <laughs> Didn't even mean to call him that. Oh, I love that. Batman. <laughs> Hello. Oh, I heard a singer. Come on, bud. Are we pussyfooting around over here? Leap attack. Oh my gosh. Camera. No. Camera. No. Camera. Uh, camera. No. My leap attack almost betrayed me. Jeez, Batman. How could you do this to me, Bat? Where are you, Sanger? Sanger! Are you hiding over here? No, nope, that's just Smithers. Oh, another four. I don't need any more fours. <laughs> Pretty sure I'm maxed out on fours. Uh, that's awesome. Singing lady. Where you at, singing lady? I hear your beautiful song. I just want to be friends. Friends with Scabbit. Oh, there she is. Where's all your friends? Where's all your dudes? I know that they've got to be around some. You're not calling this the octopus. But her song is so... Oh, there's two. That's what that is. She doesn't have friends because there's two. Come on. Come to Padre. Ooh, have a little blood. Have a little bonus blood. Oh, she be harfing. Oh, she harfing. No, thank you. She's, she's, she's gooping the gaps. Oh, she's sneaky. Oh, look at her little helmet. She's a wizard berry. <laughs> she was so wizardy. <laughs> oh, well, we killed her. What were you guarding? You had to be guarding something good, right? Oh, smoothing stone three is the worst thing there, possibly. Oh, you were guarding a shortcut? Is this a shortcut? Totally a shortcut. Let's see where it takes us. Oh, shortcut up. You don't mind if I up? That's great. I'm curious what was down that ladder over there, but you know what? I'm not that curious. Actually, I can just run back over there. Let me go see what was on that ladder. If it's nothing, you won't know nothing about it. But since those girls are dead, I might as well take advantage of their deaths. And just see what's going on in here. Oh, I love to explore. Exploring is so fun. With the ladder. <clears throat> octopus? Is that what I'm going towards? Am I going towards octopus? I am going towards the octopus. Octopus! <laughs> uh, they, they were a problem. So, land octopus. Those guys right there. That dude right there. Um, if you don't kill them quickly, or if you just, like, let them eat their tentacles. They just regain health, uh, which is a pain in the butt. Come on. Approach me. I'm killing your children. Terrible sentence. Ooh, look at him. Oh, we jump. Look at him. He's banana. Oh my god. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm healing. Look at that camera. Final boss. Come at me. Say I'm wrong. I only have two more heals. But he's gonna, yeah, he's gonna start eating that. And then we come in and we give him the sauce and the business. And the business sauce. <sighs> Thanks, bud. Ooh, more ovaries. Thanks, bud. Smithing stone threes. Don't need those. Serpents. God's curved sword. Pretty sweet. Pretty sweet looking weapon. But we get at least this. Totally worth it, by the way, to go back here. Smithing Stone 4. Don't really need those, but whatever. That's fine. <laughs> I don't mind that we got it. And then we can go back up. And then we've got that sweet side of grace up there. Ooh, it's magic. <laughs> I don't know why I got so panicky with that and then went straight into some glorious jams. Oh. All right, let's get back up there. All right. Let's move on through then, friends. Hello, boss wall of fun. Oh, I could summon a friend. Who is it? 
Great Horned Dragon. <gasps> oh, do I want to summon him? It's for the patches stuff. Uh, I don't really like having friends for bosses, but just this once. I'll allow it because it's for patches. Uh, come on, buddy. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm blithe. I'm impatient. They call me blithe. Hey, what's going on, friend? Let's go, Great Horned Targoth, or Tragoth. And then it's the giant boy. Be ready for him? Here it comes. Here comes giant boy. Look at him. You see him just... Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so I already beat one of these guys in the, um... Whoops. In the, what's it called, the tunnels. Because I wanted to get a sword, because I'm green. But this bleed build is functional with him. So, let's see if we can get some bleed. Oh, he be slapping. Come on. No thanks. No thanks, friend. Have some salts. Man, he is a lot healthier this time around. But he's also just as predictable. Oh, I got hit by his back leg. He done his back leg on me, baby. Let me get some heels on it. Nope. Mistakes. Oh, no mistakes. I don't know why I... Oh, he's wounded. Let me get to your face. I love doing these things. These things are so fun. Stay in the eyeball. It really doesn't even do that much damage. It's just kind of fun to do. Whoops. Nope. Nope, I don't want anything to do with that. Ooh, god dang, bruh. That's a lot of dangage. Too much dangage. Look at him with his flaming sword. I forgot about this face. Awesome face. No thanks. You keep your barfs. Oh, he barf. Nope. Oh, he's, he's hucking. He's hucking. Have some blood. He's fucking. That's more blood. Give him a little extra blood. Oh, he flipped. Oh, that was awesome. I can't even be mad about it. Oh, he's dead. Come on. Let's kill him with this. Yes. I never get a kill with the, like, the finishing blows. There he goes. Because his greatsword is really cool. Thanks, bud. You were, I mean, he was targeting me the whole time, but I continue to patch his quest line, so I'm not complaining about it. <laughs> Yes! Oh, we made it to the top. That's flipping awesome, dude. Oh. And, let's get one more level in us. We're gonna get straight into Blythe's questline so we can continue down that path. And in order to do that, we've gotta go down here. I've already beaten the boss here. Oh my goodness, I didn't summon Torin. Um, I've already beaten the boss in this area, this guy. I did it off screen, but I'll show you the boss dying right now. That boss is pretty unimportant because you get to fight him twice, and we'll fight him again in this playthrough probably. Hey, don't shoot me. Here's Blythe. He's right here. What's going on, buddy? I ignored everyone so I can come talk to you. Ah. Apologies, mate. But I don't have much to report. I can see bloody knock on right above me. Mm hmm I've tried all the gateways. Perhaps it's time to ask Celibus. We should go ask Celibus. I recall that spiteful little rat acting like Let's give him a squeeze. Mm-hmm. Show him just how sharp my teeth are. Heck yeah, dude. Let's squeeze Celibus. Also, Nocron is literally right up there. Oh, buddy! Hey! I was trying to show them Nocron. Let me show them Nocron. Uh, it's literally, like, right up there. We're gonna get up there, and that's where you fight uh, a specific thing that's very helpful if you want to get the Mimic tier. Uh, which I'm gonna try to not run that build because it just is so cheesy McGeezy. Uh, I'm not about cheesing this game. As you guys can tell, I'm not even using summons, so... I'm not cheesing. I do not do the cheese. But let's go over to Celibus real quick. Let's go talk to that boy. All right, Celibus. Let's go and say hello to you then, friend. Also, if you guys couldn't tell, last episode I was complaining about the fact that I couldn't find one of my blue markers. You know, I just ended up following it. <laughs> and it was tucked away. I should have been able to find it but literally it wasn't visible on the over map and it was only there if i went in and like went directly to it 
So I just went to it, and I just cut it out. So I don't have an extra one anymore. So yay! Now I know exactly where I'm going. Hooray, hooray, hooray! Televis! Oh, so excited to put the teeth to him. Come on, Blythe. Let Televis know it was good, baby. I love that we're both... I'm wearing the Blythe helmet, and I'm like, hmm? Knock run. Well, you're asking me about that. I, the task was left to you and the mongrel. Rude. Not? not only are you incompetent. Well, there's no helping it. Now's as good a time as any. I'll <laughs> let you in on it. There's a glintstone sorcerer by the name of Selen in Lingre. Selen. She owes me for the help I gave her when she was expelled from the academy. I asked her to look into the matter some time ago. I'll write you a letter of introduction. Go ask her. All right. Well, we've got Celibus's introduction. So let's go ahead and go to her. She's all the way down in here. Um, as you can see, I already met her once before. That's her little stuff right there. She's guarded by a pumpkin head boss early game. I was just exploring and leveling up, and I just uh, can't went through there real quick, and it was no problem. So let's go. All right. Let's go talk to this girl. I got an introduction, yeah, baby. You are a tadpole when it comes to magic, <laughs> so to become snow. Let's oh, learn. But actually, well, is not a name I ever wanted to hear. Not again. a name I want to hear either, girl. But fine. If it will help you, my apprentice, I offer my knowledge. Excellent. The stars alter the fate of the Karian royal family mm -hmm. and the fate of your mistress, Rani. But long ago. General Radan challenged the swirling constellations and in a crushing victory arrested their cycle. He's so strong, he now could stop the stars. The that repulses the stars. If General Radan were to die, the stars would resume their movement. And so too would Rani's destiny. Mm -hmm. So basically, Radan tried to stop Rani from... Well, she killed a lot of the people and started the war. And Radan was like, nah. She believes in the stars as, like, the fates. And Radon was like, uh-uh, ain't gonna happen, baby. And so he stopped the stars so she couldn't complete her fate. Or complete all of that. And, um, yeah, he's holding back all of the fate in this war. So we have to beat Radon. But in order to do that, we have to go up the Grand Lift. Which, once you beat Godric, the Grafted, and you beat, uh, what's her name? Uh, Renala, you can come across here. And go to this little gate right here. Which is what we'll do real quick. We'll go to the Grand Lift of Dictus. Yeah, I misspoke earlier about the... the the What's it called? The Dectus Medallion. I said it was about Nakron. Not about Nakron, but we need it to get into Nakron. Because we need it to get up here. And in order to trigger Radon, we basically have to go up here. So we have to hoist the medallion. There's a second medallion. Which we'll get into how to get. Don't worry. We'll go to secret places. Medallion! Mm. Game is so fun. <laughs> the knights are like, Alright, you can come inside, and we'll let the lift up for you. <laughs> We're heading up, dude. <laughs> yeah. So this is we could go up the way that we went last episode, or we could take this way. Either way is fine. I went up the other way because it's like, yeah, as I said before, we need the smithing stone fives, and there's a ton of them in there. Um, and it's just easy to grab them. We still need a couple more. I think I still need like four more to max up my weapons. But there's other ways to get them too. So we'll get them real quick. But that way just cuts out a lot of the waiting for either bell bearings or other stuff like that. And now, we here, baby. Ooh, yeah. Oh, this area is awesome, by the way. Uh, we're going to be getting into the city. And there's a sneaky little Morgoth fight hidden along the way. Oh, yes. I like fighting the extra Morgoth. Uh, as if you don't get to fight him enough. Look at this guy. Look at this guy right here. Look at this dude. Dudes. <laughs> Hello. 
Slap in your feet. Oh, you're doing a stomp. No thanks. You may stomp at me. As much as you like, friend. Because you're gone. Whoa. Ooh, that's a nice little chunk of change. 2300. Echoes. <laughs> I said I was going to call them blood echoes last time. I couldn't resist. It's not echoes. They're runes. Ugh. This game makes me want to play Bloodborne so bad. Every time I see that yellow bar of my health, I'm like, time to regain it. <laughs> I think Bloodborne, I don't know if it's my favorite one of these games. Oh my gosh, there's this little stuff in, he's in the ground. Love that. Um, I don't know if it's my favorite FromSoft game, but it's pretty close up there. Like I love, um, I think Bloodborne, Dark Souls 3, this game and Sekiro all have like very special places in my heart. They're such fun games. Uh, Sekiro is so different from all these games too. It's really fun to play Sekiro. And it also is like the most cinematically awesome game. Um, and especially since there's not any like builds and stuff like that, it's just pure play style. And that's awesome. I love that kind of stuff in games where it's like, you just have become better at the game. It's not a question of, oh, I've made a broken build that works. It's just you getting good. And that's what FromSoft games are all about. Get good, noob. Get good. <laughs> you will hear that so many times if you play these games. Get good, bruh. Just get good. So yeah, we're up here. That's the city we were trying to get into right there. We got a lot of stuff to do up here now. Hello. Whee. And we got that. I need to find the map of this area, which I think might be right up there. Is it? Ooh, nope. So we'll go up there and we'll do some mappage. Mappage? Because the map is kind of crucial. Once you get the maps, you can actually like start to explore a lot smarter. I do a lot of the exploring off camera because, like I said, I'm trying to keep this to a, like a contained series. I don't want to run a 50 to 100 episode series on this because I totally could because this game is so girthy. Um, I want it to be nice and contained and fun. So that's what we're doing. Hello. Anyone in here? Hello. Look at you boys. Oh. Dodge and bleed. And the bleed is awesome. Hello. Oh, can I jump him? He's so high. I can't jump him. I gotta bleed him. <laughs> that's why melee builds are rough in these games. Because it's like there's so many flappers. Ooh, I thought I could get him. I did. Ooh, you gotta love breaking guard. Um, so in this game, I should have mentioned it a while ago. There's a bunch of different meters that you never see and never know about unless you're like paying attention all the time. Which is that um, there's hyper armor, uh, which in this game is broken by poise. Uh, there's bleed buildups for your bleed. There's a bunch of different things that are building up constantly without actually showing you a meter. Hey, don't. I don't really have anything to do with that guy. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of things to pay attention and a lot of things going on beyond the surface. But yeah, there's a lot of builds around Armor Break, so that that way you can just get straight to it. And it's, I'm very curious to see if like Armor Break is a bigger thing in the DLC, because I think that there's going to be like a damage nerf. I'm not sure in the areas of the DLC. Beast Blood. Uh, which will keep it so that you have to... I don't know if you'll have to churn out more damage or what you'll have to do, but... Um, I think all of our damage is going to get nerfed in the DLC, which is rude! Pardon? Hello? Oh, he speared me! I'll have to repay the favor. <laughs> Ballista, don't do it. Uh, there's also going to be quite a good friend up here in just a second. So let's get up here. Are you going to toot your horn? <laughs> the horn toots. Hey, friend. Oh, you came. You came to come and get me. I'm going to clear out some of these guys just because right up there is a problem. Ooh, what's going on, buddy? Thanks, bud. Whee! <laughs> He's, he flamed me. Pardons. Take a little bit of that. Hello. Don't mind if I do the dance. Dancing, dancing, dancing. Oh, you broke my dance. <laughs> I 
It was you, the tutor. You tooted the horn. <laughs> Ow! Let me get around you, big shield boy. Fine, be that way. Whee! Whoops. My jumpy jumps. There we go. That'll do. That'll do, pig. So you've got a couple techniques that you can do with this guy. Which you can either run past him. Which is a, a hot technique. And then you can come back and deal with him. Or, ooh, the Golden Knights. These guys are kind of problems. I'm going to sneak past him real quick. Um, yeah, you can sneak past this guy because he's going to come in hot. And then you can go back and uh, deal with him once you get the uh, thing that's right in there. The save spot. Ooh. Ooh. Look at these guys. Yeah, these guys are obnoxious. Double tree sentinels. We're just moving past. Ooh. And we'll get our little sight. And we'll get all of our stuff loaded. Oh, they follow you? Are they not blocked? That's hilarious. Double tree? Is that double seeds? Yes. Yeah, they're leaving. They're not about us. So this is the area I was talking about. Sorry. And there's the map! Yay! Map. I love how the music's still going in there, like, no, nah, we're not, we're not coming, dude. <laughs> it ain't happening, brother. <laughs> uh, Flaskies, add charge. Four golden seeds. Woo! That's rude, dude. Rude dude with attitude. Alright, so, I'm pretty sure... There's a couple of bell bearings. First of all, going down there, super clutch. Let's go to the church real quick. Get that, because there's usually good stuff at the church. Uh, Crone Reader again. And then we've got to go over here to get into the city, because this way is blocked. So we're going to head this way. Put that as two. But first, let's go church it up, baby. Oh, is my stuff still on there? I need to turn that off. I'll do that in a second. But either way, we're going to the church. At least I think this is a church. We'll figure it out. There's usually, yeah, 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 church. At the churches, there's usually um, things that upgrade your um, your healing pots, which is super clutch. So it's definitely a worthwhile endeavor. Ooh, look at that little boy. That little boy. Ooh. Minor Erd Tree Church. Love to see it. A craft book. I haven't done, well, that's not true. I've done like a tiny bit of crafting in this playthrough. Not much. Not much. <laughs> Golden Order Seal. Ooh. What are you? What am you? Let's see. Grow, I don't know. Okay, let's talk to Melina. Melina, Melina sorry. Spoken echoes of Queen Marika. Ooh. Shall I share them with you? Yeah, let us know. I'm interested. Marika's own words. I declare mine intent to search the depths of the Golden Order through understanding of the proper way. Our faith of those blissful okay. early days of blind belief are long past my comrades. Oh, I learned that. Great. Um, well, that seal is something. I couldn't figure out what it is, but here we are. It's apparently for uh, people who are building different builds than me, so that's fine. I'm not going to live and die by it. So, oh, look at that guy. He's coming up. Uh, so we are going to go head down. Hello. Don't mind a little bonkage. Um, we're going <laughs> to... I don't know why I like to hit things on the way out. Uh, we're going to head across to the other side. I should go down there and do a little famine, but I'll do that a little later. I'll do a little famine a little later, all right? For now... We're just going to head inside the city and get into the goodness of the city. Oh, I love this whole area. This whole city is just really cool and it's really fun to get in here. And there's a bunch of I, I would say that there's this is where it starts getting into like there's some difficult bosses and some difficult, you know, things to encounter in this space. So I'm prepared, I suppose, as much as I'm going to be. <laughs> Hello. I love the statues in here, too. Statues are awesome. Sneaking through. Hmm. Look at that. 
beautiful, dude. Ooh, more. More earth trees. More golden seeds. So, this whole area is the remains of a big old battle, obviously. But there's just a little tiny dude who's just scampering around. Look at that guy. Who is that guy? He's just a little guy. Oh, isn't he just a friendly little guy? Oh, could he be just a friendly guy? Yeah, he's not a friendly guy. He is... Morgoth. And he's grumpy. Whew. Oh, he hits me with the sauce. And he's more powerful than before. He's got his delay attack again. Don't. Don't do it. But he doesn't know we're also more powerful than before. Well, I'm sure he does know it. Wee. Yeah, buddy. Oh, he timed it right. Ooh, he timed it right again. Oh my goodness, the triple dip. That's too many dips. Don't be triple dipping on me. I triple dip on you. Ooh, the double dip. I don't appreciate the amount of dippage he's doing. Oh, I thought I dodged that one. Whoa! Just out of range. Oh, he's giving me the shambies. He's giving me the shambies. I don't appreciate your shambies. All right, all right, have some blood. <laughs> all right, Morgoth. Taste the feet for the second time. Now he gives that, which is fine. Um, I'll show you what it does real quick, in case anyone's actually interested. I'm pretty sure, yep, it raises maximum stamina, which is really nice, actually, for our build. I think I might swap out this guy. Because our stammies... We need the stammies. We need all the stammies we can get. Let's go to that uh, side of grace. And let's get on cooking. But that's the second Morgoth fight. That's always, uh, it's fun. It's super easy to miss because a lot of times people just walk by him. And if you don't turn back to see who's talking to you, you're like, what? <laughs> There's just a dude talking to me? <laughs> easy to miss. Melina's got more information for us? What you gotta say, baby girl? You're talking a lot right now. Spoken echoes of Queen Marika. Oh, what is it? What? Yeah, share them with us. What is she thinking? Marika's own hear me, demigods. Poor Marika. My chill make of thyself that which you but she Lord or God. To become aught at all. You will be forsaken, amounting mm. only to sacrifices. Mmm. What a Shall thing. Let my hand share them with me. Let's get some vigor, because we're we're our little healthy healths are a little low. Let's be real about it. We ain't got a lot of healthy health. I'm gonna peek out this door because I like peek. Um basically the lift or not the lift, the little like side alleyway that we took would take us um a different route to get here. Let me show you where that spits us out. That spits us out over here. Or not over here, sorry, right up here. That's the magma worm. So we come in through here. We get that, and then we come into where we are now. Um, and there's a bunch of fun stuff over here, but we are going to be trying to progress if we can. So let's sneak on through and head over to the little side shabble. And then I might take a little detour and grab some upgradey stuffs because I'm going to need it soon. My weapons are fine, but they're not going to last forever, especially not in this space. I need to get those hushers upgraded. I don't know why I like to hit things on my way through. Don't judge me. <laughs> it's just something I like to do. Ooh, oh, look at you. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Ooh. Okay, I have to dip over here to get to the path. My bad. So we'll take the path over, and there is a knight guarding the entrance of the city that we're trying to get into. So we're going to have to fight him, because he's a problem. And he is kind of difficult, to be real. Just to be honest. So we're going to sneak on through. Ooh, Erdtree. Or not Erdtree, Thingy-Majig. Who's coming to fight me? Someone's coming to fight me. Oh, look at these boys. They were shabbling. Look at that shabble boy. Oh, he's a grunt. Hey, bud. I don't... I don't know. 
Okay. All right. Well, that's fine. I don't really need anything in here, so I'm gonna sneak on page. To the other side. Here's another Erd tree. Ooh, item. Thank you. Spam. I spam triangle when I'm near items. I'm like a panicked spam. <laughs> And we go over here. What's at this urn tree, anyways? Just out of curiosity. Purple item. Ooh, crystal tear. I love to get crystal tears. Ooh, it's one of those guys. Hi, friends. These guys are snails. They're death snails. <laughs> Don't really want anything to do with the death snails. But we can go down and deal. Is that? A, I think it was a demi human down there. Question mark. They're not that hard to beat, usually. I say that, and every single time in this playthrough where I'm like, those things are easy, they've smacked me. If you remember the hands from last episode. <laughs> those things smacked me when I was just talking the slightest of bits of trash. They're just letting me know. Also, glowing schools, I know that they're not worth it. They give you 100, 100 runes. Just let me have my, my peace with it, okay? Just let me be at peace with collecting my 100 runes. Oh, hi, friend. Hello. Hi, Mark. I did not hit her. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. Oh, hey, Johnny. What's up? <laughs> oh, if you've ever seen that movie, it is a gem of a movie. Okay. Let's see. Oh, it's just one of these guys. It's one of the Forsaken Bumpas. Let's just get one of these guys down. Garden. He's guarding something that I plant. Oh, he's got the he's got the handy jammy bars. Takes, takes blood. Ooh, they're all throwing stuff. Can you stop throwing stuff at me? Oh, I don't have any healing. Oh my lord! Why have I chosen to live this life? You know what I'm gonna do? I need to get out of here, and I need to find a little sight of grace. So I'm gonna go grab this. I'm gonna totally cheese this encounter. Thank you. Cheesing. And then we're gonna go find somewhere to heal. I can go fight those guys later. Oh, save spot. Thank you, you've been kind. Oh. I'll come back here. At some point in the future. But for right now, I got places to go, baby. Let's head back up and go deal with that boy. I'm tired of his nonsense. All right, so we've gotten to the hero's grave. Yeah, I need to get back up there. That's the plan. Deal with that boy. Get entrance to the city. City it up. <laughs> Woo! Bears. Don't bear at me, bears. Don't get your bear grumps going on. So we can take a shortcut up to the top. Woosh! And then we're just gonna sneak back over where that dude was. We're gonna take him out, baby. We're gonna take him out. What's up, boss? I don't mean any harm. I'm just here to come and fight the dude who you guys are guarding. Who is a pain in the butt. missed me. Ooh, he missed again. Oh, he didn't miss that time. There's a lot of damage with the Mega Hammer. How come I... Oh, that's why. I had the wrong healers equipped. <laughs> oh, weird. That's so funny. I must have pressed down. Ooh, well, that was a fool's errand. Now we've got the healing ready, I think we'll do a little better. <laughs> All right, bud. I'm coming after you. And dodge. And bleed. Ooh, he hit me with the sauce. No sauce. No sauce allowed in this town. Roll. Come on, do it again. No, he didn't do it again. Jump and leap. Ooh, but he did hit the hammer. No thanks, buddy. We're going to stay up top. We're going to stay topped up. Yep. 
and turn and bleed. No thank you. No thank you. Oh, we got him a big bleed. Oh no thanks. Here he comes. Oh, he's got his... He's got his goop. I don't like his goop. No thanks. And bleed. Oh, his goop hits hard. That's a lot of goop. No thank you on the goop. Oh, he's gonna do it, and... Nope. Okay, heals. Woo! That's a spicy jalapeno. And bleed. Ooh, nice. Good dodge. Love to see it. And bleed. Love to see it some more. Nope! Oh my gosh. When he hits you with that, it's like... It's night-night time. And no thanks. Woo! Oh, that's gonna hurt. Ooh, it didn't hurt. Nope. Nope. Dodge. Ooh, is that death? Oh my gosh, I had one health. Oh my gosh. No thank you. Heals. Ooh. Okay, come on. Oh, I missed. I should have dodged. Alright, we heals, we heals, we heals, we heals. Flames. No. Oh gosh. Hit us with the flame. Turn and eat. Ooh, we just got him. Ooh. He was a problem. 50,000 souls. <laughs> Thanks, bud. That's a level. Let me get my 44 souls, though, real quick. Nice. <laughs> he gave us the business once, that's for sure. Oh. So now we can level up and we can head in there. But first, I think there's a boy that we need to go and visit. Because in order to finish out... Um, or not to finish out, but to get to the next step in Ronnie's quest line, we have to defeat a very important person. Not only a very important person, but a very difficult person. <sighs> and I'm not exactly looking forward to the fight because it's difficult, but I really like it. So, let's go head over to exactly where we need to go, which is all the way down here. We gotta go beat Radon. Ooh, he's gonna kick our butts. Maybe? Let's go in with a positive attitude. We're gonna kick his butt. Okay. We're here. Now, there's a bunch of trebuchets all along the cliffside here, and they're gonna lob stuff at us. So, we dodge and weave as required. Unless they are asleep. Are they asleep? <laughs> Did no one notice me? Wow, that's a delight. I guess maybe, maybe when the festival's on, they don't even care? We got a festival to attend, my dude. Yeah, they're all gone. Oh, that's cool. When the fest is on, they don't care. Okay. <laughs> so we're here. We can, can we get in? Do I need to do the whole side thing? Side. Let's go. Dabble around. Don't kill yourself. Good. No killing. Oh yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Now one. <laughs> no bats for me. Two. No bats for me. <laughs> uh, we gotta go along the side. And sneak up. Oh, into the pit of wonders. Is there, any, is there anything valuable in this door? Is there? I don't know. Pretty sure we gotta take the later. Get up there. Is this a shortcut door? Yeah. From the other side. Rude. Ugh. Radon. It gets me so pumped up. Because you can bring Blythe into this, and you can bring, um, you know, your pot friend, who's the best. I love pot man. Um... But you don't have to if you don't want to, technically. And, ooh, no, thanks. Have some bleed. Ooh! Have some bleed for you! Jeez, I missed double bleed. Ooh, don't, don't fuck it at me, huh? Don't. Thank you. Let me just do a little heal. Oh, she screech! But she also attacks. That one's dead. I'm gonna heal. Don't poison me. Oh, she did. Have some juice. And more juice. <laughs> Come
cover my sword with juice. <laughs> Alright, we're heading in there. It's funny, this castle has different boss encounters depending on what time you get in here. Because if you come earlier, you have to fight two dudes in the courtyard. And they're a problem, but they're all dudes you fought before. And if you come at the right time, it's the whole festival. So, you know, it's always it's always fun when you don't know what you're getting yourself into. Especially early in the game where you're like, I thought I was supposed to come here. Was I not supposed to come here? Um, but also kind of like, to be fair, like, I feel like this game on your first playthrough, you just kind of like go everywhere and you're hoping for the best because you're like, I don't know where I'm supposed to go most of the time. <laughs> it takes some time to like figure out what exactly is like helpful and progress. <gasps> There's a puppy dog down there. I seen him. I seen the puppy dog. Puppy dog, come here for the puppage. You've been pupped. Ooh. All right, we're sneaking around. Hello, friend. And other friends. Look at all these boys just sitting in, the, in their little room. Pardon my murder fest, but I don't like you. <laughs> oh, only Elden Ring could make you chuckle at the killing of people. But it's like one of those things where his friend, these guys, they look so much like the guy in um, Godric's space. And these don't five. I needed those. Um, where you're like, you know. I'll kill them all, because that dude was a jerk. Um, also, when I beat Godfrey, Godric this last time, because I had to fight him again since my hard drive exploded, um, I saved the guy. So I'll show him kicking that dude um, and talking trash right over here. He's gone. He gone. Ooh, he gone, baby. But yeah, he was just... He, if you don't kill him at the beginning, which I had a lot of faith I wasn't going to um, get killed in that run-through, uh, if you don't kill him, he just chit-chats, which is funny. So, yeah, that's what I did. I was like, I won't kill him because I ain't gonna die. Let me up. Let me in. <laughs> oh, Eric Andre, you're a gem. Alright, so I can leap onto that, and then I can leap down here, and there is a lion over here, over yonder, the lion, Wee! And there's also a little, ooh, look at that little path in. Path? No thanks. Ugh. What is this door? Man, I swear, all these castles, they're so big. <laughs> I can't. I can't get through the doors. I appreciate it. Um, they're so big, and they have so many, like, little roundabout ways to go through it. Like, I was going through Rayo Lucaria again, because I wanted to do some... I wanted to open up the three... Belf or the four Belfries. And in order to do that, you have to get all of the um, specific keys in there. And uh, you have to go on top of the roofs of Rayo Lucaria in order to get one of them. And it was just like, I was sitting there and I was like, man, I've like explored this area pretty thoroughly. And there's so much more of it that I really hadn't touched. So it's kind of cool. Blythe, he's here. And there's our pot, Fred. Hmm. I must admit, mm -hmm. I was a little worried, but it looks like you're still in one piece. Heck yeah, bud. You must have heard by now, right? Mm -hmm. That star scourge Radan holds Rani's fate in stasis. Yeah, buddy. But once he's out of the way, it will spring back into motion. So now, stand against the demi way ahead is pleasingly simple. So I was not going to summon anything for this fight, but I love Alexander, and I love Blythe. So I might summon them. Indeed, I thought I might find you here. By the by, 
Do you know for whom this festival is? Well, it is none other than General Radan himself. Oh, I'm excited. To think I could face a great champion of the sh Oh, God. In truth, I quiver at the thought. Such is his frightful repute. <laughs> but the fear simply assures me the ordeal is worth undertaking. Be sure to get a good vantage, my friend. I, Iron Fist Alexander, do hereby vow to unflinchingly brave this ordeal. Heck yeah, buddy. We're all in. Alright, I need to go talk to this guy up here. And we can start the festival. Are you good and prep the festival? Let's go, baby. Oh, it's Before so scary to fight begin. Radon. <laughs> Allow me to paint you the full picture. His horse is so cute. And Radon is insane. General Radon is cursed ever to wander. From the inside by Melania's scarlet rot. Those little force are long gone. He's continued to grow because of the scarlet rot and like he's becoming more beast like. Um so he just eats people now, which is great. Now he gathers the corpses of former friends and foes alike, gorging on them like a dog. Terrifying. Ugh. Howling at the sky. But so, now, you know. Must make merry. Oh, gathering of champions, the revels begin. The celebration of war. The Radon Festival. All right. Um. So, a little bit more intra or uh, insight into Radon. As a as a character, uh, as I said before, he's like holding back the stars, which is stopping Ronnie from finishing her whole story thing, because um, yeah, he didn't agree with what she was doing. Also, like she technically killed a lot of his family, so that's not great, and all the all the people in that area. Um, so you know, he wasn't about that. Um, but his horse, so he's got a little tiny horse that he rides, and. He used to ride it when he was, uh, you know, a normal-sized human, and he can't ride it anymore, really, because he's gigantic and the horse is tiny. So in order to still ride the horse, and it looks hilarious, by the way, because the horse is tiny. He's supposed to be this huge, imposing figure, and he is, and his horse is just so tiny. Um, but in order to ride his horse still, whom he loves very much, he mastered gravity magic. So that he can ride it still. It's so cute. He's like, I'm just gonna make sure that I can levitate myself so I don't have to say goodbye to my horse. Oh, the cutest little thing ever. And he is terrifying. <laughs> so let's radon it up, my dudes. <sighs> Wish me luck. Please. The trick with Radon is to dodge his stuff because he comes at you hot and heavy. Ooh, I did not dodge any of his stuff. Ooh, come on. All right, we're bringing our friends in. Ooh, he whacked us with the sauce. Ooh, here it comes. All right, now we bring the horse. Now that he's doing that thing, we bring the horse. Woo! All right, now he's going bananas. Ready? All right, let's go, baby. Woo! Ooh, yeah, he does some damage. And he's look how big he is. And once he gets those things going too, he gets even scarier. Woo! As with most of the bosses in this game. Underneath him is kind of the safest spot. Oh, no thanks. Oh, Alexander. It makes me sad when Alexander gets killed because he gets hit in one shot. He always says it at the end. He's like, I was cracked in one shot of Radon. 
Ooh, we dodge. Heals. Oh, buddy. Let's hit him with... Oh, he's gone. That's not great. So it's quiet. And you're like, great, we beat him. Hooray! Nope, there he is. Ready? You have to dodge him. <laughs> I thought I timed it perfectly. Turns out I didn't time it perfectly. You literally can't... Um, if you miss that dodge, he just kills you right away. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's like he does a ton of damage when he comes flying through. Usually he does it at the end of the fight, so it's kind of fun to see it that early. Alright, Radon. I'm going to come and take you down a notch then, but I'm just going to take you down. We're going to make it so easy on ourselves. <laughs> we're going to dodge. We're going to bring our friends. <laughs> I'm not going to get hit with all of this stuff, and I'm not going to be crying and upset. Come on, friends. It's so funny that you summon them all this far away, because it's like, wow, you've got such a long run to get there. Come on. Whee! All right. Now, whoops, I did a cheer. <laughs> I was like, huzzah, the Radon friends. <laughs> All right, we got Alexander. I'm pretty sure that we got Blythe. Whee! Come on, baby. Oh, look at him, he's on skates. Oh, yeah. Ooh, he hit us with some sauce. It's the sauce I don't like. All right, I don't need to be greedy. I'm being greedy. Patches. <laughs> you summon Patches and immediately he's like, dude, I don't want any of this business. <laughs> Patches is so worthless. It's hilarious. Okay, yeah, we got on his back. That's beautiful. Ooh, big dude. And get your tiny horse out of here. Yep. Hit him with some bleed in the back. Nice. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, he's getting grumpy. That's gonna heal. Yep, let him do his thing. And then hit him with the sauce. Sauce, sauce, sauce. Oh no, he jumped. I really don't like that. Let's go. Let's dodge. Let's dodge this. Where's he at? Where is he? Nice. Okay, perfect. He crashed down. He killed Blythe? I don't like that. Oh, he's got he's got the big the big goops. Okay, I need to get my stands back. I'm being a fool. Ooh. Ooh. Alright, Redon. No thanks. Oh, look at all those. It's purple goops. Ooh. He killed him. That's not great. Alright, I need to stop being such a fool. Alright, cool. Redon. Redon. Radon. <laughs> we got him. The great rune. And we got the remembrance of him. Oh, he's awesome. It's so fun beating him. 87,000 souls. And there's some pretty big pushback from beating Radon, which is crazy. But it's part of the ending that we need. So remember how he said that he was holding back all of the stars? So they're moving again. And they're moving pretty quick. I love that we have Blythe's hat on. <laughs> so. A giant star just fell. Or a giant meteor slash star just fell to the ground. And just blew up a pretty large portion of the map. <laughs> Which is funny because I feel like the first time that happens to you and you're playing this game, you're like, oh, wow, that is interesting. A giant flash happened over there and you don't think anything of it. And then you go back to where like the crash happened and you're like, OK, <laughs> that's a problem. <laughs> a red mark made on the map. So. There's a little red mark, Starfall Crater, and that's. The area where that hit right here where this area used to be we're gonna check that out in a second but first we have things to deal with because there's a little plate of grace that we can hit there's also things on this this uh beach that you can get there's a couple of items down there nothing super crazy or crucial 
uh, but it's pretty awesome. And there, look, there's Blythe. He's so happy with us. Let's talk to him. Ah, uh, good. <laughs> I was waiting for you. He's so chill about what, what just happened. What a sick way to fight, eh? The glory of the clash is shared by Radan and you. And <laughs> did you see that afterwards? Mm hmm Falling star right before our eyes. I can't fathom how Radan was holding back something of that scale. He was a living legend if ever I saw one. And the path has now been cleared. To Nokra, where Rani's fate would be decided. I... Let's meet where the falling star bit the earth. We'll take up our souls once more. For Mistress Rani. Heck yeah, buddy. I love that he's so, like, sentimental about the beating of Radon because he's like, man, what a what an absolute legend. Like, Blythe clearly respects him. And, yeah. It's Let's cool. Let's meet where the falling star and we'll go into battling. My only purpose is to fight for Rani's fate. The curtain's rising. Yeah, buddy. Oh, yeah, buddy. We'll take care of that. Oh, we'll take care of that. No problem, bud. Uh, so that site... We're gonna head there in just a little bit. But first, let's get our two levels in. And yeah. I... I'm going to leave this episode here. I feel like this is a great place to end off. Oh, let's actually first, let's go talk to this guy. Let's go talk to him because he's just a delight. And I love him so much. Ah, hello there. <laughs> um, it was a battle marvelously fought. You are well and truly a champion, friend. I, on the other hand, oh. am nothing but a croc. Hmm. One hit was all it took to crack me and for my inside to come spilling out. After that, I, my hid like a coward oh. and as such oh. oh but don't you think i've given up just yet as luck would have <laughs> it there's a veritable mountain of warriors bodies right yes, here. yes there is if i can just squeeze this bunch down inside me i'll be a mighty warrior again in no time and you know the bodies found here are exceedingly <laughs> fine who could expect any less from the very warriors who fought in the shattering the greatest of all wars. Mm -hmm. Just you wait and see, friend. I'll grow even stronger. Just you wait when next we meet. <laughs> so the pots are filled with bodies and people, by the way. So just when you thought they were the cutest things ever, they're kind of horrific and gross. It's time for us to find what exactly happened with killing Radon, which is this. A star fell. <laughs> And now we have a path forward, which is pretty cool. So that's what we're going to be doing right away. Um, also, last, before in between episodes, I did a little bit of grinding and I cleared out here. I'll show you real quick. I cleared out a good chunk of this area up here. Uh, all of this stuff is optional. You don't have to do any of this stuff. Um, but there's one thing up here that I definitely want to do on screen. Um, and then there were two dudes that I kind of had encounters with. One was Patches. Well, if you really are that gullible... <laughs> then stay away from the Volcano Manor! <laughs> Bye now. And the other one was the Edge Lord. <laughs> Back at Round Table Hold. Those boys were not kind to me. And I did not appreciate what they did to me, but that's all right. Um, Patches, that's part of his quest line, so I feel like, you know, it's always positive when you get Patches' quest line actually moving along. Um, I don't usually do his quest line, so it's kind of fun to do it. Um, just because who wants to get pushed into the bottom of the pit with a bunch of barfy barfers, you know? They're barfy barfers. I don't really want to deal with them. Uh, but Patches is hilarious, and the place we're going to go up in the north there, Patches is going to be there. So, ooh, what is this note? There's a traitor taken care of. Onwards to Nokron, then. Go on, I'll catch up. All right, Blythe. You got yourself a deal. I'll meet you in Nokron, then, bud. 
So yeah, this is the way to Nakron. And in Nakron, which is the city, um, under the ground, there's a couple of very, very powerful things. One is the most powerful summon in the game, bar none. Like, literally, no questions asked. Everyone is in agreement. It is the best summon in the game. Uh, since I haven't been using summons, I don't think I'm going to be using it. <laughs> but if I ever get really stuck, I might be using it. So... But as of right now, I don't plan on using it. Sorry. It's uh, it's really good, though. And there's a way to cheese it, and I will show you a way to cheese your way through it, because it's hilarious to do. It also just makes your life so much easier. Um, also, I did a little bit of smithing stone farming, so I'll show you where I'm at with that. Um, 16s. I'm at plus 16s with the scimitars. And I'm going to be finishing out this game with the starting weapons, which is hilarious. <laughs> There's so many cool weapons in this game, but I feel like it's a unique challenge to start with the starting weapons and just go from there and keep building them out and seeing what you can do with them. I like um, I like adding an additional challenge into the game. Not that this game isn't hard enough as it is, but it's like, oh, anything that you can do new in this game is so fun. Oh, oh, almost killed myself. <laughs> I swear these areas are so tricky to navigate and this is like this is like half of what elden ring is is like discovering areas that you're really like in any other game you wouldn't be supposed to like you wouldn't supposed to, <laughs> you wouldn't be supposed to go there and in elden ring it's like yeah that's the path forward dude <laughs> get used to it you're climbing on roofs you're shabbling along things that look like they shouldn't be shabbled on um and we're living the dream with it you know but that's that's Elden Ring. Also, I love how in this area, it's like literally the star crashed down on it. And in the process of doing it, it just destroyed all these buildings. And there's all this gravity magic that's like loosely holding it together. Um, so it's just kind of like floating around, which is cool. Ooh, I love this space. Uh, it can be a pain if you're not high enough level, but we are plenty high level at this point. We're probably high enough level where we could probably beat the game uh, if we were diligent about it, but I said I was going to try to give you guys a streamlined playthrough in the episodes, but I didn't say I wasn't going to be doing some exploring off camera because I love this game so much and I miss it. I don't get to play this game very often. Silver Tear Husk. Um, yeah, I used to play it all the time just for fun because why not, you know? Uh, there's there's always a new build to be playing in this game. Um, but I feel like now that the DLC is about to come out, I'm totally going to do another playthrough uh, of DLC stuff after I run this game. Because uh, I want to run it with some of my other builds. One of my favorite builds is running with Melania's Sword. Um, who, if you don't play this game, <laughs> Melania is everyone's favorite least favorite boss she's um she's super difficult and she does uh oh, her waterfowl dance is brutal but when you beat her oh it's so delicious it's so delicious because <laughs> she's really i mean she is really tough um and the first time you beat her it's like it's like game breakingly awesome how fun it is to beat her um but she whoops your butt quite a few times and it's one of those things where you're like you get into the fight and you're like am I under leveled and then you're realizing that you basically can beat every other boss in the game besides her <laughs> and you're like no I think she's just ridiculously hard uh, and she is but that's the whole point of this game is that there's hard things things are hard <laughs> it's Elden Ring did that guy just fall off the edge he totally did he went down there and fell <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Ooh. All right, so we're starting to get into Nakron, which is awesome. Um, yeah, this this whole area, you have to do it in order to uh, to do Ronnie's quest line, which is end game quest line that I want to do. So that's what we're gonna be doing. And yeah, the mimic, which is the summon I was talking about, is down here as well. So if you ever want to get the mimic. This is where you gotta go. You gotta do all this stuff. And let me tell you, there's a couple things with the Mimic 
that are uh, are hilarious. So basically, the mimic is you, and it doesn't require any man or magic to summon. Unlike basically every other summon in the game, it just takes part of your health, uh, which is kind of a cool mechanic. It's like a part of you, and in order to summon it, you got to take a little part of yourself out. Um, but it means that non mana builds can have really, 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 really good uh, summons because it's really good. Summon. I mean, I would, I, I think everyone is basically in agreement at this point that it's the best summon in the game. Like. No questions asked. Best summon in the game. Um, so, you know, there's different play styles, but if you want to cheese the game, that's the cheesiest. Um, one of my buddy, one of my buddies just beat Melania with his big old berserker sword, his gut sword. Um, and he was using the mimic to mimic here, and I was thinking about how funny that would be, just running up on Melania with the mimic gear. And it's just like double guts blade. Um, also, if you didn't, if you saw that guy had golden eyes, he gives you three times the amount of runes as regular. Uh, it's a 0.25% chance of it happening to any random enemy in the game, or something like that. Vatividia, thank you so much for your stats, my man. Um, I love watching Vatividia. If you are going to watch anyone on YouTube who is covering Souls games in like lore fashion, Vati. The dude is awesome. Also, didn't know he was Australian until, like, just the other day. I totally thought he was British. Uh, but the dude is Australian. <laughs> he sounds so properly British. Uh, but no. Australian dude. Uh, and yeah, he, he tells very, very detailed lore about all of the FromSoft games. And it's insane to listen to how much research he does. And, like, to be fair, like... I feel like if you live and breathe in these, like, communities, you learn a lot, because the games don't hand you much, story-wise. This one hands you a lot more than most of the other, like, FromSoft titles do. Um, and I feel like that's kind of, like, it has to be that way, given the open-world style of it, because, like, with the Dark Souls franchise, you really could get away with not knowing most of the plot and just, like, running around. And also, like, Sekiro. Sekiro is very plot-heavy, to be fair. Um, oh, Sekiro is such a beautiful game. I will be playing that game for sure on the channel because, man, it's just such a fun game and I love the mechanics. I think I talked about it last episode, but it's like literally one of the only games where the, like, the, the thing is, like, just get better. Like, just get better and the game becomes easier. <laughs> like, obviously there's leveling to it, which is nice, but it's like the leveling is techniques to learn. Not like, well, there's there's certain things that are like okay, power spikes, of course, but oh, that game is awesome, and I have, and it's also one of those games where you can't really change your sword, like your weapon is your weapon, and that's that. Um, I mean, obviously you get different weapons along the way, mainly one, um, but that weapon is like in addition to what you have. It's not like a, a like a change out from what you have. Um, yeah, it's just beautiful. Everything about it is so pretty, and the gameplay is so fun. Oh, All right. So here's the encounter where you start the Mimic. Um, also, I should have mentioned it earlier, but I'm wearing Radon's armor because it's fun. Um, but this is a very funny one, because if you go in here with full equip load, you're fighting yourself. But if you take off all your equipment, and <laughs> and you just go in with nothing on. <laughs> he. Oh man, I forgot about him. Hello, it's me, Quack. He also has the same thing. And if you can punch to your heart's content, man, and nothing happens, it's really funny. Where is he? It's me. Quack! Punch! <laughs> He's so fast! <laughs> Strike! <laughs> so yeah, a lot of things happening, but uh, he does no damage to me, I do no damage to him. And then if I just decide to go ahead and simplify my life and put my weapons back on, which I can totally do whenever I want to, 
uh, I can just go ahead and just smack him because literally he can't do any damage. So I could just sit here for so long, scooting around my menu with this love and life, uh, and he can't do anything to me. And then I can just come in and give him the whack. <laughs> it also shows you how broken the mimic here is. Woo! It's just so, so good to have another you in there. And uh, yeah, it got all your stats, and it's got all your heals, and it's just really good. Really good. Don't heal, buddy. He's gonna try. Oh, he doesn't have all my heals. He only has one. Look at that. What a gift. Take some blood, friend. Black. I defeat self. <laughs> Marvel tier, silver tier mask. So you don't get the mimic tier from here, but you have to fight this boss in order to actually uh, get it later. Let's put our equipment back on because that's the way we gotta live. Oh, my armors. I've gotten a bunch of armors now. Um, I also, when I beat the dude who's in the round table hold, he gave me that. Um, or this one, sorry. Um, do I want to still be Blythe? I kind of like being Blythe. I could be Pot. I could be Pot Man. That's way better than Blythe's. Is it better than Radon? It's kind of the same as Radon's, but I feel like everyone does Radon, and that's not very fun. Uh, maybe I'll be Pot. Maybe I'll be Pot Man for a bit. <laughs> it's me, Pot. <laughs> Alright, I'll jump back when my equip load's all the way on. Alright, perfect. We good, baby. Alright, so, now we've beaten that, and we've unlocked this area. We gotta go further into Nocron. Ooh, I should just rest. Why not? Um... And we can get the larval tier, or not the larval tier, the mimic tier soon. I don't have enough for levels. Yeah, I'm at 91. Very close to end game level. I generally end the game, I'd say around 100-ish, level 100. Um, they're recommending for the DLC that you're like 100 to 120. So, works for me. I should be there right when I need to be, which is nice. I'm so pumped. DLC. So somber smithing stone FA. We don't need somber smithing stone. I don't need a single somber smithing stone. Uh, I might oh, actually, you know what? I probably will need them for the DLC because I, I will want to get the boss's um, items in the DLC and I want to upgrade them to check them out. Um, that's Moog's Palace. We've got to go there because that's how we get into the DLC, apparently. I forgot I was a pot. <laughs> we'll see. I think that there's um, so there's an egg in Moog's palace, uh, and he is like protecting it and all that goodness. Um, it's supposed to be an egg of his like Gulfwind, who is apparently Mikola, who is going to be a very crucial part of the DLC. Potentially. But we'll see. I'm not sure. I have not played the DLC, and I'm trying to go completely spoiler-free, because I want to play the game blind. And it's going to be really fun to do that. Um, yeah. So that'll be cool. So remember how I said that you... I, I kind of, like, breezed through that first spirit fight because you fight him again? You fight him again. If you do the Nocron, you fight the spirit again. I don't want to kill those guys. I love them. I love the little guys. So it is cool because in the area above, these guys are spirits. Down here, they're just real. Oh, and they are hitting like they're real people. Ugh, I don't know how I drink in my pot hat. I really want to see how it go goes again. I'm going to do it. Let's see. How do I heal? <laughs> Shove in, pot. Heal, man. You going to talk about Moog? Lord of blood, your eminence, I beg you. Grant me a seat at the table of the dynasty. Long live the Mohuin dynasty. The Mohuin dynasty. Uh, yep. So Moog's up there. And he's gonna be a problem. He really is kind of a problem. He's a bleed build. And he's nice. Oh, he's a nice. Oh, that's nasty. Uh, remember how I had all those braziers lit before? Gotta do it again here. Fun times! But yeah, I never really... I feel like I've 
power leveled more than usual in this playthrough because I've been just kind of like enjoying exploring because I haven't explored this game in a while and I feel like every time I do a playthrough shortly after doing a playthrough I uh yeah I just don't have the patience to you know explore again Ooh, pardon my jump attack oh he's got his scythe out. that is that blood is so good because I oh no bang all right too lit <laughs> too lit to quit <laughs> I don't know why that got me so tickled but it did the wolves there is yeah so he's just roaming around now kind of awesome that there's just a boss that just is chilling he's no longer a boss just a just a just a little dude he's just a little guy don't do it i think it's really cool when the game does that in um the dark souls dlc they did that where uh the dragon scale armor was just chilling in the dlc just like what's up buddy and i remember finding him and being like oh my lord because he was such a problem in game when you fought him and you're like okay great so he's stronger now <laughs> but now you see how easy it is to beat him he's so easy this high level that guy was a problem for me just a couple of hours ago really um i think that's nice when these games do that and they're like remember you sucked before and now you're great <laughs> Uh, and uh, I mean, a lot of people give them flack because they're like, oh, they're reusing assets. And to that, I say, dude, every game reuses assets. It's just that with, uh, you know, FromSoft games, all their assets are so awesome that whenever they reuse them, people are like, how is it possible that they do that? Like, literally, the most recent, not the most recent, the God of War series, they have ogres just duplicated, 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 duplicated. And that's part of the main story that's not part of like side quest stuff that's main story stuff you know and you're like hmm <laughs> uh double or triple a games are definitely doing that so i don't know i don't hate on teams for reusing assets especially because i feel like the video game development world is insane timeline wise so you just gotta cut some slack when you can like what's the point in being such a purist that you can't allow for anything to be slightly reused um yeah fight me if you have a different opinion <laughs> but also i don't know everyone got their own opinions and i totally respect it it's um it's just i don't know it doesn't feel lazy to me because i feel like the bosses in this game are so well crafted to begin with that it's kind of hard to be upset about it um yeah personal opinions but what do you guys what do you guys think is it is it like lazy do you think to reuse assets because i really don't care if they do especially if it's not like part of main story stuff like these ones Ooh, i know i want to go back there i forget why i want to go back there but i know i want to. <laughs> that's kind of like the motto of this game i know i want to do that but why <laughs> tell me why i want to do that i forget <laughs> what's the side effect of this game being super huge because it is it's enormous like it's gargantuan um the thing about the scale of it is is a little bit insane sometimes um ooh, 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 saved it i totally was about to fall off the side torrent don't fall off the side torrent come on baby Ooh, we made it okay and we leap and we leap to the dish i'm in the dish <laughs> oh what i kind of forgot that this is just all that's here have some blood oh <laughs> she hit me she hit me with the sauce oh she double sauced me i like how her weapon is just i hold the skull and i whack with my hand <laughs> you gotta appreciate commitment to a good skull hold you know you gotta save that skull ancestral infant's head that is a, a little weapon. Fun. I didn't have to go here at all, apparently. I just like to do things for the sake of doing them. What a surprise. <laughs> I feel like anyone who's ever watched any of my playthroughs are going to be like, yeah, that checks out, dude. <laughs> he really likes to explore. <laughs> I'm distracted, all right? Oh, 
I was watching back one of the earlier episodes when I was uh, saying, I was like, I'm not going to get distracted. All right, I'm distracted. <laughs> and I was just like, oh, man. <laughs> I don't think I have ADHD, but it's possible that there's some lingering stuff rattling around in there. Ooh, scratches. Ah. And leap. Aw, oh, man. <laughs> Is it just faster to teleport out of here? Ooh, I don't have any teleports up there. All right, it's not. Not faster to teleport. Gotta get out of here, the old hay. Ooh, but with Torrent, that's a big question mark. Ooh, Torrent. Be kind to me. Ooh. Oh, I can just jump down here. <laughs> I was trying to make it way harder on myself than I needed to. <laughs> ah, story of my life. Ooh, there we go. See, look at that. If I didn't go over there, I wouldn't have found that one. I would have been all confused on where the herc it was. <sighs> all right, friend. I'm coming. I'm coming to gather your stuff. Smithing Stone, Somber Smithing Stone 5. Once again, not exactly helpful for me, but I'm not complaining about getting extras. Um, because I will need extras of them. Especially with the DLC, I'm super pumped to check out the new stuff in the DLC. Um, I love checking out new weapons and doing new builds. Which is why this playthrough is so, like, against my natural instincts. Because I feel like I'm just so used to being like, Alright, let's try something new. <laughs> Whee! Have some blood. Oh, I'm out of fups. My fups are gone. <laughs> if anyone's confused when I say fucks, it's your magic in this game is called FP, um, and uh, your focus points, and um, and so I've always just called it the fucks. All in it, the fucks. A head, I got the horned headband. Oh, fun! I could be a little guy. <laughs> and light. Yeah. Alright, so this guy... Ooh, whoops, sorry. I'm gonna do that every once in a while. Accidentally emote instead of jump on my walls. How many more do I need to get for that? Hmm. That's the nice part about the other one, is it just shows you exactly how many you need to get. Pardon? I'm just gonna shove some healing down my pot. <laughs> oh, there's where it shows you. Nice. Okay, cool. Hello, friend. Don't mind me. Ooh, he came in with the big chomps. Hello. Don't. This game also punishes you for being lazy. Because at a certain point in, like, leveling, you just kind of are like, meh, I'm good, so I don't even need to, like, do the, the, the game. Like, I don't need to be careful anymore. Which is the, what the game has been telling me to do this entire time, you know? Be careful. Ooh, I almost killed myself. And I was talking about exactly that. Don't. Have some- Oh! I forgot I didn't have any blood. No fucks. Okay. We go in. We go in. We got it. I need to be less distracted. That is totally the motto of all the games I'm playing. Be less distracted. <laughs> Alright, so we got one, two, three, four, five. Oop. Oop. <laughs> There's my guy. Alright, so I need to get to the last one. Where's the last one? If I was following the directions of it, because usually it follows the way they're laid out, it would be somewhere over here, right? Hey, friend. You got a nice bow. A real nice bow. <laughs> Sorry, pardon, pardon, friend. Um, ooh, he gave me some extra heals. That's very, very nice. Is down? Is it down there? No, it's not. That is just more secrets. Give me your secrets. I want to know your secrets. Okay. Let's find the last one. Is it right here? Did I walk right by it before? I did. I did do that. <laughs> now I know there is a, a resting spot here somewhere. Right? Hmm. No? That's not what I'm looking for. Where is this resting zone? Let's see if I can find one real quick. Otherwise, I'll just run into the boss. Because I've got five healies. And that might be enough. But it also might not be enough. Yeah, that boss is not that hard. Like, really. Um, 
But that is my curse. Because I say, oh, that boss isn't very hard, and then I go in and I get destroyed right away. That's my life. <laughs> That's the way I like to live. <laughs> With a little bit of curse. <laughs> uh. Resting? Resting place? Nope. Alright. Well, I feel like I tried. <laughs> That's me trying right there. Dang, there was so much stuff in there. <laughs> Give me all your stuff. Oh, I think there's a resting spot up there. Isn't there? Question mark? Isn't there? It looks like there might be. Resting spot? <gasps> Yay! Resting spot. So we're going to be going down there as well. But first, let's do a mini boss because it's fun. Perfecto. Get a little bit more health through. Whoops. And then, hey, I've got 420. 420 seals. I don't want to kill anyone. <laughs> don't let me kill anyone. <laughs> 420. <laughs> oh, I'm five years old. All right. So now to the hollow horn ground. If you notice, this boy is glowing. We touch his horns. That is nice horns. Can I touch him? And for those of you guys have played this game before, this is exactly the same boss fight as the previous one. This one feels a little bit lazy to me personally, um, but it's also one of those ones where it's so pretty. Listen to the music. So pretty dramatic. Sorry, I didn't mean to be so quiet for so long. But, ah, music is so pretty. This is like the most haunting fight in the game. Oh, he's so far away. This is the problem with Sekiro as a playthrough for me. The music is so good. That I will be like, oh, sorry about that. I forgot that you guys were here. I was just vibing out to some awesome Japanese flute. Oh, so good. Ready? He's barfing. Even his barf is pretty. <laughs> oh, I love this fight. Sorry, I, I could be going through it way faster, but I'm just kind of enjoying the scenery. Oh. Come on, bring your powers. Oh, he's getting a little toasty McGavin. Oh, he's flapping. He's doing his barf flaps. Oh, he's he healed. Oops. He does have a delay over his friend. Usually the other one goes right away. <laughs> Where are you? Can I horse? I can't horse in here. Alright, buddy. Come on. I'll stop pussyfooting around and actually kill you. Ooh, he's doing his little... Look at him, he's being a kangaroo! I love that. So throughout this fight, he gets different powers based on the animals that he's summoning. Uh, it's super cool. I love the mechanic. Heal right in your face. Uh, it might seem counterintuitive, but it's the same like mechanic as in Monster Hunter, uh, which is like... The, the gooch and the underside of these guys, of the bosses, is definitely the safest place on them. Uh, it definitely feels uh, very much not like that place that you should be, but it really is. Alright, I've been just goofing around this whole time. Let's get less goofy. Let's kill this boy. But he's getting ready to stomp. He's doing his barf stomps. Did you kill your friend? All right, we'll bleed him. Don't do it. Don't do it, Regal Ancestor Spirit. Oh, I missed him with the bleed? Won't miss him with that one. Oh, missed him with that one. Give a little heal. And then... Nope, he's healing. Oh, 
Bleed him. And one more hit. And we got him down. That fight is so pretty. It gives us a remembrance. That's very nice. 24,000 souls. Look at that. Hi, buddy. How are you? <laughs> you were killed by your friend. Ugh. So, yeah. When I said that, I kept out that other boss fight because you're going to see it again later. That's what I meant. It's a very pretty boss fight, but it's not required. Do it twice. We made our way through. I'm going to head back to our little resting space. Because we need to go down that path I was showing you earlier. Path. I use the word path so lenient. This is not a path. <laughs> it is 100% not a path, what this is. I have to go down these rooftops. <laughs> That's what I have to do. Uh, so let's rooftop it up. Rooftop! Alright. Get rid of Torrent if you must. Um... Literally. Does this feel like something you should be doing? Because it doesn't feel like that to me. But the game says, oh yes. That's exactly what you should do. But have you seen them something that seems more path-like than these roofs? No. Never. <laughs> That's the way Elden Ring thinks all the time. Rune arc. Dang, nice pickup. Alright, we gotta we gotta do a uh, we gotta prepare a jump. Leap! <laughs> We've made it. Ugh. Every once in a while, feels like you come to a dead end. And then, I guess I could go over there. Let me just double check, because sometimes there's, like, crucial ladders that you've got to get to. Uh, ooh. Celestial do. Hmm. I celestial do not. <laughs> Whoa, ho, ho, ho. that was so close. I was so close to ending myself. I can't go over there. Is this a mistake? Oh, yes, it was. I need to go over there. I'm being a fool. Whee! But hey, I got stuff, so I'm not complaining about it. Not complaining about it one bit, then, friend. Alright, we leap onto here, and we leap. Oh, oh, onto here. Hey, silver tier. So these are all, um,. These guys turn into dudes. And then you just come up and you say a little wackus to them. When, oh, apparently I just, I say no, no wackuses to them. I'll take the wax. Don't. 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 <laughs> don't. <laughs> oh, she switched over to fist. She got real paunchy on me. Um, but you can see how good those, here, those uh, mimics are. Like, that is like a tenth of the power of what one of us is because we're so high level and we're so great we're so awesome i'll summon it at one point just so you can see it on some boss that i can like crush um just so you can see the mimic tier and how great it is but yeah if you've never used the mimic tier which if you are playing this game at all i'm sure you have um but it's it's worth a uh it's worth a gander then I don't want to go. I don't really want to explore. I'm sorry. I'm going to go. I'm going streamlined as much as possible. Whip. Whip. And whip. Yeah, seriously. Does any of this say, hmm, this seems like something you should do? <laughs> the answer is definitely not. <laughs> Why on earth would you, sh like, parkour across the rooftops? Ooh, black wet blade. Love it. I'll take some extra heals. Why not? I mean, I already, I only have one heal missing, but I'll take the extra one. So yeah, that refills your, re refills, that done refills your heals. Excuse me. So, this is where you need to go. It's guarded by nothing, too, which is so funny. It's so funny, and you can sneak in on her, and just give her a little, as you might have. Ooh, she's good. And then... Yeah. Did that seem difficult? No. Not difficult at all. And then what's in here? Oh, I don't know. The best summon in the game. Mimic Tear Ashes. It's literally the best summon in the game. Like, not even close to it. It just... I'll see if I can, um... 
if I can read it to you, because... It just summons a mimic to your spirit. There, it's not even information. It just summons a clone of yourself with all of your stuff, with all of your buffs, with all of your things, and it's so broken. It's the most broken thing. Uh, I, I, I don't... It's one of those things where you're like, should they nerf it? Well, no, because it's like... I feel like this game thrives on being like, all right, like, if you need an easy mode, have an easy mode. Um, also, that thing will chase you until it decides to not chase you, um, which is forever. <laughs> and it hurts. It hurts so much. Girl, if you want if you want to catch me, catch me outside, baby. Can I get it to hit her? I can. That's hilarious. <laughs> They've just been sitting here looking at the stone, and I was like, <laughs> I love that. I wanted to kill her so bad. It killed her! Oh, that was that was, that was the quest that I really needed in my life. Uh, thank you, Night Maiden. You've brought me joy. So much joy, Night Maiden. You can't come outside, can you, Stone? You're just a little too chonky. You're just a little bit too chonky of a stone. Uh, so when you're going through here, you can fight them all if you want to, but it's kind of not worth it to go through and fight every single one of them, in my humble opinion. Um, but a large one does get summoned, which is cool. That is fun. So, yeah. Mm, ooh, I'm already at 29. Man. Those things be pumping out the souls. Sorry. <laughs> Not the souls, the things. Yeah, they give you 240. It's not really worth it to stop by all of them. But, ooh, Golden Rune 7, don't complain about that. And this guy, he turns giant. He's worth fighting because it's something different. You've never fought him before. I like a good, a good tier giant. Hey, don't. Don't. Have some blood. Ooh, this one, she made it. She done made it. I'll heal. Let's stay, let's stay nice and, nice and healthy. Have some blood. Can I bleed the, the, oh, I can. I can bleed the little tears. That's very nice. Bleed is very good. Oop. And bleed. Gotcha. Um, yeah, bleed was really good in Dark Souls 3 right when it came out. I think I talked about that earlier. Um, not as viable anymore. Hey, friend. What do you got? A little shield? That's nice. <laughs> Very nice shield. Big fan. Wow, he missed so close, though. Hmm. <laughs> wow, 36k already. Hmm. No, thank you. Firm pats. <laughs> Oh, ooh, I could go there if I want to. I don't think I want to, though. I just don't think I want to. But but guess what's in this this house? Guess what's in this little house right here? <laughs> ooh, what's in the chest? What's in the chest? Finger Slayer Blade? Ooh. So, pretty sure that's what Ronnie sent us down here to get. Is the Finger Slayer Blade. Let's look. Let's look at our equipment. Is it a weapon? I don't think it is. Do, 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 do. I think it's a key item. Let's check. Inventory. Key items. Key items! There it is. Hidden treasure of the Eternal City of Nakron. So we got it. And I'm very curious. I'm pretty sure this just loops me around. Let's take it. Let's go for a little journey, huh? Let's just see what we can do. <sighs> oh yeah, look at that. Loops us right back to our little space. So nice. So, let's go and report the good news. Tell tell Ronnie the good word. Yeah. All right, Ronnie's rise. Let's go talk to our girlfriend. She's not our girlfriend yet. And she doesn't know that we're going to be boyfriend and girlfriend. <laughs> but mark my pot. She will be ours. <laughs> she will be mine. 
It's also like one of those things where it's like, sure, you're like ruling together, but I'm pretty sure she's the one with the power. Like, we're just helping. Ah, it was thee. It was. Not blithe it seemeth. Even in my slumber I sensed We work it. together. It is in thy possession, is it not? The hidden treasure of Nokron. Yeah. My thanks. Finally all the pieces are in place. Soon must I begin my journey. Upon the dark path only I may tread. Ooh. Ah, but before I leave. Entrust me. I shall entrust thee with this. <gasps> yes. So we can go. My thanks for thy sterling efforts. We can go to a very a specific place gift, with that. Perhaps. But a rare sort such as thee would welcome it, I'm sure. Oh, I am. Sure. I am certain now. Fate steered us to our reunion. I must thank Torrent too for his part. You may leave now. It was but brief, but thou gavest me fine service. All right, let's check that out. Do, 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 do. Is that in? Is it in? Ooh, gross. Well, whatever. We got a bunch of stuff. That's very exciting. Thanks, Ronnie. Thanks. We like being your friend. Oh, she's great. Um, yeah, so let's... There's a couple things we could do next. Potentially. We could... Ooh. Hold on, let me think about this for one second. All right, there is a place that I want to go to. We just got... Let's Let's check this item real quick. There it is. Uh, key revealing the hidden form of Carrion Study Hall. So, let's go to the Carrion Study Hall. And let's figure out what's going on there. Alright, so we're here. And, examine the pedestal. This area, when you get to it in an early game, there's like nothing really special about it. You get a couple of little things here and there. But if you'll notice, upside down. So now, this whole area is inverted. Got some souls from something? <laughs> this whole area is inverted from where it was before. Ridicule. Um, so yeah, we are going to, oh my gosh, can I not get through here? Okay, cool, I can. Um, and it's the weirdest part of the game, in my opinion. It's like, every, it's literally the level is built upside down here. And let me tell you, there's some problems waiting for you in this area, because holy moly, there's some difficile. It's difficile! <laughs> there's some difficile boys, but yeah, even the water, the water's on the ceiling. So cool. Let's go get this item down here. Ooh, Thank you, friend. Give me your purples. The Mask of Confidence. <laughs> oh. So this is the guy who's in there usually. Perceptor Miriam. Perceptor. Might I say some words? Hmm? Words. <laughs> Alright, cool. We got him. That was about as easy as it gets. Lucidity. Cool. One of my friends' favorite music festivals. <laughs> and hello, hands. 
You going to jump at me? I saw you in the distance through the window. <laughs> Hands. Hands. Whoops. Didn't need to do that. Let's get this hand. I've had itchy nose the past two days. I don't know what's causing it, but I'm not a big fan. Don't have any sneezes or coughs or anything like that. Just got itchy nose. I don't like the itchy nose. Be wary of trap. Oh, friend! You can return on another adventure. Hello. <laughs> Hello, friend. Alright, yeah. So, with this whole thing being upside down, it's just kind of like everything is difficult to navigate. <laughs> it's just difficult. Ooh. Yeah, we gotta go down here. That looks like a nice landing spot! <laughs> it turns out it wasn't! <laughs> uh, I'll jump right back there. I feel like if you were to just like, if any other developer was to put out a game like this, people would be like, what? <laughs> what the heck, dude? You want me to climb up on these rooftops? And FromSoft does it and it's like, yes. I must go across the rooftops. <laughs> they know what they're doing, FromSoft. They know their friend base. Alright, cool. Got it. Glintstone Firefly. Uh, ooh, you know what? I'll get some items, because I'm up here. Let's live that dream. We're getting items. We're living the dream. No, thank you. Ooh, holy proof dried liver. Now that I've... or. I play Sekiro a ton still, and um, the liver, or the, the like fish liver stuff, gives you electric resistance. So used to just using that for that. Woo! Woo! Woo. Open up your doors, Fred. Everyone get on the floor and do the dinosaur. <laughs> All right, we're through. Open the door upside down. <clears throat> so this will be our first taste of a very common boss in Elden Ring. Uh, just because it's common doesn't mean it's easy. It's a pain in the butt. It's a real pain in the butt. Loading screen. All right, we made it. Um, it really feels like you're supposed to be going to like the consecrated snowfields there, but you're not. <laughs> oh, so yeah, we get to go to this uh, tower, which I'm pretty sure is uh, Moon Girl's tower, unless I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, sorry in advance. Uh, you know, I'm pretty sure I've said a bunch of stuff and this looks wrong. Yes, so this guy, the god skin, he is a problem. Look how much damage he does, and look how little damage I did to him. Gotcha. Yeah, he is, he's a big beefy boy. And then when he gets his roll going, he gets rolling, baby. Like Limb Biscuit on a good day. No, thank you. Okay, let's stay, pot, let's stay potted up. He has an auto uh, trigger. Anytime you go ahead and heal, he, he pops that move. If he has the time to do it. Both godskins will do it. Oh, get your flames out of here. Get your black flames out of here. It's funny, though. At this point in the game, he's really not that insanely difficult. Because uh, if you come here early, he's a huge problem. There he goes. He's rolling. <laughs> he whacked me with his rolls. <laughs> that was too funny. Uh, he's just so chonky. Um, by the way, god skins. It's not because he has... He is a god. It's because he's literally wearing a god skin. Oh, rude. Ooh, first danger. I love a first danger. Yeah, see? Auto does it. Anytime you heal. Ooh, no thanks. No thanks. I will heal. He's gonna... Ooh, he harpoons. 
Okay, okay. I shouldn't be messing around as much as I am. I shouldn't be messing. Do it. Nope. Nope. Please. Gotcha. Ooh. Noble hood, noble robe, noble bracelets, and noble trousers. Oh, the nobles. Yeah, I, I love, um... I love the Godskin nobles. They are difficult. But I think their character models are cute. Super cute, calf. They're super cute, calf. <laughs> oh. Let's go up to the top of this. And... I think I can get to the top of it. Question mark? I think this door will open. Because I'm pretty sure I've beaten the boss that this is for. Um, that'll be nice. Get another Awoken Great Rune. I don't know why I really want all these rune fragments. I really want them. <laughs> I love collecting items. It's way too much fun. <sighs> all right, let's open the door. The Divine Power of Leonia. I was at 52k. That's a level. So when I get to the top, I'll probably burn that level. Fingers ahead. <laughs> Thank you, message. What would I have done without you? What would Pot Man have done without you? Pots. <laughs> Ooh. I don't know why I'm sitting on this heel. I don't know. I don't have anyone to fight up here, but... Always good to be healed. I'm my own lift. This game makes you wait for your payoffs, by the way. The lifts just go in real time. Just be nice and slow. Alright. Side of Grace. Ooh, I'm gonna level up real quick. Level up. I wanna get a little more di uh, vigor so I can get some more health. Perfect. Not that I'm hurting that much on health, but I feel like that's really crucial for late game bosses. Health and defense makes it so that you're really tanky and good, even if you don't have a ton of tanky stuff. Oh, what's in here? The curse mark of death. The item. And Stargazer's heirloom. Let's look at both of those things. Sorry, not to be really nerdy. Uh, curse mark of death. Right there. Curse mark carved into lunar princess Ronnie's discarded flesh. So this is Ronnie here. Ooh. Um, and then let's check this guy, which is this one. Raises intelligence. Don't want it. But this is Ronnie right here. This is her body. It's sad. Oh man, Ronnie. Well, whatever. Your spirit is what we care about. And that's what we're dating. Um, cool. All right, guys. Well, thanks for coming with me on this episode. Ooh. Ooh. I want to do one thing before I end the episode. All right. Last thing I want to do, I want to check in with Ronnie. Because in order to... to uh, or to get her quest line continued. We gotta check in with her real quick. Um, and yeah, I wanna kinda keep this quest line rolling because it's really important to my end game. So, and also, it's just kind of a fun quest to do. It kinda lays things out for you. You could do a lot of back and forth. It's fun. So, she's not here. She's not here at all. <laughs> Where do we go? What do we do? <laughs> now we get a quest or a, a thing that's right next to her, which is awesome. So we don't have to go all the way back up here every time we want to go talk to her. But instead of that just being the conclusion to this, we need to go check in on her. Or at least check in on the next things that are available. And in order to do that, we've got to go head up to the tower up to the north that was previously now it is unlocked, and there's some things a going on there. That tower right there. So, hi, dogs. Pardon me, dogs. I have no business with you, especially since you give me very few runes, and I'm not interested in any of that. And we come through, and we leap, leap, leap. Ugh, this area is pretty, but it is very foggy. <laughs> very foggy. <laughs> Alright, let me up. Let me up, let me up, let me up. Can't resist a glowing skull. 
I don't know what it is about them. They're just so tantalizing. Ooh, yeah, so it's open now. Rana's Rise, baby. Rana's Rise. Which, as you uh, recall, is the name she gave us that first time we met her. So it seems like she just kind of uses the names interchangeably. Rana Rani. Which, like, as far as, like, stealth names go, pretty terrible. It's like... <laughs> All right, cool. We got all that stuff. Um, it's like my first of all, my name is Nick. It's like if I went around and I was like, my name is Nick. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you're gonna know it's me. <laughs> all right, we've got to go through here. Yes, this is the only way to get into this area, basically, which is awesome. All right, so we get into the Ainsel River, Maine. This is once again in the underground area. And it's a part we've never been in. And we get a miniature Ronnie doll. Which is pretty crush. Um, and most times in this game, people just get stuff and they're like, meh, whatever. Like, it is what it is. Something else to hold on to. But, if you rest here, you get a different option. Talk to miniature Ronnie. Something that you could easily miss if you weren't paying attention to. Nothing, huh? Oh, well, I guess it's not worth doing. Hmm? No? Oh, a dogged fellow, aren't we? Or is it merely thy habit to talk to dolls? Rude. Fine. Fine. I hadn't expected any soul to recognize me in this guise. But now the cat is out the bag. I cannot allow thee thy freedoms. Perform for me a service as recompense. Eliminate the baleful shadows which prowl these lands. The name of Rani the Witch is already sullied by thee. Sullied. I will not brook disobedience in this matter. All right. Now it shows up as talk to Rani. So, we've got to go defeat those shadows. We're going to be continuing Rani's quest line to discover a little bit more about what her plans are. And in order to do that, we've got to go down into the deep down, dark, deep down depths. And we've got to fight a ton of problems. So, we're going to get into that as uh, as problems avoid. Because, yeah, there's a lot of big boys down here. And there's one right there. <laughs> there's a first problem right there. Ooh, palace rooms. So, uh, you can get a lot of good stuff down here. A lot of good uh, upgrade stuff. And all that goodness, but it doesn't come at no cost because this boy is a nightmare. And you can fight him. Ooh, but he hucks stuff at you a lot. Hucks a lot of stuff at you. Which I don't much care for. Ooh, here he comes. No, thank you. Dodge, 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 dodge. Hit him with some blood. Hit him with some more blood. Ooh, we're gonna dodge. Don't much care for your stuff. He's being very kind to us, which I appreciate. Thanks, buddy. And 8,000 souls. Easy peasy, baby. Smith Somber Smithing Stone 7. Pretty nice. But we need uh, Reggie Smithing Stones. That's what we need. So we're just going to continue our little journey. Hello, friend. Nice part about those guys being slow, you can just run right past them, if you want to. Okay. So we know we need to get over and defeat the Baleful Shadows. So that's our mission right now, is to go Baleful Shadow hunting. So, we need to get all the way across the map, over to that. Come on, ants. Come on down, baby. Oh, these are some buff ants. <laughs> he didn't know Aunt Bertha could be that buff. <laughs> but lo and behold, she is a mighty beast. <laughs> oh, sweet. And this is the first time we see flying ants. They're gross. The ants down here are nice. Oh, they oh they nice. But we can we can deal with them. We're we're capable. We're capable boys. Leap attack. Okay. They generally are alerted to you, 
but flying things are a problem in this game. Ooh, but the bleed is delicious. I love their animations. It's so cool, man. Shield grease. And of course... Oh, Golden Rune 10. I love that. Hello, friend. You look disgusting, whatever you are. Um, yeah. So we need to go over to Noxtella, which is our next journey. Um, because, yeah, we need to go all the way over here. And we need to go down into this little crevasse over here. That's going to be where the boss is. So, I'm kind of tempted to go kill that horrific ant thing because the horrific things are generally keepers of good things. But look at that thing. Nice. No thanks. Oh, he's got a shield. He's got a shield head. Oh, he's got a shield head. Look at him go. We got to dodge around his shield head. Oh, we do lots of damage past the shield head. Yeah, baby. All right, cool. Let's just go journey down here real quick and see if there's any glory real quick. And, ooh, if not, then we out of here. What are you telling me? God? <laughs> oh, is this the dude I can learn this from? <laughs> Didn't expect God. Be wary of right. Who's right? Oh, my goodness. Look at him. And just for fun, let's just say goodbye. Oh, yeah. Hello. There's another one. That's the... I can go kill him now. That's awesome. Um... I don't know if I showed this in a previous episode, but I was down there a long time ago. And that's a temptress. But I'm going to go get the Sight of Grace first before I go do that, because I feel like... Sometimes it's not easy to get back down or back up to those places. And it's just totally worthwhile to go and get your Sight of Grace. Do your things, baby. Before you go over and uh, destroy, uh, you know, some optional sub-bosses. Because basically those are sub-bosses, right? Like, they're high enough difficulty where... I think they're sub-bosses. Um, but I did get the Mimic Tier last episode, and I upgraded it, though I don't plan on using it. But I upgraded it, I think, to Tier 7. Um, but yeah, I'll show it to you if there's a, like a nothing boss that I can easily destroy. I don't really want to use it on anything that's going to be progressy because that feels cheesy, baby. All right, cool. Look at that. So we can come down here, and there's our Sight of Grace. Yay! Side of grace. Oh, look at these ant warriors. Ant warriors. Ugh, our potheads. I totally didn't even think that we were potheads. <laughs> oh, man, I'm the last to get my own joke. <laughs> Hello. Beware the pothead. Ooh, that's delicious. No thanks. No thanks. Oh, your whippage is just whip nasty. Gotcha, baby. Alright, perfect. Got through. Get the Grave Ward. Yeah, or Gross Ghost Glove Ward. Perfect. Alright, and we need to get through here. I should put a little Bihon. We need to go all the way over here. That's where we need to go. Ooh. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> a lot of this city is explorable, and it has a lot of good stuff in it. So if you want to go full deep dive into it, you totally should, because Nakron and this whole area is really good for, like, upgrade mats, especially at this point in the game, because we're kind of at, like, the hungry level, excuse me, where a lot of the stuff we need is very difficult to find. And I would love to, I'm probably going to do a little farming off here, or here off camera, just because, hello, uh, there's so much good stuff in here. It just seems like a waste to not get it. Hey, don't. Don't do it. You're so fast. Oh, you depleted my stammies. Their little whippy blades are so cool. I have to say, I love their whippy blades. Not a big fan of getting hit by them, but I love the aesthetics of them. <laughs> is this a chest? It really looks like chest. Right. This is a chest. Chest? What's in you? Oh, that's funny! So you can get the, uh, shield from that giant ant that we just fought down there. Hilarious! Hilarious! Over here? Nothing. Ooh, but something? <laughs> uh, just a message. So lonely. Thanks, bud. <laughs> Why put the message over there, making it seem like there might be an item, when there's nothing to gather? Ugh. 
So how's y'all's weeks been, man? Mine's been a little crazy, but I'm enjoying my life. You know? Things are... Oof, and daggers. Uh, things are what they are. And I feel like... Uh, playing some Elden Ring is the best de-stressor. Oh, don't you run from me. Come back here, friend. Ooh, blood is so good. Oh my gosh. Oh, they're electric. They're electric, baby. Oh man, that does so much damage. It doesn't do any damage to them, though. Not a big fan of them not taking damage from each other. That's fine. Hey, don't harpoon me. Don't harpoon. Don't. Be great if they actually did damage to each other, right? Seems like they should. They don't. <laughs> they don't do it. All right, and lack. Because why not? How much? How many souls do they give me? Sorry, uh, runes. Four hundred forty-five. Not a great amount, but not a terrible amount. <gasps> Look how many of you there are. Oh, and some of you have shields. Oh, I'm sorry, shield boys. No thanks. No thank oh my lord, there's so many shields. So many shields that I've got to sneak around the back of. Whoops. Sneak. And hello to the final shield boy. Shield, shield, shield. Oh, what's new? What am you? <laughs> Ooh, okay, great. I love bell bearing. Uh, I think I've talked about them a little bit. But there's uh, some ladies back at the round table hold that if you give those bell bearings to, they just let you buy stuff, which is awesome. So you don't have to go farming it anymore. Um, so the more bell bearings you get, the better, especially for the DLC. Because with the DLC, we're not going to want to have to go farming over like a million... Ooh, an ash. Uh, we're not going to have to want to go farming over like a million different things just to like get to the next level with, with certain weapons. We're just going to want all the bell bearings for it. So I'm looking for as many bell bearings as I can get. And I need to get to the next area in order to get some crucial bell bearings. And I will do that. I swear. I will go to the next area soon. I know I totally could do that and I could do it faster. But I just like doing this quest line first. It just makes it so that I know that the, uh, the I'm going to get the ending I want to get. You know, I'm all about that. Don't do it. Don't do it, friend. Is there more? Are there more goopy friends? Or is that the end of the goops? What's in you? Tell me the truth. Somber Smithing Stone 7. Once again, great if I was using a boss weapon. Not using a boss weapon. So, you know, you live and you learn. Golden Rune 10s. More runes. Great. But I need Smithing Stones. My guy? Pursuit? Who's coming? <laughs> Who's coming? Who's coming after me, friend? Uh, man. Ooh, ooh. I do have a stone sword key. I have. I always have stone sword keys. Anytime I can buy one, I do buy one. That's the kind of person that I am. Strong foe. How strong? Ooh, you got a the tonitrus? The goopy tonitrus? Uh, the to fact that I'm saying tonitrus is aging me to bloodborne levels, and you know. I'm okay with it. Hey, I got one of you. I'm gonna run at you with my... Oh, come, come back. Ooh, ooh, don't do it. Don't run for me. Gotcha. Strong foe. That message was ridiculous. Easy foes. <laughs> really weren't hard. But what were you guarding is the bigger question. The, over, the area over here was not available. So let's see, anything delicious? Because otherwise, I feel like that's a total waste of a stone sword key. Man, is there a chest in here? Because they all look the same. <laughs> Ooh, is this a chest? Is it? It is chest. All right, open up, friend. Give me your purpley goodness. Hmm, okay. So, an ash of war. Or not an ash of war, a, um, a summon. Not great, given that I already have the summon that if I'm going to use a summon, I'm going to use. But whatever, baby. We collectors. <gasps> Rocks. Do you see the rock? <laughs> so that's what they were saying. Beware of pursuit. This giant rock comes down. Oh. He's coming after. Oh, Lord. He picked up speed. That was rude. Okay, so that's good to know. He's a speedy boy. Let's just not get killed by him. Visions of City. 
crap ahead. Oh, is someone up here? Anyone? This doesn't seem very trappy. Be wary of behind. Oh! <laughs> I see. It is a rock. That was the trap. Can I? Is there an, a chest in here? Let's see. Can I chest it up? Oh, he he's, he crushed me out of the animation. Oh, rude dude. Let me get this. Just let me get it. You be a rock. I'll be a guy getting stuff. Oh, Lord have mercy. Okay, great ghost glove wart is worth it. Can I get out of here now? Or do I have to kill him? I bet I have to kill him. I bet I've got to kill this stone. Jeez. Alright, be that way. Oh my lord, I don't have any blood. Okay, okay. Heal. And dodge the stone. And hit the stone. Hit the stone. Oh gosh, stone. You're so rude, stone. Okay, we got the stone. <sighs> stone and a larval tear. Well, we got our way through. Oh, hey, bud. You coming after us? Whee! Let's go past him. Can I get this? Oh, that is that is designed to get you to, to get killed. And it was just more runes. Okay, whatever, dude. Whatever, brother. Ooh, this looks like Amtation Island right here. <laughs> Never been there. But this is what it looks like to me. Alright, so this is the skinny sword required. Okay, so there you go. He's basically saying the rock can't get in here. That's very nice. Oh, but it can block you. Ooh, dodge. Anything. Ooh, is this a shortcut? Can I get in here? <gasps> Smithy Zone 6. That's what I needed. <laughs> Those are the things that I need. <laughs> Oh, smithing stones. They're very, very rare at this point in the game. Um, and there is a boss that I can fight that will give me five of them. But man, he's a pain in the butt right now. And I really don't want to deal with his shizzle dizzles. All right, what's in here? There's got to be a horrific horrifics in here. Okay, another giant stone. Another trappy stone. Can I just leave? I think I'll leave. I don't see any purpose in going in there. Nothing for me. And nothing for it. Oh, hello. Are you designed to keep me on here so a stone can roll down and kill me before I notice it? That's what you seem like you're supposed to be. What'd you give me? Oh, somber smithing stone six. Could you just give me the reggies? That's all I need. Just the reggy smiths. Uh, but that smithing stone does give me enough to get to the next level for one of my swords, but I kind of want to wait until I've got enough for the other sword, because that'll get it all the way up past smithing stone six. And then I can just kind of like, I don't know. I like to, if you can power level one, it makes a lot of sense. Ooh, dubs. Well, come at me, silver tears. Oh, look at you. You've got a shield. Oh, and you've got harpoons. Let me just give you some business. Oh, you're giving me the business. I don't appreciate your business. Keep your business to yourself. Ooh, look at his look at his big swole that he swings. He swings a big swole. Too bad I'm fast. Oh, it's good to be fast. 31,000 echoes, might I state. And then there's a boy. Or should I say a girl? Hello. Let me run upon you and hit you with some sauce. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, we're going to just crush all the pews. Crushing the pews. All right, come on, baby. I'm going to sneak around this pillar. You'll never see me coming. Ooh, dodge. And the sneaky snacks. Gotcha, friend. Oh, man, this city is minorly stressful. <laughs> What's in here? Moon of Noxtella. Huh. What are you? Are you one of these hushers? Are you? Yes, you are. Increases memory slots. Wow. It's so unimportant for us. <laughs> this build does not require memory slots at all. But that's okay. Still fun to get stuff. Love getting stuff. 
I'm a big stuff getter. That's how I like to live. Getting stuff. <laughs> Became Jerry Seinfeld. <laughs> I'm getting stuff. <laughs> oh, man. I used to love that show. And it was, like, way too old for me to watch when I was a kid. Um, but I just thought it was hilarious, man. I don't know why. And Seinfeld is really funny. So, I watched it all the time. <gasps> Ooh. The farming. Yes. Another one of these. Baby. Golden seed. Oh, okay. Ants, ants, ants. That looks very enticing over there. And that's basically where I need to go. Fantastic news. Love that. I love that for me. <laughs> Let's just check out over here real quick. Make sure we're not leaving any glorious gifts behind. And then we can move. Butterflies. Wow, thanks. Appreciate your message of butterflies. Only five healing left. So I've got to be a little bit sparse in my goings-ons. I don't need to trigger every single battle before getting to a save spot. I'll try to tactfully avoid those ants. Oh! And just go... Oh, I don't have horse. There is no horse to have. Oh. Hello. Alright, that ant's seen me. So let's run in. Hit him with some ant sauce. Oh, he's an anti boy. No thanks. Oh, that was great. Got both in one strike. You love to see it. Don't do it. Not appreciated. Alright, so we know we need to go that way. I feel like something's in that room. Right? There's something in the room. There's gotta be something delicious in there. Don't hit me. Don't. <laughs> Don't do it. Come on. Bleed. There we go. Oh, I missed him. Oh, double bleed. You love to see it. Oh, and bonus heals. Man, that ant was really feeling generous. Ooh, is this a shortcut? Come on. Shortcut, 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 shortcut. This feels very shortcut. Is this going to lead to one of the ones from before? Question mark? Pothead. <laughs> it is I, the bloody pothead. Ooh, yes. It is going to lead to the Sight of Grace. Clutch. New Sight of Grace. New site of grace. Oh, and it's exactly where I need to go. Okay, so this is the next area. Man, clutch find. Ooh, talk to Ronnie. Ronnie, what Let you gotta say? Speak of the past a while. Let's. I was once an Imperian. I know. Of the demigods. Only I, Mikola, and Melania could claim that title. Each of us was chosen by our own two fingers. As a candidate to succeed Queen Marika. Hmm. To become the new god of the coming age, which is when I received Blythe, in the form of a vassal tailored for an Imperium, mm -hmm. but I would not acquiesce to the two fingers. You wouldn't. I stole the rule of death. Rude. Slew mine own Imperium flesh. Killed her friends and her brothers. Away, I would not be controlled by that thing. And also killed the herself. The two fingers and I have been cursing each other ever since. And the baleful shadows are their assassins. Oh. Well. Even when I turned my back upon the two flies <laughs> remained my loyal ally. Yeah, he did. <laughs> Though he was created a vassal for an Imperium, he was a colossal failure on the part of the two fingers, <laughs> and E.G. both. Art willing to give too much to yet. They both understand. No. What so they both know the exactly what they're path, doing. That I must betray everything and rid the world of what came before. Ah. <sighs> Should I add thee to the list? Another one. Kind of heart. As kind of heart as thee. We like to think, right? What else you gotta say? This form hath loosened my tongue. I've let slip too much. Forget what thou's heard. Forget. Mm. So she feels bad that we're all wrapped up in her shiz box. Uh, but you know, she had to destroy her own flesh, dude. She had to destroy herself so that she could do all the stuff that she needed to do. Free herself from the Empyrean curse, dude. Ronnie's awesome, but also terrible. <laughs> so yeah, we've got to go and uh, defeat this boss. This boss is the one that she does not like. Um, 
and it's I don't remember how difficult this boss is usually, but it's gonna be an interesting one. I've got thirty-seven thousand souls. A lot of souls to have. Yeah, I know. I know you're there. Poison boys. Uh, these guys give you curse. It's a nightmare. Curse is a flip flapping nightmare. It'll kill you outright if you sit in that stuff. Look at these stone fours, bro. How are you giving me Smith and Stone fours at this point in the game? Nothing. Alright, I killed one. Um, yeah, so basically, uh, the curse. I don't think it's called curse. I think it's called blight in this game. Um, ooh, fives. Nice. Uh, curse just. It's a problem. It's not great. It's not fun. Yes. Here we go. Baleful Shadow. Oh, Shadow. Thou art the last. Tell Oops, the two missed fingers it. I love that it's blithe. Cometh, drain thy flesh with He's so cool. Wound, Ooh, we just pooped him. Oh, he's got heals, though. He's a healy boy. No thanks. No thanks. Oh, we are just dodging and weaving that block. Whoop, whoop. Let's heal up some scammies. Ooh, blive. Yeah, I'll take a hit. I know I deserve it. Oh, or I can dodge away. Bleed meter. Bleed meter. Oh, he's so close to death. Let's just hit him once more. Ooh. Was more of a challenge than I envisioned. Was it though? We healed like now once. I can finally stand before them. <laughs> this is farewell, my dear. Tell Bly Aww. and E.G. I love them. Oh. Oh. Discarded palace key. Yeah. So that's all you have to do. And as you can tell, it wasn't really that hard of a fight. We used one heal. That's it. One singular heal. Um, but it's gonna help us just kind of move past into the next stage of this quest. Ugh. It always hurts your heart when you have to kill Blythe. Because he's great. Just the shadow. Just the shadow. <laughs> Gotta remind myself of that. <laughs> and let's move on through. Ooh, what are you saying? Ill-omened creature. Do love that. Oh, a candelabra. Alright, let's get up there. Oh, we're down. <laughs> Let's get down there. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> Ooh, here we go. Lake of Rot. So, we got to get across the Lake of Rot. Which is not going to be fun. Ooh, I'm close. I'm leveling up. Let me grab some stuff and I'll level up. Level up. Oh, let's do a little vigor. I want to be a healthy boy. Perfect. All right. So we will go across the Lake of Rot soon. But first, we need to go somewhere very important. We need to go to Renala. Uh, Renala is Ronnie's mama. So we are going to go and talk to her. Perfect. So if you want to, you can always talk to Renala. Art thou now a short and you can reburn yourself. You can use larval tears to get reburn, which basically allows you to completely reallocate your stuff, become whatever build you want to do. Great. But we're here for this. The Dark Moon Ring. Key item. Let's do a little bit of research into it because that's kind of important. Just a little bit. And it's in the key items and it's right here. Ring of Lunar Princess Ronnie's Cold Oak. So... It's a little bit of a ring of the betrothed, uh, but it takes us one step closer to Ronnie. And so in order to get past that, we've got to go back to the Lake of Rot. So we've made it to the Lake of Rot and we need to make our way across it. So we need some abolices. Let's see if I've got any. I've only got two. Not great, but you can just heal your way across, which is nice. And you can use those guys to kind of help. And the map is very helpful because we need to get right over here. What a surprise. So we're going to make our way over there. That's it. Ooh. And in the process, ooh, there's so many things to explore. Um, this is nice because it just allows you to have a little bit of an area across. 
gives you a little bit of a walking path. So you can kind of sneak across here without being completely messed up. Which is nice. Because, ooh, this rod is brutal. It is a brutal rod. So we're going to just kind of hang out here until this stuff fully decreases. Those guys are just hanging. I appreciate that. Don't mess with us, bud. Then we need to get over there. We need to start the next lifty lift. Let's oh. Oh, my light went out. I gotta get over here. Scarlet rot. Hold on. Let's put on the bolluses. And then I'll put my light back on. All right. The light's returned. We're back at it. We sat on this thing, right? Yep, okay, so that's gonna let us go there, and there, and there. All right. Because that's where we were before, right? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Wow! And we run, and we sit. Okay. Boss ahead and be wary of weak foe. Boss and weak, you say? <laughs> Sorry, we're just waiting for... I should just... I can just run through. I've got tons of the balluses. Warming stone. Ooh, no thanks. Let's just get through here. And get over to this main area. We can turn on our balluses. And... Use. Ooh, for two for that stuff is not messing around, baby. It's, these are the moments where you're like, I wish I had Torrent. So I didn't have to go ahead and just wait for all this stuff to be good. Okay, we made it. And... Ooh, the next one pushes that up. Okay, so that's good. I guess. We gotta get across. Very tempted to just run over there, but that seems like an immediate way to just get moited. that. Ooh, can I just run there? Whee! Don't give me rot. Oh, that was a very close to the road. No, thank you. No faith ahead. <laughs> and leap! Ooh, leap of faith. Alright, so we just gotta get over there, put the bolluses on, get over there, and we're good, baby. Alright, we're getting through. Look how fast Scarlet Rot destroys me, and, and Radon was just getting eaten up by that stuff all the time. Whew, that's rude. That is rude stuff right there. And then we gotta get over there, and then we're golden. Okay, we're going, we're going, we're going, we're going, we're going. Don't give me Rot! Oh, Rot. Alright, well, we're just gonna power through and get over to this area so that we don't have to keep on dealing with Scarlet Rot. And we can just be good. Heal. And Scarlet Rot removed. Perfect. Hmm. That looks like a fun place. I want to get fun things. <laughs> Alright, I know I need to go over there. For sure. But you know what? I'm going to explore real quick. Because I'm feeling a little frisky. And that's the way I like to live my life, baby. What are you going to tell me? Blood loss. Well, I've got blood loss. So no issues there. And then leap! Run, 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 run! Don't give me Scarlet Rot! Leap! Oh, that was so close to Scarlet Rot. Sadness ahead. Don't give me sadness. I don't want sadness. What's this? Nomadic Warrior's Cookbook. 22. You know what? Out of curiosity, let's see what that teaches us. If it's something terrible, I feel like we should be mad. Nomadic cookbook 22. Let's see. Oh. Um. Rot pot, rot grease, and drawstring rot grease. But basically, lets us use scarlet rot. <laughs> Good to know. I don't... Oh, I know, right? If only I had horseback. I wish I had horseback. Be so nice. All right, we're just going to wait for this to decrease. Decrease. And then we'll be ready to go. <laughs> oh. 
And leap. Don't give me Scarlet Rot. No Scarlet Rot. Ooh, no Scarlet Rot. Can I make the leap? Oh, I did, but I didn't at the same time. Um, and leap. Okay. All right. I don't want to use another one of those things, so I'm going to sit here for a second. Ugh. Leap! Leap, 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 Perfect. Okay, I don't want to read the message. Can I get the item? Ooh, it's worthless, but it's not. Okay, so... I know. So I've got to get to the other side. Root. That's where I've got to go. I've got to get over there. Leap! No Scarlet Rock. Alright, we've got to explore. Yes. Ugh. At least we're through the Scarlet Rock, which is really nice. We're done past the lake. Perfect. Ooh. This area looks awesome, and I always forget about how great it is. Alright, cool. Yeah, we didn't do anything, so we're good to go. And... Let us go down to the Scarlet Rot Cavern, also known as the Grand Cloister. How grand you say? Rather grand. Oof. And once again, everything in Elden Ring is a, a path and not a path at the same time. What a waste of time. <laughs> what an absolute waste of time. Those runes, although delicious, not really going to help us that much, you know? Not going to help us all that much. Bug. Okay, how do I get down there? How do I get down? Because there's no stairs. Right? No stairs. So... Ooh, death. Death approaches. Can't just jump. That'll kill me. Hmm. We're in a pickle. Oh, there's a drop down. Drop down. Clutch location of message, my dude. Almost fell to my death. Where's the drop down exactly? And how can a boy get to it? There's drop down here. Can I fall down this little crevasse? And will that give me what I need? That failing would have been great. Golden Sentai Pad. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I guess we can go down. Oh. 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 Oh, look at those guys. They're like, hey. What you doing down here, friend? You coming over to the Scarlet Rat Zone? Uh, I gotta kill them. That's the way I am. Gotta kill those boys. Don't do it. Okay. That boy's done. Don't do it. He did it. He hit us with the shackles. Don't shaggle at me, boy. Oh, he's shaggling. Oh, okay. Let's take a second to not be a fool. And heal. Oh, his friend just jumped the river. He's jumping the river. Okay, cool. We're alive. Not by much. Whoosh. Ooh, what a clutch dodge. Ooh. 1,500 runes for each of those is not the shake a stick at do i want anything that's over there i don't think i do I think you can have that bruh you can have that bruh i don't want any of your business there's so many messages down here what is this <laughs> everyone's just like go save there be safe <laughs> i don't want to be safe <laughs> i want to be progressing and golden rune 10 Sweet. All right, Grand Cloister. Show me your moves. All right, let's jump back over here. Sweet. Look how many of these boys there are. That's a lot of boys. Oh, that's too many boys. I might just shovel on through. Unless... Are they going to be... Oh. Okay. 
Oh, there's three of them. No thanks. No thanks. Even three of them is a problem. Like, if I'm just... If I'm being real, three of these boys is a problem. Can I just blood them? Okay. Can't blood them. Oh, but I... Oh, no. No. Oh, Lord have mercy. Heal. Heal. All right. That's cool. That's cute, Cap. Thought I could bleed him in one shot. Could not. Got him. Sweet. That sauce is sweet. You got him? No thanks. Okay, cool. And then we hit him with a little bit of the Chikakis. And some more Chikakis. Oh, there's even more. Jeez, there's so many of these guys. Don't do it. Don't. Okay. Okay, I feel like fighting all these guys is going to get me just weak enough where I can't defeat whatever boss is past this. Which is great. Exactly where I want to be. <gasps> I think that's where I want to go. Right there. I'm just such a curious little kitten. I can't wait to see what's in here. I know I've cleared this area in like previous playthroughs because I've done Ronnie's quest lines so many times, but I always forget what's behind like door number two. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh. There's another one right there. Blood. Okay, that was clutch. Clutch blood. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, I blocked this skitter scatters. I think stone five. That's kind of nice. That's kind of nice. Fan daggers. Okay. What are you going to tell me? Okay, great. <laughs> Nothing of value. But what's in here? There's so many messages. Don't be a trap. I swear if it's a trap. Dark spot. Uh, what is in here? Give me items. Scorpion's Stinger. Hmm. No wonder I don't remember what's in there. I don't use that weapon. Hmm. Although I'm sure it's great. I'm sure it's great. You know what? Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Scorpion's Stinger. It did look cool on initial lookage. But I can't find it. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? <gasps> there it is. Uh, Dex is a C, which really isn't bad. It's a dagger and strength. It causes Scarlet Rot buildup. That is a cool build. Honestly, I feel like if you're going to go and deal with any of those guys, that sometimes Scarlet Rot is great to have. So, can I rest in coffin? So counterintuitive to just be like, yeah, let me get in that coffin. Just a pothead getting in bed, dude. <laughs> Nothing to see here, man. <laughs> hmm. Wee! <laughs> I've gone down to waterfalls. Rotfall? Rotfall. That's what that is. Ooh, even deeper into the nastiness, which is funny because you get down here and you're like, why isn't it all rotty? Didn't I go down a waterfall made out of rot? And now it's just like <laughs> duck man in pot. What is this? <laughs> Ooh, the next area of the deepest down darks. Game is awesome, man. I love this game so much. <laughs> Ooh, perfect. All right, cool. Hi, coffin. Things are taking me down into this nasty, horrible place that I'm sure to be killed multiple times in. Yay for death! <laughs> Boss, right away. Only got five heals. Ooh, but the snake of Murka is right there. Murka. So we got to beat this boss. And I'm pretty sure it's one of the dudes we just fought, but it's in big form and it's a problem. Yes, it is. Ooh. Can I horse? I can't horse. That is good to know. It seems like a horseable fight. Ooh, don't do it. Okay, cool. And don't do it. And... 
still... Oh, his claws. Ain't no laws when you're clawing claws. Oh, oh, he does some damage. Estelle. You never know what's going on behind you in these fights, and that's kind of terrifying. Okay. Ooh. Okay. So when he warps, he does some things. It really would be nice to have Torrent in this fight, you know? Let us get to him real quick. Okay, okay, okay. Hit him with some blood. No thanks. No thank you. I don't trust your goops. Oh, his goops. His goops are out of this world. No thanks. Okay. He's kicking my butt. He's kicking my butt. Okay, we got a little bit of damage on him. Nope, nope. Oh my gosh, look at his Explodo stars. Nope. Okay, we dodged that one. Okay, cool. No thanks. Okay, he's got that right behind us. We can deal with that. Oh no, no, no! Ooh, that hurts. Oh, he's got us with the handy Grammy grabs. Look at him chomp down on us. We died. <laughs> oh, we'll come back and get him. Yeah, take America. All right, cool. We've got all of our heals now. This is a much more fair fight now. This boy doesn't know what's coming after him. Except he does. <laughs> it's us. <laughs> Ooh, dodge the lasers. Clutch late. Ooh, but I need to get my souls. Where are they? I mean, my room. Where are they? Oh, they're over there. Yeah, gotta go get those. 30-something thousand is worth picking up, my dude. Let him mess around over there in the corner, you know? Let him mess around. Oh, he was messing around with me. Shouldn't. I've taken my eyes off him. Oh, 17,000. Not as much as I thought I had. But I had 30k. 17. We can deal with 17. And leap attack? Don't do it. Oh, look at all of his explodos. Okay, cool. Oh, I thought we dodged those perfectly. I guess he's got the AoE after the fact. Oh, chompers. Chompers. Oh, he be chomping. Okay, the blood is nice. Let's dodge that. Ooh, okay. We didn't dodge it. And heals. Okay, cool. We can get out of his range. That's really nice to be out of that range. Ooh, dodge it. Nope. Where did he go? Where did he go? Okay, there he is. Oh, he's gonna blast us. Okay, nice. Dodge the blast. Ooh, he hit us with the moon and the stars. Oh, double rude. Almost ran into it. Okay, dodge it with the... Oh, that's not great. Don't want that. Man, he's insane. Even his his character model is bananas. Oh, now he's got he's got the power of voodoo. Voodoo? Voodoo. No, thank you. Blood. Great. Can I blood? Oh, I was going to say, can I bleed him again? No. All right, cool. Get ready for the jumps. Okay, he just hung out with us. I appreciate that, bud. Oh my gosh, he's unleashing the moon. Not even the moon, just asteroids. Can I hit him again with blood? Oh, I did, but at what cost? Okay, I didn't die. All right, Estelle, I'm coming for you. Don't. Oh, how did that hit me? How did that double hit me? Ooh, that's an insane move. Blood. Can I hit him one more time? Oh, got a stealth. Second try, a stealth. You love to see it. Ooh, remembrance of him too. Eighty thousand souls. That is not messing around, dude. That is clutch pickupage. Oh, I love that. All right, so cool. Now we can get past this area into the deep version of this area too to get. To even more glory, which is awesome. Oof. Rough, dude. Alright, cool. Thank you. Let's rest and level up. Oh. That was that was bananas. <laughs> He's not easy. Alright, cool. And ooh, I need 16k. Let's go ahead and pop some sturf. I've got some sturf to pop. Uh, let's use six of 
That should be enough, right? Uh, is that enough? 53,000? Is that enough? Ooh, I should just use the last one. Here we are. Whatever. Let's pop one more. What's one more? I think that's enough. If it's not, I'll be very upset with this. Well, I'm upset with this. <laughs> well, <laughs> that should be more than enough. Perfect. All right, cool. Levels. And I'll do one more vigor. Just nice to have the defense. Oh, now to the deeps. The deeper areas. All right, cool. Do, 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 do. Yeah, we're going to meet with... Uh, there's a couple of issues down here as well. So... Oh, prepare for the fun. Prepare for the fun. But really, we need to just get this lift first and foremost. I'm ready, dude. Let's go down. Or up. <laughs> Is that what the, the like sixth time in this playthrough where I'm like, let's go up. I mean, down. But this one's fast. Look how fast we're going. Camera can't even keep up, keep up with it. Where the heck we going, baby? We're going places. Ugh, why can't all the lifts work like this? You know? But, that's right. Now, we've got access to a very, very secret area. The only way to get access to this area is the way we just did it. And, maybe you recognize it. Maybe you don't. But we're here. Literally overlooking all of this area. And we've been seeing it this whole game. Pretty awesome to be here, in my opinion. I think it's one of the coolest parts of this game that you literally go all the way up here and check all this stuff out. And now we get to hang out with Ronnie. Oh, I can see her true form. Kind of. We've already seen her true form because we saw her body. Which is gross, but also great. Hey, look! Remember how I told you that you had to fight him later? Here he is! Here's Glintstone Dragon Boy. And he's just a rude dude. Nothing! Oh, he's rude. Don't do it. Oh, he got us with the glint. Okay, cool. He didn't... Sometimes they double hit you and it just immediately kills you. But not this time, dude. Not this time. Wow, that did nothing. I appreciate that. That's why I didn't fight him earlier at Ronnie's, because I was like, I know I'm going to have to fight him again. Ooh, good bleed, Brock. Ooh, I ran into that one. All right, bud. Coming for that number one spot. Oh, sword. He's got a sword. He's a sworded dragon. <laughs> okay, okay, come on, buddy. Oh, I hate it when they just do the distance thing. Dragon distance. I really should be riding Torrent. Because it really simplifies the uh, usage of all your stuff. But you know what? Here we are. Okay, cool. A little bleed. Just a little bleed. Nope. Don't do it. Ooh, we dodged, duck dip, dab, and dodge, baby. Okay, okay. He hit us. That wasn't very nice. Adula. Adula Ablangata. Oh, I jumped into it. Another rude thing. And bleed. Yeah. And bleed. Perfect. Okay, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, Lord. Don't get... Okay, cool. Uh, seriously, sometimes the dragons, they literally just double shot to you because it's just like, well, we want to. What? Y'all saw I dodged that perfectly. Y'all saw that. No, thanks. No, thank you. Okay, cool. Little bleed. Little bleed. Little bleeded. Ooh, should have seen that one coming. Man, Adula, I'm not used to you giving me any trouble. And here you are, just giving me trouble all day. Okay, perfect. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And no, thanks. In the face. Nope, nope, nope. Can I get behind him? Nope, I can't. Dula, can we just get into a more beneficial space for me? Because this space, not killing it for me. Ooh, the dodge. Come on. Is he getting out his sword? Oh, I couldn't even see him. 
I tried to lock on, it wouldn't let me. Hi, right, Adula. It's push comes to shove now, bud. Oh, I almost have him. I got him. Oh, Adula. <sighs> 120... A thousand souls? Thanks, bud. Adula. What a clutch boy. He didn't kill us. <laughs> we deserved it. But he didn't kill us. Alright, cool. You know what? Let's get it. <laughs> starlight shards. So, once again, the starlight stuff is all for the, like, mana users. And you can use it to regenerate your fups. Your FP. Which is clutch in this game. Oh. We're back. We're back getting after it. Ooh, and look at this hole in the ground, you say. Hmm, what could be in the hole? I'll never tell, except for the fact that I might. <laughs> Whee! Uh, so yeah, we've gotten all the starlight shards we could possibly want over here. And we're at Ronnie's church. Which is awesome. It's so cool to be up here. And I'll show you a little bit of where we are, because I think it's super cool to see where we are. Um, in relation to, like, basically where we started the game, right? Like, Liurni of the Lakes is really the beginning of the game. And this whole time, we've been seeing... I was kind of pointing to this castle-ish thing up on the hill, right? Where I was like, oh yeah, look at that. I wonder what that is. So, let's take a look. Over the edge, into the abyss, that is Liurni of the Lakes. Oh, so cool. The fact that it's literally, like, everything about the lakes is right below us. This whole area down there, it's just Liurnia. Why is this game so cool, dude? <laughs> it's so flippin' cool. Oh. Alright, let's go over here and spend some levels and touch a grace at one of the coolest spots in the game to be. And, yeah, we'll be going down in that pit soon. Very soon. Touch it. <sighs> we leveled up. Let's just go down into the hole here really quick. Because there's something very important down in this hole. And I don't want to keep you waiting to the next episode to find out what's down here. Because it's kind of important for what's going on overall with Ronnie. And, yeah, it's just an awesome place to be in this game. Legit, like, I said that that whole area up there was really hard to get to, which it was. I mean, I've spent the last two episodes getting to it. It's a few hours to get there. Check this out. Who's this little friend? Oh, ready? Put on ring. So you needed that ring in order to come and talk to her. It's her two fingers. Killed it. We're basically getting engaged right here. So, you know, the most romantic thing to ever happen in a FromSoft game. <laughs> Maybe not the most. Close to it. We've got our pothead on for it. <laughs> it's pretty amazing to just sit there at the foot of the two fingers that she murdered with her. So it was thee. Who would become my lord? Mm -hmm. Perhaps I needn't have warned thee. I am pleased, however. Thou art a fitting choice. Good. I go now to the night sky. It is there I shall find mine order. I bid thee travel the path of the Lord. And once all is done, we shall see each other once more. Heck yeah, girl. So, we've got a girlfriend, officially, and she's murdered a lot of things, and she gives us the Dark Moon Greatsword, which if you play these games, like I do, you know that that 
is one of the most uh, continued items through the entirety of the Soulsborne games. That the Dark Moon Greatsword is one of the uh, yeah, it's, it's an item that it's continued throughout every single uh, FromSoft game, basically. And yeah, it's a really cool item. Uh, with last episode, we finished Ronnie's questline, and today we get to go and invade the capital a little bit. We're tired of being underground, so we're going to be above ground at least for a second. We want to progress to defeat some of the bigger bosses in the game. There's a couple other things I want to do in this playthrough. Um, and there's an optional boss that I really, really want to do. But I feel like we've done a lot of, like, optional, let's get this specific ending questline stuff. And now... It's time for us to just go ahead and start powering through some of the main story stuff, especially since we are going to be super buff because we've delayed for so long um, doing all the Ronnie stuff. So now it's like, oof, I feel like if I get murdered a lot, that's just my problem. Foreshadowing? <laughs> Mayhaps foreshadowing? <laughs> but no, I think we should be just fine. Yes, fan. This is the uh, the capital, by the way. Um, this is one of the coolest parts of the game, in my opinion. Um, I just love levels in games that kind of like adapt based on what you're doing in the game. And this one does. Every, or not every FromSoft game, but a lot of the FromSoft games have this kind of like um, either end game or mid end game area that has uh, like some story arc to it that if you just if something happens then like a drastic change happens but yeah check it out massive dragon impaled dead super cool and then there's bubble dudes bubble dudes oh bubble dudes they're hilarious can you souls can you give me a 368 oh man after doing all of ronnie's stuff i feel like we We've been a little spoiled for uh, our runes, but that's all right. We can deal with a little less runes than we're, than we're used to getting. I love it that they shoot bubbles at you. It's so unintimidating, and they're supposed to be scary of, to some degree, but the bubbles and the spins, it's hilarious. Come on, baby. How am I supposed to take them seriously when they spin in? <laughs> Ooh, the big tutor. <laughs> Yeah, I think we, um, I think we might be at a little bit of a higher level than we needed to be for this area. But that's all right. We can just scoot by this guy because he is annoying. Ooh, flames. We've already dealt with a ton of your brothers. Let's see how much he gives us because the ones all the way down in the bottom. Where are you giving us 3,000? It's about the same as all the way down in the bottom. That's not too shabby. What's up, boys? I'll be down there in a second. Oh. Yes. Hello. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> you know, this build isn't terrible. It's definitely not the strongest, and it's definitely not uh, the most, you know, optimized or anything like that. But it's fun to just be so mobile. I feel like I never play super mobile. I, I see. I see it. I would like the lever. Can I lever? Or do I just need to go down? All right, cool. Let's go down. I know I can go over there, and I will go over there eventually. Oh. Flames. Flames, you say? Alright, cool. We scooting. I don't trust these guys. I feel like I've been taught by Souls games, like, time after time, that if you leave someone there, they're coming back for you, and they're going to be really mean to you later. <laughs> leave no one behind. <laughs> really, that's what Souls games teach you. If you see someone on the ground, unless they're talkable, don't even mess with them. Where'd that, oh, there's the ladder. I was like, where'd that ladder go? Sweet, let's climb up. I don't think there's anything great up at the top of this, but since we're at this spot, I feel like it might as well get a lot of the stuff done that's in here. Um, ooh, hello, friends. A little bit of uh, the, the distances over there. No, thanks. We're going to scoot up to the top of the tower. Okay, just random blue. Love it. Seedbed curse. Gross. Don't want the curse. Don't be cursing me, baby. Alright, cool. Let's head out here. Woo! We can go down there. I'm so tempted to just parkour. Parkour! Ah, ah. Parkour! 
<laughs> parkour, parkour. Smithing stone fives. We need sevens now. Oh yeah, I should show you guys my weapons. I upgraded them to 22 and 19. So we're doing pretty good on that front, which is nice. Uh, our weapons are definitely more dangerous than they were before, which is sweet sauce. Ooh, I love being up here. I'm pretty sure there's a tree sentinel that just appears at one of these little intersections. So prepare yourself for a tree sentinel because I'm pretty sure he just pops in. Right? We'll see. <laughs> Speak of the devil. His little tree sentinel ears are burning. Hey, don't. Don't do it. Oh, he's going to do his little holy blast. Holy blast. No, thank you. No. Oh, he got us with the sh with the shabbles. Ooh, this is not a good one for me to be healing him. Ooh, ooh. Oofa, toofa. You didn't need to give us that much sauce. Baby. And dodge. And bleed. I love the bleed. The bleed is actually paying dividends. Oh, he's going to blow us. Ooh, no, thank you. I don't appreciate that. <sighs> oh, come on, bud. All right, let's heal. We're not going to be fools. And here it comes. No thanks. And the leap attack. Man, I missed so many of my leaps. But we got him. Woo! Tree Santa! How many are you going to give us? 10,000 and a Lord's Rune. Very nice. Thank you for the Lord's Rune. The Rune of the Lord. <laughs> it is kind of funny how, like, the remembrances, like, God, a, a god gives us 20. And then a lot of times you get the remembrance from that tree sentinel and you get um the the rune from him and it's like you got 20k from him too <laughs> you know he's like i'll give you as many runes as a god <laughs> seems a little egregious but you know we're not going to complain about that getting extra runes for no reason strong foe oh that's trying to tell me from to go from that way that's funny that there's a tree sentinel there, but we killed him. We dealt with him. Hooray. Ugh. We're just gonna rest. Oh, what's up, baby? We don't even have the option. You're just gonna talk to us, our little pothead My self. Most thanks. Yep. For bringing me to the base of the Erd tree. Well, we ain't there yet, girl. Here, I can govern my own movement. Pretty cool. And thus, the accord is fulfilled. I shall depart. To ascertain the purpose I was given. Farewell. I shall leave Torrent. <laughs> and the power to turn runes into strength. Here. With you. Oh, thank I you. I wish you luck. In realizing your ambition. Girl, we don't need luck. You have fought long. We got the starter swords. <laughs> I have no doubt. You will become Elden Lord. May you take the throne. Thank you. You. All right, cool. We don't need anything here. Uh, that is the way forward, by the way. Up that dragon. Um, and we will do that, I promise. Turn this on for fun. Why not? Summoning pool. Functional. But we're going to explore a little bit, because I love exploring the capital. Um, especially since, I don't know, just kind of a cool spot. And it's like... We've been in the dark for so long. We've been in the dark for two episodes, man. Let us enjoy a little bit of the outside. Hello. <laughs> Hello. More friends in the corner. Yeah, so that's the way forward. So we will go up there. Ooh, and there's good stuff down there, too. There's um a whole area underneath the castle. Or not the castle, the city. Right down in that well down there. So we'll probably end up going there. Ooh, nothing. Ooh, oh, 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 there's a lot of them. They've all been waiting for me to just show up. Ooh, gotta heal. Heal. The Golden Knights are never easy, dude. They're so rude. You coming after me? Heck yeah, bro. Ooh. 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 He's a grump. Oh, there's so many of them. No thanks. I don't want any of your business. Get your business out of here. Let's just go up here. Might as well. So that is the way forward. So we will go up there. First, we're going to grab some items. I don't really want to deal with like 20 of those knights because it's just a nightmare. And they're going to drain all my healing and they don't really give me anything that I want. Okay, well, if you're... Oh, jeez. 
You're gonna be that rude to me? Have some blood. Have some more blood. Yeah. Deal with it, brother. Like I said, 1,300 souls. Meh. Nothing. So we can go down there. But for right now, we're just gonna get this. Because it's important for us to get our graces while we can. And also, this is like... I don't know. When I first found this place... On my first playthrough... I was like, what? <laughs> You're literally climbing the wing of a dead dragon. And it's so cool that it's just part of the environment. And it's like, oh yeah, <laughs> climb up that thing. That's what you're supposed to do. <laughs> like, sure, dude. In what other game would that be what you're supposed to do? Ugh, oh, Helden Ring. You're a delight. But yeah, in this area, we're going to fight a couple of big bosses, which would be fun. I love fighting the bosses in the city. Uh, it's just fun to fight things that are like story, you know? Ooh, I'm sneaking around. Don't mind me, Mr. Quinn. I'm just a curious little rhino. <laughs> Don't mind me, Mr. Quinn. I'm just a curious little rhino. Oh, whoops. Bleed. And hit you one more time. Get your stuff out of here. Those guys are annoying, so I'll be annoying to them. <laughs> That's how you deal with annoyances in your life, right? You annoy them instead. <laughs> hey, don't come after me. Don't do it. And hello, delicious sight of grace. You see that guy right there? Gargoyle. And we're going to fight him. Time to fight a gargoyle. Ugh. All right, we're not even close to leveling up. That's fine. We are high enough level where we don't even have to really worry about this stuff, but we're worrying about it because it's fun. You can just skip him if you want to, the gargoyle. But where's the fun in skipping the hard stuff, you know? I say as someone who literally just said, I'm going to skip all the golden knights. <laughs> but that's because they were more annoying than hard. Their noises are so ridiculous, dude. Thank you. Thank you for your bubblage. And we'll just take a peek through. Yeah, so we will be exploring these areas soon because there's some glory to be had. And I'll do a lot of stuff off screen. Basically, a lot of the farming of, uh, you know, resources and stuff like that. I don't really want you guys to have to sit through that because if you're going to do that, you might as well just play the game. Um, there's a lot of resources in a lot of these places. And really, at this point, we need smithing stone sevens and eights. I believe that's what we're down to. Those are the last two that we need. So, we're just gonna power through some uh, buddies so that we can get to the stuff that we need. Nope. Ooh, he smackles. Gotcha. Ooh. Woo. Nope. All right, let's heal. No. Oh, he missed. How did he miss me? <laughs> Ooh, we both missed. Ooh, he didn't miss that time. Oh, he's got the big axe. He's asking me a question. <laughs> don't ask me any questions. <laughs> I don't have any questions to answer. <laughs> no. Oh, oh, he's doing his little... His, his noise is bugged out. I think that the, the game is all bugged out with the attack music. Oh, he just killed one of his friends. That's hilarious. There we go. Now there's some attack music. Oh, he killed all of his friends. Thanks, bud. I really appreciate that. You're helping me out. Kill your other friend. <laughs> How chill is this fight without the attack music? Oh, I rolled. <laughs> I'm not used... I've never had this glitch happen before. I'm so glad I'm recording this one. Because it's such a chill fight encounter without the intense music. Alright, cool. We got him. Oh, and then there's Bubs McGubs. Cool. We got his little swordy sword. Ooh, six though. Six healers. A lot of healers to have to use. Um, once again, you get up here and you're like, all right, well, cool. End of the road, right? Maybe I got to go down. Nope. Although that area is important and you can go through this way. But look at the roots. Roots are important in this game. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. 
Sorry, if I'm out of breath at all. Woo! I just got done with a huge leg workout, and I'm not gonna lie, I might have to have someone carry me upstairs tonight. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but like, I have a really hard time finding time to work out. Like, I work, and then I do this stuff, and I've got three kids at home, and it's like, woo! Finding time to work out is tough. So I do it at night a lot of times. And nighttime workouts are great. Like, I love them. But it's like, man. I get wired afterwards, and then I'm also, like, like tired and wired. <laughs> he was double trouble. All right, cool. We got this boy. He's root, dude. Really? Picking out the souls. And I'm not really having to do anything to him, which is nice. Oh, hey, bud. Thanks for coming over to the main route. I love it when I don't have to go to side route. Okay, cool. We're going up there. We're gonna sneak around. We're gonna get a little sneaky. Sneaky? Ooh. Or do we go up? No, no, no. No, no, no. Do we go up there? Is that the direction we go? No. No. That's where we just came from. Alright, cool. We need to get to that front area because we need to fight the bows. We need to fight the bows. Who's gonna be a familiar face. <laughs> and it's not who you think it is. <laughs> based on what I've said before of, like, people you fight a bunch of times. Hey, don't. Like, seriously, how, like, treacherous is this space? And they're like, yeah, yeah, ten dudes on this route. <laughs> Elden Ring, you're rude and I love you. Hey, bud, last guy? I like how they're never looking at you. They're like, mm. we look out pensively into the darkness. Yes. Yep. Here's the first boy. And he is a fun one. Ooh. Hey. Ooh, he stomp. Oh, he slice. Oh, he slice and stomp. And... I'm used to just crushing this dude. So, he's probably not good for ghosts, you know? Let's see how much... Ooh, it does do some damage. No thanks. Ooh. No thanks. Oh, he's gonna keep on stab. He's stabbing. Ooh. He missed us. That's hilarious. Nope. Nope. Ooh. Alright, we healing. Oh, he throws that thing. Got you, buddy. Ooh. Ooh. And we got him. See you later, Godfrey, first Elden Lord. Talisman pouch. Sweet. Now we can have four talismans. <laughs> oh, and he gave us a ton of runes. You love to see it. The runage. Hmm. I think that's at like almost two levels. Yeah, it's not quite. Let's get some decks. Then the next one 71,000. I could burn a Remembrance, but i got a lot of faith in myself, and I don't feel like I need it. But we do need to go up this route up here to get to the next area, which... Let's see, any alive people over here? No. Uh, to get to the route, yeah, right here. So let's go up the route. But is there... there? I'm pretty sure there's a live Finger Crone in one of these places. Or there's a live dude. Maybe there's not. Maybe I'm remembering incorrectly. Not here. <laughs> Uh, let's go up this route, though. Let's get rootin'. Rootin' tootin'. Whee! Alright, we up? We up, fam. <laughs> oh, man. Ooh, hello, mysterious friend. Wish I could get up there right now. That's fine. We can just scoot on through. Ooh, look how cool this vantage point is, by the way. The whole city. Yeah. We didn't do a lot of city exploring, to be fair, in this in this run. We just kind of took, like, mostly optimal route over to this area. Which is fine, right? Like, it's nice to progress quickly. Hello! Hello, death boy! Uh, these are the guys, the black blades. Oh, he's staying. That, um, that were in charge of killing the gods. Alright, fine. Be that way. You go down there. 
We go down there, friend. Have some of that. 3K. Bargain? We take that. We take the 3K. Um, cool. This area always reminds me of the uh, daybed of that one giant woman <laughs> in uh, Dark Souls. I guess it's in Dark Souls and then Dark Souls 3 they pay homage. Blessing of the Ood. Ooh. So, we're going up here. And 55k. We're going to be risky boys. Because I feel like we can beat the boy. I'll turn this on just for fun. Uh, this, Those things allow you to summon friends or enemies or whatever you want to, if you want to. Uh, but we're not summoning anybody. We're just jumping in. And we get a cutscene. Graceless, tarnished. Recognize that voice, dude. What is thy business with these thrones? Well, one of them is mine, clearly. Ah. Godric the Golden. Dunham. The twin prodigies, Mikola and Melania. A little bit tricky. Might learn more about Mikola in the DLC, hopefully. General Radan. Got him. Praetor Rikard. Mm. Luna Princess Rani. Got her. Willful traitors. All. I love Thy this though. kind are all of a piece. <laughs> He's like, fool. You thought I had a walking stick? Pillagers, <laughs> emboldened by the flame of ambition. Such a cool sword design, too. Have it writ upon thy meager grave. Felled by King Morgoth. Last of all kings. Unfortunately, Morgoth, it is you who is going to be felled by us. Felled by Pothead. First of all, Potheads. <laughs> oh, he hammers. Oh, he hammers so fast. Yeah, get tired, but Oh, we can do some serious damage to Morgo. I see you. I see you, baby. Shaking that sword. Oh, he'd be getting buck wild. He'd be buck wilding with us. No, thanks. Oh, he shoots. Oh, we blocked him out of it. That's sweet. No, thanks. Here he goes. He's going bananas. All right, we good? Come at us, Morgoth. Oh, we missed with our with our blood. Oh, now he's got the blood. Gotcha. Ooh. Ooh. No, thanks. Oh, he does a cartwheel. Here he comes. Whee! Oh, he got us. How did he get us in the middle of a dodge? All right, that's fine. We heal. Morgoth. Oh, no thanks. Oh, he cartwheels. He cartwheels again. <laughs> nope. Have some blood. Oh, he be slashing. Ooh. All right, bonus Morgoth. Oh, here comes the, here comes the swords. No thanks. Whoa! He is so much faster. Sorry, more about the Omen King. Oh, go take a nap, friend. We got his great rune and his remembrance. Oh. Hello. You can talk to him now. Look at him. He's so little. Donished. Not but a fool. Call me you the fool. The earth tree wards off all. Dane approach. We yeah, are, yeah, yeah. We are all forsaken. Pisha. Sure. Homie, you None forsaken. may claim the title of Elden Lord. <laughs> My deeds shall be met with <laughs> failure, just as I 
Well, it helps that I'm not some, like, decrepit mummy. Uh, sorry, Morgoth. Uh, I can do lots of things that you can't, because I am pot duck duck pot. <laughs> uh, it is going to tell us that. It's like, oh, well, but that's a problem. Touch wall of thorns. Impenetrable thorns refuse all. None may enter the urge. And you're like, oh, man. What am I supposed to do? I can't go through. Also, I got 175,000 souls. Dr. Mazazer be bringing up too much glory over here. But... Put the grace down. You rest. And someone is talkative. Hello again. Hello. Allow me a moment to converse with you. Talk to me about it. You were unable to enter the Erd Tree. No? I couldn't. Prevented by the mantle of Bob. That's right. The thorns are impenetrable. Totally. A husk of the Erd Tree's being. That spurns all that exists without. I'm totally spurned. The only way to stand before the Elden Ring uh -huh. and become the Elden Lord mm -hmm. is to pass the thorns. Totally with you, girl. My purpose serves to aid in that very act. Perfect. So I'd like you to undertake a new journey with me. I'm all about to it. To the flame of ruin, far above the clouds. Upon the snowy mountain tops of the giants. Yes. Then I can set the Erd Tree aflame. Totally. And guide you down the path to becoming Elden Lord. Love it. The rolled medallion. So now shall I turn your room? Let my hand. We can go to the roll, or we can go to the lift and use the rolled medallion, and it'll take us places that we weren't able to go before. The principles you would. Little more decks. Thanks, baby. Appreciate the way you live, in girl. Uh, so yeah, we need to go there, uh, and we will. Don't get me wrong, but first, oh yeah, so the red mat, the red marker, the rolled route. So we can go there, and we can go up here, and, and yeah, hooray, hooray. We will do that. I promise. We will. But first, I want to go somewhere. I want to go to the Volcano Manor. In order to get to the Volcano Manor, I went all the way around here. I went to the ninth uh, Mount Gilmer campsite. I jumped down. I jumped over here. I went across. And I got there. And it's an awesome place that I want to do because there's a boss here that's really cool. Volcano Manor. All right. Let's chit chat with this lovely lady. Are you precocious? We rarely receive visitors to the Volcano Manor without fascinating. And not unlike another guest we had long ago. Mm. So tarnished. Have you ever harbored doubts about the burden of grace and the dogmatic ramblings of the fingers? Have you? If you have, why not join the Volcano Manor and fight with us, rise with us? Against the earth. I love how she just has one of the knights there. Yeah, Your Bubba. Now you belong to the, the drawing room lies cool. down the hall. I am Tanith. Alright, Tanith. Thanks, girl, for the key to the drawing room. So now we can come over here and check stuff out. I don't think I can go in oh yeah, I can go in here. Sweet. Mm. Ooh, key action. Pidge. Perfume bottle. All right, cool. Uh, so there's a couple things in Volcano Manor that are really cool. One, you can do a lot of like bonus quests here, which is fun. Um, and it's a lot of like the introduction to not necessarily PvP, but like PvE in a PvP style, which sure, fun times, glorious. Um, but that's not really the, the big draw here. The big draw here is that there is a very important boy here. A very important boy. Probably the best voice acting in the game is in uh, Volcano Manor, in my opinion. Um, and we've got to go chit chat with the guy. And remember, I don't know if you guys remember, but a long time ago, I met with this girl and she was talking to me about Again. some stuff. It is a shame that I did not beckon you here with my own, but I am pleased that we meet again. Me too. Under Lady Tanith's guidance. May you tread the Well delightful brave tanda lady. I will do that. Look at this boy. You the volcano manor is a pit of recusants who spit at grace. <laughs> I hope you understand the weight of my 
Oh, I do. Well, as long as you... I thought you were tarnished. Perhaps playing that part led you to... But know that the path you walk is... Before you consider hunting any of your own cut. <laughs> I'll think about it. Letter from Volcano Manor. And the recusant finger. There's also a hilarious wall in here that if you hit it, like, a ridiculous amount of times, that it will fall, which is cool. Um, but it's, it's just like one of those things where you're like, man, there's there's parts of this game where you look at it and you're like, who on earth is figuring this out? And good for them, but man, you got to have some time on your hands, baby. You got to have some serious time on your hands. And uh, yeah, I'm not going to be sitting here. I mean, I understand that like if you're bored and you're playing Elden Ring and you're like, man, I can't wait to hit every wall a hundred times to see which wall is the right wall to break. But that just seems like a whole lot of work for not much gain to me, dude. Not much gain. And look, all these blood stains. What? what is, how is there possible there's so many blood stains? Oh, because it's this dude. Inquisitor Giza. Only he's got a electro sword, basically. Yep, look at that. Have some blood. Giza. Oh, he clocked. And we got him. Sorry, Inquisitor. Sorry. But we get his wheel, which is super cool to just have, by the way. <sighs> so we go there. Whee! And we can chit chat with her, I'm pretty sure. Did you read that is yeah. the task, the volcano? You okay. will be compensated once the deed is done. If you are loath to hunt your own kin, so be it. But you must leave this. This is a war against the earth. We have no place for the meek. Nor the luxury. Alright, so basically, they want us to hunt the tarnished. Which is awesome. Um, I'm just going to check something real quick. Because in order to start the actual quest of this game, we have to wait until nighttime. So let's see if that did it. Yes. Yes. I want to kill Praetor Rikard. Hmm. Here to put the demigods to the sword. Yeah. Then please, the one that devoured. I left the serpent slaying spear in the Lord's chamber. Worthy tarnished. The great serpent. All right. Praetor so. Rikard's ambit. They were reduced <laughs> to gluttonous depravity. Whatever that thing, someone. To spare him and his um So we got to kill the serpent that killed Prato Rhyko. Which is fun. Brave Tarn the Lady. Um and he is a problem. But he's also just a fun problem to have. Um so yeah, I'm excited to do that. I forget exactly how to get in there. So I will roll into some walls. Because there's a little secret area. We gotta talk to the girl, I'm pretty sure. Um, but yeah, we gotta talk to her, figure out exactly what to do with Rata Rikard. And then, many things will be happening. Doorhead? There it is. That's what we're looking for. That is exactly what we're looking for. Alright, cool. We're sneaking through. Uh, it's also very dark in here. Oh, so dark. Hello, snails. Snails. Oh, snails. Oh, they're snails. Um, yeah, there's a, there's a couple of ways to start this quest. I think this is the most streamlined way. Just wait until nighttime and just get going. Be wary of up. Who's... Oh, look at all these boys. There's so many snails. Snail ambush. <laughs> it's a snambush. <laughs> Uh, so this is the wall that if you hit it a bunch of times, it it's, it changes, I'm pretty sure. We're not going to be doing that because we don't have 7,000 years to be spending doing things that don't matter. Wee, Wee. Alright, we've got to figure out the way actually into the dungeon. Because that is where 
the next part of this quest goes. We go way deep into the Volcano Manor. Hello? Oh, there we go. Perfect. It's so dark down here, man. I don't remember it being this dark. But it's very dark and spooky. Strong foe? <gasps> Ooh, it's him! I love him! He, I used his sword my first playthrough in this game because he's awesome. Oh, come on. Let me heal then. And also, I just felt like his sword is really cool. Like, oh my lord. He is a strong foe. He is strong. I should be able to kick his butt though with, with like two seconds of focus. Alright, we jumping. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there's two ways to play these guys. Either really cautiously and get hit a million times, or just get in there and kill them. Really the aggressive way is what works best. Thank you, Bloodborne, for teaching me that. I'm sure you guys are tired of hearing me talk about Bloodborne, but man, I love that game. It is so good. Ooh. Alright, so now we're getting into Volcano Manor. Oh, I love Volcano Manor. Oh, I done love it so much. Look at this place. Look how awesome it is. Yeah. Does it look warm and inviting? <laughs> warm? <laughs> Probably not inviting. Let's rest and get all heals and get down there. Alright, we jumping down through it. Oh, look at... He's Extendo. He's Long Long Man. <laughs> oh, Extendo boy. Uh, but yeah, I, I recently, uh, the director of Elden Ring came out and said that he feels like if players feel like they need a guide to play his games, that there's room for improvement. And I was like, wow, that's like surprising to hear from them just because I feel like so many of the FromSoft games, like, pride themselves on just difficulty. Not necessarily for the sake of difficulty, but like, you know, it's difficult for, for reasons. Ooh, don't like these guys. These guys are problems. No thanks. Oh, she's starting the circle. She's turned on the spin cycle. <laughs> Ooh, and there's a dog? No thanks. Ooh, she killed the dog. She done killed. <laughs> What's the dog doing? Nope, 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 nope. Oh, she just kept on going. Whoa! Will it ever stop? Ooh, I'm I, I'm just I'm getting I'm out. Of I hate her. I don't like dealing with her. It's not a fun time. There's nothing fun about her. Um, I'm pretty sure we take the rooftops. Pretty sure. Good things don't see it once again. Would have been clutch. Recon spot. All right, so we go down there. I'm pretty sure that's the direction we want to go. Oh, look at you! Hey, girl, what's up? <laughs> All right, let's just jump down here and get back to it. Woo! Wee! No, thank you. Hey, dog. What's up, dog? Hey, 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 the poison. Unnecessary. It was rude. So rude. Ooh, stone sword? Stone sword qua? Or qua stone sword? What in you? What, what am in you? Let's find out. I got stone sword keys coming out the wazoo. I say that and I probably have like... Oh, don't mind me, Mr. Quinn. I'm just a curious little rhino. Is she bugged? I'm pretty sure she's supposed to be attacking. Oh, nope. She just kind of took a second to wake up. That's nice. Sweet. Gotta love it when they kind of forget what they're supposed to be doing. Thank you. And she can't climb stairs. <laughs> no, she cannot. Ooh, Crimson Amber Medallion. All right, you, you stay down there and have fun. Don't really want to deal with any of the maidens because they are... Just obnoxious, really. Unless you have to beat one. There's not really any reason to go after them. They don't dish out that many souls. They take a ton of your heals. Hey, long boy. 
Long boy. Volcanic stone from the long boy. Oh, here's my problem. I love to explore, and I'm going to try my best to not explore every part of this because, man, it is, uh, it is a very explorable area. Um, but the boss in this area is, um, if you guys play Dark Souls 3, it is, like, akin to Yorm the Giant, where you have, um, there's a certain weapon that you have to use in order to do damage to him. Um, it's not hard to find. It is literally in the boss arena, just like with Yorm the Giant. Fun times ahead. Um, but if you're going to fight him with just your regular weapons, you're going to have a real hard time. And uh, that guy in the front warned us of that. If you remember, he said the serpent slaying sword. I left it in the chambers. That's as much of a hint as Elden Ring gives you. <laughs> just to be honest, that's like a gracious hint from Elden Ring. Um... Usually, FromSoft games, they don't give you many hints. And if they do give you a hint, it's like, Oh, remember that hint that was given to you like 10 hours ago? I hope you remember it verbatim, word for word. <laughs> Which never is going to be the case, right? Uh, so that's why so many people use guides from it. Oh, look at you! That is an asset straight out of Bloodborne, by the way. There is an entire area dev devoted to those guys. Try luring out. Who am I luring? These guys? The one on the ground? Are you alive? You're alive. Knew it. Ooh, pretty sure there was a dude over there to the left. But we're just going to take out all these boys. Yes, there was one to the left. Hello. Thank you, Fred. Luring them out. Seems unnecessary. Although, to be fair, I'm pretty sure most people come here much earlier in their playthrough than me. Um, I'm at like a level 100-something. And seems a little egregious for this play right now. But I'd rather be in the egregious than the wounded. Oh! <laughs> Long boy! Take some damage. Oh, look at him. He poisons. He poisons. I didn't even know that he could poison me. Hilarious. Ooh, I don't have enough for a level. But I am right here, so might as well rest at the side of grace okay cool i need like 70k for a level now which is rude rude <laughs> i swear this game but yeah you can see duck face duck face when you open these doors Ooh, there's a ladder let me just check to the right here real quick because i'd like to make sure i get everything that's worthwhile hello Ooh, rude. Long boy. Gotcha, long boy. Stone. Explosive great bolts. Would be very helpful if I was using a bow. But I am not. But alas, <laughs> I am not. <laughs> if you use a bow in these games, let me see your gameplay. Because I'm very curious how to play it aggressively. I know that you can just chill and do your thing right but it's like so much of this game is like be aggressive be aggressive be aggressive and being a bow player just seems like you have to sit back and wait for the fun to come to you you know and I, that's just not the way i like to play i like to play hyper aggressively <laughs> i think that's probably because um i think my first i guess not my first one of my like key Souls games that I played first was Bloodborne. And Bloodborne just teaches you aggression, 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 aggression. You know, it's like, that is the way to play the game. If you're not being aggressive, you're losing health. Um, so that's probably why, to be honest, that I play so aggressively in a lot of these games. Um, and also, like, I don't know, the less aggressively you play, the more you have to dodge. And dodging is the hardest mechanic in the game. I think you have 13 frames of invulnerability every time you roll, um, which is nothing. You know, you're talking about um, like a fifth of a second of invulnerability. And that's really tough. Um, okay, so first off, right, but be wary of strong foe, it said. Let's do it. I'm pretty sure that there's the magma worm down here, which is awesome. So let's deal with him. You know what? I've already fought one of them. Let's bring him out. 
I've, I haven't brought him out at all. You guys deserve to see him. The Mimic tier. I got him to level 9. And he's so buffed now. So he's max level. Mimic tier. Come on out, Magma Worm. I know you're in here. I know you're in here. Come on. There he is. Look at the vine. Yeah, so we've already fought like two of these guys at this point in the playthrough. Um, I think you guys have seen one of them. So we'll bring out the uh, we'll bring out the old friend, the distraction tech, and you guys can actually see the mimic here in action. Ooh, he's a flamey boy. Yeah, this this arena is brutal, just because there's so much lava. And uh, yeah, it burns. You might be surprised to learn, lava burn, lava hurt. Oh man, that blood does a lot of damage. I need to heal before I get killed. Oh, I almost got killed. Double heal. Nope. He's gonna barf. He's barfing. He's barfing. Alright, let's just take him out. Cool. We totally didn't need him there. Mimic tier. You did great. Um, yeah. So that's the mimic tier for you. Uh, I think it's really good as far as summons go. Probably the best summon in the game, in my opinion. Here's my opinion. Uh, if you have a better summon that you think works more efficiently, let me know. I'm very curious because I don't know if there is one. Just, you know, just my opinion. But I feel like I'm also backed by like 90% of the community on that one. <laughs> Which is a rarity in Souls games to have such uniformity of like, yeah, this is the best. But who knows, man. Maybe someone just is like, meh. You've never lived until you've tried the, the you know, the lonely archer friend. <laughs> uh, Mimic here is definitely the best. Um, but yeah. Let me know if you disagree. <gasps> hey! Hey, girls! Alright, we sneaking over here real quick. Grabbing some stuff. I love to gather free stuff. Look at him. Oh, I've fallen off the edge. Oh, don't take my Samba Smithing Stones! <laughs> it's my Samba Smithing Stone boxes! <laughs> Alright. Oh! Oh, look at you go, baby! Look at you fly! It's impressive! Ooh! Gotcha! 830? Not great, Soul. Not the worst. But not great! <laughs> Ooh! Ooh, can I open this first? Yes. Alright, cool. Uh, that is... There's a friend in there. That's for sure. Just a casual lava bridge, dude. No big deal. No big deal. Casual lava bridge, bro. <laughs> we just got some lava on the lava bridge, bro. <sighs> All of the, like, torture chests or the torture chambers underneath it. Brutal. And we up. Little Chris. A little bit of a crispy bridge. So I'm pretty sure up there is a very good item. Uh, right there, that one right there. Um, and in order to get up there, you kind of have to like jerry rig a jump, uh, which I won't do right now, but I will do later. Um, and I will show you what that is uh, if I get uh, any footage of it for sure. Um, ooh, yeah. Let's do this real quick. 62,000 62, souls. What's a level up for me? 74. Let's go ahead and use some runes. Ooh, Lord's Rune. Let's get a, let's use a Newman's because I'm pretty sure that's 12. Yeah, 12-5. Uh, if you're a souls player or an Elder Ring player, you probably know the fact that uh, since I have Newman's runes, um, that I'm in flipping around in the super down dark depths of the game. And yeah, that's true. I've been doing it, but uh, I did it off camera because 
Y'all didn't need to see me going all the way to a point that, although it is really cool, it doesn't have any purpose in my playthrough. So, yeah, just went down there to explore and to get a couple of things. Uh, mostly, uh, there's some upgrade materials, but it's more just for fun, man. I just like doing it, and it's great XP down there. And this... Hey, Godskin. Hey, buddy. Hey, bud. Don't do it. Oh, he's a grump. Ooh, don't do it. And... Let's hit him with some blood. Ooh, he missed. He died. Ooh, look at that bleed, though. That was humongous. Yep, get ready for it. Now he is the Dark Boy. The Dark Flame. Ooh, he rolling. Man, I, I couldn't even see past him. So, ooh. Yeah, come on. Come after me if you want. Nice. Nope. Ooh. Ooh, his handy jammy stabs are so jammy. All right, let's get behind this. Oh, we were behind. Heal. Double heal. Oh, his fat rolls. Nope. Oh, he slammed. Oh, he slammed. All right, let's get out of this area because it's this is a death. <laughs> Even if we're taking it to him, that's a problem in that area. Ooh, he belly slams. Let's just stay full. Ooh, ooh, took more damage just healing there. Gotcha, Godskin Noble. Gotcha. Stitcher and Noble Presence. Thank you, friend. What lies behind your altar, though? Serpent's Amnion. Key item. I'm very curious. Let me just check real quick. Um, key item. Sir key item! <laughs> That's all I can think. Amnion from a womb that bore unintended offspring. Gross. Also, check that out. Giant snake on top of the altar. I feel like it took me, like, three playthroughs of going through this area before I even noticed that there's a giant snake up there. <laughs> Goes to show you how observant we can be, man. But these games, come on, man. Like, they're, they're designed to be just massively stressful. That when you get to these areas, you're like, of course I didn't notice, dude. I was fighting the Godskin Noble. Let me fight the Godskin Noble in peace. <laughs> All right. Ooh. These parts of this game are so pretty. I love just exploring these areas. Uh, that's where we've got to go. Down yeah, And do all that. But I'm just going to go and make sure that there's nothing I need to get from this side. Um, I'm kind of powering through it, so I'm not doing it justice, really, to be honest. I'm just kind of like flying through it and you're seeing the high level overview of a lot of this stuff but um i think it's this this area is one of my favorites in the game oh i missed the item give me the item i'm sure it's terrible yep just some butterflies butterflies ahoy hehe <laughs> jumping over slug jumped over some slug perfect perfect all right there is where's there it is i was gonna say there is a way down Perfecto. We And... Ooh. I never am too sure. I'm like, I don't want to just, like, randomly jump and kill myself on one of the, like, ledges. Because it's... It's a threat, dude. It is a real threat. Also, whatever those buildings are made out of, get me that contractor's name. Because, man, he is not paid enough. Ooh, hello, maiden. I don't really want any of your business. Keep your business to yourself, ma'am. Ooh. 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 Do I go there? Is that the direction? How much health do you have? Not that much. Some health. Okay. And... Okay. Oh, she's getting her little handy jams going. Nope. 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 You you go that way. It'd be nice if she took fire damage, you know? Ooh, I got greedy. Oh, I got so greedy. Wow, she was... Feeling a little lazy. Not complaining about that. Okay, do I go there? That really seems like the way to go. But this lava seems very hot. 
Not as hot as you'd expect it to be. You just have to slow roll across it. <laughs> just gonna slowly walk around like we're really cool guys not looking at explosions. Alright, cool. We made it. Give me your stuff. Come on, baby. Gotcha. Somber Smithing Stones 5. I don't understand why this game wants to just give you Somber Smithing Stones. Like, legit. It's like, you should be playing the Somber Weapon. Like, who cares about the other weapons? <laughs> and I'm like, man, I want to play the regular weapon. I don't want to play the stupid boss weapons. It feels so stupid. <laughs> Not to be so eloquent in what I'm saying. Whoops. <laughs> I slash at your charcoal grill. Ooh, long boy. Oh, he's got, he's got the... He's got soul eyes. Come on. Yeah, that's 3,000 souls. Thank you. Hmm. <laughs> I always forget which way to go when I get up here. Is it that way? It seems like it's that way. Is that shortcut? Here, let's just go over here and check shortcuts. Because that seems like the case. But shortcuts can be very clutch in this game to pick up. There's a lot of blood stains in here, which I don't love. Oh, just from that boy? Forget? Or is this the boss? <laughs> Ooh. That was a secret layer. Secret layer of no return. Where is this? So much of this game looks so similar. Oh. That's a clutch shortcut. I need like 80,000 souls to level up. I don't think I should. 60,000 is a lot to be rolling around with. 75. Let's go ahead and use something real quick. Let's use something real quick. Just... Yeah, let's use a Lord's Room. 50k! I made a mistake. <laughs> I gave myself the exact same amount of souls, basically, that I'm going to have left over. Alright. Let's head back out there. And see what there is to see in this sweet, sweet lair. All right, so that was closed off before, so that's good to know. Now we've unlocked shortcut, so the shortcut is going to be clutch, for sure, because we've got to defeat Praetor Reichard. Oh, even if he's not really Praetor Reichard, he's just a giant snake. Oh, the Seven Lord. Oh, the voice acting in this game. Just brings a smile to the face, you know? Uh, if you like creepy stuff, I guess. <laughs> I guess if you don't like that stuff, then probably isn't your bag of tricks, my dude. But I love this stuff. I actually don't like that many. I don't like, I don't know. Do you like horror movies? Because I am not like the, I, I feel like a good horror movie I really enjoy. But a bad horror movie is just bad. Um, also, I guess that if you fight these guys enough, you can get them to drop that sword. Which is awesome. It's supposed to be the rarest sword in the game. Um, like, I think it's like a 0.03% drop rate. Um, I've never gotten it. And I've played this game many times before. Um, and maybe I've gotten it unbeknownst to me, but I've never gotten it knowingly. So, yeah, if you've got that sword and you're running it, let me know about it. Because you're the talk of the town, my dude. Everyone wants your sword. Ooh, they have so much goop. Nope. And nope. <laughs> Long boy. It's so fun to come to this area when you're like super high level. Because you can just go through mobs, dude. I'm so used to... I feel like I come to this this um, area usually much earlier in the game. <gasps> oh, I get a man serpent. <laughs> it's not a man serpent. Man Serpent. <laughs> oh, Elden Ring, your jokes are not lost on me, friend. Um, but yeah, I usually come here so much earlier in the game. And hello? Are you just a giant egg? Eggman. Eggman. Oh, he's Egg Pope. <laughs> hmm. A staff, you say? I can go up. Ooh. Ooh. You know me, man. I cannot resist a good stone sword key. 
Love a good stone sword key usage. So I'll use it. I can't resist. What's behind door number three? <laughs> oh man, what's down here? Oh no. It's it's just problems. It's just problems. Alright, well I'll deal with that on my own time problems. Thanks, problems. Don't really want to go killing myself a million times. Yeah, all, I feel like those areas, when you get to those, sure, it's awesome when you get through them. But it's just like, oh, I can already feel the headache starting of just being like, well, can't wait to fall to my death a million times. <laughs> totally ready for that. Let's go somewhere else. Ooh. Are we where I think we are? Yep. So, let's do ourselves a favor and take this off. We could take them both off. Yes. And then let's get ready. Because in here. Yes. And then, before he notices, we take the sword. It'd be awesome if it just put the Serpent Hunter on. Serpent Hunter. Where are you, Serpent Hunter? Ooh, I'm gonna have to find it. I guess there's no rush, right? Because he's not aware of us. Yet. There it is. Serpent Hunter. Probably should have allocated some stuff over to the Fups. And then let's put... Hmm. Hmm. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put... A st uh, one of the star thingies on this, just in case. And then I am going to pop a rune arc. And I'm not going to give myself aid on this one unless I need it. I don't remember this this thing's movesets. Oh. Yeah, but it's awesome. It's so cool! Oh, I missed! Oh, he chomping. He chomping me. Don't chomp. Don't chomp, friend. Yeah, I'm so glad we put the the stuff on our... Or the star, star stuff on us. Don't do it. Oh, we dodged that. I guess we didn't. Luckily, we've got tons of health. So we can definitely take a second one of those. Let's do this. And then... Hit him with some business and more business. Yeah, we that FP heal is gonna be this clutch. Oh, he got us again, man. He's in the, that animation loop. Hilarious. And Takaru. All right. I'm tempted to heal again, but I don't want to heal because the second phase is much more intense. All right. Now we'll heal. Now we'll heal. Let's heal twice. Dodged. Snakey! Oh, snakey! Man, he is getting me so many times with the snakey chomps. Oh, but that star shard is crushing it for us. Thank you, star shard. Ooh, snakey! And snakey action! This fight is so cool. And the, this phase, cool. Not even. Oh man, I thought I timed it perfectly. Not even as good as the second phase. Second phase is so cool. Okay, we're over here now, huh? All right, bud. Let me attack you, please. Oh, he got me. He killed me. <laughs> I'm talking all this trash like first phase. Push this. Push this. No big deal. Well, whatever. We'll get him next time. Oh, he's got more scammies than I expected. Oh. Ooh, what a cool animation. All right. I'm sick and tired of this boy. So we're going to break out the big guns. And by the big guns, I mean that. <laughs> we're doubling up our advantage. And he stands no chance against double boy 
two potheads are better than one. I wonder if he's going to use the powers. Pothead man. Bonus pot. Secondary pot. Nice. Nice. I feel like this the range on this thing is all over the place. And rotate around. Stay out of that. Nice. Nice. Alright. Turn on the star shard. Yeah, buddy. Oh, wow. He is getting mad distracted. Appreciate that. Be distracted. Sweet. Wow. It is like night and day easy level when you have bonus dude coming with you. Woo. Gotcha. Alright. Hey, hey. Get distracted for a second. Don't, don't worry about me. Oh. Okay. Uh, thanks, Mimic. <laughs> Phase one. Ugh. Ugh. Seriously? This is, I think, my favorite voice line in the game. It's so good. The arms, too. So basically, the serpent... The, the god devouring serpent has just eaten all the tarnish that have come up to it so far. Including Praetor Rikard. Oh, very well. The sword is so gross. Oh. Look at all of the tarnished hands on him. Join myself and King as remedy. Together we will devour the very god. Such a great voice line. By far my favorite in the game. And it's just delivered in Volcano Manor. This place where you're like, alright, well, I guess that's something we can do. Nice. We'll take the chance. Man, using a summon is so easy in this game. I forgot about how easy it is. He just completely distracts him and does a ton of damage. To be fair, uh, I don't think I mentioned it, but my Mimic here is max level, which is insane for this boss. Um, and I'm just having fun with it. Ooh. And... Ooh. Alright, I'm gonna pop a Star Shard, just so I can keep on pumping out damage. Even though my Mimic here is just crushing the game. Look, this boy is just having a blast. Ooh! No thanks. And... Boop! And Shigu! There it is! <laughs> I only had to heal once with the Mimic. That's ridiculous. Brightcard's Great Rune and Remembrance. What an awesome fight. So that's the only fight I'm going to be doing with any weapon besides the Twin Swords. Today, we're going to be going very far up in the game uh, to an entirely new area, which is going to be really fun to get into. And in order to do that, we've got to use the lift that we got access to last episode. So we've got to cruise along this little balcony over here, uh, past the city. We've got to get through to the snow fields, which are right up here. I'm going to try to take the most direct route. In the meantime, I did a little bit of farming. I said I was going to do it, and I did it. I didn't do a ton, but I did a little bit. And that little bit of farming was enough to get me up to plus 22 and plus 22 on both scimitars. And I'll show you how I did that right here. Ooh, what a clutch pillar. Yes, pillar. <laughs> Thank you, pillar. for <laughs> bringing the thunder with the pillar. Blood flame talons. 100,000 runes. That's right. Beat Moog. That Mogi boy. Um, basically, along the way to get to him, 
There's a ton of plus sevens, and there's even a plus eight down there, uh, which is pretty sweet. Uh, so yeah, now we're up to 22, and now we're getting into the meat of the game. This is going to be... We're getting pretty close to the end of the game here, which is exciting. And we've done a bunch of optionals, but not all the optionals. And there's one optional boss that we for sure have to do. Because, uh, you know, if you ask me, she's not optional. I think she's a, an essential part of any Elden Ring playthrough. And it's going to make me lose my mind. And it might be... Yeah, it's just going to be a tough time. Um, for everyone who's played this game before, you know that I am going to be talking about very specific gal who everyone loses their marbles over um but yeah we'll get into that later we don't need to deal with that right now right now we're just trying to get up to the top get on up oh hey friend oh hey mark hello <laughs> he was just praying to his girl sorry buddy your fang is delicious but gotta get smith and stones i really don't need them anymore i just need plus eights now um, and in order to get those plus eights, we've got to get to the next area. Um, there's a couple of plus eights that you can get down here, but really not many. And you recognize that boy? I recognize him. Yeah, that's right. Back at that first castle we did, this boy was, uh, the main boss. And now, he's just a boy. Just a regular boy. <laughs> he's still a problem, usually. Uh, but you know, we're pretty strong. And this build isn't terrible. It's not terrible. It's not great, but it's not terrible. And we're making the best out of it. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, that boy was right. Oh, there's so many of them. I forget how many there are. Let's just bleed them. Thank you. Ooh, perfumers. I don't like perfumers. They, um, they can shield their friends, which is a pain in the butt. Especially when there's like five million of them. But, easy peasy. We making it through. And uh, you might be wondering why I'm taking the time to go through all these guys. I feel like it's just easier to make your way through enemies. You slowly gain your runes as you go. And also, like, it just really, like, negates the chances of getting completely destroyed. Because a lot of times there's little, like, horn-blowing dudes at the end of things. And they get everyone's attention. And then suddenly you're swarmed by, like, 50 dudes. And it's just not, it's just not a good time. You know, when you pizza, when you're supposed to french fry, you're not you're not gonna have a good time. <laughs> and it's totally the case in this game. Where everything tries to kill you, and there's always a mob that's like insane and problematic. Oh we just deal with the mobs as they come instead. Makes our life easy. Also, there is a hack to get to this part of the game, like way early. Uh but I don't really like the hacks to the game. I just like to play the game the way it was like meant to be played. Um, you can call me a purist. You can say what you want about it, or you can just say I'm lazy about it. But um, there are players who go into this space and then have a summoner or have like a enemy invade their space and then take this lift up to here because you can get access to this like way earlier in the game. But it just seems so cheesy. man. I just feel like I hate cheesing games that are meant to just be, like, learned, you know? Just learn the game and enjoy it. Ugh. Hey, buddy. Sorry. Hello. Oh, hello. And gotcha. Ooh. Flame Drake Talisman. We won't be using that at all. And then Smithy Stone 4s. Man, if I still needed those, that would be impressive. Because, good lord. Made it to this point on uh, Smithy Stone 4s. Hats off to you, man. If you're doing that, then more power to you. Also, he can ride a horse. How come I can't ride a horse? Can I, snag, can I sneak up? Sneaks? Gotta love it, because the Golden Knights are pains. There we go, bleed. The bleed proc is really nice. Oof. Oh, but the horsey boy. I'm gonna have to deal with horsey boy. So come at me. Ooh. Horsey. Have some blood, horse. Have a little extra blood, horse. Yeah. Gotcha. Oh, sorry, horse. You always feel bad killing the horses, you know? And you're like, you didn't really want to do anything here. <laughs> you weren't about this. <laughs> it's just the golden knight on top of you. Also, this one is hilarious. I'm pretty sure it's this one. Is this the one that turns giant? <laughs> <laughs> it's giant it fights back. 
It's like all game you're taught like go after him and then this one's like no I fight back uh, Somber smithing stone six once again. They love their somber smithing stones in this game man. They really want you to play the boss weapons and Let me tell you by the time we get to the DLC we're gonna be so boss weaponed up, dude. <laughs> we can just do boss weapons straight to completion throughout the entirety of it. Oh, that'd be hilarious. We can just run straight up to max level boss weapons. But, I don't know. Boss weapons, you're like, fun, sure. I just really like to try the random weapons. Um, I think that a lot of people do the boss weapons, and that's cool. Ooh, okay, so I'm pretty sure we get a grace here. Let's do this real quick. Whee! Oh, remember that elevator that went so fast? Now we're back to these regular elevators, and it's like, man, what am I a plebeian to you? I would like to go fast on the elevators, if you don't mind. Oh, Dark Zone. Dark Zone. Ooh. Okay, cool. So, we're finally there. The Consecrated Snowfields. Or the Forbidden Lands, sorry. <laughs> we're in the Forbidden Lands. I've got 131,000 souls. <laughs> Did I never level up after? I never leveled up after getting Moog. Hilarious. Um, we are going to do this real quick. And we can get Torrent now. Hooray! Torrent, I've missed you. Uh, because there is a section here that we're going to have to do some a little bit of running. Also, those guys are fine, but they don't really give us a ton of runes at this point. So we just need we can blow past a lot of the problems. Because there's nothing to be gained, particularly there. And at this point in the game, we're like, dude, let me progress. Let me progress. Ooh. Yep. And sneakies. Ooh, dodgies. <laughs> ah, those boys. What do they want from us? Nothing. Just, uh, just a good jab and a stab or two. All right. Sneaks, sneaks. Perfect. Um, also, this spot, or these this area, basically, with all of the uh, snow, this is like the most missed items in any playthrough of any area, just because it's like impossible to see anything. So you're like, well, of course I missed half the stuff that was around, you know? <laughs> How am I supposed to see anything in this? Um, but the first time I played through, especially the, the full-on... Ooh, where are you? Where are you, bud? He's somewhere. <laughs> I, I have a boss to fight, if I can find him. There he is. There's the bye. Ooh, we do some damage. Ooh, nice. The bleed does serious damage, but I know that he does a ton of damage when he hits. He's, like, got the Malaketh awesomeness. Um, which, I haven't fought Malaketh yet, obviously, but when I do, he's gonna be a problem. I feel like Malekith is like the first big, well not the first big roadblock, but like the first like time when you were in the game and you're like, okay, well this game is not supposed to be won. <laughs> like he is a pain in the butt to deal with. Uh, but to be fair, he's supposed to be Death Incarnate, and he does that. Sweet. Oh, it pays to be small and nimble. So small and nimble. Ooh. Dodge. And let's hit him with bleed. Oh, we missed the bleed. Let's hit him with this, please. Boop! Got him! Thanks, Gargoyle. Thanks! Oh. Sweet. We're up to 100,000 again. You get a ton of runes up in this area. Which is clutch, because at this point in the game, you need them, dude. You need the runes. Um, yeah, you just have, like... You've got nothing but leveling to do, because towards the end of the game, I stood, I stand corrected, they want you to be a level 150, 150, for the, uh, for the, what's it called, the DLC. And we're not quite there yet, so we've got some ways to go. I think we're at 115? 115? Is that where we're at? Let's see. Where are we now? Yeah, 115. Uh, and we are gonna get to 116 right now. Heck yeah. Ooh, finger reader. Tell me what you see, girl. Tell me what's good, baby. <laughs> Please, I can read them. Your fingers. Please, your fingers. Turn we let her. 
ahead lies the land of the giant's flame. Coiny girl. And the way forth is forbidden. <laughs> forbidden. <laughs> Hear me. The burning of the earth tree is the first cardinal sin. Doing hmm. so will unbind destined death and slay the world. It's who would dare put you up to such a task? You know who it is. Most certainly not the thing. Not the fangers. It's definitely not the fangers who put us up to that. But the fingers can't be trusted, dude. Come on, fingers. They're not to be trusted, are they? <laughs> it's kind of hard to tell, honestly. All right, we going up on a Tuesday. It's so funny that two parts of the game are just completely blocked off by these lifts and it's like oh sure you can get there but you're gonna have to have the lift and you're gonna have to rob the right medallions <laughs> we're going up Liftage. Man. This part of the game, I will say, is one of the larger difficulty spikes, I would say. Like, when you get up here, there's a ton of problems. There's a ton of difficulty, and every single place that you encounter is, like, it's pretty full of problems, I would say. Like, pretty full of issues. And nothing's usually easy to kill. Everything is just kind of out for you, but at the same time, it's like, I think they expect you to be level 100, 100 plus when you get up here. So, you know, we're a level 100 plus. We're totally prepared for that. I feel like, at least. <laughs> Torrin, bring me further. Alright, let's check out what's good, baby. Uh, check out the Erd tree over there. So cool. I just, I love... Yes, I love this game so much. The visuals, everything are just cool, man. Hello, dear. Ooh, the map. Love that they're like, dude, we know that you're this far into the game. You you don't want to go scouting around for everything. Pretty sure there's a church up here. Yeah, so we need to go across the bridge here. There's an Erd tree, and then, ooh, what's that over there? Um, But we need to go across this big gangly bridge. But first... Let's go scamper over here. These ruins, the the dudes, those dudes in there are hard, and I mean hard, 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 hard. Hey, there's our ninja friend. Finally, we meet we've met before. Tarnished, the would be lord. Mm -hmm. Am I? <laughs> Why the long face? I have a pot on my head. <laughs> that is most unfortunate. For he is dead, as mm. for his flesh. He gave it to me. Shabriri. It's Shabriri! Alright, cool. You're about to start the life of a fair maiden, only so that you may be... What a horrible mm. thing to put your ascendancy. But how would the Lord crown so... You know, sacrifices have got to be made if I'm going to be a tarnished Lord. And I must be a tarnished lord. <laughs> it is, it is forsaken, or it is uh, written in the scrolls, and not forsaken. Fire blossom, so sweet. I'm just curious because I haven't, I haven't done this yet. Obviously, this playthrough. Let's see how dangerous these boys are because they are generally just problematic. Ooh, yeah, look how problematic they are. He's rude! Let's see. Ooh, he dodged. He dodged so good. Yeah, look how much damage he does to me versus me to him. To be fair, I've got lots of heals. And I can do that, which does a lot of damage. But he does so much. Oof. Oof. Also, I don't mean to gender everything as a boy. This looks like a girl. <laughs> Ooh, gotcha. How many souls do you give me? 5,000 is really not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. 
There's a bunch of them just scattered around this ruin. Uh, so yeah, I fought one, and it's like, remember, just get a taste of that, because there's problems in here. Oh, there's problems in here. I don't remember if there's anything great in this ruin, but basically, the later in the game you go, obviously, the better the stuff is. So you gotta love some good stuffage. But, look at, there's two of them. Two of them is too many for me right now. Especially, I don't know. One of the funny things about uh, playing this series is that I've learned, first of all, that Elden Ring is difficult. Um, it is a difficult game, like, just period. But having to talk while playing Elden Ring? Whoa. <laughs> That's an experience. I always heard, um, you know, streamers and stuff like that talking about how it's completely different experience to play a game while talking through it and like let's playing it than just like playing a game for fun and it is for reals oh two nope two is too many i said it before i don't want two i don't want them oh get your little oh there's third you know what torrent come on friend let's get out of here baby we don't want any of this business this business is whack some whack business oh we'll grab this though Ooh, cured meat. Invigorating cured meat. That meat is invigorating. <laughs> Oof. We are out of here. Oh, I forgot that they had just random hawks. Hello, hawk. Hello. Oh, I missed the hawk. Oh, hawkage. Gotcha. Gotcha, hack. Then get you, hack. Ooh. All right, cool. We're moving forward. I want to progress. And there is definitely a boss in this area that is pretty crucial and also kind of a pain in the butt. Especially with the playstyle I'm going with with, the, with this short range and, um, and lack of summons. Because the summons are great just for distraction purposes. Like, if you can distract bosses for just enough to get a heal off, like, clutch, you know? Like, that's great. Um, but with the playstyle I'm going with, I don't have that option. <laughs> I don't have that option at all. <laughs> everything, basically, relies on me being soloing everything, which is fine. Um, and honestly, it's it's totally a playstyle choice that I'm making, which I don't know why I'm making it, but I am making it. And it's fun. Uh, it's definitely a new challenge to do no summons and, like, not super great weapons, right? Because there are weapons that are definitely better than what I'm using right now. Like, I'm not going to sugarcoat that. Um, I could I could easily use dex weapons. And there is a dex weapon in this area that is way better than what I'm using. Uh, Rivers of Blood Katana is like, was the meta and probably is still the meta for PvP. People still... I'm not, I know people still use it. Um, so yeah, you know. But I'm just having fun with the challenge, man. Who doesn't like a good challenge to a game that you've played before, you know? I like it, at least. And I'm pretty sure, if I'm not mistaken, that there is... Yeah. Spot down here. I'm not going to go through this catacomb right now because, once again, I want to progress. But I will get the Sight of Grace here, just for ease of use. Ooh, hello. Um, I also know that there's... I'm pretty sure that in this catacomb there's a couple... Oh, the Beast Eye Quivers. Ooh, I stand mistaken. I am going to go through this catacomb. The beast eye is the thing that you get from Garank, um, which essentially, oh, hey, friend, uh, tells you whenever uh, death root is nearby. And we are very close to having all of the death root. Who's coming? Yep, there we go. Uh, we're very close to having all of the death root that we need to get Garank to be like our buddy. And if we do that, before we go and fight Garank, which we have to fight him eventually, like there's just no getting around it. Um, if we do that, he has a unique voice line. And it's fun to get a unique voice line because that it's funny that that's like the culmination of the quest. Is that he is basically upset that he has to kill you. <laughs> and believe me, he gonna kill you. He's a nightmare to fight. He's insane, dude. It's like one of those things where it's like, sure, you could power level to get to the point where, like, he's not a problem. But it's going to take some time to get to that point. 
And I really don't want to do that. I want to experience like the challenge and the difficulty of this game and just kind of go through it at the pace that it's supposed to go at and not just like destroy everything by being like, yeah, I'll spend like 10 extra hours power leveling because that's fun. It ain't fun. Let me sneak up here. Hello? Anything? Nothing. Well, whatever. Is there... Ooh, that is death. But that is not death. That's the way we gotta go, I'm pretty sure. Ugh. Yeah, once again, welcome to FromSoft Games. These games love to have you go up the lift and re-trigger them to find a secret way down to where you actually have to go. <laughs> it's like classic FromSoft move right there. And anything? No, whatever. Whatever, friend. That is fine with me. Okay. I'm pretty sure that someone's going to pop out at me. Yep. Anyone? No. He's just there. All right, we take it. There's a lot of bloodstains here for no reason. Hmm. Who's dropping bloodstains on one dude? On one gargoyle? You know what I'm saying? Oh! Because that's the boy. He's usually a boss at the end of these dungeons. Oh, don't do it. Heals. Perfect. Oh, he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna do the goops. Heal. Ooh, that was close. Let's get one more in us. Ooh, he'd be bananas. Okay, circles. Circles. When he's done doing it, we're gonna bleed him. Oh, he frosted us. Oh! <laughs> I stand corrected. I see why there's all the blood stains. He did a lot of damage for no reason. Oh, right. This time we're gonna be smart. And we are not going to even mess with that boy. We're just going to kill his friend. We're going to grab our runes. Maybe we won't grab our runes. Oh, he's going buck wild. And then we can just dip. Don't have to fight him. It's not a mandatory part of this. Oh, I got a hit. Yep. Rapid. All right, cool. We in. Who's going to kill me? There they are. I wonder what kind of grave or love or eight uh, love. <laughs> Where did that come out of my? How did that come out of my brain? <laughs> grave glove wart. That's why, because I saw glove wart. <laughs> love wart. <laughs> All right, cool. We wait, and then we run. Ah! Cool. And then hit it with the smacks. You go down, friend. Is there anything up here? Ooh, no. I just climbed it for no reason. Fine with me. Luring out, and then time for trap. Luring. Oh! I got some frostbite because I just got impatient. Yep. Let me through. Gotcha. 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 They always have friends on the other side of that. Ooh, does frostbite just make me slow? I never get frostbit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, there's another friend. Don't do it. We have to beat this one. I guess we don't technically. We could literally just sneak on by. That seems so cheesy. Cheesy. And we're still cheesing. I mean, hey, you got to take the cheese. Oh, no thanks. Oh, that's a lot of frostbite. Heal. Ooh, he'd be buck wild. No, thank you. Oh. No kitty cat. Are they kitty cats or dogs? I always thought that they were cats. But everyone was like, no, they're dogs. <laughs> they seem so cat-like, don't they? Ooh, okay. Got that one. Is this a trap? Regret? Oh, regret. What's down here? Fire monk ashes. Wow. Can't wait to not use those, brah. Those are going to be very much not worthwhile. <laughs> Whatever, though. Like exploring. Exploring is fun. All right, cool. So we can go through. Cat doesn't even need to know about us. Okay, we've already done that. Ooh, crap. So now I think we can head back up. I think that this didn't 
we didn't even need to go down here. Whatever. I always like collecting the summons. I, um, a while ago, I went through the game and collected every summons and collected every Ash of War. Um, and every Talisman, because why not? Like, it's just fun to do. Like, going to all the places that you haven't gone to in the game and just kind of exploring, feeling it out, doing all that stuff is fun. Um, maybe it doesn't sound fun to you, <laughs> but it sounds fun to me. <laughs> I love that stuff. That's the kind of stuff that I like. If you're going to pay, a, I mean, to, really, to pay for a AAA game, it's a lot of money, you know? You're paying 60 bucks, and for, like, just, like, regular consumers, you could you could buy a lot of random stuff for that, right? Like, so if you're going to be playing a $60 game, you want to play a game that you're going to get some replayability on, I feel like. And so many times AAA games fall back on just being like, who cares, like, about replayability or, like, scalability or anything like that, like, all you have to do is just put out a game and people will buy it. Once they buy it, we're done, you know? And that just feels so rude. Like, the player base loves a lot of these games. And whenever they go above and beyond, we love it, man. At least I do. Um, maybe that's just me. <laughs> Ooh, okay, okay. Can I sneak through? Just grab this? Ooh. Okay, that's not uh that's not the that's not the thing. I thought it was. Okay. Sneak. I don't like killing the pots. Say what you will about it. I just always think of Alexander and I'm like, man, I don't want to kill the pots. <laughs> Ooh, trap. Oh, I might not have seen it in time, but I did dodge. Alright, cool. A lot of times. Okay, this isn't one of them, but a lot of times you have to ride those up. Okay, those guys are exploding. Keep in mind, they're gonna explode. So we dodge. Nice. Nice. Is there a bigger one? Oh, come on. Jump at me, friend. Oh, how did he get me? <laughs> how on earth did he get me? Ooh. I'm sure it's worthless, but I love getting sturf. I love getting sturf. Okay. I'm low on healing because I went all the way down to the cat place. Oh, are these barfy boys? No thanks, barfers. You guys barf. Barf to your heart's content, my dudes. I don't want to do any of your barfs. <laughs> what a funny little hallway to just have barfers. Okay. Okay. Ooh, that seems like the way I've got to go. But first, go this way. Wake up the big pot. Yep, there he is. Oh, thank you. Got your ritual pot. Ooh. I don't need any grave glove wart. Thank you for the ability to pronounce words. I don't need any of that stuff because I already upgraded my ash or my um, summons to the max level. I'm not even using summons. So it's like, meh. Not going to need it again. <laughs> Didn't need it the first time. <laughs> Is it down there? That's where I was, right? Be wary of down, therefore. I already was down. I swear, these these areas are pains in the butt. Because so many times it's like, oh, well, you're supposed to do this and this and this. And you're just like, oh, how was I supposed to know any of that? Wisdom, visions of here again, but look carefully. I'm looking very carefully. I've looked so carefully. Hello. Hello, little ashy boy. Oh, there's so many of those guys. All right, let's see if we can figure out exactly what we need to do real quick. There's definitely some trick to this, right? But what's the trick? <laughs> what was the trick? Oh, oh. Wow, I'm alive against all odds. Oh, and I'm out of healing. Is this where, I've, is this it? Is this it? No not it. Oh, okay. So is it a duplicate? It's a duplicate. That's so rude. Makes you so confused. But there's still the Barfy boys. Alright, we're going back up to the Barfies. Oh, see? It's different. There's Mega Barfer. We don't need anything to do with Mega Barfer. Alright, cool. We're in a whole nother layer deep. Trap ahead. But is, do I want to go? Oh, that's the trap. Oh, I can just use that to my advantage. 
Better keep coming at me, big guy. Keep on coming. <laughs> totally use that to kill him. Love that for me. All right. Ugh. This game. I swear, so many of these dungeons are ridiculous. We've gone down. Gone down. And we've gone down. Right? So that should be where we need to be? No. Ooh. Is this the... Is, is this a different elevator? Is it? Is it? I don't think it is. I think it's the same elevator, right? Yeah, it is. <laughs> oh, it is different. This elevator is different. But I don't really want to be here. I don't want to be dealing with this cat. This dang cat. Oh, there's so many of them. No thanks. I don't have any health. Don't bother me. I've got no health. Nope. Don't. Oh, you rude dude. Thank you. Oh, I've got no healing. Oh, and he survived the fall. Alright, cool. Cool. <gasps> Secret zone. Oh, she has bots. Don't want any of your business. Okay, okay. I'm just gonna just turn this on. That's all I wanna do. Open up some doors. And then I'm gonna leave, baby. Then I'm gonna leave. Oh, it, oh! <laughs> 61,000 runes is a lot of runes to just lose. Oh man. Grab our runes. Runes accomplished. And then, prepare for the boy to be very grumpy. All right, cool, we out. And we've made it. All right, cool. Bye, friend. Now let's go and go fight this boss. Because he's going to be a fun time, boss. A fun boss time. All right, cool. Is this the... No, no, no. We're good. We're good. We're good. Yes. Perfect. There's the boss. Let's go heal real quick and deal with a bossy McBoss with it. There it is. There's the boss room. I don't remember which boss is in here, but given the fact that we've had two bosses that would be regular bosses at the end of this game, or at the end of the dungeon, already in the dungeon, it's going to be a big one. I bet it's going to be one of the big snaky boys. Is it a snaky boy? Yeah, snaky boy! Ulcerated tree spirit. He's going to be a problem, I can guarantee it. Ooh, no thanks! Alright, cool. Oh, he's so aggressive. He just... He be flying. Oh, but he does a ton of damage. We can do some good damage to him, but man, he does some good damage to us. No thanks. Let's do a bleed. All right, cool. And then heals. All right, we take the punishments from him, but phase two of him is going to be insane, I bet. So let's try to just go down that as quickly as we can. Ooh, that's awesome. All right, and here he comes. No thanks. All right, beautiful. Oh, he's flaming. We don't like the flames. We don't like the ulcerated tree spirit flames. Oh, here he comes. Ooh, okay, don't like that. No thanks. No thanks. Oh, look how bananas he goes. For no reason he goes bananas. Okay, come on. We can get through this. Ooh, we're doing some great damage on him. Ooh, but he's doing some great damage on us. Okay, we're doing great healing-wise. So let's just be safe. Let's just be safe. Heal up whenever we can. Ooh, yep, he's gonna be he's gonna be doing that. That's not great. And then dodge that if we can. Okay. And then hit him with some sauce. Ooh, that actually wasn't too bad. I was expecting him to be way worse. Golden seed. Ooh. Hey, bell bearing. Ooh, and a good chunk of souls. 
But most importantly, we got ourselves this. Yes. Which is death root. We have so many different death roots that we have given to rank. I think we're literally down to the last two now. Or I think this is this one and then one more and then we're done. And endurance. Perfect. Perfect. All right, cool. So that's another death route done. And uh, it's a save spot. Really, I came in here for a save spot. I left with a death route. I'm not mad about it. And I left with a level. Got a level out of it. Not too shabby, you know? All right, now this is where things get bananas. Because this bridge... Look at that guy over there. You see him across the bridge? He's a giant archer. And he doesn't really take kindly to us crossing his giant bridge. And he's just going to start irking stuff at us. And he can just kill you outright, just topple you off the bridge. So, you got to be a little careful with him. Wow, lost ashes of war. Very fun. Don't do it. He's getting ready. He's packing back. And we're going to go to the safe spot. Safies. He can't hit us here. There you go. Perfect. Now you run. Ooh, we run, we run, we run. Oh, he's cocking back. Dodge. Oh, he knocked us off torrent right away. And there's such a stagger. All right, cool. We're through, though. Oh, we've made it. Now let's go get some revenge on that bird. Yeah, bud. You think it's cool to attack us? Well, we think it's cool to attack you. So what do you think about that? Huh? Tagging us while we cross your tiny bridge. Rude. He's, he's also very easy to kill. Which is very nice, Elden Ring. Thank hey, you. How many souls are you going to give me, bud? Just 4k. Nothing to shake a stick at right now. Ooh, what have you got for me? Yeah, there's going to be a bunch of um, good... Ooh, 13. That's ridiculously good. Um, there's going to be a bunch of stuff here for leveling up. Or not leveling up, but I should say leveling up my equipment, which is what I need from here on out. Um, I need level 8s and level 9 smithing stones. So, and then I also need an Elder Dragon smithing stone, or Ancient Dragon smithing stone, uh, for each of my blades. So, you know, fun times. It's gonna be a little difficult to get to those. We gonna get them. We gonna get them. Somebody come get her. <laughs> come on. Let's get this. Or soft cotton. I swear, sometimes the items in this game, you're like... Okay, I guess that's what we're getting. We're getting soft cotton. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Alright, we're going up. Yeah, this whole area, oof, it's full of really cool enemies and really cool bosses. And there's a little bit of like a winding mechanic to it where you got to go up and explore a lot of the spaces. Because um, right now we've got to go over here and yeah, we're going to have to go across a couple of the different problematic areas. How many do I have? I've got 12. Yeah, perfect. We good. Um, and you can explore a lot of stuff in here, but for right now, we're not going to do a ton of exploring. We're going to try to get right through what we need to get to. Um, and we'll see if we can just... Ooh. It is I, Latena. Mm hmm We're almost there. Castle Sol lies just off to the north, where the other medallion is housed. It will grant passage to the land of the Halic Tree. Mm hmm so, that is something we definitely want to do, because if I go to Castle Soul and I get the other medallion to get to the Halig Tree, I can fight the person that I want to fight, which is both a blessing and a curse, if I'm being entirely honest. <laughs> Ooh, I see a tree. I know y'all see it, too. Um, yeah, there's, there's some stuff at the Halig Tree, uh, for sure. Some big problems. And, uh, we're not ones to shy away from the big problems, you know? We haven't done it all game. We're not going to start now. Ugh. Hey, buddy. You sleeping? Wake up. Thank you. I don't really want to fight any of them because, as I said, 4K souls. Who cares? Who cares about the 4K? We can do that anytime we want to. Nice. So this area, 
hilarious area, if I say so myself. Uh, it, it allows you to take a peek in with that little thing right there. This little guy right here. Let's take a peek. Yeah, I, I got a telescope. I get it. You can look around and kind of get a good glimpse of it. We've got to go across the lake and over there. We can do that, and there's a whole... I'll show you guys how to do that, but basically, there's an invisible bridge that lets you go over there. Whatever. <laughs> I'll show you how to get to the invisible bridge eventually. But for right now, we've got to get across here, and there's going to be a friend who shows up. So, prepare yourself for friendship. <laughs> and when I say friend, I don't really mean friend. <laughs> this game is full of non-friendly friends. Ugh. But I'm pretty sure there is a dungeon right here. Yeah, there is. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to go in. Don't worry, I'm not going to be distracted. Um, but I am going to open it because I love opening these places. And I'll probably grab the... Um, let's just sneak in here real quick. Yeah, so that's the Winter Winds. Spirit Caller Cave. I don't care about it, but I'm just going to grab this so I can come back and explore it later on my own time. My own sweet time when Pothead's got a little extra time on his hands. <laughs> but basically, now, we can't see anything. And this is how a large chunk of this game is going to go. Uh, not a large chunk, but like, there's a bit of time where it's very hard to see anything. And then, you have a dragon. Can I see you? There he is. Hey, dragon. Let's go dragon hunting. He's got so much health. See how much health this boy's got? Ooh, the bleed is crude. Okay, okay, okay. We gotta re regain stams. Cool. We got our stams. The bleed, seriously, is so nice. And no thanks. Ooh, thought I dodged it perfectly. Did not dodge it perfectly. Oh, he's a grumpy boy. He's such a grumpy boy. Can I get a bleed proc off on? Nope. Ooh, thought I dodged it perfectly again. That's really messing with my skis. To the left, to the left. Always, ooh, how did I get hit with that? That's shenanigans, bruh. Everything always to the left with dragons. And nothing. And we. Okay, cool. At least that does some good damage. So. No thanks, we proc. Okay, we're doing okay. We're not doing terrible. And we've already been frostbitten, so we're kind of sitting there and we're like, well, who cares about whatever frosty stuff you're going to do to us next? Oh, oh, I stand wildly corrected. That was insane. Um, okay. Nope. Ooh, got stuck in the animation. Brutal part of this game is that the animations last so long, even with these fast weapons. Dodged it. Perfect. Can I hit him in the face? Ooh, facial bleed. You love to see it. And dodge. And bleed. And let's heal. Perfect. Borealis. No thanks. Oh, come on. That was perfect. And bleed. Let's get another heal in. Oh, he's going to do some stirf. You going to fly away from me? Yes, you are. For that, get on torrent. Sometimes they just auto go into their ranged attack stuff. Nope, nope, nope. Uh, oh, lord. Oh, come on, Borealis. That was unnecessary. Alright, we're getting down to it. Oh, thought I dodged that perfectly again. Did not dodge it perfectly. Oh, come on, Borealis. Could you stop your screams? Oh, once again, I am just getting screwed by the animations. That's okay. Come on, we can do it. We just need a couple more bleeds. Nope. Okay, beautiful. Run on in. Oh, he's getting his stompies out. No stompies. No stompies, Borealis. Okay, we can be patient. Alright, we gotta run. Okay, he's gonna do his range. They always do their range when they get that little flap away. So, we get on your torrent. And... Nope. No. Okay, perfect. Oh, I'm getting hit with the frostbite. That was so rude. That was so rude, the frostbite. If he does his yells, we're screwed. We're screwed. 
Oh no, we're still- oh, yep, we're dead. There's nothing you can do, man. It's like, that AoE is brutal. Alright, we got him next time. Woo! Borealis. Alright, so our souls slash... Oh, they're right here. Perfect. Let's grab him. Is he right there? Yes, he is. Hey, bud. Ooh, we got hit right away. That's not great. But that's okay. Ooh, almost got hit twice right away. <laughs> and we just did a little dance under his feet. And no thanks. Perfect. Have some blood on your feet. Nope. Jeez, the, the fact that you get stuck in animations for so long in this game, very punishing. Wow, that was very lucky that he just decided to do that. He's hitting the he's hitting that guy. Don't hit him. He's a jellyfish. He's just a jelly friend. You gonna do it? Yes, range. Perfect. Okay. And we'll jump in and we'll hit some feet. Hit your feet. Oh come on, we dodged. I'm not gonna have that. That's shenanigans. And shenanigans. Well, how do we miss the blood? How do we miss the blood? I don't want to hit the jellyfish. <laughs> the targeting. It's like, but what about the jellyfish in the distance? Those are some friends. <laughs> oh, he's screaming. It's not what we want. The screams are annoying. We're not doing great this fight. I will admit it. Ooh, we gotta dodge. Alright, get on the horse. And... Target the foot. Oh, the scream is rude. The scream is so rude. Dodge. How am I missing the dodge timing? Okay, cool. Let's get at least a bleed frog on. Jeez, I'm getting hit every single chance I can. Not my best at showing here, dude. Missed the head. Okay, okay. All right. How did I miss the foot? Dodged. Got him. No. Okay, cool. We, we've got to be careful here because if he does his scream, it's going to hurt so much. Oh, that's not great either. How do we not get killed by that? Love it. Yes, range, 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 range. All right, we sneak in. Closest one. Hit it a bunch. Come on, can we get a bleed proc off? Nope. He's being very slippery. Alright. Oh, the screams are not great. The screams hurt. Don't double scream. Ooh. Oh, he's doing he's doing the big scream. Perfect. We weren't. Ooh, I was gonna say perfect, we weren't underneath him, but the range on that scream is preposterous, dude. Oh, he's just getting ready to do it again, it seems like. Come on, bleed. No! Close one. Come on. Perfect. Bleed proc. Got it. Alright. Oh, no. Can't do it. Can't do it. That's death. No, it's not. I live! Okay. We're coming to defeat. Borealis. No. No, Borealis. Oh, I've made a mistake. I made a big mistake there. Heal. Ooh, he's getting his big, his big mega bones on. How far away do I have to be to not get hit with this? Okay, here. That's how far away. That's ridiculous, by the way. Oh, he's doing it again? No, he's not. Okay, he was just screaming. Perfect. Face. Blood. Face. Blood. Nope. I missed the blood on the face. Face, blood. Oh, I can get him if I'm just not an idiot. Ooh. Heal. He's doing his screams. Come on. Ooh. Come on. Just one more hit. Oh, boy, Alice, we got you, bud. Ooh. How many souls do you give me? 100k? Not enough, in my opinion. Okay, well, great. We got a new Draconic Power. Ugh. Alright, cool. You might have noticed in the last episode that my eye, my left eye, started to swell up. Well, it turns out I had a double eye infection brewing, and I've been out of commission for the last week. 
But I'm back. And we're here at Castle Soul because there's pretty important stuff here in the castle. And I want to get to it. We're going to have to fight through this by first. Technically, we don't have to, but I want to. Oh, come on. Ooh. He's getting us his frosties. And with some sauce. Oh, he's roaring. We don't like it. Ooh. 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 <laughs> This episode, I'm jumping right in, dude. Ooh, he's so jumpy. And a little bit of sauce. Sweet. And some bonus sauce. Ooh. Ooh, no thanks. Okay, we're just going to stay topped up. Ooh, that was a mistake. All right. Oh, there's a second. I forgot about him. Okay, we got the first. That's clutch. Mythic stone, beast blood, and the fang. Thank you. Oh, but he's already at half? Why is he at a half? I didn't do a half damage to him, did I? Oh, that's very kind of you. Let me get a bleed proc off if I can. Ooh, nope. Oh, the big jump. Woo! Okay, dodge that one. Love that. Ooh, no thanks. Oh, he's getting grumpy. Come on. Come at me. Okay. Oh, I thought I had him. Look how jumpy this boy is. Oh, come on. Okay, <laughs> camera made it so we couldn't see at all. All right, cool. We made it. A lot of somber smithing stones and old fangs and beast blood. Woo! That episode started fast. <laughs> um, but yeah, sorry. To get back to what I was saying, I literally had a double eye infection. And I, it was funny watching the edit back. Because literally, I could watch my eye slowly start to shut over the course of the video. Um, and I was just, I was like confused when I was recording. I was like, what the heck is happening? Like, I must have something stuck in my eye. It just turns out I had a virus. Like, some weird virus. I'm coming to the end of it now, which is great. Um, I'm still kind of like bouncing back a little bit, but I'm, I'm just, dude, I've been so hungry for Elden Ring. I cannot wait to get back into it. So I'm back at it, dude. Feeling a little under the weather, but you know, psh, ain't going to stop me for too long. Can't resist it. But um, Castle Soul, why we're here. Let me get into that. Because um, there is a very important piece of, or very, very important artifact in here for us to get to for this game because. In order to get the Halig Tree, we have to have a very specific medallion. And we've already gotten one half of that medallion previously. So now we're going to need the second half of it. Hey, puppy dogs. And the second half is in here behind one of the more difficult enemies in the game, according to many people. But, you know, we'll let you do the deciding there. Oh, bird. Oh, bird. The birds are so rude in this game. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, he's still alive. That bird just kept on birding. Um, yeah, so we need to be in here. We got to get some steer. And we got to roll around a little bit. Dog, where'd you come from? Where did you emerge from? The the, the ground? <laughs> or did you, like, apparate? <laughs> all right, all right, all right. We'll find our way in there. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah. Uh, how's your guys' week been? Because, yeah, mine's been insane. <laughs> it's been a wild couple weeks. Um, I never get sick, just for full transparency. So anytime I get sick, my body is like, <laughs> like does not know how to respond. Um, but you know, we're surviving. Who's coming at me? Hey, I thought I heard some weird noises. <gasps> He's got the glowy eyes. Man, did they buff the glowy eye rate for, for creatures? Because I feel like I've seen a ton of glowy eyed rate or glowy eyed creatures. Speaking of which, I have to show you something super cool. So I don't know if you guys remember. I was talking to you guys about... Ooh, sorry, this guy is a problem. I need to deal with him real quick. Ooh, nope. Okay, cool. Ooh, no thanks. Can I just pick him up? Oh, no. Okay. Ooh, um... Sorry, those guys are problematic, to say the least. Um, but I was, uh... Looking for more death root because of uh, the Grank quest. I want to get them all so I can get his sweet little voice line. Um, and I went and fought the Tibia Mariner, and it was hilarious. Uh, I'll show you, uh, what happened with him. Isn't that wild, dude? I've never seen a Tibia Mariner, Mariner get uh, glowy eyes. So it was the first time I've ever seen that in any playthrough I've ever done. Um, and it was hilarious. I was like, all right. So they can get the glowy eyes and give you extra souls. Pretty sweet. 
Hmm, frigid son of soul. Surrender yourself to the eclipse. Or grant life to the soulless bones. Oh, grant me life. Ooh, a shout out. Thank you. We I jump over you, friend. Oh, yes, indeed. Um, is this is this door a shortcut? <laughs> nope. <laughs> All right. So we know we're clear there. What are you doing? Tell me, message. Tell me. Recklessness. Okay. So I know that there's some shenanigans in there. Um, but I forget exactly the the like the most direct path through Castle Soul. Um, so we have to pardon me if I do a little bit of wandering. I'm just scampering about the castle. Because I feel like there's... Oh! <laughs> there's usually good stuff in these high-level areas. I could jump down there and deal with him. Is there anything to be gained over here? Let me do a little peek. Let me peek. Ooh, kick ladder or just ladder? Just ladder. Okay. Um, ooh, this guy. That guy's a problem down there, too. Um, so yeah, people hate these knights. Um, they are problematic. I'll see if I can... Oh! He, I was gonna say... Oh! He teleports! Look at him! Yeah, he, he, he is merciless. <laughs> I think I just showed you why people hate these knights. Because he just never stops attacking. <laughs> we'll just jump right back to him, because he's a problem. Excuse me. <laughs> Alright, cool. <clears throat> Get back to this boy. Alright, so we know we can't sneak up on him. He's proven that to us. So, we're gonna run in and grab our souls. And be a little bit aggressive. Oh, nope, not that aggressive. Jeez. Jeez. Jeez, that's a lot of attack. Oh, I was stuck. And blood. And... Oh, I thought I was going to get him again. Sweet. I love that. Okay. Oh, no, he's becoming the holy boy. Don't love that. Uh, blood. Sweet. We just gotta be careful of our range. All right, cool. We got him. Yeah, it's funny. They don't even drop them any souls, and they're just difficult. Cerulean and or Cerulean metal plus one. Not even really that worth it. Ooh, are the lions permadeaths? That's very nice. I love the fact that the lions are permadeath. All right, so it turns out he was guarding a medallion that we didn't even need. Um, but I wanted to show you guys that guy because he is generally a problem in like everyone's playthroughs. <clears throat> also, you can jump off that cliff and uh, jump into Castle Soul as a shortcut if you land on one of these trees. Uh, but once again, I think I've told you guys that I am not into cheesing these games. If you are, great for you. Shortcuts, hooray, hooray. If you want to do speed runs, also hooray, hooray. Uh, but this game is not meant to be cheesed, in my opinion. I think all the FromSoft games are meant to just be like enjoyed and not be treated as like a, a little thing to rush through. They're supposed to be enjoyed. Take your time, have some fun, kill some rats, you know? All the classics. <laughs> oh, thanks, rats. These guys are very patient. Thank you, rats. Uh, a golden room plus one from a rat. What a generous rat. <laughs> Dishing out some runes from the rats. All right, cool. We made it through. Nothing great there. Um, ooh. Ooh. <laughs> There's a the guy knocked off. Look at him. He's right there. I'll just leave you to it, man. You can survive. You have fun over there. Um, all right, let's reset over there and go through the way that we were supposed to go. Um, and we can start 
climbing up this castle because there's going to be some shortcuts that we can get and they're going to be crush because let me tell you uh i i believe this is the boss that i think it is oh forgot about bird boy um and if it is then oof, uh he's not a, an easy boss to deal with hey bird could you not could you not all right cool that does the dog and that does the bird Ooh, birds are rude in these games man i feel like in dark souls 3 and a lot of the dark souls to be fair um dogs were like the big enemy if you had dogs on your tail it was like oof dogs were brutal oh i forgot that i, I probably should have just i can just run through here and reset everything that's what i'll do um hey let me run through let me run through um yeah dogs were always so annoying and then in this game i feel like the birds are the new jerks <laughs> reset everyone see you later baby all right cool <clears throat> 26k man i have to say uh this castle although difficult doesn't really pump out the souls like you want it to you know you want it to pump out a lot of souls not a lot of souls baby be wary of group all right are they all gonna come out of cages oh hello so there's apparently a lot of them oh oh yes there are oh i'm getting i'm getting horse oh that was gross could you not thank you Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Ooh. I think I mentioned in a previous episode, but those guys are straight out of Bloodborne. There's a whole, like, uh, medical ward that's full of those guys. Oh, you yell. Oh, you yell and bring your friends. What a jerk. All right, come on down, friends. Come on. <laughs> Ooh, he has the greatest question to ask. Uh, yeah, a thousand souls. We don't, we're not living for a thousand souls. Also, just because this guy was a jerk to me, enjoy it, brother. 620 souls for screams, McGreams? You know, he is worth the souls to kill. Uh, sorry, Echoes. I know that everyone's going to be on my case for saying souls instead of Echoes. All right, so, oh, there's one of these boys. Okay, we're going to cheese him because I hate him. I hate him so much. I, oh, and there's, with good reason, we're going to cheese him. Oh my goodness. Oh, I was down. On, baby don't be attacking me when i'm down oh he's attacking me when i'm down and let's get rid of one perfect and then let's get rid of two. Oh, blood no thanks no thanks <laughs> they're so aggressive these boys Ooh, 2k is once again not great <laughs> given that a lot of the enemies were giving us four earlier all right buddy you gotta go Oh, I fell. <laughs> I'll fall again just to kill him because I really don't like him. Um, but yeah, the um, I did have to fall for it. Uh, the boss at the end of Castle Soul is ridiculously tough. And um, if you use the Mimic Tier on him, really not that bad. But there's the boss room. But we are going to open up this shortcut first. Because it gives us a straight line from the main gate, essentially. And let's just come right back to it. And to be honest, I only have seven Healy's McGeely's. And for this fight, it's probably not enough. <laughs> it is ridiculous how hard this fight can be. Um, we'll see. Who knows? I say it's ridiculous how hard this fight can be. And I've been surprising myself with, in a lot of ways. Look at all these slurs. That's a lot of slurs. Um, but yeah, the, some of these fights. This, this fight in particular, uh, prosthetic leg McGillicuddy over here, it's it's definitely a tough one. I think it's um, I think it's, it's one of the hardest, probably one of the hardest like humanoid bosses in the game. Um, and if you think that I'm wrong, then by all means let me know. But I think it's one of the hardest. Ones. So do with that what you will. Um, but we can sneak through here. Let's reset and go right back to him because now. We've got the path to him, which is great. And I love that those lions are permadeath. That is awesome. Because, um, yeah, those lions are kind of a pain in the butt to get through. And you really need every single heal that you have to beat this guy effectively. Oh, well, hold on, hold on. We're going to talk to someone. Let's talk. Let's chit-chat. Melanot, tell me. Tell me of your ways, young lady. Think not of the kindling. I shall see to that. Mm. 
is to make the journey to the snowy mountain tops of the giants, far above the clouds. Where are we gonna go? I know. I'm asking you to commit a cardinal sin, but it must be done mm -hmm. to reach the path beyond. And that is the path I wish to travel. Yeah, we'll take that care of some of that right. right after this. All right. We're at the boss room. Let's jump in, baby. You can sneak in here and get some sneaky hits on before he gets his friends over here. And you can get a bleed proc, up, which is awesome. So let's do that and then back out. Perfect. Ooh, perfect. We got one of them. All right. Heal up and get ready for the second guy to come. Because here he comes. Ooh, he got us with a shield. Rude. Gotcha. Hit him with another. Ooh. Ooh. All right, heal up, because these guys are insane. All right, perfect. Got him. And then here he comes. He's bringing up the goose. No, thank you. Oh, shnikes, my guy. Ooh. Here he comes. And... Okay. We hit him with the side swipe. Okay. Ooh. Come on, buddy. Nope. Nope. Watch out for his foot. It's insane. Okay. Wow, I can't believe we can get that off. Okay. Okay. Okay, we're good. Ooh, I took that one to the face. Ooh, that's close. Okay, we got a bleed proc off on him. That's sweet. Hit him with some blood. Ooh, okay. We're doing okay, but he's gonna definitely do some stuff to us. Don't do it. Don't hit us with the foot. Oh, frostbite. No thanks. No! Oh, did he kill us? Oh my gosh, we're alive. Get out of there. Double heal. 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 That was so close. That was so close! Oh, shoot. Alright, heal up. Nope. Ready? He's coming at us. Okay. And... Oh, I was out of range. Oh, he's kicking us with his little foot! His little footy kick! Ooh, that was a mistake! Come on, Niall! You're good. We're all good, buddy. We're friends. Leap attack. Okay. No! And... Ooh! That was risky! Hit him with a little more. Okay. Okay. We're good. Oh, man. That was brutal. Okay. Just stay up. Whoa. If we can get this first try, that's amazing. Okay. 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 Nope. Nope. Just, just don't get hit with this stuff. And run in. Commander Nile. First try, man. Heck yeah. Oh. He is so hard, usually. Down to the last heal. Oh, man, that was brutal. Ooh, 120,000 souls. <laughs> I got really pumped up about that. <laughs> Sorry. Got my hair all crazy because I got running around. Ooh, That was wild. I never beat him first try. Oh, that gets me pumped up, dude. It gets me so pumped up. All right, cool. So we got through Castle Soul. First try on Nile. Woo! That was so cool, man. Oh, that got me really pumped up. <laughs> I'm sure you could hear how excited I was. Um, but yeah, don't let that uh, that run through fool you. Commander Nile is one of the hardest bosses in the game, in my opinion. And yeah, he's brutal. Like, everything about him is hard. Um, the fact that we could cleave through his summons so quickly, that really helped us in that fight. Like, really helped us in that fight a lot. Oh, Commander Nile, thank you for not killing us a million times. Oh, hello, friend. What will you say to us? Secret Holeg Tree left medallion. Oh, Mikola, forgive me. The sun has not been swallowed. Our prayers were lacking. Your comrade remains soulless. I will never set my eyes upon it now. Your divine Holeg Tree. Oh, well, don't you worry about that, brother. Because we're going to go there and it's going to be insanity. Whew. Oh, all right. Let me just double check and see if there's anything else delicious. There's not. People are just falling off and, and killing themselves here. So, Whew. that was awesome. I'm still buzzing about that. Beating, um, beating that guy first try is just freaking sweet, dude. <laughs> so now we got both sides of the secret medallion and we can go to a very important place. Very important place. Um, 
It's not as important uh, to endgame stuff. It's important if you like a good challenge. And I do like a good challenge. So, that's Castle Soul done and dusted. Alright, let's go to... Uh, we, need, we need to go down here, because we need to get up here and deal with a big old problem. Uh, but I'd like to hit this church first, and there's another friend there who's going to give us some business. Alright. Woo! Flame Peak. Uh, so we got to go up here and hit this church real quick. And I mentioned earlier in one of the episodes that there was a really, really good weapon here. And this is where you get it. So... If anyone's in, been interested in finding where uh, the Rivers of Blood katana is, right up at the top of this hill. Uh, but in order to get it, we've got to beat a boy who's not very nice to you, just to be honest. Who's... Oh, they're fighting. Look at all these boys fighting. Y'all fight. Have fun. Fight it out. <laughs> I don't really want anything to do with their fight. They're just kind of annoying. They don't really do much. So we're not going to mess with their skis. Uh, this whole area is awesome, by the way. I mean, look at that giant skull. So cool. Okay, yep. See? We're taking off our horse. That means a problem is coming. And he's coming right around the corner. This boy right here. Okina. Hello. Yeah. Rivers of blood. Yeah, his katana is awesome. You see how much damage it did to us right off the bat? No. Oh, come on. Oh, yep, he's doing his rivers of blood. So that's the, the Ash of War that thing comes with, which is awesome. But we, we have blood from the end, my friend. And we can bleed. Ooh, can we get him real quick? Oh, nope. I don't really want to kill him with my blood. I want to kill him with the old fashioned. Oh, well, <laughs> we got him. <laughs> he's usually a little harder. I feel like I'm playing well today. That's nice. So that's where you get Rivers of Blood. You also get the Okina Mask, which is cool. Um, but yeah, he, he... That sword, when the first... When the game first came out, like, everyone was running that sword. It was just so busted. And I'll show you it real quick, because um, as far as katanas go, it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so Strength, Dex, Arcane, uh, and it's got 51 blood buildup, which is awesome. Uh, mines right now has 81, but it's also way upgraded, um, and it's got a B scaling, but it's also upgraded. Your your scaling goes up as you upgrade them. Sacred tier. I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. Ooh, we are gonna have some big bosses to fight this episode. I love it. Um, yeah, let's do that. Sweet. Perfect. All right, so now our tier, our our flasks are plus 10. So we'll get even more healing from them every time we heal, which is awesome. Ah, can you see that big old bowl? <laughs> that's where we're headed. We need to find the fire that's capable of burning the Erd tree. And that is the fire that's capable of burning the Erd tree. I need to find the path over there. And then we have to deal with a boy who, with this current build, is going to be a problem. Um, fighting those kind of small dudes... With this build, it's not too bad, but reach in this game is super important. And the guy we're about to fight is humongous. There he is! Look at him! Look at that boy! Let's go have fun with the fire giant. Also, torrent can be a big help in this fight. Uh, so if you're having trouble navigating no, this area, uh, torrent can help you get right behind to his little feet. Oh, we're doing some good damage. No. Nope. All right, cool. We get through that, and then... No! All right, cool. His little shield is really not doing... No, 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 no. no. Oh, here he goes. Yep. And... Nope. And... Nope. Oh, man. Dodging. The dodge is going bananas. Okay. Wow. Okay. I'm a little bit nervous about what he's about to do, because I feel like he's about to go... Yep. He's, he's doing his rolls. Oh, we broke off his, his foot. Peace. Okay, yeah, we gotta get out of here, because the fire is insane. When he gets that going, we don't want to be on the receiving end of fire. Ooh, no thank you, fiery boy. Ooh. Alright, get back to his feet. His feet are a safe spot. Stay by the feet. Ooh, that fire. No! Heal. 
Ooh. Ooh, that camera's not being our friend. Okay, okay, he's gonna, he's gonna explode. Yep. Oh! Phase two. Oh, this is such an awesome phase. Yeah, so he, you break his, his leg. Like, all that armor was falling off. We saw that during the fight. He's not happy about what we've done to him. <laughs> oh, man. It's brutal. He literally just rips his leg off. So in this phase, he's a little less mobile, but he does a lot more fire. And once his like chest opens up and lets fire out of it, it's insane. So, ooh, frenzy die. Mm. So yeah, we need to get through this phase as quickly as we can, if possible, um, because he will. He'll be just problem after problem. Okay. There he goes. He's flaming up a storm. Oh, can we make it through? Okay, good. We made it through. Nope. Nope. Okay. Oh, the fires. Oh, well, we got killed right away. I shouldn't have I shouldn't have dodged. That's brutal. The double hit? That's insanity. Alright, well, we got him pretty close. I think we should be able to get him next time. Fingers crossed. All right, Church of Repose. We're coming back for our emblem or our souls emblems. <laughs> Ooh, I might turn on my great rune because why not? I've got a bunch of rune arcs, and I feel like now we're getting close to the time of the game where this makes a lot of sense to you. Um, also, the fire giant is a really fun fight, and. Hey, I don't know, man. I'm not mad that we lost once, you know? I'll take it. I'll take a loss. Let's put a rune arc. Let's live that dream. Maybe that extra little bit of health will just really help us out. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, I mean, it would have saved us last time if we had that tiny little sliver of bonus health. Just the tiniest wee bit of slivers. All right, we got to get up to the top of that mountain with this little ridge here. Whoa! Oh, that was so rude. You didn't have to do that, brother. Oh, he's jumping. All right, cool. We're past him. And we're going to grab... There's the invisible wall. This fight is rife with opportunities to move to invisible wall. Um, every... Like, all these areas, the big areas have these um, invisible barriers, basically. That makes it so you can't just go wherever you want to go. Um, okay, perfect. Broke that. Love that. He's not happy with us. We're happy with him. Nice. Little bleed. Woo! Let's heal up. Get the max. Horse. Assemble. Ooh, yeah. He's getting his flings. Flamies. Allow us to get behind you for your foot. And fling on, buddy. Ooh, no thanks. Okay. Ooh. We're getting lucky with our dodge. Or maybe we're getting skillful with our dodge. <laughs> Ow! That foot was so close. All right, let's get in there. Don't do it. Oh, I shouldn't have talked so much trash about our skillful dodger. Because now our dodging is not as skillful. Oh, he's leaping. He's a leaping by. Okay. Phase two. <laughs> let's get into it. Okay. Horse. Horse. Heal up. Can I get off horse? Ooh, we were right in the middle of the pillar. Okay, heal. Heal. He's rolling. <laughs> I love how he rolls. Okay, we gotta do some damage here. While he's just down in this little position. It's dangerous, but we gotta do it. Because this is... I mean, he's, he's staying still. At least. And he's rolling again. Horse. Horse. Nope. Okay, cool. Is his stump still weak? Nope. He's doing great now. Oh, he's got the fire. Whoa! Okay. He's very... Oh, shoots my goose. Heal, heal, heal. We've got so much healing. We can heal as much as we want. Fire giant. No. A little bit of blood for you. 
Oh, he's rolled. He rolled on me. I've never had a man roll on me before. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Stay full. Stay full. Stay full. Stay big. And shit. horse. Let's get a horse. And roll to his side. Ooh. Okay. Perfect. Horse in it. Come on, fire giant. Let me bleed you once more. Let me get. Oh, I gotta get out of there. Holy moly. Oh, I gotta heal with that. Are you kidding me? Okay, we're back in. We're getting in. Come on. One more bleed, Brock, and we got him. Oh, shoot. Okay, okay. Heal, heal. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. That was insanity. Get behind him. Get behind him. Where's he rolling to? There he is. Oh, no. I don't like that. I don't like it one bit. Oh, we got him. We got the fire giant. Yes! Ooh. Second try on the fire giant, but I'm not complaining about that. He's a little tough by... We got his remembrance, too. And 180,000 runes. I like that. I do like that very much. Thank you, fire giant, for your... So many runes. Oof. Let's get a level up, and then... Some serious things have to happen. And if you decided to do the Frenzied Flame ending, you would have different things here. We're not doing the Frenzied Flame ending here. Um, although it is a very fun ending to do. Uh, we're just not going to do that. We're doing a different ending. We're doing the ending we like to do. We did all that Ronnie stuff. We're ronnie it up. 125. Pretty close to what we need to be at for DLC, which is awesome. But basically, we've got to get up here. And we've got to get some stuff checked off our list of things to do. We've got to, well, <laughs> make some sacrifices, unfortunately. And sacrifices must be made in order for us to get past the bird trees, thorny thorns. Ugh. Yeah, it's crazy. If you read or listen to the lore of, like, this whole area, it's very cool. That, oh, no, no, don't fall. Don't fall. Lord, let's reset ourselves so I don't have an entire panic attack. Jeez! Horse, we're done. I'm done horsing around. Maybe I'm not. Maybe I'll get... <laughs> I like how I, I beat Commander Nile first try. I beat Fire Giant second time. And I'm like, mm, a little bit of difficulty climbing a chain, though. <laughs> Par for the course in this game. <sighs> but yeah, this fire... That's just roasting in here, in this big thing. That's the last little bits of the fire giant, like, magic that is strong enough to burn the urge. I'm like, nothing else is strong enough to do it besides this. So, gotta do it. Touch. Touch. And then you're like, oh, what do I do? Well, you gotta rest. You gotta talk to your lady. Make some decisions. I have long observed the lands between. You have, girl. This world is in dire need of repair and death. Indiscriminate. Are you prepared to commit a cardinal sin? I think so. Very well. I am. Let my hand rest upon you for but a moment. Oh, Melina. The cinematic moment of this is a little lost on us as being potheads. <laughs> she puts us to sleep. The whole sleep thing is supposed to be like a big part of the DLC, and there's like a lot of different things, lore-wise, that sleep mean. I won't dive into them now. But... Awakening, dude. My toasty, toasty hands I have the flames within them. Oh, they've spread. 
I'm burning so intensely. <laughs> you shall burn. So if you remember how I said that the burn for the sake of the new lord. Ooh. Remember how I said that the capital city changes? Right at the base of the Erd tree. Thank you for guiding me here. Catch gotcha, baby bear. The one who walks alongside Flay shall one day meet the road of destined death. Goodbye. Bye. Hmm. What a cinematic cutscene, man. I hate seeing the feels every time. And where are we now, friends? Ooh! When you go to the four belfries, you get a glimpse of this place. But you don't get the full experience of it until you show up. When crumbling, crumble, crumbling, <laughs> when crumbling Faramazula. Ooh, and this place is hard. But we're there! Uh, it's so cool that she so she puts us to sleep and then she brings us here, which is awesome. There's also a, a very cool hidden boss in this area <clears throat> that I'm debating whether or not to do because he is very fun to do. Placidisax, um, I believe his name is. Um, ooh, spinning stone eight just right off the bat. Those are exactly what I need. Um, and then yeah, this whole area we've got to kind of like dabble on across. Golden Rune 9. Whee! Ooh. This is some serious, intense endgame stuff, which is awesome. Oh, I love it. Why is it always ruins? Why come is that? Um, yeah, this place is insane. And a lot of the enemies here are tough, um, but I didn't, I never really felt like the enemies here were, like, like insane tough. Um, there's just a lot of them. So, you know, we'll see how strong we are against them. Yeah, they stagger, which for this build is great. If we can get a stagger, we're happy. We're very happy. Oh, come on. Ooh. Gotcha. Whee! Um, but yeah, there's just a bunch. So if you can kind of isolate the fights down and not have to take all of them on at once, your life gets a lot more simple, which is nice. Ooh, get your horses out of here. Ooh. They do hit hard. When they hit, they hit hard. Gotcha. Ooh, okay. Made it through. Hey, I got his sword right away. That's funny. Um, just be aware. Yep. Every time you walk into these places, there's always someone looking to gank you. Someone's looking to gank you, bud. But that, the fact that they stagger is so nice for this weapon. Especially since, I mean, we do, we pump out attacks like all the time. Which is very cool. Ooh, dried liver. Gross. Um, yeah, our attacks are constantly cooking. Ooh, sight of grace. Don't mind if I grace. Um, yeah, we'll rest for a second, I guess. Why not? We've, I think we've used one heal. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I pressed Y to check my stuff. <laughs> whoops. Um, but in this area, there's quite a few... Uh, level 8, uh, what's it called? Uh, Shmabity Babbities. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, Shmabity Babbities. Um, there's a few level 8, um, Smithing Stones. And, this boy here, that's about to come down, drops something that we definitely want. So, come on, friend. There he is. Ready? 
Woo! He's gonna do his roars. I don't have a health bar on him yet. I would love to have a health bar on him. Oh, don't get killed, friend. Oh, there he is. Okay, this health bar is just on him like that. Nope. I'd love to be able to target his feet, but it doesn't want to let me target his feet. It's his chest. I don't want his chest. I want his feet. I'm a, I'm a close range boy. Nope. Ooh. Oh, look at his little, his little red flame. <laughs> I really don't think that he's that hard. Although I talk trash and I know I'm about to get murdered. <laughs> I did say I talk trash and I immediately am going to get hit, right? It's going to happen. Ooh, can we get a bleed frog off? Nope. Okay, let's get a little heals in. Heals by Oh Lord. Oh Lord of Mercy. No thank you, friend. No thank you. Oh, ow. Friend, could you not? Here he comes. Woo! Could I have dodged? Yes. Did I dodge? Oh, no. Oh, it's always tough to figure out where he, what he's doing when it, the target in this thing is so busted. Oh, he's attacking. He was attacking not me. <laughs> no thanks. No thanks. Oh, he be booping. He be booping. Don't do it. Oh, that that timing was rough. I don't even know how he's doing. How's his health doing? Okay, he's doing. He's doing. We're doing. We're getting making some progress. Flames. I don't appreciate the flames. Oh, that flamish was rude. Oh my gosh. We gotta heal. Oh Lord, have mercy. Where is he? Oh jeez. Thanks, bud. All right. Let's turn off the targeting and let's head into his seats. Beats. Ooh, we get one or two more bleed rocks. We're pretty golden. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, thanks, bud. Okay, we gotta get behind him. Nothing. The front of him is very dangerous. No. <laughs> no. And... Can we bleed him? Can we get him? Oh, did I get him? Heck yeah, bruh. Ancient dragon smithing stone. That's one of the things you need to upgrade your item to max level, if you want to. Um, I highly recommend it because, good lord, why would you not want to? Um, so yeah, and a smithing stone eight. Woo! More smithing stone eight. Love it. All right, cool. He doesn't give you a lot of runes. Oh man, if you're gonna drop some ancient dragon smithing stones, brother, you can drop two runes. I don't care. You can drop as few runes as you want to, my dude. All right, cool. And we're moving. And we'll groove. Ugh. But that, that fight, harder than it should have been, but, you know, we made it and we survived. More smithy stone eights? Lord have mercy, how many smithy stone eights do I have? Let me check. Whoops, sorry, I don't want equipment. <laughs> I don't want item crafting either. <laughs> smithy stone eights. I have four, which is enough for one level of stuff. And I've got a bunch of, you know what? I'll probably go to round table hold real quick. Upgrade my swords, and we'll keep on chugging on here. Because, oh, check how cool that is. All the way over here, dude. I love it. Oh, it's so cool. All right, let's check it out, baby. Oops, wrong side. Mm -hmm. oh. All right. Oh, you're sitting by the fire. Why are you by the fire? Take a look around. Yeah. Don't worry. I'm glad you don't Do blame not me. Continue spirit tuning just the same as before, which is good. Why I need your help persuading his friends so not if he won't last much long. His shackles are broken. Mm. It's high time he put the round table. All right. Well, let's see if we can uh, talk our boy, our smithing boy, out of being here. But first, let me level up my stuff real quick. <laughs> Would you mind leveling up my stuff? Ooh, okay, I can only level up one. It's a 24, but then... Oh no, it's a 23, and then the next one's plus 24. And then I can get the master rank, which is so cool. Sorry. Why are you still making weapons? As I've always said, you came to challenge the demigods and their god. To slay them, and as yep. long as you do, I will always smith your weapons. Okay. It is what I wish. 
to smith a weapon for you to slay a god. You've already smithed it. Okay. You've already smithed it. Your yeah, he won't leave. You've already smithed the weapons because I'm going to use the weapons that you made me when I first started. Because that's how stubborn I am as a human. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go back to Crumbling Fatimazula, and yeah, that's where we want to go. Okay, we back, baby. Okay, yeah, this this area, fun times to be had. Hello, friend. I see you. You oh, and you've got a friend who's napping. Napping friend, and you've got a shield. Oh, he chomped! He did a heckin' chomper! Okay, cool. Living stone seven. I need a bunch of eights. Give me all the eights. Um, ooh. I know what's down there, and it's a problem! There is a, uh, one of the knights down there. We want to go and deal with his shazbots. Um, he's not fun to deal with. <laughs> but he is good to fight, to be entirely honest. Uh, all those knights are really fun to fight. They're... I say fun. Fun is an, is an interesting choice of words. Um, I mean, it is fun for me, because it's a challenge. But it is also obnoxious, so there's that. Let's go fight him. Let's go fight the boy, not fall down into the pit. I fell into the pit. Can I jump down there? Can't jump down here. Can I just leap down over here? That looks leapable, does it not? Leapable. Very leap. Um, is there not a knight down here? I thought that there was. Am I tripping? Am I totally tripping? Okay. Uh, I, yeah, I know where that is. Um, is there a shortcut over here? Or is there just something fun? Uh, wary of death. Okay. Well, don't really want death. But, here we go. We're running around at the speed of sound. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I remember far too much of these places. Uh, wow! He's gross! He gives you lots of curves. No thanks, Fred. Can I bleed him through that? Oh, I can! Let's do that again! Oh, I missed! <laughs> okay. We... We got it done either way. Whew. All right, look at all these gross boys. They're so gross. They're just big, gross boys. And we don't much care for them. And they're gross ways. Oh, they're so yucky. There's a giant one. <laughs> look at him. He's like, <laughs> don't get my item. Yeah, there's a giant one. I didn't fight him. I don't know why I didn't fight him. But I decided I didn't want to fight him. There's a giant one who hides by one of the trees. Um, and, yeah, he's just a gem to be around. Um, okay, I don't have to fight those guys. Ooh, there's a lot. Where do you take it? You know what? We're going to go down there and find out. Don't knock me off the edge, please. Wow, they, they just waited. Thanks, bud. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate a good chill out from those guys. Oh, he's got items. I need the le Oh, dog! <laughs> that was a legit jump scare from the dog. He did no damage to me and I got scared by him. I'm gonna just kill him real quick and, and get his item, because I'm very curious what he's guarding. If it's level 8, that's all I need in my life. Oh, curse, 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 curse! Oh, gracias for the curse. <laughs> smithing stone, somber smithing stone, nice. Those are cool. Those are super cool. They're not what I need, but they're super cool. I'm getting out of here before curse becomes even more cursey. Ugh. No thanks, dude. No thank you. Ooh, is this a little sneaky way that you can take those little crumble platforms? I do love a good crumble platform. <laughs> Ugh, the curse, man. So I think I've talked to you guys about it before, but the curse is just like another meter that builds up, and once it, it like, kicks down, you just die. <laughs> like, there is no... There's no pass and go. Uh, no collecting $200. You're just dead. And you turn into crystal. And it's gross. <gasps> Eights! Hooray! 
was hoping there's gonna be eight. Alright, so I've got a parkour! Parkour! Okay. And parkour! Cool. Is there another one down there? Yeah. Alright, that's where we could have just stayed up there and gone over there, but you know what? We're living our own dreams. Okay, I'm at max health. Look at that big bike. I don't want to mess with the big guy if we don't have to. I'm a little bit cursed already. Just a wee bit cursed, and I don't like to be a whole lot of it. Oh, he's slamming. Let's see if I can find the exit path. Ah! I'm guessing it's over there, right? That's where we've got to go. Um, There's items. There. And I'm hungry for level 8s. <laughs> I'm very hungry for level 8s. Okay, nothing over here. I need to go that way. Let's sneak over and grab those 8s. I say, fully not knowing if it's a level 8. I want it in my heart to be an 8. Give it to me, let it be an 8. It's not. <laughs> but these guys don't care about me. <gasps> but that was an 8. Oh, he's starting to care about me. Oh, he's starting to care more than I'd like for him to care. What's at this thing? Is there anything? Ooh, there is some. What is it? Ooh, a bell. Don't barf at me. We're leaving. You, you ever been barfed on and just been like, mm, it's time to leave? <laughs> I don't think there's ever... Oh, shoot. I don't think there's ever been a time in my life where I've been barfed on and I thought, mm, let's stick around for a bit and see how this plays out. <laughs> Stop chasing me with your gross barfs. I don't like them. I don't like your barfs. Okay. Oh, look at, look at this little guy. Are they still chasing me? Not chasing at all. Merchant ahead. Merchant? Of Venice? <laughs> oh, he doesn't seem like a merchant. He seems like a barfy boy. Are you a... No, you're not a... Ow! Put your kicks. Oh, he's gonna barf. Oh, okay, cool. He survived. Just gravel stone? <laughs> we made it all the way over here for nothing. That's fine. Try jumping. No. I'm not gonna jump. That's how you die, friends. That is where death. Alright, well, we got the bell, which it was guarding there. Um, so yeah, I think we're golden. We can head out of here. Ah, oh, the cursed bites. They're just really cursed and gross. But I did get a bunch of eights. That was clutch pickups on the eights. The eights were dead. They totally made it worthwhile to go down there. Um, because basically I just need those. And then... Pretty close to just maxed out. Which is awesome. Um, you gotta love that. Getting maxed out weapons. But, as I said before... Ooh, what are you? What am you? Um... As I said before, the toughest part of this build is that you have to double up on all of your farming. Because if you're getting smithing stones, you got two swords to upgrade. So, it's just a pain in the butt. Like a total pain in the butt to do that. But, eh. We've chosen our fates. And our fate isn't really that bad. Because these swords, you know, I've had worse builds in the past. That's for sure. Um... It's kind of hilarious to make it all the way through the game with the starter set, but not terrible. Really not terrible. Anything stones? Oh man, I don't want your gray bolts. I see you. I see you, baby. Okay, cool. So this is where we were before. Sweet. So now we know exactly where we were and how to get back there. That's nice. Are there any delicious items down here that I need? Oh, he's barfing. I gotta go defeat Barfy. Hey, Barfy. Oh, prayer book. I don't need your prayer book. I don't even want it to be entirely on. Gotcha. Now to deal with these boys. Woo! Woo! Oh, there's so many. There's two. There's more than I'd like. There's way more than I'd like. Bleed. Got that one. Oh, no thank you. Oh, no thanks. Someone is fucking red lightning at me from afar. And I'm not very appreciative of that. Let's go out here, heal, and turn. Oh, I'm prepared for you now, friend. Gotcha! Hit him with the sauce. Hit him with the more sauce. 
Oh, he's a bear. What a jerk. <laughs> what an absolute J. Okay, jerk. One is being guarded by another jerk. Double jerk. Woo! Okay, cool. We're through. And hello. Oh, you expecting me, friend? Okay, cool. Um, I guess I can go through there if I want to now. Am I sneaking behind the boy? Oh no, he came and fought me. Cool. Um, let's do that real quick because I want to go over to this side since I cleared my way through. Oh, there is the boy. Oh, and there's a Grace. Oh, so many things are coming up. Tricks right now. Tricks McGriggs. Hmm. Okay. Rumbling. Arumula. So interesting. Somber stone miner's bell bearing. All right. Well, there's another bell bearing. I got two more bell bearings. All right. Cool. Woo. Woo. All right. Let's go ahead and rest. How are we doing levels? Uh, you know what? I'm going to pop a little Shazamarama real quick. And 15 should be enough, right? That's to be like 15k? 10k. So close. So close. Let's pop one of these. Why not? Have a couple extra rooms. Never a bad thing. Also, I love to not have to double up on going back in there. It's such a pain in the butt. Level up. With endurance. Perfect. All right, let's go ahead, leap, and head down here, because we got some friends to deal with. Friend! Friend? <laughs> Call them friends, they're definitely not friends. That is totally cool to fall into. I'm not doing it. Hey, skellies! You bet I, you thought I wasn't going to see the pit. Look at these skelly boys. They got little skelly mans. Oh, skelly man. Nope. Oh, I don't know why I decided to do the range. That's terrible. Nope. Nope. There's so many of the bikes. There's. Oh, my lord. We just hit them with the sauce on a lot of bikes. And. Oh, can I get this guy too? Perfect. At least we got two of them. Heal up in the bikes. Gotcha. And gotcha. Alright, can you stop throwing stuff at us? We won't. Never gonna stop. Never gonna stop. Ooh, heal. Perfect. Oh, golden room. What a treat to find behind the pillars. Oh, that is... Look at that temptress out there, huh? Like, oh, jump to me. You can make it. I promise. You know we're gonna go for it. And leap. Spilly Stone 7. Not even a worthwhile thing to leap to, dude. But we survived. And we move. <laughs> Woo. This slight stress of sadness. Oh, don't give us sadness. We don't want sadness. Wee. And I saw an item. I want the item. Give me the item. Golden arrow. What a worthless... Ooh, there's friends over here. There are friends. I see you, friend. And... Oh, he's got flamies. I don't like his flames. Oh, he's like a big, a big honking boy. I don't like it. Okay, we dealt with honking. Oh, oh, he's a skelly boy, too. He would have come back if I wasn't paying attention to him. What a jerk of source. I see you clicking like... Oh. I'm hiding behind the pillar. No one will see me. <laughs> we saw him. We're not having his business. I don't know why the gravel stone is so important. They make it purple. They say it's important. I say hogs walk. Leap. And leap. Ooh, okay. You're probably thinking, wait. <laughs> Crumbling rune to Ferumazula. Like, come on. We want to do that. What about the healing tree and all that stuff? One second. Because there's something important that we have to do before the DLC is released. And in the timeline that you live in, that DLC is already released. But I didn't want to have an immediate release of DLC content because I felt like that's rude to the other players. I don't want to be taking you out of that if you're going to be playing this game. I'm going to give you a week to play it. Play it. You've got a week. And after a week, 
coming for it. But either way, we have to do a specific part of a quest line in order to get access to the DLC area anyway, so I wanted to show you guys that. Basically, you need to have uh, uh, progressed your quest line with Whiteface Fari for a little bit of time. Um, eventually, he's going to give you a cloth. Come here to the Church of... Uh, what is this church called? Sorry. Uh, you get the blood of uh, Lord of Blood's favor right here. I'll show you where this is. The Church of Inhibition. Uh, it's right up here in this, like, in the Frenzied Flame area. Um, yeah. And then you got to come back and talk to Vare. And he's going to give us something very important. All right, Lyurnia. We haven't been in Lyurnia in a hot minute. Ugh. And don't worry. I'll get back to crumbling Farum Azula soon. Because I need them plus eights. As soon as I can possibly get them. I still need 16 plus eights. Ugh, lord. To get this build to max. Um, and then I need another ancient dragon smithing stone. Yay. Yay for farming. Hooray indeed. All right, let's talk to Vari real quick, because he's going to give us what we need. Ah, my lambkin. Hey. You've completed your final trial. I did. And with this, you are a formal inductee. Oh! A knight who will assist Luminary Moog, the Lord of Blood, in yeah. the establishment of a new dynasty. Assist! Now, Give me your finger. This noble blood will be an immutable badge of honor once it settles inside of you. Ready? Here's my finger. <laughs> Take my finger. And... Ghost blood. Oh, that heavens. ghost is really not helping me right Clench now. Your teeth or something. <laughs> Sorry. Bloody finger. Never forget that feeling of agony. I won't. For it is what binds you to Luminary Moog, to all of us. <laughs> you have the sweetest scream, my lambkin. Sorry is creepy. Oh, another thing. <laughs> you gotta talk to him again. You should have this. That's what we need. A pure blood knight's medal. A medal granted by the new Moguin dynasty. With the power to grant audience with Luminary Mo. That's we gotta go have an audience I've with. I've gone out of my way to provide one to you. Well, thank you. But you mustn't use it just yet. Mustn't? The meeting must wait until the Moguin dynasty commences. <laughs> Luminary Mo yet slumbers beside the divinity. Mmm, the divinity, you say? Endure. A little longer. All right, Vari. Get ready to be mad at me because I'm not going to endure any longer. Let me grab that. Where is it? Man, I swear, the the system in this game for what's important and what is not is bananas. It is in here somewhere. Let's go down here and grab... There it is. Ready? Let's go. Right in front of Vari. I love it, too. <laughs> so, once you use that, it takes you to Mohwin Palace, which is, I would say, a pretty late game area. Uh, there's other ways to access it, um, but this is one of the easier ways to do it, and it's definitely the easiest way to do it early game. I don't know why I decided to go back in there. I don't have to go that way at all. So, I won't go that way. But we have to go and fight Moog, and I showed you me fighting Moog earlier. Um, where I fought the one that was really deep underground. This is a different one. Hey, we got the map right away. Thanks. Very nice. Oh, someone's still chasing me somewhere. I can't check the map. I will check it later. But in this area are two of the best, like, rune farming areas. So if you just want to come around and grab, like, uh, I think that some of the more efficient rune farming ways, it's like uh, 20,000 runes um, every every run, then it's easy to do it here. Uh, especially if you have AoEs. AoEs do really well in this area. Uh, this is not the rune farm area, but I just want to show you how many souls you get from these guys. Not much. 300. They're not worth dealing with. 
So before y'all get all grumpy at me, being like, brother, why aren't you fighting them? Because they don't give us anything that we need. They give us 300 runes. Meh. We're not here for 300 runes. <laughs> we are here for a Newman's room. And your boy is a sucker for a good item. Um, but I know that there's definitely a plus eight in here, or a couple plus eights. I think a, like a chest of three plus eight in this area. Pardon? Pardon? Um, and I would love to get those plus eights because it's going to simplify my life immensely. Oh my lord! He's exploded! He's blown up! Alright, I'm just going to grab this. I think if I... Oh, no. Sometimes if you grab the items, they all just kind of wake up and decide that they're suddenly sentient. Uh, but those guys didn't even care. They're just doing their thing, baby. Ooh, let me grab these. Pardon, 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 pardon. Yeah, I'm way later in the game than I need to be to access this. Um, because with Vari, you can access this basically when you're in Lyurnia, which is awesome. Uh, and, but there is these boys in here. Um, there are these kind of like sanguine jerks, for lack of a better term. Uh, you fight them in uh, the churches that that Vari's at, um, and they're just they're rude. They do some damage, as you can see. Let's heal up. So yeah, if you come across these early games, they're gonna kick your butt, and they a uh, keep coming. They just don't stop. They're just living the dream of just constant. Constant coming back. Oh, Hello, friend. Are you here as a customer? Yes. Let's see if he's got anything. <gasps> Ooh. I am a sucker for having all the things I can. I'll take him. Thank you. Oh, I must, I must. That's okay. You don't need to apologize, bud. You're doing great. See? Comes right back. So, you just gotta keep on burying this boy underground. Luckily, if you just keep attacking, it is not that hard to just crush him. Um, and then blood works. Another 6k. You can sit here and farm them here. It's not the most efficient farming route by any stretch of the imagination. So I wouldn't do it. But if you wanted to, you can sit in here and just farm them up because they'll just keep coming back as much as you want them to. But yeah, you just kind of want to make your way. Ooh, spending stone eight. Three! That's exactly the ones I wanted. Yay! And. Oh, his blood. His blood is yucky. There's the blood loss. I love that it's like so excited. Blood loss! <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> you got blood loss! <laughs> in in um, Dark Souls 3, when you get blood loss, there's like exclamation points and like excitedness. And it's hilarious, dude. You're like, are we really celebrating this? It feels like uh, it's something I don't want to celebrate at all. I know you're behind me. Oh, don't throw. Oh, he did some damage. Look at that damage. So yeah, that's what you want to avoid with him, because when, once he starts doing damage to you, ooh, he can be flopping. Uh, but you just can't be tentative. Because you can stagger him, and if you can stagger him, then you can crush him. So, might as well. Don't do it. Leap! <laughs> yeah, the 6k every time. Really not too shabby, you know? We take that all day. Because just going through there and like going at a regular pace, 20,000 runes. Great. Um, but that's not the bread and butter that we're looking for. We're looking for something a little bit more lucrative. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and I'm not going to show you that right now. I, will sh I might show it to you later. But what I am going to show you is what we came here to do. It has to deal with a very rum people who's guarding a very important egg uh but yeah basically there's a bunch of like albinorics i guess they're not albinorics they're like the weird fish eye people um that are up on a cliff Ooh, there's another ancient dragon spinning stone in that area i want it i might start some trash a lot of times you can just run in there and just grab all right i've started a lot of trash Please don't, don't start trash with me. I apologize for the trash I've started. <laughs> oh, he leaped! Yeah, give him another. Oh! Okay, we're not gonna get killed. 
They're gonna be great. They're gonna be very costly. Oh, look at him go! Yeah, those are hilarious attacks. Get him! Get him! Get him! Okay. Thank you. Ooh, he's just in range of that. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, a lot of times with this game, I will just kind of like uh, sneak past these guys, but we're high enough level coming in here. I think I can clear them all out because that is a really clutch item in my chest behind all of those guys. Uh, I say I can clear them all out and I get to prove myself. But I think we got them. At this point, we've made our way through the most difficult ones. Whoops. <laughs> Don't. Don't do it. Oh, they have the funniest attack to me. Jeez. That was so much damage from that one boy. Okay. So, the nice part about this is that but this area here is the, the whole path we need to do. We need to go up there to get to that. But, what we want is... I'm pretty sure this is an ancient dragon smithing stone. And if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But I'm pretty sure this is, that's exactly what that is. Yes. Somber ancient dragon smithing stone. Sorry. So, it's uh, not exactly crucial for us with this build, but it's a really good item if you are going to be running a somber build. Um, which, with the DLC, I'm very tempted to try out some other stuff. I'm not going to probably do it on this playthrough because I am doing the... I am uh, running just the starter weapon build through the entirety of the game. But, <clears throat> you know, for the DLC, I'm going to be trying some stuff on my free time, dude, for fun. Um, okay, so we can rest, and then we can head into the actual meat and potatoes of this. Oh, Sorry. I hope you didn't feel like that was a waste of time, because it wasn't a waste of time to me, baby. Somber smithing stones are important. Ugh. So, the Moog we met down in the pits, he was tough. He was tough. But this boy's going to be even tougher. He's going to be way harder. And see that egg? That's how you get into the DLC. So if you're curious, that's how you go. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to trigger this. Just in case I die to him so I can get there real fast. I say just in case. <laughs> He's really hard. Ugh. We get to enjoy a fun cutscene before our panic in induced flingings. So gross, but it's so pretty, these games. So the blood from his beloved is what Moog needs to rise. You must abide alone a while. No. It kind of makes you sad about killing him. Really. Welcome, honored guest, to the birthplace of our dynasty. He is an awesome character model. Also, voice acting top notch once again. All right, Moog. Coming for that number one spot. Okay. Nope. Okay, so it's nice that we got to fight him in the, in the depth because... Whoa! <laughs> I was about to say, we learned his moveset and we're good against him, but I just got totally wrecked. <laughs> I couldn't even get a single heal off. Steak of America. Oh, the shame. That's death. Woo! We can't dodge it. Ooh. And... Oh, I didn't realize how low I was. All right. 
I feel like I've given him a fair try. And he's just been kicking my butt. And maybe this build is just not optimized for him. But I don't care. At this point, Mo, you can take whatever summon I want to give you because you're a pain in the butt. Whatever they did to buff him, it's insane. Seriously. So much damage. And he's just constantly attacking. So, we're going to be constantly attacking. We're going to bring him some energy too. Because he's been a huge pain in my ass. <laughs> no. Nope. Yeah, we do we pump out so much damage. Now, love that. Love that. Throw. Hey, Mo. Yeah. How does it feel to have someone basically cheating to attack you? Yeah, that's right, Mo. That's right. How does it feel? Because you're not even going to be able to get to your second cave, bud. That's right. <laughs> Such a cheesy fight with the Mimic here. Don't even care. He was such a pain in the butt for me. So, whatever, dude. You're dead. Ugh. Thank you, Mimic. My lord, I can get on with my life. Thank you, Mo. 420,000 souls is a lot of souls. Yeah, so I know I said I was going to do everything with uh, just this, and I got frustrated. So, pardon my frustrations. <laughs> I'll make it up to you. <laughs> Uh, let's do some levels. Um, beep, 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 beep. All endurance. Four levels of endurance. Ah, <sighs> Mo. That dude is such a jerk. But yeah, that's what you need to do to get to the DLC, and everyone's all pumped up about it. Heck yeah, brother! Um, so yeah, in the time that you're watching this, the DLC's out, and you're enjoying life and loving the DLC. And to be fair, I'm probably playing it too. But I don't want to release anything DLC-wise for at least a week because I just don't want to ruin it, you know? And I know that there's going to be creators out there who are doing that, and that just feels so cheap to you guys. Um, playing through a DLC of a Souls game, or even just like the first playthrough of a Souls game, it, it's something that you should really enjoy. So I'm not going to be taking that from anyone, so you know it's not coming from me. But we're going to go back to Harum Azula. And we're going to do a little bit more diving into the depths real quick. All right. I never thought that I'd come back to crumbling Faramazula and be like, oh, sweet, sweet Faramazula. <laughs> but Moog's been such a pain in my butt. Ooh, I was way too far. Way too far. All right. Heal up. And a little blood for you. And let's just finish you up with a little blood. Oh, thank you, friend. You were worthy. Smithing Stone 6. Very nice. I need to go back to Round Table Hold soon and level up because I think... Hello. Another one of your friends. Let's heal up and be a match. Um, I think that I've got enough... Um, oh, I thought I could... Nope! Uh, I think I've got enough... Jeez. I didn't realize you had the flamies. And the, the, the swirly slash. These guys are rude. No wonder people have a hard time down here. Have some of that. And some of this. Gotcha. Um, yeah, I'm, I think I might actually have enough smithing stones to go in there and take care of all that stuff. Ooh, hello. Um, but for right now, I'm going to hold off on that because we've just... I don't know. I feel like we've done enough power leveling for a second. And I just got... Ooh, another one? Jeez. Nope. Oh, my lord. Man, I was playing well earlier, and I feel like after Moog, Moog just messed with my speed. Moog was... You know, I feel like also when you get kind of frustrated with these games, everything just goes downhill, and I got frustrated with Moog. I will admit it. The boy was a jerk. How did I not... How did I not backstab? <laughs> Don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, once you get kind of frustrated with these games, they become ten times hard. I got a little frustrated with Mo, so mm, sorry. Uh, and you know, you saw exactly what happened. That he's so easy with the summon, which is why I'm trying to avoid the summon these games because I feel like I really don't want to just like plow through 
the fun of these games. Um, so I won't moving forward, but let me tell you, he killed me like 10 times, and I was like, eh, you know, I'm not about just sitting here when I've got the solution right in front of me. Um, but yeah, moving forward, I probably won't be doing it. Ooh, peaks. Peaks. Friend. Never. Oh, look at him. Can I sneak up on him? Can I stab him? Can I stab him in the back? Again! Stab your item. Oh, he's flaming. Ooh. Heal. No thanks. Ooh, he's bananas. Ooh, he is bananas. Don't do it. Don't do it. All right, fine. We got him. Ooh. That would have been a problem. All right, cool. But we made it through. Ooh. This area is awesome. Awesomely difficult, to be fair. But, nope. I don't really want to deal with any of your Hoosa fudge. Cool. I'm going to just totally cheese these guys because I'm just annoyed with getting murdered. <laughs> I say as I am totally about to get murdered. No! Oh my gosh. I'm down to my last heal. Oh, I don't have any bleed left. Okay. Ooh, could you feel the tension, babe? I was feeling it. <laughs> I felt it. I definitely felt it. Um, ooh, I can just go down there. But I'm so close to not having enough. Well, I don't have any healing, so... Ooh, and there's a friend there. Don't want to deal with that friend. So, can we not deal with that friend? Don't mind me, but I got nothing for you. But I think if I can just go up those stairs. Yeah, let me go up those stairs real quick. Because that's where our out of grace is, I'm pretty sure. Just clutch. Ooh. Ooh, let me tell you. It's been a little spicy over here today. I feel like this, um,. This recording session has gotten me to some of the harder parts of the game, and it's definitely making me feel it, because I know that we probably could level up. We could do a little power leveling. I could go over there and get more. I could get to level 150, but, I, you know, we're close enough. We're close enough. <laughs> <coughs> All right, we rested. I'm going to have to... F I could fight my way through. I'm going to fight my way through at least one of those guys. This guy is... Very hard to avoid. You and your fires. Don't appreciate your fires. How did he get around the corner? Very impressive corner get around. Alright, cool. Gotta fight my way through a couple of these boys because they're just kind of unavoidable. This boy. We get his stomps on. His little stompies. Get your stomps on. Don't. Don't do it. Ooh, we should heal. Heals. Oh, the flames of a thousand dragons. Yeah, somehow they can just wrap around corners. Ridiculous. Wow, I was so close to death. Uh, probably should just run through these guys because they take a lot of doing to get through. I'm just not really about the whole... Let's go ahead and lose all of our healing by the time we get to anything of merit, you know? Hmm? Try give up. I've already gone up. Okay, so I've done that side. Oh! It's the duels. It's this. I totally forgot that this was here. Nope! These guys have a shared health bar, and they're insanely hard. Okay. Yep, they're insane. And they are, like, merciless. They do so much damage to you, and they they're just having two bosses in the arena is so hard. Ooh, I'm dead! Okay. Well, we know what we gotta do. We gotta get in there and deal with these boys. And if I can do that with max health, I feel like I'm gonna have a lot more luck. Okay. Time 
We'll take out the duo. The duo, the Godskin duo, is actually guarding some really good stuff. Um, the, they have a uh, bell that lets you get smithing stones 7 and 8, I think, unlimitedly. Maybe 6s or 7s, I'm not sure. Um, but that's really nice to have, especially for um, swapping out builds and trying new stuff. Like, it's really cool. Ooh, let me get my zero souls back. Ooh, good start. Good start. Gotta love it. Run in. Take him out. Yeah, stay close. Ooh, keys. Heals. Double heals. And then dodge and take him out. All right, we got Skinny Boy. Skinny Boy's done. Junkies. Junkie Boy is going bananas. Bleed. Okay. Perfect. Heal. And then we rush back in. He's going to do his fat rolls. Did he pause the fat roll? I've never seen him pause the fat roll before. Okay, he's bringing back his friend, but we got perfect timing on that. There comes little guy. Little guy. Let's get a bleed off on him. Oh, he's doing a lot more damage than I wanted him to. All right, heals. Oh, don't. And then we run in. Stay in close. All right, we got him down. We're doing great. Last one. It's going to be Chunks. But we can do it. He's just got that much health left. No matter what he pops up with, it's just that tiny little bar left. Come on. There he is. Okay. Dodge. Ooh. I almost got killed right away. He's bringing his friend back. We... Oh, that's suboptimal placement. Nope. Miss. Alright, heals. Itchy eye. Not great. Oh, I missed another bleed. Okay, little guy's right there, though. Okay, I can hit the little guy. Perfect. Oh, he's running away from me. Yes! Yes! We got the God Skin Duo. So that bell bearing lets us uh, level up our stuff, which is great. It gives us a bunch of runes, which is awesome. Look at those guys. They were waiting out there the whole time. <laughs> they were waiting to kill us the whole time. Whew. And we are going to be making some serious progress towards the end of the game and accessing the DLC today. So let's begin in Ferem Zula. Um, I know what you guys have been up to. I've been uh, driving around a lot. I went uh, across the country last week um, and hung out with the kids and the family, which was really fun. Um, went to South Carolina and got super crispy and it was so hot. I don't know about y'all, but if it's, um, if you've been in the sun at all, man, it's been hot. Um, and in South Carolina, like every day, it was like 80 plus with just tons of humidity. Uh, but you know, you get a nice tan out there, right? <laughs> you get a nice tan. Oops, I just went the most roundabout way I possibly could have. Um, so yeah, it's been a fun week off of just vacationing and chilling, but I've missed Elden Ring. It's been just so hard to miss it. And also like the DLC came out and like I said to you guys before, I wanted to give you guys a little bit of time to be with it before I played it, so I didn't bring anything with me, and I was like, I'm not going to record, I'm not going to do anything. I haven't ingested any DLC media. I'm very proud of myself, because, man, I wanted to watch some DLC stuff, but I've just completely resisted so I can go in completely cold. Um, and I feel like if you are a Souls player, like I am, like, that's the way you should go in to it. It's not a, you're not cheating if you don't, but, like, it's more fun if you go in and just have no idea what to expect. Um, obviously, I've been on the internet, so I've heard that the DLC is difficult. But come on, man. Elden Ring is supposed to be difficult. I'm sure that I will probably regret saying that, you know, <laughs> when I start playing the DLC and realize that it's very difficult. Um, but eh, 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 eh. I'm not complaining about a difficult game being difficult, you know? That seems like a fool's errand. Big boy. Oh, he's big. 
And we got him. Oh, he was about to roar at us. He was trying to roar at us, friend. We ain't about that. Uh, but basically, we've got to get to uh, the end of Ferum Azula. Because in order to burn the Erd Tree, we've got to beat a boss. That's blocking our, uh, our path. Namely, a very specific boy who has been... Uh, we've been feeding a lot of things to. We'll see if he respects the amount of things we've fed to him. I think I got all of them, and I think I fed everything to him. But we'll see. We'll see if he was appeased with our feeds. Um, but yeah, we're like very close. Ugh, he's going to be a pain. I know that much already. Um, but you know, that's what we're uh, living for in this game. <laughs> I don't know why. I really wanted to get that, but I did. I really wanted to get that talisman. Hey, golden Rune 12. Not too shabby. Not too shabby, the Gold Rune 12s. Um, but there's a couple people in this, or a couple bosses in Fair Missoula that are pains. There's also a secret boss, um, which I probably won't do in this episode because, um,. I'm gonna try to like power through and get to some DLC stuff quicker, quicker than usual. Um, but there's a cool hidden dragon that you can fight if you know where to look for him. Um, and yeah, if you want to look him up, you're more than welcome to. I'll probably do him in a later episode. I think I'm gonna do like a cleanup episode where I just do like a lot of the bosses that I didn't get to do in my playthrough um, because I love doing those bosses. So, once I finish DLC and stuff, I'll probably go and visit those. Oh, I'm just so excited for DLC, and I have just been waiting up a storm to get to this point where I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm gonna play the DLC, and I'm gonna see what it has to offer, and I am still gonna do the challenge of going through with the starting weapons, these guys right here, these little starter swords, um, which I'm probably gonna regret. <laughs> like, let's be real. Probably going to be a huge pain in the butt to do, but, you know, we're going to make it happen. We are totally going to make it happen. We, We've landed. Is this the way I need it? I, I, Fair Missoula is always, like, so confusing to me. It is a crumbling city, to say the least. But we're going to figure out where we need to go. Fair Missoula. Oh, there was a boy hidden behind the wall. Oh, I probably should heal. Double heal. Let's do this. Thank you. One less of them. And thank you. One less of you. Uh, I clearly did not have to go back here. Ooh, double light. Oh, five lightning greases? Dang, dude. Um, I have been such a purist in this playthrough and I haven't touched any of the weapon enhancers. Um, I probably should do that. Because, <laughs> you know, they're pretty good. But here I am not doing it. Um, yeah, I totally just went in a circle. Ooh, friendo. Hello, friend. Would you mind if I came over and said hello to you? Oh, he's got a shield. A little blocky shield. Um, yeah, this whole city. I remember the first time playing through it, I was like, geez, like, how the heck are you supposed to know where to go, dude? <gasps> Ooh, stone sword. Quah? Don't mind if I stone swall. Yes. <sighs> Is this a shortcut? Is am you shortcut? Am you fast cut? <laughs> Where does it take me? I never use the stone sword key here. Ooh, to a little Gracie McGracie. Not complaining about it. That's very nice. Okay, so this is through the dragon sprint zone. Let me just grab this. Pardon, 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 bone boys. Lord's ruin for me. Pardon. Excuse me. Ooh, golden seed. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. Look at all these boys waiting for me to come through like a little grumpy boys. Um, honestly, I feel like at this point we're, we're pretty leveled. I should just go ahead and heal. We're pretty leveled, so I don't need to fight my way through every single mob. Whoops. Didn't need to heal. I went to grab. Rune arc and golden seed. Um, I still recommend if you're playing through this game the first time, try to clear out as many mobs as you can, just because 
Sometimes you get kind of stuck behind like 50 of them, and that's not fun. Uh, see, there he is. There's the boy. Oh, he's got flames. He's got flames for me. Ooh! Got him. Perfect. Um, oh, there's another. Hey, don't. But he's little. He's a little by. Gotcha. And again. Sweet! Ooh, dragon. Do I want to fight the dragon? I don't really want to fight the dragon. Just to be honest. How much health does this dragon have? Let's see. No thanks. No thanks, dragon. Your flames are not welcome. Oh, he doesn't have that much health. But I also don't have much healing. Okay, thank you for the stuns. Forever. Nope. Ooh, dodges. Come on, draggy. Don't. I have fought so many dragons up to this point, I feel like I'm learning their movesets. Come on. Oh. Oh, he's done the scampus. Nope. I stay on the back legs. Of safety. Ooh. Dodge through that. Love that. But, um... I was laughing. Someone was watching one of my videos the other day, and they are like, Why is your stamina bar so huge, man? And I was like, Clearly, you have never played the Double Blade <laughs> Dex build where you need all the stamina all the time. Because basically, if you can just proc bleed, it's so good. Like, it's this is a, a very viable build. I should have just kept attacking. But, you know, well, we got him. Two heals down? Can't complain about that. What did you give me? Gravel stone. Anything else of importance? Nope. Wasn't worth it, but you know what? All dragons are good dragons to defeat. <laughs> Hi, look at you, little body on the ground. Alright, cool. We're making our way through Faramazula. I swear. I swear to the by the old gods in the news. <laughs> I used to watch, um... I used to watch Metalocalypse all the time. And if you've never seen that show, Highly recommend. Very funny show. Um, but I, I feel like I quote uh, the the guitarist in that show literally every day. He plays me as a harmonic minor scales in the key of a D. Ah, oh, like this. Wrong! Oh, fingers ah! out of my nose! You're not a great teacher, Squiscar. Permits me to disagree. <laughs> Permits me to disagree. Ah, uh, if you know that show, then you know it is a gem of a show. Ooh, let me snag it. Snag it. Ooh, Dragon Wound Grease. Also not bad. Not too shabby. All right, I need to get across here. Let me up. How do I get up there? Okay, perfect. I just need to do that. I need to stop being such a fool. Such a fool, Fred. Ah, so yeah. How you guys been, man? It feels weird that I haven't recorded in a week. Like, I missed it. It was fun. It's fun to come back to uh, recording. And I will say, I started playing um, the game I want to play next after this one on vacation because I did bring my Switch. Slight hint as to what I'm going to play next. Um, but I haven't started recording it yet, and I'm excited about that. Because it's not, it's not like similar. Ooh, is this my friend? Friend? <laughs> ah, I see you finally made it here yourself. I did. The city hanging in the air is slowly crumbling. What an incredible place we find ourselves. But that aside, I can't believe you felled that giant. It was practically a god. I doubt there's another soul out there who could have done the same. Of course, I count myself. The great Alexander among the many, mm. which means I've but one thing to ask of you. Would you kindly undertake my ordeal? Come and tell me when you're ready. I've been longing to fight a warrior as accomplished. He wants to fight us. Oh, I really don't want to fight him. I love him. You are ready then? Then let us begin. All right. Oh, Alexander, please don't make me kill you. Oh, Alexander, gem of a gem. I'm so sorry about this. Oh, Alexander. As I suspected, victory was impossible. This vessel 
was found lacking. No. My thanks. <sighs> I knew you were the stuff of champions. It was a marvelous battle. I implore you. Take what I bequeath from inside me. All vessels are destined to one day break. But the great Alexander lived as a warrior to his last. Mm. Oh. Oh, I love him. He said gives me the shard of Alexander and a key item. Let's look at it because it makes me sad. Oh. Shard of Alexander. There it is. Greatly boosts the attack power of skills. Well, that's pretty good. I'll take that for now. Um, and then the key items. I, I immediately bounced back from sadness. <laughs> I'm like, but it's good. <laughs> the things that Elden Ring makes you feel. Oh, it's just a keepsake. Hmm. I miss him. I love him so much. Oh, he was just a cute little boy. He was the cutest boy. Alexander, I'm gonna miss you. Ugh. Elden Ring makes you do horrible things. But at the same time, it's what he wanted, right? He wanted to be, or to, to fight someone that was worthy of him. And here we are. We fought Radon with him, which was awesome. And then we fought each other. In the crumbling city of Perumazula. We made it, Alexander. Oh, that boy. It still makes me sad. Try, try jumping. I jumped. I jumped, friend. <laughs> I swear. Some of the notes. Is that another dragon? No, that's just a that's just a piece of stuff. What's in here? What am you? Cookbook. Ooh, I can't wait to make some cookies with the cookbook. Oh, it's another big boy. Oh, I probably shouldn't be this close to the edge. Ooh, that was the riskiest biscuit I've ever risked. Um, bleed. Okay, that was clutch. A little bit more bleed. Okay, cool. No, nope. your flames are not welcome. Oh, I'm out of healing. No! <laughs> I deserved that one so bad. Oh, skellies. Rumbling Feramazula. Um, yeah, it, it is funny because I feel like when you play this game, you look at like these ruins and you're like, all right, so clearly like this is not a path. Um, and I think I mentioned it previously, but I was just like, Elden Ring is just full of these moments where you're like, what on earth? How are you supposed to figure that out? Um, but I feel like that's why this game is so fun. It's so fun. And also like a lot of the FromSoft games have that kind of like explore at your own risk mentality kind of like feel to them. Um, and there's ways of just cheesing so many of the bosses in some of their games by just exploring properly, which is cool. I think that's a really neat, um, you know, way to live the game. Can I jump down there and get to that? I think I can. Whee! And... We just completely sideswiped the dudes who killed us before. Love to see it. Alright, cool. Oh, I've been here before. Ugh. Feramazula. Proving to be a loopy mistress. Because I need to get in there. Yep, so I need to go there, and then I need to go up there. Alright, let's go back that way. See what we can do. All right, I think I found the pathway forward, and it's through this boy. Come on, buddy. We've fought you many times before. Let us fight you again. And bleed. I'm going to take some damage for that one. Oh, he's so grumpy when he decides to be. Unnecessary roughness. Ooh, 15 yard penalty. Right in the face. It was I who took the 15 yard penalty, friend. Ooh! Ooh! I'm being risky. I don't need to be risky. I need to just be safe. Double heal. Oh, that's so nice. 
And... Oh, we're trading. I don't like trading with them. He's a problem. He's a big problem. Okay. Got the back of him. Oh, I thought I had him. Oh, the flame attack. And Crucible Knight. Man, I thought I dodged that. All right, come on. Got him. Got him. Ooh, only 7k souls from him? Jeez, that's generous. <laughs> so generous. Okay, so that's the direction I need to go. Do I want to get that item? Is it worth the threat of me dying? Uh, no, it's not worth the threat. I'm going to get this, and I'm going to be a happy little clam, and I'm going to continue my quest along Fair Missoula. But I'm at 101,000 souls. I might burn something. Just so I... Oh, I got one of these. Let's do that. That's 50k, right? Yeah. Let's get another level. And we can see where we're at, too. It's kind of a nice little check-in to see where everything's at. Um, yeah, 144. I'm going to do Arcane just for the bleed damage. Um, yeah, we're doing great. And we've got to run across this little shabble magabble. Um, and as a word to the wise, there's so many problematic birds here. Birds suck. I hate them. Oh, that guy's stuck. I love it. Okay, that one's dead. And got gotcha you, bird. Birds. They're so annoying. Uh, yeah, see that dragon? Hello. He's gonna throw stuff at you all the time. Get ready, dude. Um, we can't go down there, which is fine. Because we can just sneak on over this direction across the rooftops. And the birds are going to be problematic. Like, don't get me wrong, but he will kill the bird. I think. Really? No, he doesn't. He doesn't kill the bird. Rude. Rude that he doesn't do any damage to the bird. No, thanks. I'm not taking da Oh, I'm taking damage. Um, he is a huge problem. When you get to him, he's not really that big of a problem. But it's just like dealing with his uh, assault from afar is so obnoxious. Double bird! That's too many birds! Got the bird. One bird. Where's the other bird? There he is. And bird. I am not about that bird. No thanks. I am not going to be an ornithologist in this life or the next, friend. I'm pretty sure that's the, <laughs> the word for being a, a bird watcher. One of the birdmen's. No thank you. Oh, I totally got hit when I said no thank you. I specifically said no thank you. There's another bird. Another bird. I don't want to get killed by the birds. They're so annoying. Oh, double birdage. All right, let's get right up in his business. I'm pretty sure, and I might be... Oh, that's another bird. I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure if I kill that dragon, he gives me a really good stone. So we're going to dance the dance with him. Because why not? He's been hitting me this whole time, and I thoroughly dislike what he's been doing. Nope. Oh, no, no. Jeez, Louise, Pepper Cheese. He's, he's Pepper Cheese in me. Double heal. Perfect. I, I can't even see his health bar. That's how big this boy is. Oh, I killed him. <laughs> and he does give us an Ancient Dragon Smithing Stone. Clutch. I had no idea how much health he had, but we got him down real quick. Love that. Um, okay, let's go over here too, because I think there's something in there that's worth getting. But we'll see, and then we can move on. Move on with our lives. Somber Ancient Dragon Smithing Stone. Also great. Um, I don't, I'm not running any somber weapons right now, but I am totally going to be uh, experimenting with weapons. Not in this playthrough, but in um, DLC stuff. It's just good to have, you know? Just good to have that sweet, sweet smithing stone action. <sighs> Hello, friend. I see that you're sleeping, and I don't like it. I don't much care for the fact that you're a slumbering bear. Once again, I don't need to kill these guys. But it's one of those things where I am a tweaker when it comes to the dudes that are sleeping... Because I'm like, I know someone's going to wake you up in like five seconds. And then you're going to have a lot of words for me. And I don't like it. 
Like, look at this guy. I bet he was going to wake everyone up. I don't like it. No, thanks. Sweet. Oh, a bonus boy. Where did you come from, bonus boy? From behind the wall? <laughs> Man, this game is really designed. And I would say that, that, that it's the same for like all from soft games. But all these games are like so designed to make you just trust nothing. Trust no one. No one is to be trusted. Um, I think I need to get across there, but I'm pretty sure a dude throws stuff at me. So it's better to just run across if you can manage the run. Yep, we manage the run. Sweet, don't fall. Stay healed. Stay full. Now there should be a big guy, right? We're going to run in and deal some damage to this boy. And just go ahead and get him out of the way. I know, there's another one. I don't like him. Ooh, the blood. Wee! Wee, Brock, please! Oh, they got me. No! Oh, that's brutal. All right. Well, I got double hit with the spells. That's that's rough. All right. Let's power through this. Um, and go ahead and fly through a lot of this stuff so that I don't have to deal with all these birds. Birds are so annoying. Birds. Birds, I don't like you. I don't like you, birds. But now I don't have the dragon throwing stuff at me because he is a permadeath, which is very nice. Um, birds. I swear, birds, you're so annoying. Um, yeah, just the fact that the dragon is no longer throwing stuff at you, so nice. Another bird. Don't like the birds. Leaving. I am leaving to go gather my things. Sweet. It would be great if you could summon Torrent here because, man, going back and forth through this is kind of annoying. But that's alright. It's our fault we died there. That's our problems. Hey, birds. You stay back there. But now we know exactly what we gotta do, which is a nice. And we also have a ton more healing, which is also a nice. Gotcha. 1200, sorry, runes is not bad for each of these guys, but I feel like at this point in the game, and maybe I'm just like, I've had to level a good chunk. Oh Lord. To get to this point because I'm running this build and it's a, it's a crazy, silly build. Um, but I feel like a thousand runes for killing a dude. It's really not much anymore. And you're like, all right, well, a thousand runes it is. <laughs> like, can get that anytime I want to. Uh, especially since um, in Mokwin Palace, or Mog's Palace, um, you can get so many runes so fast. Um, which, it makes sense that that's the DLC, right? Where you're like, okay, there's clearly a lot of um, lore and stuff to that, which is nice. Um, did I get my runes? Nope. Didn't get my runes. I'm gonna get that. Ooh, bell bearing. I'm just out, dude. I'm out of here. You can attack me all you want. I'm just gonna go get the... I'm pretty sure there's a, um, a resting place, like, right behind everyone here. And I... Ooh. I'm gonna do that. Whee! Although I'm pretty sure I still need to be down there to get to where I need to go. Right? Where is this? Ooh. Touch. 71k. Not enough to like really power through um, and get to the next stuff, but I do have to defeat. Ugh, the sub boss in this area always was the one that gave me trouble. Um, and maybe you're uh, an amazing person and you're better than me. Uh, which, to be fair, I think that you're probably an amazing person. You know, you're hanging with me, you're doing your thing probably great um but this horse boy always gave me trouble i don't know if it's the fact that i don't have torrent or what it is but he's always been the bane of my existence so we're gonna see what we can do with them see if we can take him down to size yeah because he always did so much damage to me 
But I also came here way earlier in the game usually than where I'm at right now. Oh! <laughs> that was some sloppy play to be fair. That wasn't he killed me, that was I just didn't really do much of protecting myself. Ooh, take two, horsey boy. Yeah, I feel like if you had Torrent in this fight, it would be like more reasonable. And the fact that you don't have him is kind of like confusing. Just because you're like, well, he has a horse. <laughs> Why can't I have horse? <laughs> uh, but eh, we live with what is given to us in this horsey horse world. Woo! Woo! No thanks. All right, we are going to be real sensitive with this boy. We're going to be so sensitive. Ooh, I wasn't sensitive. <laughs> oh, he's already got his shabbles out? I don't like that. Look how much stuff you had. Ooh, that was a mistake. Okay, double heal, double heal. And... Come in. Get with the sauce. Ooh, bleed proc. Love that. And... Oh, I thought I dodged. Okay. Heal. No, heal. No. Heal. Double heal. Ooh, I thought I rolled. And... Bleed. Stay top. Ooh, he's got the wave. Okay, double heal. Run in for the tappage. Oh, yes! Second try on him. That is so clutch. He gives you his armor, which is sweet. He always was the one who gave me trouble. I really don't want to go in there because I know what's in there, and I'm really sad about it. I'm going to pump up one more level, and then I'm prepared for sadness. For what it's worth, I know I have to fight him. I love him so much. I've fed him so much death root. Don't even get me started on how much death root I've, I've fed him. Speaking of which, did I um, did I give him all the death root? Let me check that real quick, because I've done a lot of death. Let me check. I am missing one death root, uh, so we're not going to get our custom voice line, which is a bummer. But you know, we fed Grank a lot of things, and we did our best. In order to get the next death route, I have to go all the way up to the secondary plateau, um, which I have two keys, but for right now, I'm just going to power through secret stuff, not as important. Right now, trying and probably failing to defeat the rank is important. Because this boy, he's a problem. Get ready for him, because Lord of Mercy. Destined death. Yeah, bud. Let's dance. Ooh, he's clawing. We can pump out damage to him, which is nice. But he pumps out so much damage and he's so fast. He's so fast. Ooh! Okay, we're fast too. We're fast too, Grant. We're so fast. The funny thing is, is his first phase is not the hard phase. That, that wasn't a hard phase at all. This is where things get bananas. And we also learn a little bit about Grank. Because he was this, just been this, like, death root hungry dude this whole time, and then it's going to show us what's been on his wrist the whole time. Ooh. Oh, death. The rune of death. Become my blade once more. So he's literally death incarnate. So scary. Grank is so scary. This fight is tough, man. He just becomes this crazy dude. And let me tell you, he does not stop attacking. His armor set is so cool, too. Most of the playthroughs I do, when I beat Grank, I put his armor on because he's so cool. I love him. 
Alright, Malaketh. You're actually Malaketh, not Garank. I know. Oh, I missed! Oh, I missed again! How did I miss that? Double heal. Double heal! Oh, he got me. How did he get me before he could heal? Woo! Alright. Try number two. We got him. No problem. <laughs> that to the base. No! Oh, the, the rot killed me? Which I would love to see. Oh, that's gonna that's gonna be death. That combo is really tough to dodge. Oof. Alright. I'm tired of it. I'm so tired of it. So, we're calling in some reinforcements. See if Malaketh can handle two of me. I don't think he can. He's got two phases. I've got two phases. How do you like that, bud? How do you like them apples? He probably doesn't like those apples. We'll see if he likes those apples. Ooh, bleed. Love the bleed frog. Don't love that. Gotta stay alive, though, if I want to actually beat him. Mm, no, thank you. Okay. Perfect. A great. Phase two of him is annoying. Hit him with some sauce. More sauce. He's gonna fling. We stay behind pillars while he flings. Nope. Nope. Oh no. Heal. He attacks my friend. My friend, I love him. Don't do it. Heal. Alright, Malaketh. This is this is it, buddy. This is where we hold you. Ooh, that hurts. Heal. Ooh. He's insane when he does that stuff. It's insane. He's got Mimic down. That's not great. <laughs> okay. Nope. And punish. Great. Nope. 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 And stay behind the pillar. Oh, that's insanity. The fact that he actually hit me with that is so crazy. No! Heal! Heal! Oh, it's wild, this fight! No! No! Oh my gosh. He's, he's doing it! No! Stay behind the pillar. Heal. Ooh, I'm down to one. And he's down to just a couple hits on him. Come on! Yes! Yes, Malaketh! Oh. He was so obnoxious. Remembrance. We got him. So now... <laughs> Now we've gotten the uh, Rune of Death unlocked, which is awesome. <sighs> and you get his sweet sword. Pot man, duck pot, take sword. Time. Right. Right to time. Think about that. Ooh. So with the Rune of Death unlocked, we can do a lot of things. The Rune of Death is unbound. Thank you, Ronnie. And the lands between are shrouded by death's dark fate. But the flames will also burn the impenetrable thorns. Mm. The 
the earth trees burn. Farewell, it is then. Bye, earth tree. You'll be Elden Lord yet. Ooh, waking up. After defeating death. Death itself. We wake up. Hmm. Ashy landscape, friend. It's gonna look a little familiar. City. That's where we're at. Ugh. We destroyed the Erd Tree. We're in the capital. We've got a couple bosses left to fight, but not many. Oh, today we're in the Ashen capital. Which means only one thing. We have to finish the game. And there's the Erd Tree. It's all burned up. It makes us sad, but hey, we gotta finish it out. Erd tree it stands, tall and unwavering, mindless of the scorch of the flames of ruin. <laughs> then we are yet golden ones. Alright. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, so yeah, I think in a previous episode I talked about how in Sekiro, there's parts of the game where uh, everything changes when you do something, and here you go. This is the old city. You guys remember the old... Um, capital city that was here that was awesome and full of all those things like we fought the tree sentinel here um and we fought um morgot under the tree all that stuff now this is all that's left uh so yeah it's benane is oh look at that dragon too it's so cool uh, but we gotta get up and we gotta go fight some big boys there's two main bosses left in the game there's a couple of other ones but we're just going to tackle the main ones today, um, and then we get into the sweet, sweet meat of the DLC, Ooh, which I'm excited about. Because um, I, I, I think I told you guys last time, but I haven't played any of the DLC, and I haven't watched any of the DLC, because I wanted to play it live, and I'm so pumped to play it. It's going to be so much fun. Ugh. Yeah, I'm really excited. Because, man, oh, sorry, there's a third main boss, this guy. But he's not really much of a main boss. <laughs> ah, I knew you'd come. You knew it, so Gideon. Before the Elden Ring, to we'll listen to him. Lord. What a sad state of affairs. Sad. I commend your spirit, but alas, none shall take the throne. Sorry, Sir Gideon. <laughs> now you see why he's not really a boss. <laughs> he's got like no health. And all he does is cast sorceries at you <laughs> that you can easily dodge out of the way. Oh, he's got some health. We'll heal too. Oh, and he's out of health. Sorry, Sir Gideon. Now, oh, look at that. He's got his little blood. It's so fun because he knows so many spells. So it's like he's kind of fighting like all of the magic users in the game. He's got Mogs. Mog is sweet. Hello. <laughs> okay, we got him. Oh, Sir Gideon. I knew it in my bones. Cannot become a lord. Not even you. Psh. A man cannot kill a god. Oh, we'll just see about that, friend. Scepter of the All Knowing, and you get all of his sweet armor. It's sweet. Ooh, and a ton of souls. I forgot about that. Sorry. Runes. We get a sweet level out of that. Um, by the way, if you noticed, I'm at uh, max uh, pluses for my Crimson Tears and max flasks. I did a little bit of just kind of walking around in between episodes just to figure out exactly where all that stuff was. Um, yeah, so now almost max vigor, almost max dex, um, and I've got a ton of endurance. So I feel like we're pretty great right now. Um, and I think we're, yeah, pretty slated to finish the game eh, pretty quickly. We'll see, though, because uh, I got to get up there. I got to go deal with that boy. Ugh. I think uh, if you remember when we were in the city the first time, we had to fight the remembrance of Godfrey, kind of like his his golden form. Well, now we got to fight the real deal, and he's going to be a pain in the butt. Especially his second form. Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy. 
But um, I think we'll be able to get the room quickly. Who knows? I'm pretty high level now. <laughs> I say that as if like there's a serious risk, which there is, because a lot of times with these bosses, your build dictates how easy or how hard um, that specific fight is. So, given the fact that I've just got the starting weapons, we'll see how easy or hard this one is. Um, yeah, Sir Gideon, easy enough. First try. I feel like I haven't... I'm sure I got defeated by him on the first time I played through the game. I have to turn this on. I'm sorry. It's just out of habit. <laughs> I haven't used any help so far. Ugh. We'll see if I need it. But here's our boy. Ugh. This cutscene is cool, too. It's been a long while, Morgoth. <laughs> His big Long axe. and hard didst thou fight. Tarnished warrior. Look how small we are compared to by him. the grace of gold. Be assured the Elden Ring resteth close at hand. <laughs> there it is, the Erd Tree, man. We gotta get in there. And we gotta deal with what's inside, which is gonna be a problem. But there's a change Alas, in the main boss fight. I'll show it to you later. I'm returned. His half axe is so cool. To be granted audience once more. <laughs> Casual. His lion's roar is enough to, like, push us back. He loves his stamps. Upon my name as Godfrey. The first Elden Lord. Alright, bye. The first Elden Lord. With your big lion. Let's lock on and... Oh, he, so he does the delays, too. Oh, he's stomping. I wasn't joking, he loves to stomp. And he loves his delayed attacks. Ooh! Rude! Double heal. And... Ooh! I haven't fought him in so long. Ooh! We got staggered, but we didn't get any damage done to us. Oh my gosh, how are we missing and he's missing too? Ooh, no thank you. No thanks. Stampies. Ooh! We dodge. Why can't I get a bleed frog up on you? No thanks. Ooh, that looks like it would hurt. Ouch. I really need to um, start being a little more careful with him because his second phase is way more hard than its first. Ooh, good bleed frog. Ooh. Heals. No thanks. Heals again. Here he comes with his big slams. Ooh, I thought I dodged that. Wow! I love how similar he is to um, the owl fight in um, Sekiro. If you played that game, his, his character model is even kind of similar to it, which is kind of cool. Ooh, ooh, that bleed it was unnecessary. Jeez, I'm getting crushed by him. No, thank you. No thanks. How am I not dodging? Ooh, his stamps. Ooh, his stamps. Okay, cool. Ooh, I thought I could get a blood off. No, thanks. That's gonna hurt. Ooh, I didn't even get the phase two. Rude. Ah, we'll get him next time. Next time. Ooh. But we got him this time. I'm patient. That's my... <laughs> that's the best thing I've got to throw at these games. I'm very patient. It's a little bit difficult knowing that you have the easy button literally right behind you all the time if you just decided to use 
the, um, what's it called, Mimic. But I don't really want to do that. Nope. Oh, that was some clutch dodge. You'd love to see that. Nice. Ooh, that's not nice. Oh, but he missed me. Ooh. Okay. Little heals. Nope. Oh, made a mistake. That's gonna hurt. Ooh, it did. No. Oh, man. It's so rude that that dodge is just too slow. Okay, okay, he's going bananas. So bananas. Oh, we got the bleed. He's doing his big grumble yell. Love it. Running and do as much damage as he can. As much damage as you can. Oh, that was so good. Ooh. Lion. Oh, lion friend. The visual effects are so good. Just like he becomes corporeal and so cool. Not Siraj. No. It really is just like Godric when he kills his dragon and just takes his arm. He kills his lion and he takes his lion's power. He just becomes insane and hard to dodge. If you can dodge him though, you can get some good damage in, so. <clears throat> I've given thee courtesy enough. <laughs> Stapes. Ah! Now he's a big scary boy. <sighs> so winter fresh gum. <laughs> Taste the frost. <laughs> Don't mind the fact that he's covered in blood, all right? All right, this is the one that's hard to dodge. Perfect. Little blood. Oh, he can't. Nope. Nope, he's doing his buck wild move. Oh, he went buck. Wow. Nope, we need to dodge. We need to double heal. Okay, that hurts. Okay. Little bleed. Nope. Okay, cool. He's kicking. Perfect. Perfect. Heal. He's gonna do his bananas. He's going bananas. And he's going bananas again. Oh, I thought he had a third banana. Ooh. Oh, double bananas. Ooh, very hard to time. No. Okay, heals. Dodge. Ooh, missed it. Okay, cool. He's doing insane again. Oh. Come on. Oh, I thought I had him. I'm being so greedy. Double heal. Oh, I missed. I missed with the blood. But we got him. Yes, we got a Horaloo. Woo! That's awesome. He's so hard with this build. <laughs> 300,000 souls! Ooh, man! It's so funny, I've, I've fought him so many times before, I haven't felt that much adrenaline fighting him in so long, just because it's like... Oh, I haven't done this hard of a build in so long. This is not a great build for endgame bosses, my gersh. Ooh, alright, let's get some levels in us, man. Ooh, got the heart pounding on that one. I thought for sure he was going to na nail me on like some random technicality at the end. How much will strength give me? Oh, not as much as dex. Mm, let's give us one more dex. Whew. <laughs> that was so stressful. Well, no time like the present to go do another super stressful fight. I love the end of this game that it's just back to back madness. You beat Horolu, and you come in here, and it's like, oh, well, I'm sure it'll be fine. And it's going to be just insanity in here. Golden light.
<laughs> there has been an update to this fight, which I will show you. As long as I can get to phase two. Phase two? Because really, phase one is kind of the hard part, in, in my opinion, but we'll see. So the rune arc. That's the symbol. Holding him, him, her in place, I should say. Ugh. I never watch the cutscenes anymore because I just go in and fight the bosses so much. The cutscenes are awesome. Ooh. This boss is hard, by the way. <laughs> if you've never played this game, he's a hard boss. <laughs> Ooh. It's so cool. Whew. So it's possible earlier in the game to figure out that Radagon is the same as America. But uh oof. No thanks. But um it's 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 hidden behind some information blocks, I should say. Dealing with them is very hard. Whoop. Ooh. Yeah, because he's fast. In this phase, he's fast. And it's it's crazy because there's two phases to this fight. They could not be less similar. Nope. Ooh, that's a big one. Okay. This is warm-up fight with this. I, I don't know why I jumped, but it worked. Okay, he does the delays. Bleed. Stoppies. Oh, thought we dodged it perfectly. Didn't. Woo! Oh, the range on these is brutal. Ooh. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. I don't know how that didn't hit me. I need a heal. <laughs> I'm being so foolish. <laughs> Only got Radagon down to half. No big deal. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, we got a ways to go with him. He just hammers us. That I'm dead, right? Yeah, <laughs> I was close. Well, don't, don't have to worry about that. Roll through it. I can't roll through it. Come on. The one we can punish. Punish, 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 punish. Oh, yes! Seven heals is a good chunk to take into Elden Beast. Ooh. Oh, we get a nice little relaxation as we get to watch the cutscene. Take a sip of victory water. These two phases of fights couldn't be any more different. Like, Radagon is this humanoid, tiny little dude. And then... <laughs> Elden Beast is gargantuan. Ooh. We got him. There's also an update to this fight, which makes it... more... easy? I mean, maybe easier? We'll see. You can use Torrent, which is awesome. I mean, at least it lets you get across the entire battlefield, which before was a huge problem. Look how cool he looks. Just like a giant magical nervous system. <laughs> and he calls in the stars to do his bidding. Ugh, Elden Beast. 
final boss of the game. All we gotta do is beat this giant worm with an arm and a bunch of wings. That's it. <laughs> no big deal. Ugh. Alright, we come in, we do a bunch of damage for free at the beginning, and then we get behind them. Perfect. Force. Oh, that was a mistake to get on Torrent. Alright, heal. Stay up there, bud. Oof. He's Elden Beasting. Okay, we're doing good damage at least. That's nice. Where's he at? Oh, he's so far away. Ooh. Okay, this is the ringy one. We gotta get out of the... Oh, and jump. And get out. Perfect. Okay. Made it out of the ring. Where's he at? Where's he at? There he is. Oh, oh my horse. My horse has been horsed. It's very hard to time at this because he's so big. Okay, perfect. Do some damage. Woo! And it's impossible to tell what's going on with Elden Beast. Okay, he doesn't do that much damage, which is nice. Ooh, thought I dodged it. Ooh. Nope. Oh, man, we almost had him. We were close that time, though. I need to try, um... I need to try the bleed on him, because I haven't tried any bleed on him yet. All right, Radagon, we come in, and we give him one, two, three, dodge. Oop, or just get hit. Dodgies. Oop. Ooh, he's getting a little grumpy right off the bat. Love to see it. <laughs> I mean, I don't really love to see it, but sometimes it's gotta happen. Woo! Punish that. Woo! Punish some more. Foot stomps. Ew. Don't. Come on. Let me punish you. For your mistakes. Nice. Nice. And nice. Love to see it. Ooh. I always forget about the fact that he can do that if he wants to. Ooh! Ooh! No thank you! Let's heal! Perfect! Alright, he's doing his triple slam. One slam! Two slam! And itch! And... Three slam! <laughs> Man, I didn't miss- I didn't dodge the third slam. And... Ooh, yes! Sweet! Thank you! Hit! 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 Dodge. Ooh, I dodged into it. No! We can punish, though. Oof. I'm being a little greedy. Woof! Woof! Oof! Got a heal? None of you! Oof! Greedy again. Heal? Ooh. No, thank you. No, thanks. Gotcha! Alright. Mm, put on some fire grease. And have the crab claw. Ooh, I didn't eat the crab. <laughs> I came very close to eating the crab. Alright, let's go do some damage. Because I can pump out a ton of damage early. As long as I'm not a fool. Alright, get behind him. Great. Keep pumping damage. Okay, eat the crab. Crave. Craft has been consumed. Ooh, okay. I didn't have any souls, so it didn't really matter. Let's get ready to jump. Jumpies. Dodgies. Get on our horse. Yeah, so now you can have, um... Torrent. Oof. 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 And... Oof. Ooh. If you've never played, um, Sekiro, this fight is so much like the dragon fight in Sekiro. Um, and seriously, if you haven't played Sekiro, live your life. It's such a great game. Woo! Such a great game. That game has got everything you could possibly want in a game. Nothing you! Nothing you! Nothing you! And nothing you! 
Ooh. Ooh. Here it comes. Wow, I just was out of range of that. That was so lucky. <sighs> Oof. Here comes another. Oof. And the final one. Oof. Okay, we dodged him. Love that. Oh, I don't have any stamina. Oh, okay, get out of here. That thing is nasty. We can get away from it, just get away from it. Oh shoot, we gotta get behind him. Oh my gosh, I outran that so fleshly. Here comes the flame sword. No. Love it. Oh, okay. We can do some damage. Nope. How did I not dodge that? Take a ton of damage here. It will be okay. As long as I can get up and just pop a little heal. Dodge! Dodge! I'm gonna pull the last one. Dodge! Okay. Pump out some damage. Ooh. Clutch. Turn on the bubble. We got the bubs. We got the bubs. We got three heal flasks. Okay. He's gonna come up. And this, is, and this time he's gonna do three, I'm pretty sure. We get ready, we gotta do triple jump. One jump, two jump, a three jump, and roll. Horse. Okay, run, 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 horse. That's the one where we can pump out some damage. Oh, I got hit, but that's okay. We can take it to. Oof. Alright, we gotta heal. Heal. Pump out some more damage on him. Okay. Ooh, we're so close. Ellen Beast, be kind to me, please. Be so kind to me, please. Okay, we dodge. Love it. Come on. Oh my god, we're so close. No. 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 Oh my gosh. Heal, 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 heal. No. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Don't be cocky. No. That's not what I wanted. Okay. We, if we run in, we might be able to get him. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! Yes! Oh, that is awesome. Oh, he was so hard with Radagon with just the starters, man. The starting weapons were terrible for that fight. Ooh. <laughs> that took a little bit of time. But, man... That got the heart pumping. Woo! Had no heals left at the end. And now, we're at the end. You have the choice, after this point, to either summon Ronnie or not. But since we did Ronnie's quest line, that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to start a new world order with Ronnie. Love it. Ooh, that feels so good to get that done. Ugh. <sighs> Hey, baby. How you doing, baby girl? <laughs> the battle is over, I see. Yeah, it took a little bit of time, girl. <laughs> Sorry, rat again. Had to happen. I do solemnly swear to every living being and every living soul. Now cometh the age of the stars. Yes, indeed. A thousand year voyage under the wisdom of the moon. So cool, the transition. Here beginneth the chill night that encompasses all, reaching the great beyond. 
into fear, doubt, and loneliness. As the path <laughs> stretches into My darkness. Duck face. Forgot about it. Hmm. Quack. <laughs> Moon quack. Well then, shall we? Yeah, girl. <laughs> She's got so many hands. Too many hands to deal with. My fair consort eternal. That's us. Oh, so yeah, she's transitioning over from the whole, like, golden order to the order of the stars and the moons and being the fates and all that stuff. So, yeah. That's the game. Ooh. Oh. <sighs> Let me tell you. This challenge with the whole only using the starting weapons and going through it with just that, it was brutal. Like, those twin swords are fine for early game and even some of the mid game, but late game, the bosses are just brutal. And the, the amount of like speed that they have, there's weapons in the game that have way better damage output. So it's like, especially with Radigan. He was so fast compared to us all the time that it felt like we were just constantly doing catch up with him. And then Elden Beast, obviously, it's like we can pump out good damage against him, but we just didn't have quite as much damage output as some of the other weapons. So, I mean, what a surprise, right? You start with the starting weapons. It's not going to be the best build in the game. But I have to say, doing that challenge and playing through the, the whole game, basically, I had a few hiccups along the way that I just was like, eh, whatever, but uh, I never switched weapons. I never played with any other weapons. I tried to keep all of my summons to a very minimal level, and then beating all the hardest bosses or the last final bosses of the game with absolutely no assistance at all, that was awesome. And I've played this game, gosh, uh, 10 times now, probably more than that, um, all the way through, and it just, it gives you this game a whole new level of interest to play with these kind of challenges. And I didn't, I wasn't really expecting it when I first came out. I thought, oh man, like this will be a funny little challenge to do, and I'm sure that it'll have its fair share of twists and turns, but like, just the fact that you have no alternative, right? You hit a wall, your alternative is, okay, I can level a little bit, but that's not going to do a ton of damage. Really, I just have to learn the skill sets. I can't use any distractions. I can't use anything that's going to draw their attention away from me. I just have to get better and better. It felt like a um, a Sekiro playstyle. Um, and I know I mentioned Sekiro a bunch in this playthrough, but it really felt like kind of that style where it's like less about getting your build and leveling up and doing all this stuff and just more about learning the moves, learning what's coming at you, and just adapting to that. And what a fun playthrough style. Like... It's the opposite of what Elden Ring is, which is this kind of like grind along and get good and level up and all this stuff. And it turns it into this kind of just like rhythm mastery and skill set mastery. And that is such a fun and unique way to play this game. If you've ever tried any of these challenges, it's it's a blast. So oh, I'm glad that I took it on as a challenge. And obviously the game itself, like, woo, chef's kiss. Like, Elden Ring is one of the best games I've played in, like, modern times. And I first got introduced to, like, the Souls series basically at Bloodborne-ish stage. Um, so I've played basically all of them at this point. I've played Dark Souls. I haven't played Dark Souls 2. I might at some point, but if you know the Soulsborne lore and everything, there's a reason why people don't play Dark Souls 2. I won't get into it right now. Um, Dark Souls 3, uh, Sekiro, Bloodborne, this game now as well. Um, and it's just all their games are so fun and they're so unique and they're so different. Uh, and I really want to go back and play Bloodborne now because I feel like my playstyle in this game is like so Bloodborne. But I'll probably give it a little bit of time between FromSoft games just to give everyone a little palate cleanser too. 
and also like give myself a palate cleanser because good lord these games are tough but oh it was this is a really 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 fun game to play Ugh. and there's you know there's the certain gripes with it of being like there's certain grind parts of the game that if they simplified it it would be a little bit easier for example like there's some of the uh the sword upgrades the stones that in order to get them you've got to be so deep into the game but also like that's kind of the point like you're not supposed to be super overpowered early um and it was funny because at the end of this playthrough uh right before this episode i went I was, was going around and i was just gathering up seeds and uh flask shards and stuff like that just so i can be maxed up for this fight and um it was hilarious it's like going through everything and going back to all those old places where everything was so hard at one point like you go back into it and it's such a breeze just because you're so how much higher level your weapons are so much better so if you have access to those stones early game which there's like a direct path in Kaled to get to really high level stones pretty early game it's on top of one of the skulls the giant skulls there um it just kind of takes away a lot of the challenge of the game and for me i feel like the whole fun of the game is the challenge uh maybe you disagree maybe you just want to kind of have some sort of power trip which for that i highly recommend you playing god of war because god of war is such a power trip you feel like a god the whole time through you're just like beast mode all the time and it's just really fun and you feel powerful uh, so I think that there's certain games that can give you that feeling and Sekiro and Bloodborne and Dark Souls 3 and Elden Ring are really good at giving you the feeling of overcoming the mountain, hitting that pinnacle, getting over the top of it and doing it basically on your own skill and scaling things how you want to scale it. If you don't like challenges, this game might not be for you and that's totally fine, you know? It's totally fine for people to not play this game if they don't want to play it because it is a lot to ask people to bite off so much difficulty. Um, but yeah, if you if you like a good challenge and you enjoy the struggle, because let's be real, it's a struggle. Um, these games are so good and they're so fun. And I know for a fact that the DLC is going to be a bear to beat because I've heard that the final boss of that game is just insane. But we'll see how that goes, because if if there are certain weapons in that game that I'm really curious about, I might try them out just for fun, because why not? You know, I don't really want to hamstring my experience just because I want to challenge. But if it's feasible to get through it with these starting weapons, I'm pretty tempted to do it. We'll see how it goes, but man for now it's just like i'm gonna miss the bosses that i've come to know so well like there's very few experiences in gaming that feel better than that first time that you beat radon and when you see Renala come up and the moon and getting transported to those second phases it's so fun these games are the reason why i d and i played D and and i dm and they're the reason why i dm fights the way that i do I fight, I do DM's fights or they're always in stages, you know, phase one, phase two, phase three, all these things. Um, and the, and I would say that FromSoft is probably the best studio at creating phased boss fights that are just fun and enjoyable. So to Bandai and FromSoft, thank you. I love this game so much. No, we're not going to begin Journey 2. What we're going to do is we're going to go to the DLC. <laughs> uh, 500k souls I gotta divvy up some stuff but for now quack I'm gonna leave this one here and next episode I'll be seeing you guys in the DLC probably getting my butt kicked left and right but having a really fun time doing it so thank you guys for coming along with me on this massive playthrough of Elden Ring and I'll see you guys in the next episode peace Getting glorious Getting up to mischief Don't wait cause I'm coming in hot Let's eat some biscuits Let's get close